Who doesn't love a nice dip in the tranquil blue ocean? Oh, that looks like a dorsal fin. Carcaridon carcarius, if I'm not mistaken. One moment. Ramon, open your veins. Uh, we're getting an instant feedback. Ramon's back. Completely didn't understand the last Ramon open your veins uh, thing. All right, good. Let's Did get Did he get Steven bitten by here. a shark? Hopefully Ramon has AIDS. Oh, my God. Well, Donates should... his blood to Deep Voice Guy. Uh, they both get the flu and wither away. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we were listening to the new Ramon promo going in a break, and we had a whole discussion during the break saying, what? I didn't even hear it. I was tinkling. Uh, and... Ramon's oh, Ramon, open your veins. Cozy is starting to lose it. Ooh, uh, okay, you've got to explain the Ramon promo. I'm getting all these, what the fuck kind of new Ramon promo was that? All right, Ramon, all right. open your veins. Ah, I'm reading it. Ramon, open your veins. The worst Ramon promo ever. Uh... I, I could go on. No, they don't. Mixed you don't reviews, have to, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this could be the death of the Ramon it. Critics agree. And not only that, let me add on a personal <laughs> level, the voice is different. What, wait, wait, the whole part of it? Does, the whole thing or the, or the end part? Deep voice guy. The voice is different. It brought back this flashback of when all of a sudden I turned on the Flintstones uh, and Fred's voice was different. Hmm. And as a child, that traumatized me. Because, you know, you're used to Fred's voice. Right. Uh, I can't do the Fred voice. But everyone's familiar with it. But it's always a good thing when you take a creative chance, man. Not changing the voice. Because as a kid, I turned it on, and I heard Barney, you know, Hey, Fred, we're going to work. And Fred was like, Yeah, Barney, get in the car. <laughs> it's like, what the... Who the... That's, that's not, not Fred. That's not the Fred I... I'm not used to this. <laughs> yeah, this is always... not what I'm used to. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling I might have pitched it down just a little too much. It's so... I I, I, I don't know what you did to it, but nah. it wasn't that. We and... It was you, no one understood. Nah, what the, I overthought the setup it. Was. I overthought it way too much. Oh, I want to hear the Ramon promo. I will yeah, play the Ramon ahead. promo. Let's so, hear it. So Steve could explain this. Uh, Brian's little, you got to set up the bit for Brian. The Ramon promos are based on the concept that there's this eccentric, deep voice guy, and he doesn't really might leave his house, and he's uh, catered to. His every whim is catered to by a little uh, South American houseboy named Ramon. And that's it. And Ramon takes care of menial tasks. Doesn't all leave day his long. house. Okay. This one was in the ocean. There was another one on the highway. Yeah. With a well, I mean, doesn't leave his house much today. Happy happens to have left all the deep house. voice guy does is voiceover work. Mm -hmm. Right. So he gets paid very well, and he can do a lot of this from his house. Uh, and he's very eccentric and lets the little house boy do all of his uh, menial tasks. Well, I, right. think it, I think it's based on the, the the most famous voice guy, right? It's based on the on movie a, trailers. Yeah, someone told me a story that Don LaFontaine, the guy that does all the all the movie trailers and some network stuff, really doesn't leave his house. He's got a studio in his house and just bangs out voice stuff all day in his uh, in his smoking jacket. Somewhere. He in makes a lot of money. Town. Makes a lot of that money. That was the same I, with uh, Earl Anthony, the professional bowler. He never left his home. He had a bowling lane <laughs> <laughs> down in the basement. Yeah, he did all his bowling down in the basement. I like that yeah. kind of uh, mentality. I got an example of the, the guy that this is based on. All right. It, it was part of Family Guys, uh, mm -hmm. the, the new episode that was last Sunday. In the year 33 this AD. Guy. The Messiah. He's gone. Where did he go? That's what my ex-wife said. Son of, son of God, you sure are son of a... Whoa. Chris Tucker and Jim Caviezel, is that it? The guy from the first one? <laughs> Passion of the Christ 2, crucify this. <laughs> you know how to use one of these? You know how to use one of these? This July, let he who is without sin kick the first ass. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great yeah, takeoff on the uh, movie trailer. Yeah, the well, family I, guy. And that's the that's the guy. That, and that's uh, him. Yeah, that's him, right? Yeah. All right. So without further ado, here's the brand new Ramon promo that really doesn't make much sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who doesn't love a nice dip in the tranquil blue ocean? Oh. That looks like a dorsal fin. Carcaridon carcarius, if I'm not mistaken. One moment. Ramon, open your veins. Damn. <laughs> Swing and a miss. 
swing and a miss. That was a fucking. That was an Achilles pull. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, uh, that was painful. Highbrow. 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 Well, yeah, the yeah. best part of these, uh, Brian, he he loves to explain them. So now here's the explanation. <laughs> here's the explanation. All right. Uh, he just happens to love when when he does leave his house. He does, you know, take a, a nice drive in his Bentley, or sometimes he'll go out into into the ocean. He loves swimming in the ocean. You know, right. very you know, right. the, the salt sick. water keeps him very yeah, buoyant. Crazy person. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and of course, he's not going to go without Ramon. Well, he happens yeah. to be. Uh, swimming in the ocean, and he sees a dorsal fin. Well, you know, he's certainly not gonna, certainly not going to stick around for long. But at the same time, he's rather humanitarian and wants to make sure the shark, you know, comes what he comes for what he came for, which was a, a nice meal. So he has to make sure that Ramon. Oh, oh, is that what? Wait, 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 wait. To protect himself. I thought it was to protect himself. It is, it is, it is. But he's also he's not really thinking of Ramon's well-being. But he's now he's gonna have to get a new guy. Uh, Ramon seems to have survived everything else he's been put through, so I guess he's of the mind that Ramon doesn't matter. There's, Ramon's there's really a million irrelevant. other Ramones waiting to take over. Uh -huh. Kind of like the you know that that room there. Like those oh, guys are just oh. there's people waiting to step right in. Why are they giving me the finger? But Ramon's <laughs> life hasn't been in danger before. I mean, he's used Ramon's sleeve to wipe his ass. He's, he, well, he put out a cigar in Ramon's mouth once. That wasn't very <laughs> kill you. <laughs> Brian, this is. I want to put out a cigar in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is going to be on the DVD as part of the extras. Ah, man. You know? <laughs> so it was really, but I think I think the thought process was was yeah, we've set the bar so high, and every, like two of them have involved human feces at this point. Yeah. So you can only go to the shit barrel so many times. That's before, it. Before you know, and so we were trying to think. Well, would Ramon ever put a grenade in his mouth? Would Ramon ever eat a poisoned apple? Would Ramon ever do this? So you know, let's have Ramon get consumed by a shark. Hmm. That one didn't work apparently. What was the what was the official name for the shark? Uh Carcaridon carcarius. Exactly. Ugh. It's a great white shark. <laughs> I, actually, I I went and did research. I went and did research to find out what, what you an eccentric jaws. No, I, went, I think they use that in Jaws. Yeah. It's one of yeah. the lines in Jaws. It is, actually. But You're I went need a better line. <laughs> <laughs> is that a type of shark? It's a great white. A car oh, carried oh. carcarius is a great white. <laughs> okay. Well, you Ramon, know, and... close the beaches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that Kintner boy bombing all over the top. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, there's the music, meaning we have to wrap up. Oh, what uh, blows. We're just getting into it, Brian. Having fun today. Martini Steve, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hi, you're listening to Opie and Anthony's Best Bits. This one's where Steve's car, which is a hybrid, broke down, and Opie, Anthony, and Jim all took turns making fun of him for it. His car sounds like it's from the Jetsons. Eat shit. <laughs> that was terrible. Steve's gay. All right, we have another uh, song parody that came in overnight in honor of Steve and his hybrid car. Oh. Well, Steve should come in and talk about something. Cause yeah, let's get uh, Mar Martini Steve in the studio here. No problem, I think. Here comes Steve. That's what we had. Where is he? Steve, what's the problem? Well, you know, hybrids are very efficient, but the, the <laughs> one way they do perform just like regular cars is when you leave the dome light on all night, it does kill the regular battery. The dome light on for what? Three seconds? <laughs> Wait. I uh, that's all it took. What leaving to shut down your hybrid? Leaving the interior lights on all night. Yeah, killed the uh, kill, killed. It didn't shut off the hybrid engine. So once I got it jumped, it it worked just fine. But the uh, the regular electronics, like all like the windows and stuff like that, operate off the same uh, battery that a regular car would operate off of. And your starter? Yeah, everything. So like when so leaving all the lights on would kill the battery just like it would in any other car. But but why why would it kill? Did did it kill the electric motor that no. drives your car? Not at so, all. Theoretically, you could have backed out under electric power. Once I got it jumped, the thing worked fine. I'm not talking about to get it jumped. <laughs> right. I mean, could you have backed it out under your electric motor power? Well, no, because I couldn't start it. But isn't it just a switch? Because it's the electric switch that powers the switch that turns on the car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Oh. The actual switch that turns on that 300 volt electric motor yeah. is, po is is powered by a, a normal regular diehard oh, battery. So even though there's enough power to run the electric motor, yeah. you can't start it right to run it on the electric. motor. That I learned last night. Yeah, or that I, sucks. yesterday morning. Yeah, exactly. 
Because exactly. you should be able to uh, r- run it on just the electric motor. That's exactly what I thought. And once once you actually get the thing, once you actually power up the starter and get it going, yeah, everything's fine. You know, and it starts pumping pumping the uh, power back into the uh, the regular auxiliary battery. And shouldn't there but, be a backup that perhaps the uh, batteries that power your your electric motor that were fine, that you say, mm-hmm. can then be used to yep. maybe jumpstart your car? I think I think there actually is, but I wasn't. I'm not you know well versed enough. Is there? In, try it again. Uh, <laughs> Ah, the old faggot mobile is not starting. <laughs> <laughs> not a faggot mobile. Really? I am paying a lot less for gasoline. You gotta what? jump on a cock and ride that tour. <laughs> <laughs> Did you jerk off in the gas tank? <laughs> <laughs> With that said, there's a good segue into Chemistry's song about uh, Steve's hybrid car. Oh, lovely song. Good old Chemistry. Yeah, I'm sure you're pissed off by this one, no? He's he's good, so I can't really get pissed off at him, but, you know, it doesn't really... He's pretty much calling you a faggot. Yes, yes. he is. In this song. Mm-hmm. And we're pretty much laughing and agreeing. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Chemistry's uh, hybrid song for Steve. Hybrid song, yeah. I know a big bear. He talks with good diction, hibernates in Toyota with good fuel emissions and great tax deductions. His habitat's a hybrid. His paws are on the steering wheel. He barely fits inside it. His cave has XM and a keyless entry. Don't leave a scent in your tent. His belly is empty. The only bear I know with gastric bypass, smarter than the average. Roll up in the hybrid and steal your picnic basket. The ranger's lunch always makes his belly groan. The last I seen him, he was speeding round Jellystone, getting 40 miles per gallon, rolling through the Rockies, doing Ramon promos for two this jockeys, Steve's a piece of garbage, forged for nuts and berries, top of the food chain, but drives a car for fairies, piece of shit, stores energy with friction and magnets, Ramon, hybrids are for faggots, hybrids are gay, Steve's the queer, plug in your automobile, you take it in the rear, you homo, yo, his car got a kickstand, go and buy a new one, spend more than six grand, hybrids are gay, Steve's a queer, if you plug in your automobile, you take it in the rear, you homo, his car got a kickstand, Kickstand, go and buy a new one. Spend more than six grand. Hybrid Hybrid Come on, Steve. Come on, yeah. Uh, all right, well. He's a crap. <laughs> I'm going to go work on my new song, Chemistry Got Killed with a Claw Hammer. So how would you get into work? Uh, they gave me a rental until they can. Uh, Ooh, yeah. I mean, it's not. I, I have. I, it's it's under full war- warranty, and they go, yeah, okay, we're just going to replace the battery. So. They gave you a rental. Was it a hybrid rental? No, it's not because they ah. can't. They can't keep those in the showroom long enough to. Uh, oh, they're flying off the shelf. They certainly are. Right? No, not this is another one. You know what? Call me a homo if you want, but you know All the right. is okay. homo, homo. Thank you. homo. Fag. <laughs> but there's a year long waiting list for these cars, so uh, you know. You know what else is a waiting list for AZT? <laughs> <laughs> when they only make a, when they only make a hundred a year. That's yeah, not, they they a, don't a exactly. That's why there's how a waiting are, list, you idiot. How did, many are on the assembly line? Plenty of them. Oh, stop it. Did you... Wait, when we were in Los Angeles, didn't you see all the hybrid cars that were out no. there? No. No, I, I was did. too busy whizzing past them in some <laughs> souped-up rocket car that I rented. <laughs> what happened to your car? Did the, the power surge protector fail? A <laughs> plug-in vehicle I, makes me sick. It's not a plug-in vehicle. It certainly well, is. It, hybrid, hybrid taxis are coming to New exactly. York. Exactly. Big all story the, in the paper yeah. today. Apparently, there's a surplus of faggot cab drivers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, these uh, taxi cab drivers have the option to convert from gas-guzzling Ford Crown Victorias to any of six car models that run on both gas and electricity. Great. So, this is uh, my friend. Hybrid uh, cabs coming to New York, it looks like. <laughs> Great. Steve was uh, driving to work and almost got rear-ended because he pushed in the cigarette lighter by accident, and uh, his speed went down like 20 miles per hour. Doesn't do that. No. It doesn't. I kind of like that. It went in. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I like that. <laughs> I, I kind of like this. It's good <laughs> format, but the, my presentation really stunk. Because you knew that one was finished. Yeah. Because when you said he pushes his cigarette lighter in, and then just you kept on trucking, and yeah. then it tends to slow the car down twenty tends miles. To, <laughs> I had to pick a speed. <laughs> yeah, it really stunk. My presentation blew. It was just a little mixed up. Good idea because I could picture Steve I like the idea. driving, and then the cigarette lighter, and then he slows down because of the back. Battery, you know, but uh, just the I, idea of being Steve being rear-ended is funny in itself. That's true. 
All right, so Steve. mean. No, right. I love you, Steve. But just a, why don't you take off there, Steve? All right. <laughs> oh, well, come on, Steve. Come on, there you go. All right, oh, I push that piece of shit out of here. <laughs> Danny, one of our favorite characters from the show is Steve from Yellowstone. I don't know. I kind of like Danny from W Town myself. Yeah, he's pretty good. But sometimes when we have a particularly bad guest, Steve from Yellowstone will call in and give that guest the what for. I believe this time around it was a guy who did a one-man Star Wars show. And uh, Steve from Yellowstone uh, just needed to voice his opinion. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I mean, there's no, there's no better person to be introing this bit than C-3PO himself. Obi and Anthony's best bits. Best Steve from Yellowstone call-in. Number one. Let's say hi to Charles Ross, one man Star Wars show. How's it hi, going? Mister. Hey. One man show. Yeah. Based on Star Wars. Based on Star Wars. It is Star Wars, essentially. It's Star Wars. That's the definitive it's. Star Wars. I wouldn't say definitive. I would no. say sort of the bastardization of it. Bastardization. Where do you do this? Uh, well, here I'm doing it in New York at the Lambs Theater, which is 130 uh, West 44th. It's, it's kind of weird, man. Like, this is a, a comedy sketch that went really, really wrong. Isn't that like. Broadway over there? Yeah, it is. It's it like, is. Well, it's considered off Broadway. Off Broadway. And I'm definitely the most off thing on Broadway. There's, there's no. So you're playing. This is an off Broadway show. Yeah. You're doing. Can yeah. You do well, it? I mean, I got my licensing Jesus. agreement and stuff like that. So I mean, I don't, I don't feel too bad about Can it. Can you um, do it for us? Uh, the whole thing, or just a piece <laughs> the of it? Whole thing. Well, how long is it? That's an hour. Well, we got about an hour left of the an show. Hour show. Right, guys, <laughs> can you cut the fifty-four? Version. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it, but I'd sweat all over the place and be positively disgusted. What exactly is the theme of the show? Like, well, okay, imagine you just take you know Star Wars and take all the tech out of it. So it's just me doing like all the voices, all the like the music and stuff. It, it's it's kind of a dumb idea, and it kind of is dumb for the first five minutes. But you, I think people kind of dig it because people know Star Wars pretty well. Do you get a lot of geeks in the? Oh end, man, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. There's a high a, a high geek sort of concentration. Do you use props? No, no. It's just you just me. and your voice. Yeah, it's a really stupid idea. But and he's, I mean, I thought it was I a will idea. not Way argue to sell with it. you. <laughs> Way to get people to buy tickets. Do you have music that plays? No, it's, no, it's just, just me. you. Do, do you use a microphone or do you yell? Yeah, I do use a microphone. I <laughs> All mean, right, you I, and a mic. Yeah, well, I've 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 played it for like what do you wear? Thirty five hundred people. Just a uh, no, 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 underneath. Uh, under, <laughs> underneath, I wear a kilt. <laughs> yeah, you wear no. uh, you, you just regular clothes, or is it? No, no, it's uh, like a like a person that um, would work on a, an airplane, like a flight suit type. Thing. Oh, just something oh, really okay. boring, but it's black. It's supposed to be really neutral, and um, yeah. One, once again, I, I never thought this idea would work, but that was about three years ago, and I've been doing it ever since. And who came up to you and said this can be off Broadway? Nobody, nobody. It, it was actually I met this guy uh, when I was touring it on this thing, the Fringe Tour, which, I mean, there's American cities that do the Fringe, and there's the Canadian cities. I'm from Canada. And uh, uh, now it makes perfect now sense. Now it makes perfect sense. Now, anyway. I was thinking, like, wait, wait, this is a little odd. Canadian. There was something in the water. Right. Yeah. So do you feel like you're, you've seen the new ones, right? Yeah. I, I mean, I've seen some of the old ones. I, my friend watched the new ones. And, yeah. And he thinks that a lot of the technology and stuff uh, is kind of... He surpassed a lot of what Lucas originally in, in kind of like intended to be, you know, like his whole thing. Like yeah. the space sort of cowboy yeah. western yeah. thing? Well, um... Ugh. Well, I don't know, man. Like, I think the new things are made for new new kids. Like, you know, they're just made to... They, they, I mean, they sell toys. They get exactly. the kids to come out. You know, they're sort of the helium-infused mm -hmm. weird little character. I don't know. It's it, they're not They're not up my alley, but when I was a kid and watched the old yeah. Star Wars films... So you were a big fan. Oh, when, well, you when were I was a kid, a kid. yeah, absolutely. Right. What yeah, was yeah. your favorite part of the uh, original? The uh -huh. original? Yeah. Oh man, there was too many parts. Uh, actually, I really liked the evil guy, the uh, the emperor. I mean, I thought he was sort of like. Oh really? Well, he's, he's well, like not the perfect. Many people pick that. Really? That guy? Oh. I thought he was just like the perfect sarcastic bastard, and he was like, perfect. Usually Vader, or you know. Yeah, I don't know. He, he was cool, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of kind of hard to believe that um, you know, a guy with a voice that cool could have given or been sort of the seed of of Luke. Mm -hmm. You know, the little whiny blonde yeah, I know. guy. He's whined through the entire uh, movie. But if you watch the old film or the new films now, you can see how much the Canadian guy who plays Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, how much he's he, a whiny how much he bastard too. Mm -hmm. What uh, now? Obviously, you were a big fan because you you must have done the impressions. Yeah. Do you do the good impressions of this? I wouldn't say there or, are good impressions, but some of them are good impressions. Some of them are good. Some of them aren't so good, like Yoda sucks. But um, 
whereas uh, Admiral Akbar, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the yeah. fish eye. Yeah. yeah, that's him. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I do a, a pretty good uh, version of that, which is kind of cool because today I got an audition for um, a Star Wars video game. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Look only that. through being in New York could you possibly get an audition to do like, a Star Wars video game. Where they actually need an Admiral Akbar. And what about some of the sound effects? Uh, obviously, the lightsaber would oh, be like a big one. <laughs> I mean, it's, it sounds really that's dumb. Bad. Absolutely. No, it sounds kind of cool. The point is that you get into the context of the show, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, how is it going to work? Uh, is it going to work or not going to work? And, yeah. um, I mean, I can give you guys, like, a two-minute bit from the show if you want. Absolutely. Yeah? I'd love to All hear right. it. Okay, this here is the trash compactor scene oh. from the first film. And just bear with me. Should I watch or kind of shut my eyes and imagine? Oh, uh, let's all imagine. You want us all imagine? Okay, audience. You uh, want to stand if you're up? Driving. Shut your eyes. No. Well, let's see. I'll stand up. Can I move? Yeah, the you should stand up. Oh, and, yeah. And of course, we want uh, the listeners to comment serious yeah. comments about uh, serious. Yeah, because yes. we got a lot of clowns that uh, want to call us. We want right, serious right. comments only. Well, Charles okay. Ross, the one man Star Wars show. Here's a scene. Get behind me! Get behind me! This is some rescue. You got in here, didn't you have a plan for getting out? Well, he's the brain, sweetheart. What the hell are you doing? Some has to save us, kids. In the garbage suit, fly boy. Get in there, you big woolly oaf. I don't care what you smell. Get in there. Get in there. Wonderful girl. I'm going to kill her and begin to like her. Get in there. Ah... The garbage chute. What a wonderful idea. What an incredible smell you discovered. Well, it could be worse. It's worse. There's something alive in here. Something just swam past my leg. Look, did you see that? Kid Luke! Kid Luke! Blast it, will you? And my gun jammed. Where? Oh, anywhere. No! Kid Luke! <laughs> Kid Luke! <laughs> <laughs> Grab him! What happened? I don't know! Just let go of me and disappeared! <coughs> <laughs> the walls are closing in! Don't you stand there! Try to brace him with something! <laughs> Wait a minute! 3PO! Come in, 3PO! 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 Oh, where could he be? 3PO! 3PO! Are you there, sir? 3PO! We've had some problems. Will you shove him to me? Shut down all the garbage smashes on the detention level. Do you copy? Shut down all the garbage smashes on the detention level. No, shut them all down. Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you did it, 3PO! Oh, look, listen to them, R2, they're dying. Oh, curse my metal body, it wasn't fast enough. It's all my fault, my fault. We're all right. You did great. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> three, two, six, three, eight, two, seven. <laughs> and that's how it goes. Wow. But for an hour. <laughs> wow. So why'd, you, why'd you chuck Wait. all the chips across the, <laughs> the table? The man? poker that's, chips. That's chips the blessing of the poker chips. The blessing. The blessing of the poker chips. The only thing I see is I did not hear Chewbacca. Oh, well, he'd be like, mm. I heard that. I, oh, I didn't catch it. Okay. All right. Now, you do that for an hour straight. Yeah. Yeah. At, at that speed. Faster. There's no um, no break, no pauses like they would normally pause between these lines. You just rattle it out. Well, I mean, there's a little bit of break. Yeah, I don't know. It's How much like... of the you do the entire <laughs> movie? Well, I mean, it's like the it's the Reader's Digest version. It's like been really super condensed down. Yeah, and I do Lord of the Rings as well, which is just dumb. But anyway, <laughs> it works. Wow. Yeah, you okay? But. Okay, there's this big, big, giant dork convention, uh, a Star Wars convention called uh, Celebration 3, which happened in Indianapolis. And, I mean, you get 3,500 people watching this show at a time, which yeah. is really, really strange. I don't know, man. I don't um, doubt it. Wow. Yeah. I mean, like, movie screens on the other side of the audience or other side of the stage and then out over the audience. And you'd never think that there could be that many people that know and Star what Wars it, what's that the, well. And what's the reaction as you're doing it? Is, wow. Are they laughing? Are they? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And they're watching. Like, well, for some people, and... for some people, it's just like it's <laughs> it's like watching a kid in the basement or something like that. For yeah. other people, it's about being able to sort of celebrate their own personal infatuation with Star Wars. You know. Yeah. So it's uh, you either find people that really are laughing at it, and other people that are laughing sort of with you. So yeah. it's really strange to have. Wow. Well, you've taken uh, something and uh, and ran with it. Yeah. That that. Ah, uh, congratulations. Cheers. Thank and you. Best of luck to you well, we got, with your one-man show. We got uh, we got some phone calls coming in. We have Jimmy Robinson right. on the phone. 
Uh, Jimmy. Hey, this is Jimmy from New Jersey. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy. What's up, man? Hey, um, do you do this scene? I like this scene in Star Wars when, um, when he, like, have the fight and then there's just the empty robe with no one in it. Yeah, I do. Do you that. do that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do the Robert Reed version? The Where Robert you get Reed version. And die? Yeah, yeah. You stink. <laughs> hey, serious calls only, you asshole. You <laughs> this is what happens stink. now. We get a guest on the show. This is textbook. Oh, get wow. a guest on the show, and people call up, and no matter how much we tell them we just want serious calls, the assholes get through. Oh, you stink. Do you get a lot of criticism? <laughs> You're all ass stink. Do you get a lot of criticism? Uh, She's a lot of criticism, man. and that's really highbrow criticism, man. Yeah, like, that's that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm crushed. The, the thing is, I I think based upon that kind of a phone call, I'm pretty much you know resolved not to do the show any longer. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, I'm sure that guy was that, that was the last time, guys, you're ever going to hear it. Loser nah, sitting in his apartment, uh, to, uh, probably getting prostitutes at night to piss on him. Uh, let's say hi to Dr. Frank Davis. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Frank Davis. Hey, how you doing, guys? All right. I'm a doctor at Bellevue, a psychiatrist. Yeah. Listen, just keep him distracted. We're sending a few guys down <laughs> to get him. You stink, you nut job. <laughs> Thank you. Let's say what? hi to. Let's say hi to. Let's go to Ben in Boston. Ben. <laughs> you like that, huh, Ben? Ben. Yeah. Can, can you even see where the Falcon goes and picks up Tom Brady? We all just go. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be doing his own one-man show all, all day right. long. I think this guy enjoyed it. <laughs> ben, ben from Boston. Holy man, I gotta get there to Boston. Yeah. Uh, Any ideas? Uh, maybe taking it on the road. It's been on the road for the last three years, man. Really? So yeah. you're not just here in uh, New York. You'll be going other places. No, I, I, there's this thing called Clear Channel, which we, I'm sure we're all aware of. Yes, everybody is yeah, aware yeah. of. I'm going Clear to. Channel. Uh, at least with the Lord of the Rings show, I'm going to be going to South Africa and Singapore. And I've You're done... shitting me, man! I, I is really there good money in this? I don't. I haven't had. I haven't had another job for the last four years, man. Have you had to pay uh, Lucas anything? Oh yeah, I mean, like, the rights. I mean, yeah, you get a proper licensing agreement. Yeah, you don't do that. You can, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, that'll cost you. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's weird. Um, I, I really never intended for the show to go as it has, and I'm really uh -huh. glad that it has. What was it? Just kind of a hobby. No, it was a, I mean, I was working as an actor and mm -hmm. one day, like literally we, I wrote this comedy sketch and when I say it went really wrong, it went really, really right or really, really wrong because I didn't think people would be able to sort of keep up with it and right. people have been able to keep up with it. So this has kind of almost left my own hands. I find myself here, not intending to come here to New York yeah. to bring this here. But you know, it's uh, you know, kind of go bigger or go back home. And I mean, I'm I don't have a problem doing it. And going to franchise it out? No, I don't think so. Get some other actors uh, to do it, and you just sit home and pocket some cash. That would be nice. But uh, be... turn into Job of the Hut and lose my legs. That's yeah. it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why don't we uh, go to Steve in uh, Yellowstone? Steve in Yellowstone. Steve. Uh, hi, I just wanted to know if you had any type of a copyright problem when you were dealing with George Lucas like I've had sometimes on my website. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it is a copyright problem because it is, uh, you know, a matter of... Ramon, bring me someone with talent. What? what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about, you fucking what? retard? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, have fun in Yellowstone, buddy. Ramon. Maybe you can sit on, like, you know, uh, the old yeah, faithful yeah, and have it go up your fuck. ass, you stupid piece of shit. Ramon. <laughs> Wow. wow, man. I'm absolutely, you know, crushed down to my, my very foundations, I man. I just don't. This is so. amazing. All right. Thank you, Steve and Yellowstone. Hey, man. Hey, man. Good luck. A guy is successful Good taking up. something and using his talent to get out on stage and, and actually do the, And uh, Did you, uh, uh, you've, you've been an actor, you said? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean. Uh, so I, now you're finally doing something that's working. You're making my, and, and people yeah. just can't seem to, uh, deal with that. Steve. Well, at least not the people that are calling in here. God, man. No, I think it's pretty impressive. Steve. Ooh, something. You want to do another scene or? Ah, uh, no, no. I, that's fine, actually. Uh, I mean, not many of the scenes from the show really work purely on, on radio. Like, because a lot of yeah. it doesn't really all stick together. But I mean, like, mm -hmm. you get something like, you know, Ho, 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 she became a garba warpa, kawa wuki. Ho, 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 ho. Which is obviously, you know, Jabba. No, it's Princess Leia. <laughs> but, uh, you know. Of course. Yeah. I mean, there's scenes that people definitely recognize, and there's characters like, you know, people oh. recognize, right? Yes. And like, mm. Of course. Yeah. But, um, yeah, uh, it, it's weird, man. Like, you kind of you kind of have to see it on stage 
mm-hmm. in order to really get the the full idea of well, it. That's why it's a stage show and you don't have a CD out. Do you have a CD out? No, <laughs> not a CD or a DVD. And that's See? another thing, man. Like if uh, it's a weird thing with you know copyright material, you know, you can only do this in one medium live like that. If mm-hmm. you wanted to put a CD out, you'd have to pay Lucas more money. I, yeah, I don't think I could ever get the rights to do it. So. No? No, not really. And that's okay. I mean, uh, it's something I wouldn't want to franchise out because as long as I can do it, I'll continue doing it. Right. And I hopefully will not be a 65-year-old man, you know, like, the one-man Star Wars trilogy, you know, like, yeah, that, nattering it on stage. To that'd be a little rough. Listen to the screams of a person in Yellowstone National Park. You know, Sounds whatever. like you need yeah, some that, nah, that guy was, with the lungs. That guy was just an ass. Oh, well. Um, so what are the, what are the details? The show's here in New York, right? It is indeed. Yeah, it uh, plays every night at eight o'clock, except for uh, Wednesdays. Right now we have uh, matinees at three o'clock, and it's going to be changing the schedule up a bit. We'll still have the shows at eight o'clock every night, but we'll have a three o'clock uh, matinee on Saturday and Sunday. Mm-hmm. And you can uh, get tickets by calling Telecharge. Jimmy, you missed it. Well, you all right? Yes, I was trying to get some production stuff because I. Oh. <sighs> I'm yeah. It's always the way. Yes. Well, Charles, thank you very much. Oh, thanks for having me, guys. What for coming in. To, yeah, sorry about for, the goddamn phone calls. You were in 15 minutes, really? Jackasses. That's all right. Um, yeah. yeah, it's just production stuff that Ben was supposed to do and did not do. Uh-oh. Oh. Can you do, um... <laughs> can you do C- <laughs> Thank you. Can you do C-3PO? C-3PO. R2-D2, where are you? Yeah. <laughs> I pardon you. <laughs> Jesus. I pardon you. They could just go on and on. How about, um, yeah. I don't know all the characters. I was, I was out there yesterday. It was like a... R2? No, no, R2. Yeah, R2. Well, yeah. if you don't know the show, I mean, if you don't know the movies, it's... No, no, I saw the first, the first one, but I don't know any of the new guys. I do know R2 with my slide whistle. <laughs> yeah, right. see? You need a, you need a prop. <laughs> I feel like a prop sometimes. Oh, don't you sweat it. I won't. I yeah. like seeing a successful guy. Of course. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. All right. All Thank right. you. Charles Ross, one-man Star Wars show. And there he goes. There we goes should thing. take a break, I think, huh? Charles? Uh, we're going to take a break. We're going to regroup, and we'll continue with the Opie and Anthony show in uh, a few moments. Uh, yeah, yeah. we to continue in a couple of moments. What Why? happened? No audio. Oh, shit. What happened? Oh, was he... Fucking pissed. What? Why? Livid. No he, just, he just walked out, by the way. That wasn't a uh, take it easy. He immediately left. And he, yeah, just... Did he cut some liners? <laughs> he, no. <laughs> <laughs> he took off before his uh, crew here even knew that he was gone. He was already out the door, and they were oh, he left already. And they Someone followed him with the cell Wow, phone. is he pissed off. See what's wrong. Yeah. Someone that, who has balls, see what's wrong. Yeah. Uh, Hurry up, Hawks. See what's wrong. Kind of ask him, uh, you know, if, if everything went okay. Well, that stupid caller from Yellowstone left. pissed him off. <laughs> Steve from Yellowstone. <laughs> well, that Derek, creative little boy. <laughs> Steve from Yellowstone. <laughs> I sometimes have problems. Hello? No? I, I hey. thought we had somebody. What's the problem? Oh, wait. Here we go. Eric. Yeah. What's up? Hey. Hang on one second. Hey, before you guys go, can they talk to you one more time? About the lamp theater and everything like that for his, for his plug, because he didn't say the lamp theater and all that. He did. Yeah. The lamp theater? Can they talk to you one more time? Just uh, they wanna, We don't think it went well. We want to ask him why he left angry. Okay. Hold on. Charles, you're not mad, are you? Uh, no, it's just, uh... What happened? It's all right, man. No, what uh, happened? The, you... um, the theater is 130 West 44. <laughs> no, but the thing was, you like, you seemed like you left when you were mad. Uh, yeah, I know. I just, it, you know, it's just kind of shitty, the phone calls coming in, and I don't know. I kind of feel like it's an uphill battle, man. I, I was puking all yesterday, and I've been puking this morning. I'm really kind of sick, so it's not your fault. It's just me. Charles, the audience too. Charles, there's only three phone calls. I know, I know, man. Out of the three, we talk. Uh, that's no, not. It's that not bad. your guys' fault, man. I'm just being yeah. a big baby, so. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, but why are you being a baby? All right. It, uh, you're very talented, obviously, and the show's doing very well. No, it's going well, man. Are you, a, what kind a, of? Are you not sick like a flu or something? Are you? Yeah, I've had this. I've had the flu for like the last couple of days. Oh here, so. no. Yeah. Hope you didn't bring it in here. I hope I did. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's the, um... Charles, who... Are you mad at us, though? No, no. God, no, man. Who are Not you, at all. Who are no, you mad just, at? 
Uh, just the whole, the whole, you know, guys calling in and stuff like that. And yeah, like, the, we we get know. that though every day. We it, get people it happens, call up. We get all that too. Is, you know, I, I put, That's, you know, you do put yourself out there, and it's like I'm pretty easy to kick in the balls, and uh, I try try to always kibosh the people trying to kick me in the balls beforehand. Yeah, you know, and it's like that Steve the guy calls thing. every day though. Yeah, Steve you know? calls us and bashes Steve's us every an day. You, you should hear what he says about us every day. Steve in Yellowstone no. stinks, and, and uh, that guy Ben in Boston's awful. If you understand. What he's saying. They're like regular callers that we can't screen out that just call up and bash us and uh, our guests yeah. all the time. Yeah. That drives a hybrid car, for God's sake. Enough said. Yeah. Uh, I just, you know, when you when you feel sick and, you know, you, you try to put up. it out there, it's just, I don't know, man, it feels like an uphill battle. <laughs> 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 no, you did not. Oh, you scumbag. <laughs> Holy shit. He's talking about the uphill battle. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't. I gotta give the guy credit, though. I threw that entire poker chip thing at him, and he oh, didn't he even didn't flinch. Stop. He didn't. He didn't even miss a... <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even stop. Well, you not? can act like a man! <laughs> What's the matter with you? Why is it Eric calling back? Hopefully he's got a fist in his gum line. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just crunked. She had fucking mayonnaise leaking out of his teeth. <laughs> and shot to the mouth. Oh. Right now that dummy is trying to explain why, like, the phone hung up <laughs> and it's still showing the minutes are ticking. Like, no, I... Dude. Oh. Yeah, let's get him back on the phone. What happened? Are you kidding? Why'd he hang up on us? <laughs> okay. Eric, why did yeah, he... Yeah, the, the, the phone must have cut out or something. Ah, damn it. All right. Hold on. That wasn't me hanging up. No, oh, all right. Uh, we thought because right when that happened, we were like, "Uh oh, he's pissed." Yeah, we don't. Want, oh. No, we don't. We don't want you going away mad, and we want to give you the final word here. So, uh, Charles, Charles. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, Charles. So, what were you saying? Um, I don't know what I was. I guess it's just you you're know, saying you're feeling sick or something like that. And it's yeah. just about oh, where. Man, I've been, okay, I had to do like two shows yesterday, and it was like woofing in between the shows. Uh, I don't know. Everybody's got some kind of cold of some sort. No, it was something about an uphill battle, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you're yeah. easy to get to, I mean, and you're and you're working on that or something like that. What's that? You said something about, and it was, the thought kind of got cut off. That you, it's like you, you're easy to kick in the balls or get get to, and you feel oh, like, yeah. it's like I mean, an uphill like, battle. Try try doing this type of show here, right? And like you know, sometimes trying to maintain a sense of like feeling good about yourself. You know, it's, it's such a strange thing to be doing because what? like. <laughs> I can't be part of this. Uh, this wow. show stinks. <laughs> you, feel, oh. you feel good about yourself, Kachink. <laughs> you know, right now that's hard sometimes. <laughs> Click. <laughs> and right now, Eric is trying to explain why it once again cut off, and why the mouthpiece smells like the inside of a baby coffin. <laughs> God. Eric, what happened? He's, he came back in. He followed me in. He wants to come back in. Oh. And we've moved. All right. Okay. Right, no, 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 no. Let me get out of the studio first because i got to call again. Yeah. Um, you can tell him I want to... No, keep his hand away, away from that window. Okay. I know. Um, Where's Ben? Ben's in the back. Dude. Yeah, go back in. What the hell is going on? There he is. I don't know what's going on with the phone. Were you in the elevator that. area? No, I was going to the bathroom. I felt like I oh, no. That, puke. No. Why? Yeah. No, it's not oh, you guys blue? at all, man. Yeah, I've, I've had... On my days off, I got to look after my girlfriend and our two friends that came from Victoria to visit us, and they were puking, like, lying down on, like, the couch and on the bed, just barfing in bags and stuff, so... What's yeah. Victoria? Uh, Victoria? Canada? Yeah, British Columbia. Yeah. Oh, Okay. Where are you from up there? Uh, Victoria. Victoria? No, I live in Victoria, but I mean, I was born in 
uh, this place called Prince George, B.C., which, did you ever see the movie Strange Brew? Strange. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with uh, Rick Moran. That's and, all we know of Canada is through Strange, Strange Brew. Brew. Well, it was filmed in Prince George, B.C. Is where ah. I was born and where I kind of grew up until I was like 11 years old or something. And I watched... Oh, thank you. I'm not sure if they ever told you, but I'd watched the Star Wars trilogy like over 400 times before I was 11 years old. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah. It was just your thing. We didn't have television. We had a television. We had a VCR. But we didn't have cable. It was very cool when you were a kid. I mean, I I watched that movie, I can't even tell you how many times, too. Uh As a kid? I mean, sitting there, you had an opening scene. First time you ever saw it. It was the best thing ever. Yeah, I know. Of course. But, I mean, I put it on, like, sort of as background noise. Do you know what I mean? Really? In the morning. Just Wait, you just had no TV? (laughs) Did you get the whole movie memorized? Uh, no. Word no. for word? No. I doubt it. I doubt it. I mean, when I wrote this, though, it was going from memory rather than going back and watching the films and trying to oh, draw really? stuff out. Oh, really? Yeah. So there could be some inaccuracies. Oh, huge inaccuracies. Yeah. And they get people telling me that I've got this wrong or that wording wrong or something wrong. And it's like, well, who cares? And they're you probably know? dressed like Jedi with lightsabers in their yeah. hands when they tell oh, you yeah, this. Oh, yeah. I've met a lot of those people. You've been to the conventions? Uh, well, just to perform. I've never actually been to a convention yeah. outside of a... Scary people. Well, some, some, but... So a lot of these people have really normal jobs and normal lives yeah. too, right? Like they just they do normal things. Yeah. Except that this is their hobby. So True. well, you got a lot of action on the phones. I mean, they're just going crazy. Oh, great! We got a call coming in from Riskless, Montana. Well, let's do it. This is uh, Travis. 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 Hey, dude, why are they giving you such a hard time? I thought it was pretty good what you did. Oh, All thanks. right, good. All right, there you go. See, that's positive. I told I'm you. A fan of, I'm a fan of the movie. I mean, it's hard to find somebody that kind of knows everything about the movie, and everybody thinks I'm a geek, but I like the movie. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. People think go. I'm a geek, too. How old were you when you started, like, watching the movies and stuff? How old was I? Yeah. Uh, he said he uh, saw the movie 400 times before uh, he was 11, before I, was I think. 11. First time I saw it was in Waikiki. We used to live uh, between Waikiki and uh, Prince George. So the first time I saw it was uh, near the Waikiki Banyan, if you've ever been to Waikiki. <laughs> What? What? Did you just squeal? Ramon, no. Oh, it's this guy again. Did you just squeal off the road again, buddy? Ramon, Is this Steve? Tell this guy to <laughs> Ramon, This guy sucks. <laughs> black dick. Why do the screeners... He, no, this guy tricked us. The screeners can't dick, find man. out that that's not uh, Travis... Ramon, Star uh, Wars is a faggot. <laughs> All right, we get it. <laughs> Ramon, tell this guy Steve. Talk. Steve, please lose the phone number. Where do you live, man? Ramon, yeah. <laughs> tell this faggot that Wookiee not real. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! <laughs> the guy's cracking himself up. This is awesome. All right, Steve. <laughs> do you want my home number, fuckhead? Really? Yeah. What? You know, they're faceless people. I love it. Like message board people. They have no oh, face. No. They, <laughs> they love uh, uh, jumping oh, in and bashing, but, but they never want to confront anybody. Come down to the studio. I'll, we'll kick your ass. Yeah, why don't you come in the studio, buddy? Steve, Enough. Go what? find your boyfriend, Ramon, or whatever the hell. Why don't you come in the studio if you had balls? All right, there he goes. Jesus. Sorry about that, buddy. It's a daily battle on this show to deal with these assholes. Brian Clifton, what's up? Hey, this is Brian from Clifton Park. Hey, Brian. I saw him at Celebration 3. I loved him. I really did. Oh, okay. All this crap they're giving you is a bunch of bullshit. Saw the show? Very talented. I love the films. You know, what people do, and it's a a great film, uh, and, and I can't believe that people are... Or diss them like this. It's a bunch well, of jack-offs. You're always going to get it. Keep doing what you're doing. I saw you at Celebration 3. Keep it up. Cheers, Brian. I'm punching out. You're, you're always going to get the one or two. Uh, what they call the uh, the bad apples. So uh, what what is with Ramon? I don't get I don't know, Every time this uh, Steve guy calls, it's always about Ramon. We still don't know what it means. It's, uh, But he actually listens to the radio and then bothers to call in. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he does. Wow. He actually listens... And then calls into Bash. Is he like the like your sort of like sort of village idiot, but like sort of yeah, every day, every day, we every, day. every day, every day we gotta deal with his shit. Ramon, Ramon, who cares, Ramon? Uh, Dan in New Hampshire checking in. Let's say hi to Liddy. Liddy. Hey, hey, you doing? Hello. Liddy, what's up, Liddy? Why is everybody giving this guy a hard time? Liddy, you stink. 
Ramon. <laughs> Ramon. Darth Vader has AIDS. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Stop. Would you? Why do you call? Ramon. C-3PO should be molested. <laughs> Man. Wash what? my balls. He's got an. He's, he's Liddy. Liddy and Ramon? Like, what the Ramon hell? What? Liddy. <laughs> this is Liddy. He needs a. Ramon is going to be an awful producer. <laughs> he needs a writer, obviously. Oh you got no material, dude. Ramon! Why are Ryan says hiring that lazy bag of shit? <laughs> I don't even know what he's talking about. Alright. Wow. Thank you, Liddy. God damn. So he's like an honorary DJ, sort of like on the on the honorary the eye in the sky or something like that. Yeah. For some reason, he's very good at getting past the screeners. Let's go to the room Guys, part. Any more uh, uh, Steve from Yellowstone calls, and uh, you guys are done. I mean, check Jesus. The, check the caller ID. Yeah. Ben, don't we have caller ID? Ben, what's up? Yo, what's up? I I want him to do Yoda eating Princess Leia's ass. <laughs> Ramon. No, this was is that uh, him? This is somebody totally new. Yeah, do you do that, though? Seriously, if you, oh. if you do all the voices, do you mess mess, mess mess around with the voices a little bit? No, not do really. Do alternate scenes? Scenes? Well, no, no eating of Leia's ass. No. <laughs> but that would be great. Any I'm other like, movies that you have uh, in mind to uh I was thinking of Terms of this? Endearment, maybe. Terms of Endearment. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. How about, how about Blowing Ch Chewbacca? Blowing Chewbacca. All right. Let's, let's say, say look at the to, size of that thing. I think Star Wars: The Wrath of Khan. Uh, uh, Star Trek: The Wrath Star of Khan Trek, would probably be a, a good one. Good choice. Sonny Ferrelli, what's up? Hey, this guy's really good, man. Oh, Ramon. All right. All right. Yeah, hey, you know something? Uh, your book is doing an excellent job. What's his name, Ramon? <laughs> Punching out. That's not even Steve. I don't. What? I don't even get that one. All right, Frenchie. Hey, this guy is very good. Why is everybody giving him shit? Ramon. Hey, is that uh, the real Frenchie? Yes. And it's you like you it's like? It? Yes, I like him. He's good. Oh, okay. He does a good job. Come to my restaurant. Oh, yeah. plug your restaurant. Ramon, this guy sucks. <laughs> Ramon. <laughs> Ramon, bring this guy a self-inflicted gunshot wound. All right, plug. Uh -huh. I've, I've had it. <laughs> I have had it. Bring me a hybrid vehicle. <laughs> you really got to bring this guy on, man. Bring me a belly the size of a change purse. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look. Shave my arms. Alright, thank you, Frenchie. Suck it. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Jesus. All right. Well, Charles. Charles Ross. Charles, Man, again. Star Wars show. Again, thank you very much. Also, uh, I believe in the new year we're going to be opening up the, the One Man Lord of the Rings probably in the same space as well. So Right here in New York? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very cool. So, uh, Can you yeah. give us a little taste of that? Uh, sure. We want it. We need it. Must have the precious. Master is our friend. You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. I'm not listening. You're a liar and a thief. Nope. Murderer. I hate you. Where are you me? Him. Him. It was me. We survived because of me. Not anymore. What? We don't need you. Leave now and never come back. <laughs> Leave now and never come back. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty damn good. No, no more chips thrown at me though. This is good. That's uh, <laughs> well. What's up, Jimmy? <coughs> Did you get the? Um, yeah, he's getting the auction stuff all together. Yeah, okay. Cool. All right. Very good. Nightmare. All right. Charles did a great job for Thanks, us. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Feel better. All right. I will. I hope so. All right. Cheers. Oh. All right, why pay attention to to E Rock when we could talk about the mad scientist and Epstein? <laughs> That's what I was saying. Uh, it's hmm. it, it, the mad scientist. Where's Steve? Yeah, we need Steve because this is a collaboration. Oh. This was actually, I would say the credits would be it was created by Steve. <laughs> created by? Created by Steve C., written by Steve and Sam, and voiced by Steve and Stam. Stam? No, I said Sam. Oh, my Sam. God. I said Stam. <laughs> we Steve heard Sam. it. 
<laughs> you have a way of... Uh, it's amazing. A guy fucking just has a verbal slip-up, and we can't get to him fast enough. <laughs> Both Sam? <laughs> Jesus, what assholes. What fucking pricks we are, I know. And also, for the record, it's pronounced Epstein. Epstein. Oh, yeah. Epstein. Oh, okay. That's different. Yes. Anyone else creeped out that Steve grew a full beard in less than a week? <laughs> a little bad. No. Well, yeah, I already had most of it. I just had to grow a beard. You have a beard? No, I had, I had the sideburns and the Fu Manchu. The rest it's of it was just... fucking creepy that you could grow it that fast, though. You should see what's growing out of my ears. I got the, uh... <laughs> yeah, the fuck? <laughs> yeah, hair growing out your ears? It's awful. I think it's the Rogaine. I'm not really sure though. Oh really? I don't know. I mean, I'm trying. I'm, I got. I'm getting You're thinner. Using here. Rogaine? I'm I'm trying anything <laughs> because I'm getting that friggin' you know my uh, grandpa on my mother's side fucking Just spot say. up top. All right. So you pop, popping Rogaine on there? Absolutely. And mm. I don't know if it's if it's. I, I have no it's idea. Out your ear. Yeah, I don't know if it's coming out my ears and not on my head. Does the Rogaine work? Yeah. Uh, is, I'm just thinking that, not not that this is with you, but maybe <laughs> <laughs> but maybe, may, may, maybe the hair is falling off that part of the head because all those men's hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell them to push more gently. <laughs> Bunch of guys walking away from truck stops, shaking their hands, or hair falling off of them. Fucking kid wear a hat. <laughs> uh, wow. Does the rule game work? Uh, if... I, I think I think it actually works in, in, like in, in terms of... of Hindering the process from it like falling out more because I haven't lost any more, but you know, in terms Keep of what you got, more, yeah, I, I hear as soon as you stop using it, then it starts falling out again. I it's fucking hope one not. of the problems. Yeah, oh, that's what they say. No, it's true. And it all flies out. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Rogaine is glue. For no, your you skull. have to use it forever. They say <laughs> really, or else, yeah, or else the, when you stop using it, mm -hmm. you'll just fall out. Yeah, that's great. How do you put it on? It's this. Uh, it's like it's like out moose. of a cock. Yeah, it's, like, <laughs> it's like moose. You gotta rub it in your hair oh, after okay. you take a shower. Yeah. You can't put it on. Like if you if you can't you can't have anything else in your hair. You can't have like like gel. And Why you got hair. hair coming out of your ears? Because I'm a fucking hairy Lebanese Italian mess yeah. <laughs> with genetics that rival that of a fucking ape. <laughs> I mean, look at this shit. I shave my arms every other day, and I've got, you know, growth coming out like... Do you? Yeah. Why would you shave every other day? Because I'm narcissistic a, and vain. I and do I, a shave down every once in a while, but... You are like... A, the, 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 I never noticed, like, how much of a chore that must be for you, is all that hair. awful. It's just constantly trying to trim back... Yeah, something that's trying to engulf you. Yeah, exactly. It's like trying to. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Jordy Verrill in Creepshow <laughs> with the fucking grass growing on him. <laughs> it's like bushwhacking through the Amazon. <laughs> it's really. Uh, it's, I don't like body hair, well, but I've been cursed with a lot of yeah. it. He's tired of trackers making like white casts of his footprints. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't have that big feet. No. All right. Well, we got uh, the mad scientist in studio. And Epstein. 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 What's this about? Epstein. Stam. Fuck it. Well, Stam. 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 How much of a setup did you already give him? I just nothing. I mean, okay. I just just gave the him names, the writing credits, just the right. Okay. Um, think of uh, w the professor and Beaker from. Um, from the Muppets. That would be a good way to... Uh, mm -hmm. You've got a professor who's, 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 who's really a genius, who thinks of these... Uh, he's a scientist, not a mad scientist, but he thinks of these inventions that would um, solve the world's problems. Like, oh. like, But he only makes one of them. He's sweet and naive. He's sweet and naive. And his, and his, his, uh, his assistant, Epstein, is well-spoken... Uh, particularly well groomed, uh -huh. and uh -huh. and as far as the way he's dressed, he wears a uh, half of a Captain Caveman uh, outfit that's a little too short on him. Very snug. <laughs> Another homoerotic Ramon bit. <laughs> <laughs> and spends his time, and Epstein spends his time sitting Indian style on the ground. Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> uh, spends his time uh, sitting Indian style on mm -hmm. the ground. Uh, Picking up his massive testicles and dropping them <laughs> repeatedly. Well, I was thinking over break. Well, let me let me jump in here. Well, <laughs> that we need. I was thinking maybe we should start like preparing more for this radio show. And after hearing the last two minutes, <laughs> I, I think it. we're just going to stay the course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's give it a listen. It may be. Uh, uh, I know. I know. Sometimes how are you going to describe that? Yeah. You know. 
All right. Anything else you want to add? I don't why he'd pick up his balls uh, and drop them. But. Well, Epstein, as well-spoken as he is, he has certain problems that causes him to focus on his two favorite hobbies, which are playing with his testicles and the second you'll probably yeah. figure out by the, the end. The second you'll figure out right. by the end. This is the debut, Wait. so I'm, okay, I'm not saying... It's debut sometimes. Be. The first episode of season one of some right. of the most popular shows on television. We're awful. Uh, we're we're awful. awful, but then people just kind of uh, grew to love the characters. Sam and I have committed to making more of these. I think All right. Six episodes, maybe a purchase of six episodes. <laughs> wow. Six so, episode uh, run. Yeah. By the way, uh, his feedback is finally working. Tyler from uh, Columbus writes, what a mess. Did Steve's dad shoot turnbuckles off of wrestling rings? <laughs> 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 a George the Animal Steel reference. Yeah. Nice. All right, here we go. The mad scientist and uh, Epstein. Epstein! Epstein! Look and see what I've concocted. This conveniently sized apparatus will transform any ordinary tap water into a combustible fuel to be used in automobiles. It will revolutionize energy consumption as we know it. Handle it gently. It's the only one of its kind. Quite impressive. It's most compact. Perhaps it would fit in my tiny? No! Epstein! No! No, Epstein! No! It's pointy. It's just one of a kind. Oh, don't pour grease all over it. It's going in! Epstein! It's almost there! It's in my tiny! Right. Back to the drawing board then. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> what the fuck? What's that? You do realize you're gay, right? <laughs> Wait, where's the testicle dropping? <laughs> yeah. How did that get? That was well, part, that was part of the setup. It just hasn't been revealed yet. I'm just giving uh, the character part of background. Who he is as a character. And what was a... the uh, What was the thing that he was putting in mine, Heine? <laughs> mine, Heine. He's German. I see. They're no, I they're, they're, yeah. they're they're German. No, not both. Or, not or, both or, of no, them. no, not both of them. Not both of them. Um. I it was very How come they both kind of sounded German? Yeah, we got to work on the... Uh, uh, Jane Doe from Jersey, you know, this is almost as good as Hey Masturbator, so... Hey, you guys might <laughs> be was a hit something. back when <laughs> Macarena was... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Who said Hey Masturbator? What the fuck is that? That was an old song parody. Oh, we don't, <laughs> we don't know, Jimmy. Don't acknowledge that. Was it awful? Uh, Stephen S. from Bayshore writes, great. Wow, and I like the confidence to write more stuff. Ah... Oh. Uh, <laughs> I like, the, I like the hammering sounds. Oh, yeah, it sounds me. like you got a sound effect, uh, uh, a bunch of sound effects, and decided, let's make a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Epstein rules, Fast Freddy oh, writes. Oh, and he right. writes more. So, no. Oh. Some people. So, well, you don't bite your tongue or anything, right? I don't know. I've never been tased. I don't want to be tased. I would. I, would, I don't know I'm what this taser tempted, is. Man. Are you? Yeah, because, I mean, again, the cops all have to get tased, I think, right? When they, when they become certified. Jimmy, would you really do it? It's possible. I, I, I don't have the nuts to do it, man. No way. I wouldn't no want way. to uh, be tased. I want to know how Oof. long you feel bad for. The, the they seem to recover pretty quickly after the uh, shock stops. Oh, oh I thought we had Steve, uh, our head, resident well, expert coming. What's wrong, Steve? No, I well, I, I've been tased in SNL no, I just before. Thought I, they tased I honestly. My, okay, I got it. No, Sorry. go ahead. No. Why am I here? No, I don't know. You do <laughs> I'm to not. imitate and make fun of. Exactly. I, I'm very uh, happy that you didn't get brain damaged, by the way. From, from that incident over the weekend, I'm, uh, it's good to see that you're walking and you're doing fine now. But what are we talking about? We're happy that you're healthy, no. and we're glad like that. you have to go back to Montreal and explain to everybody. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. I was once tased on my bare bottom <laughs> because I was an assless chaps causing a scene. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy, for getting it. Oh. <laughs> Outside of the ramrod, I was causing a disturbance. Oh, they tased me repeatedly. <laughs> the Thank nutcracker you. suite. I was in my high heels. Yes, <laughs> I was. I was actually just coming in to stop you from saying we should get someone in here to tase oh, Jimmy. Oh, stop being a party pooper! Why not? Because we've tried before and we can't do it. What? Why? If I... It's it's just you'd, you'd have to go through it's that whole legal. Are they gonna test your heart and stuff? No I one dies know. from a good tasing. I don't, I don't know about that. It's the beating you get afterwards.
Yeah, what if I'm a reporter? Suffocating. Oh, maybe we can get it work. Jimmy working. Norton here on the beat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Steve proved today that he's the worst producer Opie and Anthony have ever had. I oh. blind okay. CC, blind CC, blind CC, fake name, fake name, fake name. You, CC, uh, CC, CC, CC. You know, you know something? I don't think. Go you, F yourself. I don't think you have Steve's back. <laughs> yeah. His big, that. luscious, hairy Lebanese back. <laughs> Thank you. I, I don't think, no, the actual thing is, I don't think you have Steve's hips. <laughs> I don't think you have your chin what in does? Steve's back. Yeah, I, I, I don't have his Tyrannosaurus stomach. does. I don't have his stomach either. <laughs> I was tased <laughs> in my buttocks. I was screaming, we're here. Well, I don't want to say, but it, <laughs> it, it We're rhymed. fabulous. Get used to us. We're here. We're, well... You know, it was chilly, and my buttocks were red from the cold in my assless chaps. <laughs> and they dazed me in my cold red buttocks. Slipping out of my high heel shoe. Uh, what's, yeah. what's wrong with you, Steve? I had received a good spanking in the ramrod. The bars got tangled in my hair. It's very hairy. Yes, I have a Lebanese hairy hiney. <laughs> They had to send me with a weed whacker to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one that wears assless chaps, and it doesn't look assless. That's right. Peter attacks me with green paint. <laughs> <laughs> no fur. No fur. I said it's mine, silly. <laughs> They're like, you're wearing the fur of an incompetent monkey. We can see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh, Steve. Good old Steve. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I bother coming, and you yeah. guys know everything once, already. Once you run away. All right. All right. Back to and the. That's how you executive predict. <laughs> yes, <course>. that is. <laughs> so we're doing a little Oscar moments because we had uh, some success with our Grammy moments. Uh, Juno was a massive movie this past year. Is it good though? I was gonna watch it in the hotel, and I, I don't. I don't. I enjoyed it. That's the one with that cute girl from uh, X Men. Yeah, she was really funny. Yeah, she absolutely was uh, very funny in that movie. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, we have uh, Roland and Steve C singing the Juno song. Yes. So if you've seen this uh, movie, you know, you know the scene where they're just kind of sitting down on the stoop, singing to each other. Mm -hmm. You know, the young couple. The young couple where, uh, you know, she had to give away her, her kid. Uh, I was going to say it until I realized the title wasn't Jew. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Can I just say? I'd like to induct myself into the uh, category of first bomb of the week. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. <laughs> That was, I'm surprised Jimmy didn't start vomiting again. <laughs> nothing would come out. I dry, <laughs> <laughs> dry heave, just like nothing came out of me. Well, it was funny because you could almost see Anthony's finger pointing up, like Jew, Jew, semicolon. Ah, uh, he tried to sell it though. No, yep. you almost got it done. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, <laughs> that'll stick around with me for a while. <laughs> Here's an Oscar moment: the Juno song. Larry the Cable Guy, Juno, is joining the program. I think within minutes. Is he here yet? Oh, he is here? All right, Larry the Cable Guy joins us next. But first, the Juno Oscar moment. The Opie and Anthony Show presents Oscar Moments, memorable scenes from Academy Award-nominated films. Today's Oscar moment comes from the film Juno. Your part-time lover and a full-time friend. The monkey on your back is the latest trend. I don't see what anyone can see in anyone else. But you. I kiss you on the brain in the shadow of a train. I kiss you all starry eyed, my body swinging from side to side. I don't see what anyone can see in anyone else. But you. Stay tuned for more Oscar moments presented by the Opie and Anthony Show. Hey, uh, Charlie uh, Batts from Richmond uh, Hill, he writes, Oh, there are gay singles banner ads on the instant feedback page. What the fuck is Steve doing? Is there really? Yes. Wait, wait a minute. I need them up there. <laughs> Hold to on, look at, uh, Went to look at them and click them. We might be getting off you. Where's the gay singles ads? Where's the feedback? How do you find the feedback? All right. That's uh, Steve. He'll be like, you click this, click this, click this. It takes you right there. <laughs> what do we got, Dan? Why don't you talk it through here? 
What do we got? Well, it seems to be some sort of rotating banner ad. All right, so click this refresh. Why the fuck? And we'll get the next banner ad. ad. There's mate. Mate something. Mate one. Mate one. That's 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 for anybody. Right. That's Anna Nicole. And why, Chavis? You've noticed this too. Just no. I just. I just know that Steve's a whore and he'll sell ad space to anyone. But why? Yeah, but, but he's on his way. But why are those ad things on instant feedback? I don't. The fuck? Because he'll put ads. I on need every a, re- page. a revenue stream. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes Steve. Here he is. Hello. But the ads on the instant feedback. Hey, Rich, you're officially safe. So enjoy. All right. Enjoy being on the other side now. Good morning, Steve. <laughs> Steve, why the pop-up ads? There's on, no pop-up ads, is the- there? <laughs> I see I see banner no, ads. There's no pop-up ads. They're just ads that pop up. Okay. <laughs> it's it's banner ads, yes. Fast Freddy's saying those gay ads have been there for, for months. Yeah. And there's gay ads. What's the gay ads all about? Gay ads? There's no gay ads. There's ads for, I don't know, whatever company is... It's a it's a rotator, so whoever whatever they decide to put in there is what they put in there. Oh, the uncomfortable snore. Ah, is it? Um, ah, well. Uh, hey, whatever they put in, they put in. I don't care. That, that's not a that's not a. Tell. So they could put like an Al Qaeda message in there. Well, you know, no, no, not an Al Qaeda like message, but you know, it's usually no. uh, see naked pictures of uh, Paris Hilton, which is what it is. I think. Yeah. All right. Well, someone's saying here it is. It's wait. It's on the you feedback has been sent page. Okay. All right. Send the. Uh, oh, send so us when the feedback you send the feedback, it it nails you up, yeah. right up the ass. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. Everyone's Ooh. saying that Chester's liver is in. It's it says gay? meet thousands of gay singles in your area. Does it really? I have thousands. No idea. I want thousands of gay singles. <laughs> there it is. Uh, oh, well, Fast oh, Freddy's writing. Wonderful. It's on the feedback page because us feedbackers are a bunch of queers. Oh, <laughs> there it is. And there's a uh, topless gentleman. <laughs> Does it really? On, uh, yeah, there. And he's, he's flexing a little bit. Well, I will look into it. I had no idea that there were gay ads. Sign up free. But it's your website. How would yeah, you I know. not know? I want to be a macho. Holy shit, that's a gay ad. It says meet, yeah, uh-huh. I got it right here. Meet yeah. a thousand, a thousands of gay singles in your area. Sign no up shit. Free. True something. Good acting, Steve. Yeah. Much better than Voss. Yeah. <laughs> Holy no, shit, a- that is a gay ad. Yeah. How did that get there? Yes, you're right. I'm, I'm officially out. <laughs> Are you really? Congrats. Yeah. Are we supposed to get you a cake or something? Mm. Um, what is protocol? Yes, on this type fudgy of the penis. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> fudgy the unclipped whale. <laughs> See, he's trying to like combat this by doing you yeah, doing himself. But, but no, there's, right. there's really no way to combat. Either I dive in headlong or I get angry. Getting angry just takes enormous amounts of energy, so I'm not going to get angry about it. I'll mm. just dive in headlong and continue yes. with the pummeling. Headlong, indeed. <laughs> no, it's really creepy that the listeners took what a years to figure out that this was going on. Yuck. All right, lots of uh, controversy going on during the commercial break. We're trying to do this uh, this bit in the near future. What? Give me that sheet. I think we're trying to do it a week from uh, Thursday. Toasty. Something like that. Oh, a week from tomorrow, right? Okay. Mm. Next Wednesday, we're doing coin cleavage. Coin cleavage. Twenty five hundred dollars up for grabs from Bodog. We love the people at Bodog. First prize fifteen hundred. Ah, whatever. Uh, ladies, bring a friend, male or female. Get topless and hold your boobs together. Your friend pours dimes into your cleavage. Whoever holds the most dimes wins. Mm. They'll win the rest of the cash. Okay. Uh, details on opianthony.com. Cash prize courtesy of Bodog. But uh, Travis is saying that uh, it's the worst promo he's ever heard. Really? Yeah. And now it's very awkward because Steve, who made the promo, is right behind I Travis. don't have it. Awkward for everybody. And while now Steve just hit uh, Travis in the back of the head. That's weird because now they got to hold the coins in their cleavage. So what's the advantage? Big tits, obviously. Uh, Travis, what's your problem with Steve's promo? Well, aside from, Sorry, aside from them... From the promo saying to email me, it gives virtually no information about the contest, and that's not really a promo. Oh, we have... I, I know what he's talking about. 
We can just Sorry play about it. it. Just play it. Oh, whoa. Just play it. As Steve takes my head. Give me your headphones. Shut up. Get back Go ahead, Dark. Ladies, want to win some money from the Opie and Anthony show without exposing your open asshole to a studio audience? Now you can use your boobs to win money. It's the Coin Cleavage Contest. You're going to hold your boobs together. We're going to pour dimes on you. Whoever holds the most dimes wins $2,500 courtesy of BodogLife.net slash poker. When you want to play poker like a pro, go to BodogLife.net slash poker. Want in on the contest? Email Travis at FoundryMusic.com. That's Travis at FoundryMusic.com. Must be legal female contest with U.S. resident 18 or older. Contest runs 218 to 225 Subject to official rules at FoundryMusic.com. See official rules for price descriptions and complete details. Void prohibited. Wow, they cut the shit out of that. Did they? Who's they? Aren't you the boss? No, 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 dude. It's uh, shit. No, no, no. no. It's, it, there's like two the promos that we have to... It. We had to... Um, there's two promos we got to run. One has to run in sales inventory, and that's that one. The other one is the, the one we have to run ourselves, and and that one is obviously not you know fucking cut yet. So that's the fucking one that has the 14 sales disclaimers in it, which offers up no information. We'll recut it. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> it just always has an excuse. <laughs> yeah, it does. If I didn't have an excuse, it'd be just silly. Steve, we're trying to brand Opie and Anthony, so like we got to drive traffic to Opie and Anthony first of all. Yeah, right. Foundry Music, you know. All right, I'll change the that, promo. That, that'll that's change all the promo. well and good. That's your thing, but Opie and Anthony is. How come they email addresses like at opie and dot com? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We they don't fucking. I have to clear the the email boxes out. Foundry was a you know good good starting place. Yeah, no problem. Good I'll jump change off it. point. Now we need. That's fine. Opie and Anthony. All right. Yeah, and uh, no gay banner ads on, on that one either. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know about the gay banner ads, so I will. Yeah. I'll deal with that. <laughs> what is your it's site? Best. <laughs> You don't know about the gay banner ads? Yeah, there's 24 hours in a day. I can allocate that's you know, like, so much no, that's energy bu- towards... You no, know. that's bullshit. Cause no, like, it's not bullshit. We do a radio just... show every day, and if, if like all of a sudden there was like some kind of commercial for gay singles, trust me, I would know. <laughs> and you know what? I don't even listen to the commercials when we go to break, because yeah. we're trying to get other things done. But I would certainly know if they if were there advertising... Was a gay, yeah. Some kind of gay thing. Gay lube. Uh, when we were not lying Ass, on the show. Asshole lube or something. Ass to mouth lube, whatever oh, it would nice. be. <laughs> now I'm aware of it. Now it'll be fixed. All right. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Jimmy, anything? Just enjoying my tuna fish. Why would you eat fish? Why wouldn't I? Steve, Steve. No, he's not. I don't no, know, because you, you have your problem with fish uh, Valentine's Day. Steve's angry. Is he? Yes. Why is he angry? I don't know, actually. Now, if we bring him back in, we get the real Steve. Steve I would like to know why watch, he's angry. Watch how this works. Steve. <laughs> that was the, uh, I'm trying to get out of the situation, but now we bring him back. And I want to ask him. I'm curious. It, now it gets good. Why are you angry? Why are you angry? You look angry. I'm, actually, um, you know what? We, <laughs> I told you. This is, this, is, right. is, this is textbook there radio. There he goes. You, you bring the guy back, and you're guaranteed to hear a rant. Go ahead, Steve. Get it off your chest. I was in the production room because apparently I don't do enough production. I've now been called out three fucking times <laughs> and completely derailed my train of thought. So the next time somebody bitches that there's not enough Steve B- Steve production on the air, it's because I keep getting my fucking ass interrupted uh, to do this bullshit. Well, it's, so yeah, yeah. no, and it's not legitimate. It's let's 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 fuck with Steve. Let's bring there's him this in. There's gay banner ads on the instant feedback. I didn't that's fucking legit. know about it. That's now legit. I know about it. Now it'll get fixed. It's a, not, it's a stupid. But that's, but that's how fucking, is that not legitimate yeah, though. That's, like, that's, a that's real certainly question. a legitimate uh, why, why concern. Is, it was brought up. Now it's brought up again. It'll get <laughs> fixed. It wasn't legitimate. It's, Jimmy it's, just killed you. That, but that's like, like, that is going, legitimate. But that is legitimate. All right, fine. There's it's a, gay banner ads on the instant feedback. <laughs> I'll get them we're off the instant feedback. supposed to be like feedback. a guy show. Mm-hmm. Like yes. we're all about chicks and their tits, right? Are any of the rotating ads uh, right, AJ? Poopy nude? <laughs> do they show? Uh, uh, I certainly hope not. If do they, they are, show then... big hard cock. No, they wouldn't do that. No. no. And by the way, someone's calling me out. Fast Freddy. Uh, yeah, those Louis C.K. Bobby uh, Kelly ads aren't gay at all. Oh, uh, we addressed that. Totally. It was funny for a little little thing, but now it's uh, it's uh, it's enough. Enough. Just like calling me out of the studio. Enough. I'm actually trying to get something done. So well, Jimmy, you know, all right, it's getting fixed. <laughs> I'm blaming me for. I don't give a shit. 
I'm <laughs> done. Oh, oh, all right. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, if I Everyone's have a problem, on, I'll always let Steve know, know if I have Everyone's on edge today, but that was a legitimate concern. It's getting fixed. That's it's getting fixed. One. I could actually make a phone call and get it fixed, or if you want to stop me 13 steps into the other room and call me back in the room. Yeah. All right. Oh, all right. Yeah, you should understand one, that two. dragging uh. you out of the production room is actually good for the radio show. Exactly. We just, we just right. made something out of this okay. horse shit. Well, the thing that I was working on is now going to take a little bit longer. Well, it's all right. what is it? It's a secret. That means nothing. Oh, my God. Thanks. No. Thanks, the, Earl. The recording no. of the Sistine Chapel. No, it's right. actually going to flog to somebody off. else into homosexuality, but I'm not oh, going to. It's yes. the remake of Tubular Bells. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. All right. Whatever. Because that's very involved piece of music. One, and, two, three. Uh, hold on. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. Hey, Steve! You got <laughs> I, I got fifteen steps, and he called me. Again. <laughs> oh. He's losing his mind. Yes, uh, he's uh, angry. I don't know why he was angry. I don't think that was crazy to say. No, he's angry. That's fine. That's textbook radio, though. Invite the person back in. You're guaranteed to get away. Five times. Yeah. I'm busy. Uh, It's Steve's birthday, everybody. and uh, Of course it is. How could you not see that? And, Sam, I just want to, you know, uh, 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 what? I want to uh, 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 congratulate you on uh, the fine uh, decorating well, Commend job. him. Yeah, commend you on he the He has fine done an amazing job. Thank you. I just it's, wanted to, you know, make sure we were all celebrating today. It's a yeah. big day. It, is it? We can't, we can't even do that right. What do you mean? The email went out yesterday that uh, it's Steve's birthday today. Yeah. And Sam, uh, of course, had a reply with some sarcastic crap. What? Saying, you know. <laughs> That's what he does. <laughs> basically, he said something like, it's lucky me. I got the job of decorating the studio for Steve's birthday tomorrow, <laughs> which is now today. Yeah. And all morning as we're in the office, like Steve's trying to get into the studio because he's got stuff to set up for the show. And and everyone's like, oh, you can't go in there yet, Steve. So Steve knows something's going on, and he's not stupid. Yeah. It's his birthday, right? All that. <laughs> and so I'm thinking, what? He's not stupid. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not stupid. Know, actually, what are they doing in there? <laughs> What's going on? So I'm going to sneak a peek. So when it was time for us to get into the studio, I'm I'm picturing a display. Of epic proportions for yeah. Steve's birthday. Well, has Steve seen this yet? No. No, he has not seen this yet. <laughs> no, it's... Uh... He has not been allowed in the studio, Jimmy. And I'm thinking, wow, they, the boys must have went all out. I mean, yeah. Steve's been with the radio show off and on for 10 years. I so. would think huge amounts of uh, balloons. Oh, yeah. Rubber balloons, mylar. Yeah. Streamers. Mm -hmm. Crepe paper. Sure. Some crepe paper. Uh, some, <laughs> some, some breakfast food. Maybe yeah. some birthday cake. Maybe maybe bagels with candles in them. Something. Something yeah. festive. Big signs and yeah. just a very big a party atmosphere. And the best part is Steve can't go in the studio. Steve's like all anxious because now he's excited that people are thinking about him. So he's yeah. thinking, I can't wait to see what the guys would do for me yep. to show their appreciation on my fine birthday. Thank God the people on Pal Talk are able to look in uh, and look behind me and just see how festive <laughs> all these decorations are. Uh, they're all over the place. Well, uh, boy, is he going to be disappointed. <laughs> As I look around the uh, studio, first of all, yeah. you have to look around a lot just to try to find something that might be... You have to look in, in one direction. Anywhere else you look, you don't see anything. Right, well... Oh, no, you got... Well, well we got that? one, two, three. We got four, five. We got five pointy birthday hats for Steve. Yay. We got the worst noisemakers ever that, that are left over. From one out of ten work. These are these are left over from New Year's. My noisemaker has asthma. <laughs> oh, I like the little thing. Shooka, shooka. The little sparkly, like, yeah. like, little hairs on the end. They're really cute, like a little New Year's Eve thing. I think they're three. Oh. You, there you go. Don't keep blowing the noisemaker. Why? Kenny's going to run in here and go, don't waste it. Yeah. There's plenty of birthdays oh. that we need this for. I thought we were going to have to dump out of that line. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. I almost the passed out trying to get noise out of this thing. I hear this in my head <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that you're just trying to carry on a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> 
Dude, when I, my girlfriend talks, I just see her <laughs> mouth moving out here. <laughs> Dude, that's that's based on that's based on my bit. What bit? Remember at F. H. Riley's four hundred New York Avenue in the heart of uh, Huntington Village. Bitcourt, Bitcourt. No, he knows it because he was. We were both doing it, but after Jimmy's New Year's Eve show, we went to my brother's fine restaurant, and listeners were coming up, and we all had noisemakers for uh, for New Year's, and they were just babbling. I love our listeners. Uh, most of them know that, but I don't love the ones that that talk about the same crap over and over again. So they're leaning over the table to to talk about the same crap. And actually, they were, they're they trying to talk to Jimmy because it was his big night after his big New Year's Eve show. Yes. And just as they're leaning in, it's loud in the restaurant to begin with, and they're leaning in to say something to Jimmy. <laughs> well, Great. Thank you. But it really was loud, and she kept trying to tell me like she enjoyed the show, and he was probably four inches from her face. <laughs> <laughs> I was really, I'm actually embarrassed. <laughs> and just per, and she's uh, she's thinking I'm just trying to celebrate New Year. She has no idea. I'm just waiting for her to open her mouth every single time. Oh, <laughs> Why God. can't I do this? Uh, you can't blow so hard. Anyway, <laughs> it's a great it's a great bit though. Unfortunately, you can only break out this bit uh, during New Year's every year, so no, or, I, or a big birthday party. Yeah, like Yeah, you this. can't just carry a noisemaker around to no. make the bit happen. That's yes, silly. Can. Huh? I do. Ooh, you yeah. do. I want to be on the noise. He's like the noisemaker guy on the news. Like they always have the special interest uh, stories. Human yeah, interest. yeah. And I'll be the one that brings joy to a small town by blowing my noisemaker all day in the middle of the town square <laughs> <laughs> till they kill you. <laughs> yeah. They come to see him blow. <laughs> <laughs> He's the village noisemaker, and he's making noise for the people. <laughs> A little boy at his noisemaker. Yes, I'm four oh. years old, standing there in my own waist. Just you. <laughs> yeah. So we got the pointy hats. We got some noisemakers. Uh, you know, big celebration for Steve. And then we got a like a sign that's draped that says "Happy Birthday," but you got to be about ten feet from it to read it. Yeah, and it's all, there's only one because it's a bit tiny. We have a huge window here in New York City that overlooks Midtown, and the sign takes up maybe one forty eighth of the window. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing. It, it's, a, it's so tiny you, you don't even know it says "Happy Birthday." You can't see it. It gets lost in the window. So you can't even really see it. And then, of course, because Steve is uh, bisexual, we got a um, <laughs> what? What are you giving him credit for? <laughs> Just figure it was the safe way to say homosexual. I mean, you, know. <laughs> you know, there are some people that because of our shenanigans and antics on this very program, as far as Steve goes, right. actually think Steve is gay. Yeah, lucky him. <laughs> he doesn't have to try as hard. They're, they're all just people. They're all just winking at him. I've talked just, to people that actually think Steve is gay. And, and he's happy because he's bi, so it, it works <laughs> out for everybody. Who like boys and men. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so we got what? A blow-up uh, guy doll with a big you-know-what, and uh, and there you go. And what is, is that a card for Steve? Yeah, it's a card from the staff. And you also didn't notice that that uh, happy birthday sign is a Transformers happy birthday sign. How can he tell? It's no, too I tiny. can't see anything. There's uh, tiny little transformers. So let's uh, bring in Steve. Of course, Steve's not ready to come in because why would he be? That would take some thinking. I'm uploading part. to Foundry. Right. We I, just I, talked yes. about for 20 minutes, and I bet upload, now. Upload, All right, here he is. Steve. Upload, scroll, scroll. Happy birthday. There it is, Steve. This is what the guys Look get all around. Oh, Isn't that something? This is uh, basically what the guys think of you. This is how yeah. important you are in their brains. Yes, I, I, I realize, you know. I was thinking to myself uh, last night, not to not to make too much of a big deal out of it, but you know, I've 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 had catered breakfasts come in. I've yeah. seen, I've gotten birthday cakes, personalized birthday cakes for these guys, tranny cakes, you know, whatever works for different people's birthday. And I thought, you know what, I got to give it to Steve. He does make sure he does the right thing. Yeah, he he caters the free breakfast on Fridays every once in a while, and he does take care of these guys, and he takes them out to lunch every once in a while to tell them they're doing a good job. And this is what they do in return for your yeah. birthday. Well, I so, didn't know it was your birthday, honestly. I didn't know. No, I, 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 oh, it's not what? Hey, the young Sam? To be fair, there might be uh, some more stuff at the other studio where we didn't have to worry about cleaning up so quickly. <laughs> oh, okay. As in, get the interns to get to <laughs> Wayne Reed and get some crap done yeah, immediately. That's exactly what that means. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm cake? not stupid, Sam. Where's Steve's cake? <laughs> Yeah, where's this cake? Well, ice cream cake uh, places aren't open this early yet. 
Well, why didn't we get it yesterday? We do have a you know a fridge here because we wanted it to be a super surprise, so it'll be <laughs> <there> later. <laughs> we can't. Good recovery, Sam. <laughs> we a can't. super surprise. We can't shake Sam. No. And did we get him a little gift from the staff? We think that is. It's not free. <laughs> it's a card. And, no, and, and, it's a, a blow up doll. It's a blow up oh, doll. Yeah, a no. male. It's a not even like a tranny one. No, it's it's a man blow up doll, uh, anatomically correct. Yeah. Uh, ready for action, and the card is actually resting on it. Oh. It looks like Latka Gravis. The hair. What is with the tongue? Ew! That looks like a clam <laughs> coming well, out of uh, is the, the mouth. Is tongue something you guys had to put in, or did that? No, that's a very special. It's not a cheap blow up doll. It vibrates. Different parts of it vibrate. Does it? Uh, you can wear the boa yourself. Oh. You can take the boa off. Of oh, and look, it's got authentic, uh, what they used to call authentic Greek features. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does it, oh, look, it plugs look into at, something. How do you look use the... the <laughs> aw, I mean, awful. Can you even say the word? The awful... Let's just say uh, the region is awful. Yeah, the awful hairdo. Let's just say that. That oval, it's an oval of hair. And what yeah. Is, what is... Yeah, what's with the tongue? How do you use that if there's a tongue there like that? Yeah, I, I, it looks like it's got, it, it, well, it's the equivalent of a headphone a, a headphone jack for an iPod yeah. plugging into its chin. Okay, so uh, it do, is that just supposed to uh, deliver some type of, yeah. um, I don't know, uh, it, tongue it, motion? I guess. Because I don't think you could fit anything else in there with that big tongue taking up all the room. Sam, did you have to shop for this? No, well, we, uh, the, we, we sent out... Pat Duffy to make sure we found the very best in uh, oh, yeah. male dolls. Oh, but that, how come blow up dolls always look like they're singing opera? <laughs> oh, only, the, oh. only the best male doll for uh, Steve there. Yeah, really. That tongue right. vibrates. Yeah, let's plug it in. Oh, it does. Vibrate for Steve. Well, what do you plug it into? Yeah, what do you plug it into? That's what I'm not very clear on. No, Maybe I, you do plug it into an iPod. I no idea. Pat Duffy would have Duffy. to find the instructions or figure it out himself. Maybe you do plug it into an iPod and it, it moves along with whatever with music the, with you're listening to. Oh, wouldn't that be sexy? Mm, no. What? It's huh? got a, a painted mullet, too. Yeah, it's just awful. Uh, Pat, uh, were you embarrassed to buy this thing? Yeah, there was, uh, it was the worst store ever. Wow. There was buddy booths and it was terrible. Oh, yeah, how long were you in there? <laughs> <laughs> just long how long were you in the buddy booth trying to hide? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just hiding oh. in here for oh, a while. Oh, this place is terrible. <laughs> Hello? Hey, 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 psst. hey There's you. a big battery packet over at the other place that I can go grab it. There's yeah, we want to like battery. light this thing oh, up. Oh, it's a special it battery pack, huh? I'll go grab it. Got yeah. hope. Mm, please. I, I hope we all get the news that Steve got electrocuted over the weekend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> His tiny is singed. <laughs> <laughs> Figured out a new way to remove hair. We thought it came with a gladiator uniform, too, because there was a gladiator on the box. <laughs> oh, but, but it didn't? There's no. no gladiator False uniform. advertising. You want a gladiator. Did it come with the boa? Or did you, did you have to get no, the boa? No, that boa I purchased separately. Yeah. You had to purchase. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah. This, is not, this wasn't a free uh, party here. This stuff was purchased by me and Travis <laughs> and E-Rock. Well, thank you, boys. No wonder everybody thinks I'm gay. Wow. I'm getting the feeling that uh, you might be a little disappointed. No, not at all. I love yeah. being thought no, of. Because I remember yeah. the other day on the air, you said that you were queer and incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, let's, let's theme the party around that. <laughs> really? Well, well, I, I, I can't wait until the incompetence shows up. Wait, I just did. <laughs> I can't disagree with Sam. Every party needs a little theme. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good theme. A lot of kid parties out there, and they got to, you know, come up with the theme, and we got your theme today. This is the Steve. queer and incompetent birthday. I Thank right. you so much, Sam. So the incompetent part is the fact that there's barely any decorations in the studio, because right. that would be a very incompetent <laughs> thing to do. Yeah. God say, you got to do some for everything. Nothing. <laughs> you couldn't get a few effing balloons blown up? Yeah, a couple of balloons, maybe. Some balloons. Maybe a couple streamers that we could hang from the stupid ceiling. and then... Yeah, make it look festive. Well, I was right. told there was a birthday. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the birthday sign you can barely yeah, see. The birthday right. sign you can barely see. There's Transformers on that, Steve. Steve oh, loves yeah. Transformers. I do love Transformers. I bet you do. That would be a Transform happy... Transform into a woman. <laughs> that, happy, <laughs> that happy birthday sign would be hanging at like a dwarf kid's birthday party. Right. Mm -hmm. It's that small. There might uh, be some balloons at the other place. All right. Well, we'll all right. send the interns out to Dwayne Reed to Steve, get balloons. Well, we, here we go. So this is... Uh, uh, Tim's gang that live in his head yeah. wishing Steve a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Steve! <laughs> happy birthday, Steve! Oh. Oh. 
Oh no, it's Steve's birthday. Happy <laughs> <laughs> birthday, Steve. <laughs> it's Steve's birthday. Yes, it's Steve's birthday. Radio for the rest of us. It's Steve's birthday. How old are you now? <laughs> it's Steve's birthday. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> That's right, Cleveland. That's what you've been missing live. <laughs> <laughs> How horrible is that? Uh, Happy birthday! Oh, it's awful. That voice. It's great. It has oh. No redeeming social value. None. No. no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Take. Well, well, Anthony, can we do the reset though? Steve's birthday. Sam was yep. uh, responsible for making sure Steve has a great birthday. Uh, he was supposed to decorate the studio. Uh, he he barely decorated the studio. It's There's a hard job at decorating. There's one thing that says happy birthday. It is tiny. There's over no this, banners. Over, over this huge window. No banners. No balloons. No, not one up. balloon. Noisemakers that barely work. And a blow-up male doll, which uh, I'm sure Steve definitely appreciates. Yeah. Uh, but besides that, thing. this uh, birthday sucks, and I, I feel bad for Steve. What's the cake say? It's got to be nice. Steve, would Steve, maybe Steve could read the cake. Yeah, Steve, why don't you read your birthday cake uh, from uh, Carvel? Of course, you got to get the ice cream cake. Right. Well, it's a, it's a lovely fudgy the whale cake, and uh, in red icing on the top. Good. Sam. No, it's I, illegible, see, first, yeah. of all. first of all. I gotta, I gotta say, they, they take Fudgy the Whale, which is a brown whale cake. Yeah. Then it's outlined in white cream, and then a face of a whale is put in white cream. Yeah. And then they take red yeah. uh, icing and write something on there, which is completely illegible. Can you read that? No, barely. And it's barely. over his mouth. And it's all written. <laughs> it looks like someone just squished out red icing yeah, on it, a, just, a stupid looks, Fudgy the Whale it's cake. A, it's a mess of red icing, and since, like all people in this country I read from left to right, I shall read what it says. Okay. Happy Eteve <laughs> birthday. What? Well, and Steve has perfect diction, yeah. so I, yes. I, I'm assuming that you you read that perfectly? I read that perfectly. Okay. When you say diction, he's never shunned one. Oh. <laughs> Jim Norton will be at the Egg in Albany uh, later today. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little wordplay. Uh, it was good, though. Wait, hey, let me read this thing. Ugh. Happy birthday, but then they put the E T E V E. That's how they spelled Steve. I think somebody must have told Carvel that the theme of today's birthday party is queer and incompetence. So, <laughs> so they played right along. They went ahead and, and uh, instead of putting a message that was uh, somewhat sarcastic on there, which I had instructed them to, they wrote "Happy birthday, Steve," but spell Steve E T E V E. Oh my God. <laughs> What was the sarcastic message that you were going to have them put on there, Sam? No, uh, it was, uh, uh, here's to another year of incompetence, cake property, uh, DFL media, and then I was going to plug a website for you. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny. Thank you. We should put a huge Foundry logo across that <laughs> yes. cake. Foundry the whale. Yeah. Foundry the whale. <laughs> uh, can we get a picture yes. of the cake up oh, on onaradio.com? Oh, damn, Travis. Good wait, one. Wait, I missed it. Why? Foundry the whale. Travis goes, yeah, that's Steve. Oh, boy. Oh. That was a good one, Not like the old days. Oh, boy. I love a piece of that ice cream Pendulum. Huh? It's early. It's a good time to eat ice cream cake. Also, uh, it's got milk in it. we sent Pat Duffy down to get it, and E-Rock uh, shorted him $14 on the cake, so he had to walk uh, 17 blocks back in the snow holding this cake. <laughs> How do you? How much is a cake that you shorted fourteen dollars? This cake. What do you give? What do you give him? Three dollars. This cake cost fifty-four dollars. Shut up. No, it wow. didn't. Yes. Did it really? Yeah. Don't put it near me, man. That is a oh. little fudgy the whale, and it was fifty-four bucks. And it says eat Eve on it. And he didn't even get the name right. Why is it fifty-four dollars? I've bought fudgy the whale cakes for you guys before, and they haven't cost fifty-four dollars. I think you got ripped. No, I didn't get ripped. Like I said, E Rock didn't give Pat Duffy enough money, so if anyone got ripped. Sorry, Iraq. Wait, did did Pat Duffy buy oh. drugs? <laughs> Pat Duffy is uh, that cake cost fifty four dollars. Yeah, I have a receipt if I can prove it. I, so I believe you. Because they wrote Etive on it. Yeah. <laughs> Etive. <laughs> which Carvel? Which Carvel is this? That that uh, that that did a great job on the cake. The one in uh, Times Square. Times Square. Times Square. Oh, that's figure. Okay. Great job on the cake. That's why it costs so much too. Yeah. You buy something in Times Square. We were also in a panic yesterday morning because Pat Duffy was calling around all the Carvels who claimed there was a citywide shortage on Fudgy the Whale cakes. Yeah, that was there's a, last night. It's totally fresh. Why isn't that reported on the news that there's a citywide shortage of Fudgy the Whales? I don't know. Oh, please. You know what? 
Look, let's close the borders. Now it's, <laughs> yeah, now it's affecting our ice cream cakes. <laughs> that I is can't exactly have this anymore. It. I can't have this anymore. Exactly. Now I'm with everybody. Close the borders. If 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 they can't spell Steve right on a dumb birthday cake, now we obviously have a problem. I remember walking into Carvel as a kid, and uh, there'd be a gentleman there, and he'd go, "Hi, how are you? And what would you like?" And then you tell him. Now, Etive, Etive, Etive. We should take. Do you have a picture of that cake? No, we'll get one before Let, we cut it up. Let's take a quick picture and then start eating it because I'm really hungry. I would love some Etif cake. <laughs> I like some Etif. Like, you're going to yell at yourself later. This so is where are you this off fudgy Kenny the will, whale. Huh? Kenny will have to hear it. <laughs> but why'd you eat it? <laughs> no, he doesn't ever say that. You deserve yeah, it. Yeah. It's so. It's okay. Just take care. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. That's Kenny's way of saying shut your mouth. <laughs> 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 uh, well, uh, speaking of Steve's birthday. Happy birthday, Steve! Happy birthday, Steve! Oh, oh no, it's Steve's birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday, Steve! <laughs> <laughs> it's Steve's birthday! Yes, it's Steve's birthday! Radio for the rest of us. It's Steve's birthday! How old are you now? <laughs> it's Steve's birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! And many more! <laughs> no one's enjoying the Oh my god! I'm enjoying it. I, I'd, rather, I'd rather listen to Maxwell. <laughs> and <laughs> Happy birthday, just not funny! <laughs> what a dude, scumbag. <laughs> really, what a waste of space on the radio. Corey, Jersey, what's going on? Yo, what's up, fellas? Love you guys, love the show. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, listen, getting pitted is when you pull into a bow and the wave breaks over your head and you're totally inside it and you're like a little pit, like a little olive pit. Uh, so is oh, yeah. getting pitted a good thing? Hell yeah, it's a good thing, man. We, of course. Can I, oh, I actually it's explained bowel. it already. All right, yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy's a big surfer, dude. You, yeah. You don't know that about Jimmy. Jimmy. Hey, what's up? All right, thank you for the uh, definition of pitted. But the park is still flooded, so you'll see kids out yeah. there again. Some of those sure. kids today will be my co host It's just like, <laughs> dude, you get the best barrels ever, dude. Just like you pull in and you just get spit right out of them. And you just drop in and just smack the lip. <laughs> drop down. Snap. <laughs> and then after that, you just drop in, you just ride the barrel and get pitted. So pitted like that. Brother. I know it's an old video. Uh, How we, old is it? it it's, uh, I was told about this like over the summer or something, but we're going to get the video up on onaradio.com as part of Stephen S. from Bayshore's Rundown. Uh, and punt. <laughs> You're bringing us back with Pendulum from Foundry oh. Music. Steve's old band that turned into a website. Crank it up. I got to hear this. All right, crank it. Yeah. yeah. This is Steve C's old band. Yeah. Where's the vocals? I want to hear Steve C. Yeah, Steve C on vocals, by the way, whose birthday it is today. Coming back. No? Wouldn't this be great on uh, Guitar Hero? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Guitar Zero. <laughs> Geez, all right, enough with that with the riff. Well, they, they they thought the riff was great. Oh, it's a rejoiner? Oh, it's a rejoiner, okay. And no wonder. He's I the, thought maybe Steve was off eating during that. He's the only... Hey, did you see him in that band? He was huge. Come yeah. on. And, and he, he wore here. the Lamb Bryant uh, dresses, let's not yeah. forget. Hey, uh, Foundry Music is the only band in the history of rock and roll that mm -hmm. turned into a website. Yeah. Find me another band that turned into a website oh and God. stopped playing music. You ever uh, hear uh, some old Google? I love uh, popping in some old Google. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw Sabbath in, in like the, the mid 80s. Right. Well, can I play the official <laughs> promo and then. All can... right, let's play the promo. Just, just, oh. just keep an open mind, will you? Oh, please. Are you a white girl about 18 or 19 years of Are age? You a wild chick. Have you worked hard to eliminate your gag reflex? Can you fit 14 golf balls in your mouth. Do you like the company of older gentlemen? Then come on down to Uncle Anthony's speed dating extravaganza. Anthony Cumia is looking for his love match. While living in the lap of luxury, this 63-year-old newly single gentleman enjoys three. wines, a cozy dinner at home, and long walks through his Long Island estate dressed as a Nazi. Anthony's looking for an uninhibited teen girl with a strong liver and a craving for the wrinkled old... 
back of a real celebrity. <laughs> the girls will be invited to the Kumia Mansion for a five-minute date, so bring your cleavage, your self-loathing, and a gallon of mouthwash. And don't tell your parents where you're going. Every lucky girl will receive a pearl necklace courtesy of Uncle Anthony and then be told to get the f*** out. The f- out. Call 866-FU-LINE-1 to take advantage of this incredible opportunity That's 866-FU-LINE-1 for Uncle Anthony's speed dating extravaganza. <laughs> Okay. Man. See, now this, this uh, is, you look this great is, for 63. This is painting <laughs> me in a very bad light. <laughs> First of all, it, it went uh, up from the wrong age of, of 57 in the last promo I don't hear to me. the wrong age of 63. I hear no safe word. Uh, so, you know, no, we're going to continue. I, I'm explaining. Okay. And then what? what am I doing? I'm speed dating, but I'm I'm having sex. Well, you're speed effing, basically. Yeah, that's see, what that see, is. What I like. There's no see, because, speed uh, dating involved. No, no. See, uh, we always have a twist on this stuff. You can, yeah, anyone can a do twist, speed though, dating. Right? We want speed effing for you. You know, I haven't come up with one idea of all this. It's you guys thinking that this is um, going to happen. Well, well, what do you want? Sweetie. Yeah, why don't you just tell us? And we'll How stop. about I want a little time? Time for what? If, you so, know, so what? To, uh, we, we're not talking about sex. You're talking about relationships. You, you want no, sex right away? No, right? no, 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 no. No, that you know that that's that's part of my personal life. Then you go getting square again. Yeah, we're trying to get your booty. Yep. This is a booty thing. But you, what do you? I don't about? think I Meaningful need. Love? I honestly don't think I need your help. You're very. You're for, not not for, for booty. Shoes. For booty. You're very. Exactly. You're ungrateful, man. I, ungrateful. Yeah, we're coming you up with You guys are trying ideas. to set me up in these uh, ideas Who would that are. Do a speed effing. One by one, but who wouldn't want to do it? But you, me. But you, but you, but but, yeah. but you're single. We're just trying to help. But the the, but girl, the, the, the girls girl, that you're the after, is, the girl is that you're the, after. You, you, uh-huh. you, these things here. That's why you you don't need help. But we, I'm trying to get you Papa. outside regular human being. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. Not you, computer love. No computer love. You want me to uh, find like what? Like that newswoman right there? Not necessarily her, but just, well, maybe her. About, like oh, her. But like just some broad waiting at the bus stop. Would you accept a lesbian yeah. party in the Poconos? What? Heart-shaped tubs and... Where yeah. is horse, that happening? And horseback riding. What do you usually in meet the, women? With, in the big with, champagne glass? With lesbians. What do you usually meet women? What do you say? Oh, during lesbian my entire life, in everywhere. Her, in the Poconos. Long Island bars. All right, listen, we got to take a break, and then we can continue <laughs> with this. TJ Miller. Mastic Beach. <laughs> at Comics Tonight and Tomorrow. Uh, well, speaking of the new governor who's... Uh, a bit blind, a bit black. Uh, we got a little something, something. Presenting community outreach with Lieutenant Governor James Patterson. In today's edition, Mr. Patterson enjoys a round of archery with some inner city youngsters at summer camp in the Adirondacks. See, he's blinds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I get it. Damn, I see. I, he, uh, I just thought he was a bad archer. <laughs> see, <laughs> he's blind, <laughs> so it would be silly for him to. Um, so he didn't know where the target yeah. was. So he might have got one of the youths in, in the chest instead of the. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for the next one, uh, Steve and Tim. <laughs> wow. I guess we're telling everyone that he's uh, he's blind. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm, I'm yelling at the listeners, right? Because uh, uh, I said, look, we know James Patterson is the author and the new governor is David Patterson. Oh, no. And I'm yelling and screaming like, you dopes. We're not that stupid. <laughs> oh, no. And I'm yelling at these idiots like, get the wax out of your ears, right? Yeah. Someone brings it to my attention that it's in the little community service thing that just ran. And it went by all our our, uh, our heads here. Yeah. Really? Uh, my, my copy actually says David Patterson, and for some reason I said James Patterson when I voiced it and walked out of the room, and I'm Tim s- didn't catch it either. Tim, I'm sticking up for you. I'm yelling and screaming at these dopes going, wake the F up. No. Complete jackass. Listen, listen again, Ant. Presenting community outreach with Lieutenant Governor James Patterson. In today's edition, Mr. Patterson enjoys a round of archery with some inner city youngsters at summer camp in the Adirondacks. Oh my God! See, he missed 
the target because he's blind. B is for blind. So what's his name? David Patterson. James Patterson is the author. So is, is you blind? had an author doing archery? Yeah, why are you having an author <laughs> doing archery? Steve, I don't get your bit. Why is the author unable to shoot a bow and arrow into a target? Comment, Steve. You're on the air, Trenton. <laughs> I'm looking at my copy, and, I'm, and I wrote and I typed David Patterson. I go back to Tim, and I said, did I say James Patterson or David Patterson? And he plays. He said, you said David, then he plays it. Is, is James Patterson blind, too? <laughs> no, James Patterson. So, so the whole bit was the wrong guy? <laughs> yes. So he actually just was a bad archer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just a horrible archer, but an a, author. Just and a crappy that's how you executive produce. Yeah, uh, of course. Yes. Steve is for fag. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> We uh, we lost Governor uh, Spitzer starting Monday. We got the black blind uh, Governor mayor. Patterson, Governor although we don't know what his first name is Governor. on any given day. Governor David Patterson. David Patterson, or old Blinky, right. I like to call him old yeah. Blinky. You like to call him old Deadeye. <laughs> <laughs> so we're very excited that he's going to be taking the, uh, what, the, the, the reins he's yes. be at, at the helm. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. So uh, <laughs> running the ship yeah. aground, reading the braille. <laughs> so we're uh, making fun of his affliction. That uh, that's what we do because that's show. what we do. Okay. Presenting community outreach with Lieutenant Governor David Patterson. Today, Mr. Patterson is swimming with families at a community pool on Twenty Third Street in New York City. See, because uh, he's blind. Yeah, he's he can't see. So he can't see. So he he jumped off the board and and you know that one doesn't work that well because even a blind guy could jump he's, off a diving board. It's just pointing at the pool. <laughs> it's in the middle of the pool, basically yeah. the yeah. diving board. So how do you miss? <laughs> right. yeah. I can understand if there was no water in it. How blind is he? Yeah. I can understand if he was doing a triple Lindy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hit his head off the other <laughs> other diving board. Like if there's if there's no water in the pool. Right. Right. Then you could absolutely see that happening. All right. Well. But there's water in the pool. All right. So then we have to go to the next one because that one might not have worked. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Stand by for Spud Buckley. But first, this. Presenting community outreach with Lieutenant Governor David Patterson. Today, Mr. Patterson is taking time out of his busy schedule to go to a local youth center to take photographs of needy children. Um, Lieutenant Governor, they're over there. See, because he's uh, without sight, he's uh, blind. Why would he be taking, be taking pictures of needy kids? Wouldn't he be doing something a little... What is he, a pedophile? <laughs> yeah, why is why is he... Like, they have photographers that follow... But even if, if even if they insist that he takes the pictures of the kids, what? Well, how is that helping them? They're still poor. Yeah. You, could just say they, you could just say they took the pictures. He's not going to see them. Right. You could say, yeah, these are, these are, give, him, give him pictures of your wedding. These Yeah, these are the pictures we took of the kids the other day. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, he, oh, because he's blind. Oh, if I was, um, you should walk, you should have him doing something at the Grand Canyon. Well, <laughs> I'm sure he will be. It's funny you should say that, uh, Bobby, because if okay. I was blind, I would tell my family to to travel me all over the world, but don't but don't tell me that I'm not actually traveling, and then wake me up every morning and go, hey, uh, you know, while you were sleeping, we uh, we took a little trip, and uh, well, follow me, and they walk you outside the hmm. house. And then stand you like on the edge of the curb and go, bah, you're on the edge of the Grand Canyon. Oh, uh, whoa, this is amazing. What a, what well, a view it must be. Maybe have like uh, somebody blowing in my ear, you know, just to make it a little windy. Yeah, throw some dirt in your face. <laughs> right. Have a drunk Indian walk by. <laughs> All right. Where's that? Where? Well, where's but where are I go to here, mm-hmm. right here. Mm-hmm. Say that. You want me to sign it? Just read it. Read it. Sign it. Read it. You got a pen. Put 
No, my microphone. Give me a pen, though. I can't sound that pen. I don't have pen. <laughs> Keep trying. I just wrote a little. Note. I'm awful signing it. Just but how I get a pen? Note. Look, man, I'm trying to sit down. Here's a fucking pen. <laughs> just I read don't it. Have a fucking pen. <clears throat> yeah. What does that say? What does that say? Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, I hear, I can hear, I can see. Fucking read it. <laughs> what does that say? Um, what do you want, how you sign it? My name? <laughs> oh my God. Why are you so difficult on something <laughs> that's so simple? <laughs> this say here, sign it. We've been asking the same question, Tippy, by the way. <laughs> asking Steve why it's is it not so a big difficult. deal. <laughs> All right. You want me to say something or just... Yes, yes. I want you to say this. What does that say? <laughs> oh. Right. oh, Tom. Tom. What does that say? What did I... With the paper I just handed you, what... Come on, you're fucking on my beer time oh, now. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> What does the paper say? <laughs> Can you fucking read that? Yeah, but whoa, whoa, we'll do it over here. Fuck it. <laughs> no, sit the fuck God damn it, man. Steve, how can you not get him to read a simple fucking piece of paper? Look, You're I incompetent. Not, not no more. Oh, shut up. D S sit up. You sat on the goddamn microphone. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Tom say run and there's... No, he got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my name, Tom. Yes. Oh, sit up, please. You sitting on the microphone. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> He's sitting on the mic. Listen, 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 listen. listen. Steve, leave it there. Listen. Right. He's sitting on the microphone. I ain't bothered nobody. <laughs> He's sitting on. Hey, look, man. Give me a heart. Give me time. Not happy right now. Disturb my private time. Try to drink a beer. Uh, where's uh, Steve? I didn't forget. Bring in Steve, uh, the executive producer of the Opie and Anthony show. And that's how you executive produce. A little observation about Steve as he walks in it to is, the show this morning. It is Steve C. Boo! Steve, um, yeah. what are you doing? What's the scoop? I was trying to grow my hair long, and uh, it gets kind of froish. Yeah. If uh uh if I don't sort of plaster it down with something, so I had this in you know my very strong gel. And I gave it a good, you know, quart or two of uh, of gel plus some hairspray, and it's kind of what shellacked into my head right now. Yeah, you you gave it the big pullback. Is yeah. what it is. It's sort of like yeah, greased back, and yeah. um, it's a new look for you. It's a bad look, I can tell. <laughs> I, I, it is Steve, and that is how you executive produce. I could tell just by the two steps into the office this morning. Yeah, what did Sam say? Not a good look, Steve. Sam, what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Sam is the biggest smartass. Steve just walks in in a second. Yeah. Sam looks and goes, "Not a good look, Steve." <laughs> yeah. It didn't. It didn't take long. It didn't take long for Sam to issue his disapproval on my look. And Sam, thanks to you, I will not be coming in with this hairdo anymore. Are you going for a ponytail? I was thinking about it, but uh, having the long hair is really a pain in the ass. Go really for the is. ponytail. Why not? I enjoy 1985. I, <laughs> that's sort of what I was getting at. <laughs> oh, I kind of like this. The the regular Steve Quaff. 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what... Uh, Why don't you just shave it completely you to just do that? Completely to, like, uh, bald. Uh, I was Skin thinking bald. about that. I was thinking about that. But then I got to... But then the, the sideburns are going to be awkward. No, you keep the sideburns. Well, how do you do that? That looks be your pretty own look. silly. They need to start yeah. somewhere, sideburns. Yeah. The sideburns. No, there's a lot of guys that go skin, but they still have the sideburns and the facial I've hair. I've never seen that. Well, give me a picture. There's a that That's a look. But you have to connect it somehow to your mustache. <laughs> like, <laughs> sideburns have to be connected to something. Maybe eyebrows. So, well, so if it's not connected to the hair on your head, it's got to be connected to your goatee. So bring the sideburns down yeah. to their mutton chops that right, right. at the chin. Yeah. Okay, so That's it looks it. like they're growing out of the mustache and up the and ear. And then up. And then stop at the ear with a shaved head. <laughs> and with a shaved head looking That's, ridiculous. That's going to look ridiculous as well. <laughs> Your hair looks like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jim. It's very lecter <laughs> Is it real stiff and hard? Oh. No, not your hair. No. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Very, very nice, Steve. Uh, enjoy that uh, fine look oh, of yours. I, my kingdom for a comb. It's it's, <laughs> it's, it's terrific. Oh, no, it's We're all enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna dig in the look. There he goes. Steve, sunlight is coming up. I have to get to my coffin. Ooh. And, mm -hmm. Um. GTA, GTA Four, yeah, it, all it's, the rage. It, it, they got to change the name of the game to Kill Steve Four. Why? What's going on? Because that's that's pretty much what everyone here is doing. <laughs> well, of, of course, we've talked about it. Um, everybody that we know is uh, in the game. <laughs> pretty much, <laughs> pretty much everyone we know is in the game in some capacity. We easily know. I was I was starting to count last night. We easily know about twenty people. I, I, I lost uh, count at 20, actually. There's yeah. probably even more that are in the game in uh, some fashion. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Steve, our own Steve, uh, is one of the police officers that patrol, um, I guess, the, the boardwalk around Coney Island. Is that where you found him, Dan? Uh, no, if you also oh. want to play Kill Steve, you can uh, do it near the hospital as well. Oh, near the hospital? Yes. <laughs> because uh, now everyone's just looking for Steve by going around and pushing policemen. <laughs> you just go around and give them a shove, and then you'll hear like, hey, what are you doing? Or, uh, hey, knock it off. What, what, uh, get away. And then you hear, stop it. I know how to use this. <laughs> and uh, you, you know it's Steve. So, uh, Than, uh, how did you greet Steve <laughs> when you found him? Well, I, I brushed into somebody. And I said, I think I recognize that voice. <laughs> and I was in the middle of something. I was like, you know what? I got to double back and check. And sure enough, I kept bumping into him and kept saying Steve things. <laughs> like, stop doing that. And, I, and with the police, if you nudge them enough they uh get angry and pull out their gun <laughs> yes they will start shooting you try to arrest you or shoot you and uh unfortunately he he drew first oh damn, damn expert stop will you yeah <laughs> yeah but i drew faster oh. and uh yeah, Steve took a big uh, load of shotgun to the face. <laughs> <laughs> he shot him in the face. <laughs> uh, so, Steve. So satisfying. Just from these casual conversations about GTA 4, I'm starting to get the feeling that, that the staff might have a problem with Steve. <laughs> they're running him over. They're shooting him in the face. It really is fun. Have we found the gay E-Rock? Uh, no one has found the gay E-Rock. Uh, Not yet. Reports are coming in. I think this is Coke Logic. Uh, Coke Logic writes... Rick uh, Shapiro is one of the t is on one of the talk channels, and I too killed Steve. So <laughs> everybody kills. Everyone's Steve. just killing Steve. It must be fun to kill Steve when, when he was trying. I, I couldn't get out of the dock. I was <laughs> poor <laughs> Jimmy can't play the game. I was driving. I kept backing into the fence and going forward and hitting the fence. What? And my finger looked like that scene in Austin Powers where he's trying to yeah. turn around in that little cart in the too narrow hallway. Sure. I, I got to ask Jimmy now. You're gaming. Uh, you don't do a lot of uh, no, gaming. I don't. What, what was the last game you were really, really into before this GTA Four? You're kidding, right? No, Astro. That's a big gap, Jimmy. I know. I'm a bit behind. There, there wasn't. <laughs> there wasn't another game in there that you no. kind of took a liking to. <laughs> oh oh my god. god! It was not <laughs> this one. <laughs> wow. And uh, I'm trying to run. And all I heard is tuk, 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 my little footsteps, and I'm walking in the dark at, 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 by the ship. And I walk onto the boat, and I'm looking around, and I, I keep trying to run, but I keep, like, ducking. <laughs> so I'm so annoyed. I'm trying to run, and I'm ducking. I'm, you're just I'm ducking. ducking. <laughs> yeah. Hitting the wrong uh, button, obviously. Did you uh, get to fire any uh, cool weapons? I couldn't, or... no, I couldn't find I, I hit the button, and I finally my phone came up, and I, I didn't know what to do. 
But I kept trying to, like, <laughs> Poor Jimmy. drive. I'm driving. And every time I try to speed up, I zoom in and look at the car closer. <laughs> and then I zoom out and look at the car. You're hitting the view thing. Yes, I was. I was incorrect. Thank you. And I <laughs> do, you, do you miss asteroids where it was just a couple buttons? I just uh, so easy. Rocket. Shoot, turn, so easy. move. That's all you had to worry about in you know, asteroids. Don't so give up. Keep going. And, oh. and someday you two will uh, kill yeah. Steve. <laughs> I'm dying. Now I have to go in to find on the where the, where the Coney Island thing is. I'll go there. And I'll go to the boardwalk and I'll try to find. Yeah, try to find him there uh, or the hospital. <laughs> we should get a montage of uh, just people killing Steve. Killing Steve, that would be good. And we'll put them all together and record put it, your Steve killings, and, and we'll put it up on YouTube or something for the uh, the faithful listeners of the show. I had a problem with my PlayStation Three yesterday. I was a day behind you guys. I went home and I I I, I go to load GTA Four into the front of the PlayStation Three. It's not taking the disc. Oh boy! And I, I don't know much about just the, spit on it. Well. <laughs> I don't you know take, much. You take it. I don't know much about. <laughs> I don't know much about uh, the PlayStation Three console. I just got it. Yeah. So I just assumed you're supposed to just shove it in there. Oh. So I shove it in there and it disappears. And the the machine never took it. It disappeared because I shoved it in far wow, enough. You, where you shoved it, just, it in too hard and oh, it yeah. stayed in there. Oh yeah, I wasn't happy that I was shoving yeah. it into the. To take it to GameStop and they stitched it up. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, it's another oh, same joke, I know. Yeah, and then yeah, what? What well, then? I was gonna say he pink socks. His PS3. Yeah, <laughs> I pretty much. And then I had to get twi- stands for it. Then I had to get <laughs> I had to get butter knives out and and tweezers. What? To try to get my GTA Four like game. You're trying out. to get a bagel out of a toaster. <laughs> exactly. Because I'm, th- you know, I I was pretty much thinking that my ver- my copy of GTA Four was done. But then I'm thinking, I think this game's gonna be sold out. I gotta save my only copy. Yeah. So then I get Sony on the phone, and they're like, wow, we've never heard of this problem before where it actually doesn't take the disc. And I'm, I, I'm like, I'm telling you, it didn't take the disc. So long story short, they told me to hold the eject down. The disc finally popped out after about 15 or 20 seconds. And then I had to return my PlayStation 3 yesterday. Oh, that's a drag. And I had no receipt. Yeah. I didn't go for that uh, the the extended warranty or and all that other crap that yeah, they you go. You want to buy this, and if anything happens, you could just come in and grab one off the shelf. Right. You don't even have to bring in the old one. And I remember, <laughs> no. I remember the time I'm like, no, if I have any problem with this machine, I was kind of joking with the lady, I'm coming right back to you. Thinking, how could I possibly have a problem with a brand new console? But I got to thank uh, the gang at Best Buy on 62nd of Broadway. They were totally cool. Yeah. Totally cool. I, I walked out of there with a brand new PlayStation 3 within 10 minutes. How long have you oh, had no nice. problems whatsoever, huh? How long have you had it? The place that I had it, I bought it a month ago, but I, I was, I just had it sitting around until um, Hot Shots and GTA 4 came out. And yesterday I decided to finally, you know, fire it up and start playing. And uh, <laughs> nothing. You got a fix, right? No, I got a brand new one. Yeah. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Good. Damn. Hey, there he is, the victim. <laughs> Steve, everyone's killing you. Steve, GTA everyone is, is just taking such pleasure in killing you. You know, I'm flattered that I'm so easy to find in this one, because in the other <laughs> yeah. ones, you had to go about, uh, uh, you know, several, like, 40 missions into the game before I even showed up on the golf course or or any other pl- uh, or any other place, because this is, like, the third GTA game I've been in, so I'm so happy that I'm right off the bat. I'm right off the bat, you're there to just uh, kill. Yeah, it's wonderful. I know, and you know, if they want to shoot me, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just a, I'm just an officer of the law. I'm Jimmy, just holding, I'm just protecting everybody. <laughs> trying. Jimmy, you never got out of uh, the dock area though. I you was couldn't figure out how to. No, all I hear was Russians talking, and I'm driving, and I literally hit the fence, and then would go forward, and I was trying to turn so I can go between the fence and the other place. And then I finally did, and I went right into traffic, and I just hit things. <laughs> <laughs> I would, if I could drive really well, if I'm doing like three miles an hour, like I'm just hitting it, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> then I got out and tried to hijack a truck, but then the black guy jumped out of the truck and started beating the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I kept hitting the wrong button. Like, so oh, that's great. He's punching me, and I'm actually behaving like a typical white person. I'm just trying to walk away. Just <laughs> cowering and trying to walk away. <laughs> we got to set up the game and just make videos of Jimmy playing, because it's hilarious, because he doesn't really understand this type of gaming yet no not yet it's very cute yeah uh yeah if it's a lot harder to jack cars not a lot but it's definitely different than the older games where you really got little to no resistance from the uh people in the cars and now if you don't do it right they just start punching you and beating the crap out of you. But shouldn't I have a gun? Like, I don't know how to get my gun. I was well, you got to go to, like, uh, the back alleys right now is where you kind of go and pick up uh, from some shady characters. Yeah. Oh, are you going to buy guns? Uh, well, I you can buy more. Or if you go on a certain mission, you'll be given a gun. 
You might want to go to ammo. No, uh, ammo. Uh, ammunition. I don't think it's open. Is it open? Ammunition yeah, at the beginning of the yet? game. No. Uh, not at the beginning. Hey, uh, Anthony. Cheat code, Steve. Do they have that yet? Of course, I Steve want, has cheat code. I want code a cheat already. code that makes Steve naked <laughs> so you can just kill him nude. Yeah. Um, I want to relate to my PlayStation 3 brothers. They, they changed all the buttons on us for this freaking version of GTA. What's uh, up yeah, with they that? did a little bit. X used to be the accelerator. What's going on with this L2, R2 crap? Yeah, they changed it to the, uh, like the trigger buttons uh, kind of. Give you accelerate. It's kind. Of, it, it is easier once you get used to it, because then you can go forward and reverse a lot easier. Yeah. Uh, to make those cool moves where you do the whip, whip the car around, change directions like they do in the movies. Uh, sorry, Jimmy. That's kind of a cool move to do what once you get out of the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I was doing so badly. The fence. I just started knocking the bottom of the fence out. <laughs> and then I got out and I'm walking on the ship and. I'm so isolated in the game. No one's even coming out. No one's guy. around. He's in like the, the part where nobody is. Yeah, I'm the, just a guy walking the Forbidden on a Zone. Jimmy found the Forbidden Zone in <laughs> GTA 4. You, you found the least fun part of the game and <laughs> yeah, stayed there forever. Uh, that's, that's Jimmy. Uh, that's Jimmy, <laughs> everybody. Drive out of the area. I'm surprised a tranny didn't pop out. Hi, <laughs> 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 Daddy. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. <laughs> you yeah. need assistance from this officer. Yeah, Laszlo knew you would be in the Forbidden Zone. He's like, uh, hey, Laszlo sent me. <laughs> no one's looking. Yeah, I got. I got to uh, read up more about the. Uh, uh, oh, that is so funny. I, I didn't know how the controls worked. Let's yeah. go. To, let's go to Boston. Carl, listening on BCN. Carl, Carl. Hey, what's going on? How are you, hey, sir? I happened to come across the Hillman Morning Show <laughs> yesterday. Uh, yeah. I can't talk quite as slow as he does. Uh, yeah. He was going over the GTA uh, Four list of people that were in it, and he happened to mention that he knows nobody that's in the game at all. He couldn't recognize not one name on the list. What a loser. Oh, jeez. What a that's loser. Good. Yeah, that's why he's been stuck doing morning radio in Worcester, Massachusetts for like 12, 15 years. He's a liar. Can we please attack him, please? Uh, well, it's just a steady stream, to, whatever you want to do. Yeah, there's nothing to do. He's in our rearview mirror. I mean, the, the, a lot of people ask, you know, do you have a problem with uh, the Hillman? Absolutely, we do. Back mm -hmm. in the day when Anthony and I did the mayor's prank thing, it was, you know, it was, it was not the smartest thing to do. He, he, like, ran and hid like a little cockroach. The only person back in the cockroach. day that supported us and said this is BS that they're going to fire Opie and Anthony was Ozone, a stand-up guy who almost got fired himself, and he had nothing to do with the prank just because he, he said, screw management, I'm going on the air and speaking my mind. This is crazy that they're going <laughs> to let these guys go for this dumb prank. Yeah. And Hillman hid and then took the corporate line, the company line. And now, and now he's saying that Douche. he doesn't know anybody in uh, Grand Theft Auto. Please, meaning he does, and you know, half the people, yeah, uh, half. There's like 20 people from our show alone. Yeah, comics and uh, a lot of Boston staff. people are are in the game. Yeah. All right, thanks, Carl. <laughs> oh, Mantown. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't know why I find it so funny that Steve is just the primary target. All right, let's go to game. Tim in Rochester, sure. Uh, the home of Brother Weez. What's up, Tim? Uh, the game is fantastic. I spent six hours picking up hookers, killing them, and then killing Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's always the classic move that uh, people do in GTA. I've been do doing it for all the versions. You get a hooker. You have sex with her, and as she's walking away, you kill her and yeah. take her money. <laughs> you can pick the service you get, too. You can pick from three different choices, a $20 job, a $50 job, or... What? They, 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 yeah, and they you can really... The whole hooker thing? And you can, see, you can see pretty graphically what's going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. so Like, weak. especially in a convertible, that shot we were looking at, where uh, the girl is straddling a gentleman in the driver's seat. And uh, the top's down on the car, so you just see everything. Yeah. And uh, they're going to town. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Very cool. Thank One you, Tim. One of them my manhood. <laughs> I want to hear that. I stabbed her to death. Yeah. <laughs> I stabbed Very her. nice, Tim. Thank you. It's just the, the needless violence. I, I know this is going to be <laughs> way too inside, but I think the faithful listeners would kind of enjoy it. Uh, I, I, you got to start uh, uh, taping your killing of Steve. Yeah. And uh, and we'll 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 promote the best ones that and we'll pop them up on yeah. YouTube. Just bump into him, have him say something, and blast him in the face or yeah. stab him. We'll or... have a whole series on YouTube, and the GTA fans that have n no idea about this radio <laughs> show Steve will is... be like, "Who the hell is this Steve guy? Steve. Why are people obsessed with killing Steve in GTA Four? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yes, that. Well, just talking, just talking about stabbing hookers. I was playing uh, on online with a couple people the other day, and just it does bring out some of the dark natures in people. I I heard somebody be like. Yeah, bleed for me, bitch. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. It's just a video game. Oh, God. He's like, yeah, old lady, I want to see your blood. I was like, jeez. What, was this uh, in the game or online? This is online. Just oh, online. On online. And that, th you know, that is odd because uh, I take great pleasure in uh, killing old people in the game. <laughs> like old ladies walking down the street, I can't resist but just pummeling them. And not easy, like shooting them. I, I have to beat them with something. <laughs> I need them like a bat. You can pick and I things up to... and hit old people. Oh, yes. Oh, yes Jimmy, yes, get out me. of the parking lot. What are you doing? Oh. Leave the ship. There's oh, no. nothing on the ship. I forgot my ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy just stuck on there's a, a ship There's a whole somewhere. world out there. To you. There's old people to beat. A whole new world. You just beat old <laughs> Steve, what's going on with you? Are you going to survive? Are you going to be in a wheelchair? People want to know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't mind. <laughs> now it is. <laughs> Um, How'd you hurt your back? Were you grabbing for food that was hung on a tree? <laughs> Fair joke. Exactly. <laughs> Fair joke. <laughs> See, I don't even know why I bother joke. coming in here. The segment's done without him even saying anything. Speaking of bear I jokes, I said that glory hole is much too low. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get a snack. <laughs> um, Stop you agreeing. Uh, Lifting. Speaking of... Okay. Um, Bear jokes. Mm. The animation festival, we got to start pumping it uh, a little more, but the animation of Steve getting ready for work. Oh, yeah. This thing might win the whole <clears throat> fucking animation festival. It's very funny. I, I don't want to start playing uh, any hands here, but that thing is fucking yeah, that's yeah. A good one. amazing how good it is. I yeah. honestly thought it was good, but it's beatable. Honestly, yeah. it's good but beatable. It's not. It, it's 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 good, but there's a couple things that could have been definitely better. Oh yeah, it. definitely. Um, I, I don't think it's an unbeatable work. I enjoyed it though. I'm not shitting on the animation. I think you, you'll see a, a, you'll see a lot more of that quality <clears throat> show up in the coming weeks, only because it takes so much time for these guys to do are, it. Are people getting a? In contact with you, saying, "Don't worry, we're working on our stuff." Yeah, they have. we're really nervous because you know we got to make sure we have enough, um, you know, cartoons for the yeah, animation it, festival. It's a quick heads up. Hey, don't worry, I am I am working on something, and if anything ever right, comes good. in, you know, that's a picture. I always send it we're out to you guys. A little over a month out, and um, and we got ten thousand dollars up for grabs. So sure do. And other things, we're still working on other other angles. Yeah, on this they're thing? working on the other angles. I think there's a WWE angle that they're working on. Around, um, um, we're but, uh, we're attempting. We could tell yeah. people uh, to get Angry Vince, Anthony's character, uh, oh, animated. Yeah. And if they do a really good job, it's going to be on the WWE website, which that's <laughs> huge for us. Huge. So Animation yeah. Festival, we're, we're starting to get uh, a little closer, and we really want to start pumping this damn thing up. Right? Absolutely. All the info's up on opianthony.com. Yes. But, but Steve, what happened? You went to the doctor, neurosurgeon. I started... What did he say? You got six months to live? You said I don't have the money? He gave you 12 months. <laughs> <laughs> ba dum bum Vaudeville <laughs> Jim. That's right. Vaudeville <laughs> Jimmy. Uh, went to the... After having an MRI on Monday, I thought... Um, uh, it turns out that these... Uh, what is an MRI, man? Riddled with incompetence? I'm sorry. Get home safe. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, this is vaudeville, Jim. Go I should, ahead, sorry, Steve. I should just pause <laughs> after right. everyone. Pause, P-A-W-S. You're a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. How did you hurt your back? Besides not carrying production pieces. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Vaudeville Jim goes too far and gets his jaw shattered. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, you need to give yourself a swim walk. You're on fire oh, today. Oh, no, I can't. Vaudeville people don't swim walk. We just curse at blacks and make them open doors for us. <laughs> <laughs> I hurt my vertebrae. Three men's chins were in it. Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Huh? I mean, for, that, for that one, for that line. Uh, I'm just uh, relaxing. Okay, thanks. Uh, had an MRI, and turns well, out... I'm gay. <laughs> and it turns out you're gay? So, yes. Wow. How do they get they, that through they an MRI? They see that through MRIs now. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. They, they took an say. x-ray, and they found a belly full of semen. <laughs> 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 and they said, you jiggle when you walk, don't you, son? <laughs> That's more even vaudeville. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, Matt LaFar from Queensbury, they're all playing the How Did Steve Hurt His Back uh, game. And Matt writes, carrying a rack full of clearance items out of Lane Bryant. <laughs> oh, yes. that's mean. That's yeah. right. <laughs> um, had an MRI. Mm -hmm. And... It's 
not funny if you're expecting it. <laughs> I know. Dope. Well, I, I, I saw the hand go up and you yeah. cue him. Uh, uh, and I have three uh, herniated discs in my back. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Did the doctors try to read the MRA? I oh. said we can't read past this watermark. MRA? MRA? Oh. Oh. MRA? Oh. Oh. MRA. Oh. 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 Yep, I am an MRA. Man's a real ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh boy, swinging a nice jumbo. Get the letter on. They'll jump on you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You can see the face he made as he slams his back. <laughs> All right, good point. So what, what, what the hernia disc? What does that mean? It means that I have um, that... Quickly. Mean, yeah, thank you. It means that... Uh, queer every day. What? Really? Yes. That's what wow. it means? Surprisingly, uh, it does. And it's odd that that would have such an impact on my uh, sexual orientation, but, um, but it did. The... Uh, spine is yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fucking... the spine is made up of uh, uh, bone of bone and it's compressed and it's pushing into my spinal cord <laughs> which is causing my right arm to go numb and um oh. so they so actually have discs between the um the um vertebrae right yeah. and um when you have a herniated one they squish it kind of squishes out a little right. bit squishes out so the top three in my neck are squished. Yes, yeah, squished. So your right arm is going numb. My right arm has been going numb for <clears throat> about three months. And it months. hits the nerves because you know they're like little donuts, and there's a lot of nerves going through the middle of them and out over uh, the tops of them and through the through them. It's it's an amazing yeah. thing. Nerves, they're all over the place. And then when they get squished, it uh, interrupts with the nerve and things go numb, like so his fucking head. What can they do for you? <laughs> Um, well, they can remove the um, things in the most extreme cases and fuse the vertebrae together. Ooh, uh, this, you know this. Who, you it, Mars? Yeah, I know everything. Yeah. Uh, and this is uh, very funny because then he'll walk around like Frankenstein. All right. They could, <laughs> it, they yeah, because then you can't really move your neck. You yeah, can also shave them down, mm -hmm. though, what's popping out. Yeah, it depends on how extreme it is. Not the yeah. best uh, surgery. Though, in Steve. extreme cases, yes, they have to operate and either fuse the vertebrae together and or shave them down. Oh, right. Um, mm. I have told them I would really appreciate it if they didn't operate on my back. So I will entertain any, uh, any like you know, physical therapy or anything that they can suggest. But you know, I'm not gonna any. You know. Mm. <laughs> but you don't want to go well. <clears throat> I know how you can stretch your back a little bit. Oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, so today Take I. Take it in the hiney. <laughs> <laughs> but that mine hiney. Hine. Take it in your hiney. That's just a character. I want to go backwards a little bit. Jay from Florida from uh, Whackbag writes MRA gets uh, Vaudeville Jim the big hook. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Jim was having none of that today. <laughs> so. So I got to go back for uh, an EMG test today, which from what I've, for the limited amount I've read is, I guess they stick like some little needles in you and then they try to, wait, you know, try to, they, I think they run current through it. I'm not really sure. And, um, and they, they, it's just further testing to see how extensive the damage is. When are you going to stop mm -hmm. obsessively working out? Mm -hmm. um, well, I had to actually, and then I had to stop obsessively. When are you going to stop obsessively taking supplements? <laughs> That's fun. That's, that wasn't hurting I'm my serious, back. serious. How'd you do it to your neck? Uh, pff, I have no like, idea. I really don't know. Military like, press? Seem lower, lower back would be a lower back is usually where it's at, but yeah. I don't really know because I, you know, it's some exercise <clears throat> that you've yeah. been straining the, the shit out it of. It was probably with. some back and shoulder exercise, and I thought what I had for months was like these knots that were just going unresolved or yeah. like a pinched nerve, and it they turned got out crushed out. from men's teeth. <laughs> 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 That See, because you're gay. Homosexual. <laughs> yeah. Right. Horse hooves on the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, poor Steve. Who's the yeah. docile looking creature? Poor Steve. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, yeah, I thought it was something else. <laughs> just all clumsily teetering. That is, there is a part in Jim's act that's just fucking hysterical about that. You gotta see it. Of what, of what I, I missed out. Jim, Jim does a, a thing in his act about the guy that got fucked by the horse and got oh, yeah. killed. It's and amazing. it's so fucking funny, your description of it. And your, your, the way you move on stage, it's, it's, it's amazing. really fucking oh, funny, Pittsburgh's Jim. gonna love it this yeah. weekend. Tug McGroin writes, 
Tug he's, McGroin, well, the he, tug? He's writing us, Steve, I don't want them to do surgery on my back because my insurance doesn't cover the three days of shaving they'll need to do, <laughs> to do yeah. before the operation. It'll look like when they operate on gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> but, but not that smart. <laughs> He's just getting smashed here. <laughs> Poor fuck is like, all fucked up. Neurosurgeons are involved, MRIs yeah. or MRAs. Yeah. No. And Sorry, Steve. No, yeah. not. <laughs> What's that thing um, on your arm to help This is just my, my, um, it's an icy hot pet sleeve to just distract me from the fact that my, that my arm goes numb every time I put it on the, uh, It goes numb. Um, yeah, like when I type or when I put my arms like on the table, my, my, these, my index finger, my forefinger and my thumb are completely asleep right now. And my really? forearm is just my, like, uh, the, the hand bones connected to the brain bone. Where the fuck did Mike go? Holy shit. Oh. Uh, Mike in Delaware is suggesting uh. that your arm's numb from all the ass to mouth sex. <laughs> Why? How? What well, doesn't make any sense? I had funny uh, though. Of course not. <laughs> Uh, spinal decompression. Yes, I went through that. Uh, thank you, Mike in Brooksville. What's that? Ask your Cairo about uh, spinal uh, decompression. Do you know what's interesting? The doctors don't like chiropractors, and chiropractors don't like doctors. You get completely conflicting information from that. That may be true, but I wouldn't put it under the umbrella of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> did I say it was interesting? He did. Oh fuck! <laughs> that was the you least know, interesting thing up. I could. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me for prefacing that with interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, poor fucking Steve, man. Why? You're making right. me feel bad. Steve might be right, but the way he set it up, stop the presses. I have a film <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor versus yes. the, the versus the chiropractor. It's a five part series like the Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> Three and five. five. <laughs> Picture this if you will. <laughs> They're in a court of law. <laughs> Let's go, James the trucker. James. Hey, I'm, I, I'm trying to have a moment here. Could you please, please lay off the jokes, please? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> fucking <Shut> assholes. <laughs> right. I have to wear this padded fucking collar when I sleep now. <laughs> wow. Would you make it out of the ones on your knees? <laughs> yes, Sorry, that was I did. <laughs> a padded collar? It's a... Uh, <laughs> what the fuck they Why, call they it? snip your ears? In the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Well, they he wears a funnel around his head <laughs> so he can <laughs> lick his own balls. <laughs> <laughs> My arms are numb for being nailed to the bicycle in Romania. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want him, they don't want him sucking cock until they figure out what's going on with his neck. <laughs> I bang my head on a plastic <laughs> funnel. Steve. So what happened? Got a, a padded collar. It's uh, it, well, you know, a neck brace, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Those things you get, and it's called the cervical collar, and you have to wear it when you sleep, so that I guess you don't crook your head in a weird direction, like you're and doing it, now. Yes, like yeah. I'm doing now. Yeah, like you're demonstrating. Fucking hurts. It's funny. Don't do Why don't that? you just put on the elephant man's hat and make a hooker <laughs> kiss you and sleep on thirty pillows? <laughs> <laughs> you got to sleep like fucking the kid from Mass. Yeah, I, I can't believe I'm, <laughs> exactly. I'm sitting here Pull getting some pins out of your foundry map. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here getting the shit kicked out of me, and I actually begged the doctor yesterday. I was like, please don't tell me I have to wear this fucking collar to work because I work with a bunch of infants. That'd be good, great. Yeah, and, and he said, no, you don't. You only have to wear it when you sleep. Could you bring it in so we could see it? No. Yeah. Well, <laughs> then why aren't you wearing it at work? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's. Uh, oh, shit, I should have gotten more. That, 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 yeah, that, that was, was a good one. Good. Yeah, let's, let's say hi to Derek <laughs> in Jersey. Derek, I'm proud of that one. Hey, how you, how you doing? Hey, what's up, what's up kiddo? Uh, not too much. Hey, this guy, he, he's got to get that surgery, man. He don't want to mess around. Thanks, Now Doc. you get yeah, and he, Now yeah. come the calls. Hey, let, me, let me explain to uh, some of the people what happens. Whenever you bring up any medical issue that anyone has on the show, no matter how serious or not serious it is, you will get people that call up that will tell you, Get it taken care of tomorrow, or you will be dead the next day. Of course. Day. They're a bunch of idiots. Just reactionary douches. I You've got to get, because I know my cousin's uh, brother's yeah. friend yeah. had this uh, thing, and uh, yeah, he was he was dead within a week. Hey, <laughs> Really? Steve ne never messes up his words, and uh, Justin from Hoboken is saying that Steve just called it a cervical collar. It he is, did, actually. It is called a cervical collar. Oh. Say, fuck, I well, thought what I did he had say it was finally. supposed to be. 
Well, I'm thinking cervical. Like, it went into like my down cervix. Down it went into my cervix. Yes, I, I checked that the box mm. actually says cervical collar. A cerv- cervix is uh, from the um, the uh, Latin uh, cer a cer- cer- a cervix, uh, which is a circular. Uh, it is a ring. It mm-hmm. is. I have no idea. No, cervix know. actually comes from the Latin meaning to serve yeah. the number nine. <laughs> Did you think? <laughs> yeah. I X. I, uh, <laughs> I should swim walk into a fucking wood chipper. <laughs> Dude, do you think that do you think the discs were uh, pushed out of place by maybe deep throating too much cock meat? Oh, <laughs> cock meat! <Weird. laughs> Nothing but cock meat. Just push, pushing them all the way through. <laughs> Might have been from the inside, hitting the back of his. You think <laughs> right, it's hitting like, like the, the other side of his, his yes. spine? <laughs> yeah, it might. Wow. The concept was there. I just didn't get there. My vertebrae hurts, and I have a helmet print in my adenoids. (laughs) From the Latin neck. (laughs) From the Latin neck. (laughs) Oh, I'm gay. Oh, what? Damn, Steve. You don't have to blurt that out every two seconds. Sorry. It's reflex. Uh, Well, Sean from uh, North Carolina. A hotbed of activity, Opie and Anthony activity, this North Carolina. North Carolina. Sean, what's up? Uh, A padded neck break. I bet somebody's got a bad case of Chase Five. Please <laughs> <laughs> make funny with that awful accent. Very nice. Uh, some advice. More advice coming in. Steve in Pennsylvania. Steve. Hey, how you doing, guys? All right. Hey. All right. Uh, yeah, bad car accident a bunch of years ago and screwed up the spine and whatnot. Hey, Steve. The I've had six EMGs. They're a bitch, man. They use fucking needles like. Uh, they're fucking darning needles. They stick in you. <laughs> see? Then they run like 220 through it. They want to see it, you know, measure the voltage to see how long it takes to get from nerve to nerve. They run 220. The guy makes it sound like they hook it up to your dryer fucking <laughs> yeah. outlet yeah. Yeah, in your cool. house. They're not hooking 220 yeah. like house current. This is a fucking car battery, dude. I think. Yeah, I- it's millivolts, man. But I just wanted to tell them they got uh, two hospitals in the city uh, that have these racks. They're, they're kind of like the old medieval racks. And they stretch you, and basically what it does is it, uh, it you know, it relieves the uh, the pain in the, uh, you know, in the spine, so you don't have to have the surgery. And uh, also, stay away from spinal cord stimulators. They tried to put one in me years ago and almost fucking killed me. What's a spinal cord stimulator? It's because of the spine. Uh, it's, it's to, it's to <laughs> jumpstart the nerves to, you know, to get them working properly again. And, you know, these doctors, they're fucking... They pushed it on me like four times after they did the, uh, the yeah. and, Sorry, uh, sir. You know, went through it with a bunch of guys that got really sick from it. They went and had the, uh, the permanent one, you know, installed. They put it inside you like a uh, morphine pump, and it sucks, man. It, it fucks you all up. So don't do it. Thank you. Man. Thank That's you. I want to say. That sounds fun. Have a nice day. <clears throat> Don't do it. See? Okay. Medical advice from our listeners. Well, have, have, you, have you seen him? I shall be taking none of it. This have you seen him at gigs? As, this is just as good as Wem, uh, Web. Yeah. Uh, Wem, uh, WebMD. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Our listener. Take a look at the aluminum bench full of our uh, prestigious doctors <laughs> sitting out here. <laughs> right. And uh, get some advice from the guy in the Monster Rain <laughs> shirt. <laughs> the famous Dr. Scanlon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Fucking, we got, yeah, it's fucking, there we go. We got a smaller version of Chief from Cuckoo's Dead. <laughs> And the guy in the Monster Range shirt looks like the guy that fucking just was up against the wall. Remember that guy who had shit come and just drool out of his mouth and he pissed his pants? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Hills Have Eyes guy. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> and the fucking guy in the end looks like this is Pat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are all esteemed doctors <laughs> and Famous. our listeners. I feel bad for these guys. Not enough people to bring the benches in here. I'm sorry. It's our rule. Gotta sit out there. Yeah. Steve, anything else? Nothing. Well, not not for air. I gotta ask you guys stuff off the air. What? Oh, I know. Oh. It's completely uninteresting. Off the air. Oh, with the, like, dude, well, with why the, should you stop with, now? <laughs> with, the, with the numb arm, have you jerked off just to make it oh, feel like tried. it's jerking you off? Fucking irritating, and it makes it makes my back and arm hurts even worse. It just oh. it's a it's a rigorous task, and I. Can't. What do you jerk off to? What's your Mm. Yeah. Ball peen yeah. hammers across women's faces. Yeah, faces of death. What's your <laughs> hammer smashed face part two? <laughs> What's your visual of choice when you're whacking your bag? Uh, I a lot of the videos from that red light district has been have been really good lately. Um, just because it's uh, it's quality stuff and um, it uh, I'm trying to think of like some of the titles, but uh, cum stained casting couch is one of them. 
Uh, overflowing assholes is another one. <laughs> overflowing assholes. Com? Overflowing. No, this is all. Uh, this is these are DVDs that I get. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, casting overflowing assholes. Uh, mommy knows best. Uh, is this milf series? Oh. Yeah. Broken back bear. Is another <laughs> yeah. one. Um, um, vertebrae cum whore. <laughs> it's a favorite. Herniated dicks. <laughs> <laughs> one in the mouth, one in the ass, and one in each numb hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gay because my hands numb. <laughs> <laughs> you can't actually feel the cock in your hand. It's not gay. <laughs> Jesus, Steve. Uh, <laughs> you are so gay. The guy just Poor gets guy. abused like a motherfucker. Yeah. I, don't know. I do. Yeah. It's all done with affection, right, guys? Yeah. Something yeah, like that. Yeah. 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 Of Never. course it is. Sure. Yeah. No, we love you. If that makes you feel good. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Steve, Nothing we, makes me feel Steve, good. Steve, we worry about you. No. You're I'm, obsessive yeah. with your workouts and your supplements. and yeah. Supplements are all vitamins, though, these days. Uh, the one day you came in here sweating. I don't know what in that the was from, of winter. though. It wasn't, I don't know what that was from. It wasn't nerves. It wasn't from anything I was taking, so I couldn't figure it out. I don't know. It was caffeine, though. Yeah. I did drink a lot of coffee. All right, beat it. All right, Take care. scram. I can't wait until one day we hear him sneeze and you just fucking hear the chinkling of the fucking vertebrae cracking. <laughs> like, yeah. The way it sounds, he like drops a dish. Falls from his neck out his asshole like a pachinko machine. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, there he goes. We got background on the guys who made that clip. What? What's Steve? I found the guys. <clears throat> I highlighted right the important part of it. Sorry, sorry, I was just telling you where to start. Uh, I found the info on the guys who. Uh, <laughs> he's getting mad. No, he's mad. right. He's right. <laughs> no, like, I was being he was being a, he was being a wise ass, and I told him exactly what I was yes, doing. And you put him right in his place. Right. I'm wearing a dicky. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. That's his imitation of himself. Yes, exactly. I want to pull his shirt all the way down to where his shirt should be, and watch his little shoulders slump. <laughs> ow, ow, this is ow, uncomfortable. Ow, 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 Please don't ow. do that. I'm uncomfortable. Uh, flow heat, Steve. Flow heat. You dry those on. <laughs> <laughs> is that true? <laughs> yes. I don't fucking know these How things. How hot are you drying them? High heat? <laughs> Jesus That's Christ. Bad. Oh. I, heat I bet you need to fold them. There's no fucking wrinkles left. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls it out with one hand. It's stiff. Steve, um, your clothes are getting a little tight. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It says I gained about fucking 30 pounds since I stopped training so hard. Why? Well, why did you gain 30 pounds, Steve? Uh, because I fucking Got stopped lifting as hard after my shoulder started hurting, and then I didn't stop eating less. Are you not eating healthy? Come on, tell the truth. Um... Oh, no. I eat it's healthy hard. until you about do a rough time. I, mean, I eat healthy just... until about four o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. and then I completely fall off the fucking rails. Did, well, you you just, you... did you just put your hand up to Jimmy? Like, <clears throat> well, he was. I was, I he was telling me he was Jimmy. I was, like, I was, he was uh, doing his no, no, well, no, no. Because I was saying that we no, know no. Steve has gone through a rough time personally. It's like sometimes it's difficult to fucking maintain everything when you. you... Why are you, Why are you eating now, Steve? Um, Aren't you going to stretch out your uh, stomach again? You, you look. Yeah, uh... I puke a lot. I puke a lot because I was eating too much. No, but if you eat too much, nice. can't you actually stretch it back out? Yeah, you can. Oh. Well, you can stretch it back out, but before the actual stretching happens, you vomit. Really? So, yeah, I fucking wear out the back of my teeth. So, I'll get, you know, I'm getting back on track, but I start physical therapy today, so hopefully I'll be back in the gym the in a couple months. The real problem is not the gym. No. The real problem is psychological. Is whatever little Stevie C is That's dealing right. with. That's right. Oh, boy. Little Stevie. Another That's lonely right. man in the room. That's yeah. right. This room is filled with very filled lonely, lonely, lonely men. Lonely men. <laughs> <laughs> trying to fill in the We're hurt. just all lonely men. <laughs> Shut up, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> when he was just a small little uh, Steve C. Uh, yeah. That's right. And he got in the wrong person's car. Yep. Remember that, Steve? That almost happened to me when touched I touched your wee wee. Did it? Did it? Yeah. Uh -oh. I, my, according to my mother, I used to fucking get lured he away. He almost came twice in my ass. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Wow. Implies he got fucked a... and he came and I, oh. the rape was complete. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You almost got lured? Yeah. Uh, my were. mother has told me on a number of it's occasions a when on I was string. younger, I used to get lured <laughs> away to. Uh, I, I don't have headphones on, no, so I can't hear you oh, interrupt good. Number, But a number of occasions? On uh, at least three occasions, she can oh, remember vividly where I was lured away by strangers with candy. How oh, molestable and dumb were you? <laughs> I was like three years old, molestable and very dumb, apparently. Someone got him. 
Yeah, someone must you have got three, three times the charm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, he went to the dance at least once. <laughs> yeah, come <laughs> on. The dance. Mother knows about it. There was three times she had to stop him from getting in the car. But one time, she saw him getting out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. And that candy had a cream filling. <laughs> yes. And Steve had little sticky candy stuff on his... But he was... She knew something happened because he had little sticky candy things on his fingers, yet he was still crying. <laughs> now, what kind of boy <laughs> eats candy and is still crying? Still Little Stevie, that's what right. happened. I, I don't know. I, I oh, have boy. no recollection of a lot of events. Yikes! Pre fifth grade, probably. Oh, boy. So. Wow! Oh, no! Pre fifth oh, grade? Well, I mean, there's well, somebody in kindergarten. Pre, Vividly, yeah, pre five years old. Nah, One minute I mean, he's looking wow. at a candy cane, the next minute he's seventeen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know like, what happened in between. <laughs> yeah. What do you think it's that's about? That's blank. fucked up. Most people know. Well, I mean, have like a lot spotty, of memories I mean, before fifth grade. No, I mean, I have recollections, but not nothing very as spotty as the blood yeah. in your underwear. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, oh, <laughs> yes, old tummy sleeper Steve. <laughs> He was belly sleeper Steve. Is that where that comes from? I yes, wondered. it sure is. Laying down. You. He sleeps on his stomach with his head tilted and his hands just docile behind him because that's the only way he could sleep with his rump sore. <laughs> <laughs> he had to tell all his friends he had a bike accident. I hit a pothole. The seat popped off. <laughs> that's right. And I went in a pothole and I went in and out for 40 minutes. <laughs> and then I was dumped back in my front yard <laughs> with, fucking, with teeth prints in my back. An, with <laughs> shitty candy. <laughs> the molester didn't even have good candy for me. That's right. Whenever nah. you wanted to cry, the molester would just reach around yeah. and put a piece of sucking candy in your mouth. <laughs> they Sorry. gave you Nekos and, Poor uh, Steve. and Mary Jane's. <laughs> <laughs> a piece of sugar sucking candy. It wasn't even good. Yeah, just awful candy. <laughs> Let's think of how awful the candy was. I'm going Mary Jane's. Or Ugh. Smarties. Yeah, a little package of Smarties. Yeah, Here you go, corn. kid. Or, Thanks or, for the fun. Or Domino sugar cubes. <laughs> <laughs> like a or a salt lick, hey. like a fucking deer. <laughs> Brutally now, fucked while licking a piece of salt. <laughs> Brutally fucked. Now you're hurting my childhood, Jimmy, because uh, we were very poor and we had to like suck on the little sugar cubes for, for treats. Really? Yeah, man. We didn't have all those cookies and all that fun stuff. In sugar our house. cubes. Yeah, I'd sneak nice the sugar co cubes. Maniacal little kids running around like crazy. Yeah. On a sugar high. Yeah. Did you guys want Steve in here or something? Steve for what? I don't know. Jimmy, you wanted Steve? It wasn't my bit, it was Danny's idea. Oh, Danny? Danny. Danny! Here comes Steve into the studio. Danny has an and idea, Danny. Steve. Danny. I want to make this perfectly clear, this is uh, Danny. Well, I think we we need a prop for this bit because Steve, I noticed that when you had come in earlier from CBS, you were wearing your jacket, uh -huh. and it looked like you were wearing baby clothes. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> what are you giving oh, me? Oh shit! Yeah, go ahead. No. What's oh what? shit! What's your bit? Go ahead. <laughs> I wasn't busy. <laughs> I tell you, Steve is not happy. What's your bit, Danny? I'd love to hear it. No, no, I'm sorry. Go back to doing whatever you're doing. Thank you. <laughs> What's this jacket doing here? <laughs> no. That'll be the second time I get written up, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> Danny, what was the bit? Because now everyone's curious. Well, you know, we like to have fun around here sometimes. We try, anyway. Sometimes it doesn't work I out just that was way, wondering. But... I was wondering... If, if Steve would have been able wait, to... Wait, wait, wait. Before you say what you're going to say, I want to help you out a little bit. Notice there's two doors. So whatever door he runs into, you might want to run out the other one. No, I don't even want to say, because I know every time, you know, every time you bring something up, it just gets met, it gets met with threats of physicality. So I'll just, I'll just go in the other room. <laughs> you have to say what the bit is now. Of course. Danny. Anthony's telling you you have to say the bit. <laughs> <laughs> this reeks of, of Sam and Pat Duffy. <laughs> oh. Well, I, I don't know. I, the, the, why is the, Steve the so name? upset? Well, I don't know. He's, he's doing something. Steve, why are you upset? I'll tell you why Steve is not happy. It's obvious. Steve! Steve? Steve, they're talking about you. <laughs> Can you see him? 
Steve has a shoulder or a back injury. What? He's coming. Just have him talk over there. Oh. Yeah, he can use the right there. No. Why are you upset, Steve? We're just trying to have fun. Dude, to be perfectly honest with you, look. I what? didn't sleep a whole lot last night. This fucking neck shoulder thing is killing me. All right. So to be brought in on a bit today was not a good day. I just I'm, I'm fucking irritated and I'm actually really busy trying to get a lot of stuff done. So I'm thrilled that Danny thinks that my clothes don't fit. <laughs> Can we fucking do this another day. So you would be up for doing it another day. Uh, maybe. But well, I, I really have shit to do. Today. I see it. I see it in your face. Mm. Did I just spit up water? You oh. <laughs> Well, basically, well, what's the bit, Danny? Well, I, I was lovingly calling it the zip-up challenge. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't want to do the zip-up challenge. I don't think you want to do the zip-up challenge. I know, because I would win. I know it. I would win. <laughs> <laughs> he is not Well, see, Sam, happy. I can zip my jacket up. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, so you were going to zip up your jacket, and then what? We go around the room and see who can't... <laughs> We can't zip up their jacket. Are you insane? Oh, that's fucking bad. <laughs> so wait a minute. <clears throat> Are you saying that Steve's jacket might not zip up? His it, his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looked that way before. Mm. That's all. See, I, I gotta say say that um, Steve's got his back and shoulder problem, and he hasn't been able to work out. And he's very frustrated he's about a, that. He's he's in hell. Yeah, so that's he's why he's trying to take care of his and back. I and I think neck. he's probably a little sensitive about the subject, and uh, you know, that's where he stands. So I don't think the zip up challenge is uh, <laughs> gonna be pulled off here today. Yeah, <laughs> the rip Danny's head off challenge may be complete, but. <laughs> <laughs> Danny keeps looking over his shoulder. Just <laughs> waiting for him to charge in. Well, Danny, no, that's fine. Like a Why were you running through backyards? Because I like the, the way the, the grass feels on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> why why wow. do I have to run with it? Why can't I just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oof. Back injury. Oh, Steve. <laughs> Steve. What's that? That was back injury on that one. I'm sorry. Back injury? Yes. What, what do you mean? mean? Swung, missed. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, hurt your back. Yes. Hurt your back by trying to, what, swing? I get yes, it. Steve. Yes. I hurt my back. I was getting honey from a beehive and I fell. <laughs> what do you think, Steve? Is that accurate? What? Sorry. Can't what? Something good. <laughs> yes. What are the odds of a um, foundry reunion? Slim to none. Why? Because I don't know where those guys are. Why? You don't know where your band is? Yeah, that was like 10, 11 years ago. I still know where my band is. Yeah, well, they're all in the same place. A lot of yeah, my guys moved, I think. Most of them are your family. <laughs> <laughs> of course you know where they are. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve, why don't you get the fuck out of here? Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh. Thank but you. You, but why were you running through backyards in Wisconsin? I want to know why. <laughs> North That's Dakota. Ah, whatever. Why am I correcting? What were you crap? doing? Where was it? Uh, sorry, Jimmy. Steve, You're why were you running through backyards? He's not answering. <laughs> He's not answering. <laughs> Jimmy, it was right on. All right, well, Danny had actually. I have to credit Danny, and Steve can hear this. So, Steve, here's the deal Your improvisational skills. Oh, <laughs> Jesus need a little to be desired not that it has to be brilliant improv yeah but Danny pointed out at one point that what Steve will do is a lot of times just repeat what we say like <laughs> to him, why are you running through backyards I don't know I like backyards <laughs> <laughs> and today was even worse because it's like why are you running through those backyards I, I like the way grass feels under my feet. <laughs> under my toes. Oh, is that what he said? Yes. Yeah, he said that. My, <laughs> my little bear toes. <laughs> he wants to do a joke, but he ends up just being literal. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. Like, I just like, I like the air. Yeah. <laughs> I like having fur and running like a bear does with teeth. So that's why I was just asking Steve those inane, idiotic questions. Yes. Hey. So the audience knows. We, could, we <laughs> try to get them into a silent room. Yeah. But it's just... Are you? Do you practice wizardry? No. Could you wave your wand and whip me up some improv skills? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Impossible. <laughs> We're Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I now him all I want to do is talk to Steve. <laughs> Steve. I'm doing bad improv on a fucking TV show that no one can see but us. <laughs> you know you're bombing when the eight people that can see them aren't laughing. That means nobody <laughs> in Radio Land is either. <laughs> yes, you're the big neck. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, so young <laughs> Sam Roberts. So we play. Oh, right, Sam. What do we do? The uh, Vicky Guerrero emotionally sends. This was the. Yes. This was the first. Yeah. So Vicky. Thing that was done after the fake. That the was fake hurt. All right. That after the injury. Yeah. I love the new Steve. Can I say it? <laughs> I can literally talk about Steve for fucking from six to eleven every day. <laughs> I love Steve. Why is he high? Yes. We have, why is he hibernating? I, I was hibernating because I'm, I have to hibernate because I'm tired. I'm a bear and I need to uh, sleep. Yeah, yeah Danny Harry's literal. Yes, because bears hibernate. <laughs> That's what they do when I'm a bear. Steve, where's Steve? Steve. I the fact the audience I'm is checking the mail <laughs> for improv skills. <laughs> yes. None today. Yes. Publishers Clearing House say it may have won improv skills. <laughs> <laughs> or in, in walk in. Yes, I get it. I have no improv skills. <laughs> Right now, where is he right now? He's probably doing freeze improv with fucking Derek. <laughs> freeze improv. Okay, freeze. Okay, is someone in the audience pick an occupation? <laughs> That's right. Producer. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look how angry oh, no, he looks. No. Oh, no. Oh, look how full water. Oh, oh he's pouring water down. Oh, God, he just poured water down from his back. Oh. How's that for improv? <laughs> I'm sorry. My improv was a little weak. I was actually better than anything else you've ever done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've had water down Jim's back. <laughs> oh. oh, is that wet? I don't know. Yeah. I was in Derek's <laughs> studio doing water. production. So what I usually do is when I'm in there doing a production is, and, and some intern walks up and goes, they're talking about you, they're talking about you. Okay, why don't you with the headphones tell me what the fuck they're talking about so Ooh. I don't walk into a Ooh. hail of gunfire. Ooh. Uh, ah, ah. Oh, yes, Steve. Oh, is that wet? I don't know. Yeah. I was in Derek's <laughs> studio doing water. production. So what I usually do is when I'm in there doing a production is, and and some intern walks up and goes, "They're talking about you. They're talking about you." Okay, why don't you with the headphones tell me what the fuck they're talking about so Ooh. I don't walk into Ooh. a hail of gunfire? Ooh. Uh, and, why would and, they do that? That's oh, because it's radio. what it's, it's because it's what Sam and Danny and Travis have taught them all to do. It's don't don't tell oh. Steve what the fuck is going on. Yeah, Ooh. but you ask. Yeah, but you, yeah, but, but you me. just Life. today. It's true. Ooh. You ask us when you've been sitting there in front of today supposedly listening to the show and then you say what's going on if you ever Ooh. noticed no oh, oh. oh shit oh. absolutely not true anarchy sit back yep. no it's not anarchy um because that would imply that they've actually outranked me which they don't uh, oh. the, uh that's not what anarchy not what implies what it, at all no, anarchy means all. The, that we don't outrank you but we're uprising that's not going to happen either. Oh. Oh. Anyway, point is, um, I, sometimes I'm I'm wrapped up in five different things, and I'm politely asking what's going on. And sometimes Latex, I get, yeah. lycra, yes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Honey, fur, and seed. <laughs> That's three. I like the way it feels on my body. <laughs> Thank you. So. <laughs> so wait, but you're, what do you, what, what do you say? Like, I'm asking, what are you, what are you accusing Steve of? I'm not actually. Yeah, not no, I wasn't. I was, I was young Sam Roberts. My name was thrown under the bus first for the record. So why? I don't know. He said he yeah. claims that he's in the production studio. And then we don't tell him what's happening on the show. But a lot of times he'll be called into the studio and ask what's going on. And he won't have been in the production studio. He'll have been in the I'm office. On the phone. With the show on. Talking to Roland. There's a, there's a dozen other things that have to get done. And I'm asking politely if you guys can help me out. And sometimes they're just, just go on in. They're talking about you. Go on in. They're talking that's, about you. That's how it should work. Danny, you're what are we going to get out of you if, if you know what's going on? Oh, thank you. Well, at least I know that they've been told. Thank you. Danny, your take? I have a difficult time... Uh oh, I have a difficult time shutting up <laughs> when yes. you should projecting my opinions <laughs> because because of things that have Danny gets angry <laughs> because of things Why that have you? happened in the past because, because they come out like gunnery sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's some diplomacy happening here, but Sam, what what's going on? Sam what's, has no problem in saying what is going on. What, what's going talking on? Talking about talking in a roundabout way. Well, Danny has to talk in a roundabout way because. <laughs> 
because he gets very upset with certain things. Well, yeah. no, because but, because before the Christmas break, Danny had a little punishment <laughs> that happened. So so Danny's not allowed to talk about Steve anymore. Uh oh. Yeah, what, that's what happened. What's going on? What I missed? Not double secret probation. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, Danny got the old. Red warning. Perhaps a talking to. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you Perhaps were allowed, to, it, a bit more. It, let, let, it, let's. If you if you are allowed to talk about Steve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that one won't work either. Since I'm asking on the air, it's acceptable. It's also a, not being disrespectful to him mm. as the producer. What what would be something you would say in candor without rancor? It's an improv game. Yes. <laughs> oh no. He <laughs> 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 dumped water down my back. Okay. <laughs> I know. That's, that's, um, well, what, what's, uh, what's the issue? Unfortunately, I must decline to speak. Because hmm. I like coming to work and having a job. Ah. <laughs> no. And if I, if I speak uh, ill, in, in any kind of ill light... Then in I have to. Subordination. Then I have to worry about. <laughs> I have to worry about my my lengthy career in ra the radio business. Well, how mm. about this? We allowed to do this. If you speculate, what's a quality in a person, if you were to work for them, or, or what is something it, it, theoretically that would drive you crazy? Doesn't have to oh. be something that's going on here. It could be a theoretical quality. <laughs> Good question. That's a fair question. And the human resources, listen, you can't fault you for answering. No, on -air especially questions. on air. Mm -hmm. Well. I like, I look for, um, and this doesn't, it doesn't apply here, this right, applies for general, any place where general. I would, I would work for. In Improvisation general. skills? Yeah, that, yes. and, uh, <laughs> I always look for, uh, leadership skills in a leader. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Ooh. I'll start there. <laughs> Sam? Uh, yeah, I mean, thank you for throwing that to me at no that problem. point, Danny, <laughs> that's obviously very helpful. <laughs> oh, is this uncomfortable? I mean, as far as leaders go, like, leadership... I don't know if it's like if it's accompanied with it, but uh, having like an idea of what the fuck is going on—that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> what else are you looking for in a leader, Danny? Oh, back to Danny. Oh, man, this is some a hell of a this is some tennis game. Right. Sure is. <laughs> I feel like Arthur Ashe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let, me, <laughs> let me try to deflect. Steve. Oh, what do you look for in employees? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Steve scrolling, though. That's never a good sign. No. It, scroll, 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 scroll. 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 Steve, what's your feelings? Scroll. Yeah, Obviously, Steve. you have to be heard from. Yeah, Steve. Um, give me that. What can I say? It's um, sometimes challenging to lead in an organization where the powers that be constantly call you incompetent and homosexual uh, and you expect your subordinates to actually respect you when that's going on on a daily basis. Well, um, Sam, obviously it's back to you. Uh, Sam, yeah, I mean, you know. We all know you actually run the show. The no, no, I think Sam just said something. Yeah, kidding, Sam. Of course, Steve. <laughs> but that's on air stuff. We goof on you yeah. on air. Yeah, but, but see, there's... I guess... Okay, th which one, the, which the one do you want us to blurry. stop saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pick one. Yes. <laughs> which one do you want us to stop saying? Which by proxy means which one would you like double? <laughs> <Yes>. Exactly. <laughs> I know. Believe me, I've been doing this long enough. What is it, 10 years now? Yeah. Um, yes, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I, no, I'm teasing Steve. I know. Steve knows I, I really, you know, we all love like Steve. Steve. I'm, we all like them. What? Of course we do. Yeah. I mean, a lot. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so what were you saying, Steve? I didn't mean to interrupt you. Um, the point is, uh, sometimes the staff gets a little confused as to what is just on air and mm -hmm. what's real life. And um, that's true. And uh, when they hear you guys calling me out and calling me a fag, calling me incompetent, you know, all those <laughs> wonderful things... <laughs> That I have to deal with on a on, on a basis. Sometimes the tooling doesn't end, and I have to catch when do copious, I tool on you, Steve? copious amounts uh -oh. of shit uh, behind the scenes. And I'm not saying it's mm. happened. Re I'm not saying it's happened I'm, recently. I and just, I'm not pointing my finger. At I you just want to clear the air because it's just Danny. It's the you've way actually the, been the way very, that you're making it sound is like you're accusing me of doing these things. No, Danny, you've actually you been know. very well behaved recently. I have to be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Danny's been doing a very good job of biting his tongue. Yeah, Danny's been biting his tongue quite well lately. Scarlet. And I've been biting a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> that goes in the fag column. Yes. <laughs> oh boy, can I see the lawsuit now? They constantly called me a <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> it was July 8th, 1048. And I went along with it too. Uh, 
down. But it's all on air. Oh silliness. my god! I understand that, Jim. You understand that. That is I'm so saying. good. I mean, you have to realize, like, people are gonna pick and choose what they want to uh, pay attention to. Yeah, it's almost like nobody calls you like a, 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 a an animal who hibernates for real. Wait a minute. Like they don't really treat you like a bear off air. Do they, Steve? I'm trying to think. I think that no, that's actually been one that they haven't. See, so thank you. You pulled out an accurate. Because they example. don't think you're a bear. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What am I agreeing to? I don't know. Anyway, can I go back to production now? Oh well, no, this oh. is producing. This is important stuff. Oh yeah, I want to say what you need to say now, Sam. You mean in the improv game? Yeah. Yeah, he's not listening uh -huh. right now. <laughs> Like if a, if a leader, you, you play the improv game. <laughs> I'll do the improv game, and if a leader said that, uh, like powers of be were calling him gay and incompetent, then I guess it would also be up to the leader to prove them wrong. Hmm. Oh. oh. Hypothetically. <sighs> Hypothetically. Theoretically. Comment. I mean production. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> What about the other four oh, and a half hours? Gonna, <laughs> oh, fuck, he's gonna come screaming in here. Does he get angry, though? He's yeah. gonna come Sometimes running he in here. Angry. But he doesn't, why doesn't he respond? Like, he's not, not yelling, but uh, the truth. He does respond, no, right? No, but I mean, where is he? <laughs> What's he been talking with my mouth? Steve, where'd you go? Sometimes I just forget we're even on the air. <laughs> oh, Steve's in the <laughs> other room listening to everything. He oh! Is. He can hear us. Well, Steve, come in here. Yeah, come in. You, you're. This is not going to end good. And then look yeah. at Faggy Travis runs away because he doesn't want to be involved in this at all. <laughs> he was in here doing something, and he just runs off. No, I came in here because I couldn't be in there anymore with Steve <laughs> while you guys were talking. Why? Why? It's a little uncomfortable. Why are you uncomfortable? Does he touch you in places where your bathing <laughs> no, suit not covers? No, sort of uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Why is it uncomfortable, Travis? <laughs> Another one for the gay column. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be that's gonna be some deposition. Oh yeah. You're right, Jim. Yeah. And then he accused me of touching yes. the twink that answers the phones. <laughs> uh, and, and did you not say, and I quote, you're a cum-sucking boob. <laughs> yes, but it's all in context. <laughs> <laughs> this would not read well in a transcript. No, I'm not a boob. What? That's right. I hate boobs. <laughs> why, is, why, is Travis, why is Travis uncomfortable? That is why. Huh? Why are you uncomfortable? Yeah, yeah. Same same reason you were uh, uncomfortable when it was going on in here. I'm not oh. uncomfortable at all. Not even a little. I mean, I'm, I'm listening to everybody talking. Yeah. Well, you know, when you got people uh, going open. back and forth in this tennis match and then Steve's standing right behind you while it's all going on. It's well, open dialogue. You don't really want to laugh open hysterically. Anthony, yeah. Well, I can't you. I would laugh if I wanted to laugh or I would try I'm not uncomfortable. There's a lot of hate in this room. That's obvious. <laughs> 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 want to get uncomfortable? Let's go. Yes, so we were just calling me out and being uncomfortable. What's your take? I don't want you to feel like no one's listening. I'm a king of no, not being uncomfortable. Mm. Just practicing no improv skills. There's not a lot of love in this room. <laughs> <laughs> we want to go with this. Let's go. Oh, God. Steve? Oh, I'm fine. Mine, I'm sure you are. Yeah. Comment? Mm -hmm. On. <laughs> Which one? We were talking about you. I know, I, I know, Sam. <laughs> they were Thank you. They were discussing you. I think I'll go improv a review. Oh, the old D. Ross suspension yeah. coming my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, is that what they're calling it now? Yeah. The old D. Ross. <laughs> the old D. Ross. D. Ross. You, know, suspension. you got Danny'd. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sam had a better day. But was that the old? Uh, that was the old shit can McGillicuddy. Yeah, <laughs> the old shit can McGillicuddy. <laughs> Danny's old nickname coming prime time's way. <laughs> shit can <laughs> McGillicuddy. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Who do you think's gonna get shit can, Sam? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I guess it depends. It really depends on how far this conversation goes and who dominates it. Well, we're all talking on the air. I don't think anybody can fault anybody for anything said on the air. I mean, we're asking. So it's not like anybody's being belligerent. Or I actually had a conversation with Don Wicklin. You remember him, don't you? <laughs> Barely. With Don Wicklin. Cool. When uh, that Was whole it hard to talk with just making eye contact with that hole in the stall. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing all the talking. His mouth was full of my cock. <laughs> <laughs> he was reading his lips through a buddy booth. <laughs>
Oh, Danny. It seems like he's pointing at uh, the screen saying Channel 57. <laughs> <laughs> I had a conversation with him um, during Shitcan McGillicuddy's uh, <laughs> crisis time there, uh, trying to pretty much you know talk him out of it because I don't like seeing anybody being put on double secret probation. And I voiced a concern. I said, "What if anything is on the air?" I go on the air. We have to be able to go back and forth. And he, I remember him saying, "Anything goes on the air, as long as it doesn't get carried off the air." Right. Uh, into that. So, you're fucking safe. I feel like Danny and me are just producing content. Because, you know, we're producers. That is true. However, uh, as novel of an idea that is, <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to say. It's, yeah. It's not, and so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you think? See, what, what, what's going on? Well, you can't get in trouble for stuff you're saying on the air. No, no, not at all. Really can't. Because, I mean, it, while it is uncomfortable in this room, it'll be even more uncomfortable in my living room when I can't afford my electric bill. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Why would they. Very warm. Well, very warm. We're only asking it's very muggy in Queens. Well, can we get at least working on the phone with somebody on the phone? I, I don't want to hear anybody badmouthing anybody. I just want to see what's going on. Have this the phone's been detention. turned off in Washington? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Pretty much. We could try. Um. Mm. Well, I'm damn good sandwich. <laughs> Should we take a break? Great entertainment too. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, dinner, well, dinner, and a show. We'll try to get Wicklin on the air. <laughs> We're going to get the Vince McMahon update uh, after the break as well. We got when Seth arrived today, is it true that Steve was making believe he was a ballerina when you walked into the <laughs> office or something? Uh, gosh, I wasn't even going to out him like that. But there was something I'll on TV. He's way I out. Think it was uh, some kind of new aerobics that has to do with. Ballet. I don't know. Here, here he is. What happened? You want to get on here and defend yourself? Well, because everyone ran in and they said there was a weird moment. Seth walked into the office and, and Steve was going, I'm a ballerina. I didn't think it was that weird. But I'm a ballerina. It's, it's haunting him. Oh. What did you say, Steve? We, we didn't I hear. said I'm a ballerina. And I said, why don't you get those tights off and do your job? Exactly. <laughs> I, I'd like to thank Sam for being the instigator that he is. What not Sam. Not our dear, sweet what Sam. What are you talking about? Because the only person in here with a mouth that big that witnessed the, in, the incident was you. You said it. I didn't lie. I know I said it. I'm just <laughs> saying. <laughs> Why would you say I'm a ballerina? Because uh, uh, Sam's lovely girlfriend is, uh, came up to uh, watch the show, and she brought uh, munchkins. And she said, Steve, would you like a munchkin? And I said, no, I'm a ballerina in training. I'm watching my figure. See, I didn't even get the context. Yeah. Oh. So in my imagination, so you I had both of your hands on yeah. your head and were doing a pirouette. Yeah, I was, doing, I, was, I, was, I started to do a pirouette, and as I got halfway through a pirouette, I saw Seth Green standing there. I was like, oh, boy. You want to be... Feminine so bad. <laughs> no, I really don't. You really do. You did a pirouette. You're not a little girly. That. Not with that mustache. What? Yeah, you, be a little girl. You just you just made it look like I, I threw it like a throwaway. Yeah, I said I was a ballerina. Like, it was a, <laughs> like you were a dock worker joking around with Sonny Liston. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you? Uh, I, was, I, I literally Sonny was in Liston. the middle of the of, of, what kind of reference of the student. I think I went. <laughs> the dock. I think I had like one hand on my head and I went. I'm a ballerina. And I turned. Oh, I got a, a like move. that. I got like halfway I, through. I'm a ballerina, and I saw Seth, and I went, "Oh boy!" Yeah, you weren't you weren't halfway at all. You were pretty committed. Yeah, you was were. <laughs> Can you redo it like without seriously? Like, yeah, yeah. Let's don't, see don't the whole move. It's an acting yeah. gig. Where's the Munchkins? Greedy staff. I want a Munchkin. <laughs> don't have a Munchkin. Right. You're in training. Wow. Exactly. <laughs> that was the. Let's get the full the effect. quickest. Here we okay, go. Okay, so somebody asked cue. me if I'd like a Munchkin. <laughs> Would you like? Would a you like a Munchkin? No, thank you. I'm watching my figure. I'm a ballerina. Yeah, he wants to be a girl. Oh. Yeah, and there's a certain like joyful elation on yeah. your face, <laughs> and there you it's you ooze femininity, even though you're you're like a, a big guy. There's a contented satisfaction. Look, we'll a glow, glow. It's comfort. We'll prove the difference. Kenny, can you do the same line? Oh, God. Just just for look, like this Steve looked over. very very feminine as he I was doing. Just noticed it. you guys have a stripper pole in the corner. Yeah, we're not, we're not allowed, allowed to use it. Use it. <laughs> they, they gave it to us and then said, "By the way, uh, you can't have girls." In Douchey studio. radio. Well, not girls, but maybe. No, we have guys <laughs> doing. We've it. done we, that. We have done that. If <laughs> some reason it's fine to have naked Classic guys in the studio. Yeah. Of who's running this joint? All right, go ahead. Ken, uh, someone asked Kenny if he would like. Hey, munchkin. Kenny, do you want some munchkins? No, thank you. I'm a ballerina. <laughs> 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 Big see the, monster. See the difference? <laughs> yes, Penny looks stupid but wants to be pretty. <laughs> He's goddamn Herman Monster. I'll tell you, because Kenny got up. Kenny got up. I watched Kenny's feet. He got up on the balls of his feet because he wanted to seem sweet. Yeah, I know how to be a ballerina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on my tippy toes. Yeah. <laughs>
enrolled in the Steve Carlisi School of Improv. Here's one of my students now. Give me a person, an occupation, and a situation. Okay, a fireman, a firehouse, and a fire. Yes, I think there's been a fire in somebody who's health. This kid's a genius. He's my best student. Uh, all right, we're gonna pick an object, a comb. Here's a comb. My hair must be messy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm in tears over here. Someone in the audience pick an occupation. Producer. I have no idea what that is. How's that for improv? When in doubt, open your eyes wide and panic. Enroll <laughs> in the Steve Carlisi School of Improv. <laughs> yes, I get it. I have no improv skills. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Derek. That's Derek. Oh, damn. The guy that talks bad about yes. us behind our backs? Yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah, let him go. Um, uh, let him go, you know. <laughs> yeah, let him Let him go. Who doesn't? All right. <laughs> and now Steve is a ballerina today. That's, that's wonderful. I'm a ballerina. Mm. That's right. I'm a ballerina in training. <laughs> Rowan, you like Steve? I do. I'm also a little teapot, short and stout. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Here is my handle, and here is my gout. <laughs> or, or there is the closet. I should step out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't criticize Foundry, or I'll pout. <laughs> My producer skills are in doubt. <laughs> That's right. I came in my pants. I better use some shout. <laughs> in the world of radio, I have no clout. <laughs> <laughs> that song Pendulum, what's it about? <laughs> My, that Pendulum album stunk worse than Shroud. <laughs> oh, poor Stevie. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fighting obesity and losing the bout. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not very sweet. Roll. Let it be known, no one is tickling Roland. Just... <laughs> I'm a little teapot. Short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my That's spout. Right. That's right. <laughs> Put a finger in my backside and come shoot out. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Steve's Steve's good. He's a good boy. Of course boy. he is. What is he talking about? Who knows? I hear, I hear like... Well, Steve, what are you doing? Chatter. Yeah. Probably diesel trucks his calves have been compared to. <laughs> and they thought one time it was a... It was a... I get it, Jim. Right. Oh. <laughs> wheels came off. <laughs> oh, the wheels on the bus go round and round. <laughs> I don't know why I'm singing children's songs now. <laughs> Because it was fun, <laughs> that little teapot. Because <laughs> you can picture Steve doing that while dressed in like a fucking a a, 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 a one color latex outfit, <laughs> <laughs> like a beige latex yeah. outfit, <laughs> except for the black right arm because that's that's the handle part of the teapot. Yes, and I'm short and stout, <laughs> <laughs> and there's my handle. I want it to be a handle. That's right. <laughs> 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 it come shoot. <laughs> oh boy. Uh I I'm looking at another little sick bear. Uh Steve C uh, he texted me and was asking me what my symptoms were when I was at the peak of my sickness because he apparently um was in bad shape. The bad thing about trying to throw up when you have gastric bypass <gasps> Ooh, that's uh, right. is anything above the uh, the gastric band, I can throw up freely and wonderfully. Anything below just gets stuck there, and I and I just and the muscles are still like pushing to try to get it out. it out, and they're still pushing it up, but I can't get it up. Can't your stomach explode from that? I don't know, man. It's like Oof. a horse. 
<laughs> yeah, they can't. They can't throw up horses. He's die while he sleeps standing he's just, up. He's got the colic. So <laughs> he's sitting on the. He's laying on the ground. We're gonna have to put the tent over him. <laughs> Shoot him. <laughs> Feed him a sugar cube and distract him. And crack his head open. Here you go. His lips just take it. <laughs> and we blast his head off. <laughs> Oh, Steve. Yeah, he's telling me he had this bad fever. and uh... I, just, I, I woke up. I remember waking up in the middle of the night, like sweat pouring off of me, like literally like a faucet and, and just dripping off of me. I must have thrown... Thought about your sexuality? Yes. <laughs> Every um, morning he wakes up and he goes, they know. <laughs> uh, it's just one of those shivery things. And I just, I, I, I don't get it. Like, I, you know, I, I, and I can't figure out where this stuff comes from because it just that's know. what happened that's exactly what happened to me i woke up one day and uh it was friday after friday's show and uh i was shivering yeah at, like i'd never been that cold and uh i went into bed and i couldn't get enough blankets on me and i was mm -hmm. still shivering and you get the cold sweats and you eh. it's awful and that was it then the whole woozy head thing happened where it feels like you got a lightsaber inside your head. Steven S. from Bayshore writes, tell Steve to take two twinks and call us in the morning. <laughs> no, I can't I can't have any meat today. Steve, why are you yeah, emailing? I'm not allowed to twink. I'm allergic to twinks. Set it on WebMD. <laughs> he emailed me as well. Like, we're not doctors. We're just shock no. jocks. Because uh, then Steve's like, uh... I uh, I just got a lot of lot of uh, liquids that I have to like drink before my because. colonoscopy. Will I be blanking blank uh, all day Friday, or should I stay home? And uh, I'm like, what? There's a reason I because know. I because I've heard you guys talk about this because <laughs> I've I've heard you guys talk about it, not recently but in the past like easily in the last ten years you both have talked about this. I'm like and I have no idea. I have to go for my first one on Friday, and they give you this <laughs> jugs of liquid that you're supposed to drink every eight minutes until you just. You're going to be in deep trouble Friday. When is the colonoscopy? 8 a.m. on Friday, and I can't even... So you don't know if you can come in Thursday? No, I'm here today. Oh, tomorrow. So you started no, no, drink. No. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm completely out of commission tomorrow, apparently. Because... Wait, did you start drinking the liquid? Uh, no, not yet. When are you going to start drinking the liquid? Uh, hopefully uh, around noon. Uh, you're going to be in deep trouble. Go home. Why? What does that do? Oh boy! I have no. I see. oh, it's supposed to clean you out. Yeah, because the, oh, the people that do the colonoscopies, they don't want to deal with you know what. Well, they so they want a nice clean tunnel. That's do what you, they need. Do you want to go through the Lincoln Tunnel like uh, <clears throat> when it's when really they were building it? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> you need it when it's you, already built and someone's cut the ribbon and you could drive right through. You want to be the first, obviously. Right. Yes. You don't want any of that uh, but, muck on your windshield. <laughs> but being the first also gets you a prison sentence. So let's go with the other scenario. <laughs> but do you want to go through the Lincoln Tunnel when there's a traffic jam? Or clear sailing? No, smooth sailing. Well, that's how these uh, doctors uh, look at these colonoscopies. Ah. So they give you this stuff <laughs> and make sure it's clear sailing and there's no uh, traffic no jam. No traffic. Yes. Oh, so you're gotcha. lovely. So within an hour, you're going to be uh, running to the bathroom. Oh. From what I hear, oh, even faster. Faster. Oh, okay. Really? All right. I, I smell bit mm -hmm. and and other awful things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do not be anywhere farther than a, I don't know, fifty, sixty feet from a facility. Ever. Fifty, really? sixty feet. I was going to yeah, say see? fifty or sixty inches. Yeah, see, maybe. This is the stuff they don't tell you. They, t they the, the doctor says he's going to give you a prep kit, but I had to start emailing people. <laughs> prep kit's a bag. <laughs> yeah, it's basic. It's, it's it's a gallon jug <laughs> with some you know powdered drink mix in it that you know. And so I'm I'm e I'm rapid firing e emailing everybody saying what what am, what 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 happens with this thing. Uh, by the way, Derek is demanding Steve take a recorder with him. You better uh, okay. get audio of this. That uh, we still yeah, do that, a dirty that show. Might you work. Know? Okay. That, that, dirty, dirty show. That will be good for our dirty show. Okie dokie. Uh, let's say hi to Max in Dallas. Max, I'm wondering if they're going to have to use the wide-angle lens on the colonoscopy sort. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's assuming they need a wide angle lens on Steve because of Steve's um you know presumed lifestyle. Oh, yeah. Perhaps a regular camera wouldn't be able to cover all that area. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're big fans of exaggeration. Of today. course we are. I hear they're getting the Hubble telescope yes. from outer space for, for Steve's yes. or Actually, it's just a Polaroid camera with a mallet. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, let's go to <laughs> Steve. Let's see what Boston's all about. Good morning, Boston. Brian, what do you got today? Hey, morning, fellas. Hey, hey man. First of all, uh, Jimmy, uh, you're great. Boston loves you. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, just one quick thing. I've been watching the news lately. I don't want to sound stereotypical here, Anthony, but what's the chances you have salmonella? Why? I, I wasn't throwing up. I didn't have a, a stomach problem, really. I have to apologize. I went to Brian because it, it, it says on the screen, maybe Ann has Sal Anella. And I was thinking Sal from Baltimore and, you know, that this could be a thing. But Salmonella poisoning. Yeah, but they just spelled uh, <laughs> Salmonella wrong. Yeah. No, that uh, wasn't Salmonella. All right. Uh, let's go to Charlie in Jersey. Charlie. <laughs> Good man. I just wanted to tell you, um, this past Monday I had uh, colonoscopy done, and the stuff that they give you is like a liquid enema. It kind of tasted like a lemon soda, but you have to drink equal parts of water. And I didn't realize that at first. I drank it, and, like nothing's happening. <laughs> and I read the bottle, I was like, oh, oh, I got your water. So I drink the water. And it couldn't have been two minutes. <laughs> say, a lot of bad things happened for the next half an hour where I couldn't even basically pull my pants up. Can we that bad. Can we play rodeo today? <laughs> rodeo. <laughs> I want to play rodeo. See if you can stay on for eight <laughs> seconds. I want to see who could drink this stuff and last the longest, and we'll call it rodeo. Remember the scene in the Pope of Greenwich Village? When uh, mm. he gives they the took cop my thumb, the drink. Charlie. Now the other oh. one, where he gives the cop the drink, and the cop takes it and then walks out in the street and starts directing traffic. Right. And suddenly, so, like thirty seconds later, bang! It hits him. Yeah, that's what Steve's going to experience. Well, I don't know what this uh, means at all, but uh, uh, Sean, the producer, is saying um, suddenly there's going to be a bunch of uh, condoms and dead hamsters all over the studio floor. <laughs> 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 and, and uh, tubing. <clears throat> I, you know, <laughs> why are you guys blowing off my idea? I want to play rodeo. Now, how would rodeo work? St well, Stunt Brain, how do we get rodeo done? I want uh, three guys, and I want them to drink whatever that stuff is, and I want to I want to play rodeo. And whoever can hold out the longest? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wins, uh, I don't know. I, I got a hundred. That's easy. <laughs> what about a cream pie? Yeah, we could pick uh, the guys. Cream pie. Bob. Bob. What if Young we, Bob. What if we put three or four glasses and only one of them had the uh, toxic mix? Ooh, Russian then, roulette. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Russian roulette. That is hilarious, and you don't even know. But you got to make, make them all taste the same. Yeah. That That's the way to go. Well, I don't think they know what it tastes like anyway, so... Well, if you, if you have water, water, and the, you're going to be able to... Well, water, yeah, but I mean, it's got to be, yes, yeah, something else. Right. Maybe like a... Um, mm. Someone's going to have to do a little taste testing. Like a Mountain Dew. <laughs> they malted. Might, they might get a yeah. little dribble well, maybe we could, setting up the bit. We could make them all taste the same, so no one would know. Well, I'm, but only one of them's loaded. Well, let's get this done for tomorrow, right? I'm serious. Let's play rodeo yeah. tomorrow. Brooklyn Ace, what's up? Guys, I'm still having nightmares and no filter, Paul. Please don't do this again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, got, we did do this bit with uh, no filter, Paul, but we didn't play rodeo, though. That's, no. That's the bit, because now you got guys trying to hold out. <laughs> we played disgusting little English man uh, in a diaper yeah. messing himself. Yeah. It was hysterically funny. That was so damn funny watching him lose control of himself like that <laughs> and, and that video is up on youtube oh, still, right best be can we get the search classic what people need to search for it if they want to see the no filter paul we kind of did it Ooh. jimmy what's wrong itchy. you're itchy you all right yes uh, what happened what they do allergies checked you for allergies yeah, it's just, it's just so bad. they poke you with things yeah it's like, and then they say you're allergic to that you're allergic to this so no, what you get the last poke? <laughs> <laughs> so what you got? You got all the pokes. Do you know what you're allergic to? They they said maybe a little histamine <laughs> and a little bit of mold, but not much. It was I got forty pokes. Sure. Twenty left, twenty right, and then twenty needles in the right. They put it under the skin. Wow, your skin popping. Yeah. Yeah, just, man. It's just itching as it like heals. Oh, a little mold allergy too. Nothing major. Probably from that god 
forsaken crap hole you lived in. No, he said it's all over the place, the one I'm allergic to. So what else? Oh, really? I'm nuts today. Everyone's allergic to mold for the most part. Yeah, I think so. That's, That's a common. biggie. He said it's outdoors, you get it, and we laughed. I was oh. told I was a very... <laughs> I was told I was a very allergic boy when I went. Yeah. Weren't yeah. you voted most allergic boy yeah. in uh, elementary school? Pretty much. Yeah. Boy most likely to sneeze near a cat. <laughs> <laughs> From the dander. <laughs> I'm a throat polyps, too. Like, I have two. Oh, no. They're little, though. I have to, I have to go, that. I don't think I need surgery. I have to go get uh, but th to Frank the Frowner and stupid Ramon are going to be put on hold for a while. Oh, oh no. The new Ramon oh. is going to be Ramon. <laughs> Ramon. And Frank the Frowner is going to be... Hello, how are you? I'm frowning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm frowning. <laughs> yeah. And uh, believe me, you're not getting any angry Vince out of me oh, for a little while. Stuff hurts. God, we're all infirmed. <laughs> all right, let's go to Dave in Boston. Dave, listening on BCN. How are you, Dave? Hey, not bad, not bad. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Um, I just want to get a message over to Steve. Do not uh, drink any of that stuff until he gets home. And then once he does, don't plan on going anywhere because I had the same thing done last year. And it, it, it starts working immediately, right? I think it, you know, I went and laid down, and it was like probably 20 minutes, and I said, you know, geez, nothing's really happening. And then there was this gurgle, and then uh, <laughs> I, was, I was in the bathroom for a good four hours. <laughs> it, it starts with the gurgle. Yeah, but he, did, he does not want to drink that stuff at work because he'll never make it home, and then you know he'd probably uh, make the news on that one. <laughs> you guys are funny mother effers this morning. Started with a gurgle. It always starts with the gurgle. The gurgle. All right, Dave. Thanks, man. You feel a little something yeah, moving right. in your abdomen, <laughs> right. like alien. You just what? What is? That? <laughs> Let's go to Tim in Boston. Tim. Just wanted to let Steve know that it didn't even sound like he was working on his improv skills. Either during the vacation, the guy. Why? What? What did he say that was badly improv? Um, when you asked him about his girlfriend, uh, if it was his boyfriend, he said, "Yes, my girlfriend." This is it. Oh, it had even he didn't, he, he didn't even want to acknowledge. No. Yes, I'm. I'm, I'm not going. For, I. I won't acknowledge your gay jokes anymore. What a mm. queer. <laughs> 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 That's funny. That's funny. I have the uh, password. Yes. Why am I just bashing Steve today? You're not. You're just doing impressions. <laughs> they come in and go, oh, yes, you do. Yes. The password is. <laughs> yes. Let's get him in here for a minute. Please. No, I want to ask him something. <laughs> you want to Please, no more, Steve. Okay. I hate him on the on the radio. <laughs> Please, I have to. I ask him, hate please. Steve on the radio. I we gotta need be honest. Steve for a second. Please, no. I'm impervious to, to improvisation. Please, please no. I please. Ask him to improv something. We gotta have him do like uh, taggets and stuff, you know, those little <laughs> improv things. Here or comes Steve. Give him an occupation and a location and have him act out a scenario. We're looking at uh, adult baby pictures. Yes, yes, and we have this one for Nappy Guy, a website, and Anthony was joking that you might have had a password. Yeah, Danny so said it's a pay I'm, site. What Never... is your username and password on the adult diaper site? <laughs> oh my God. Loves adult babies. Password, uh, um, nothing. <laughs> oh, I hate him on the radio. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. Why would your username be Loves Adult Baby? Because it's, it's so easy long. to remember. No, it's it's abbreviations L U V S or L U V Z. I'm sorry. Yes. A D L T B A B I S. My scalp is tingling. Steve <laughs> Rene shows his password. Nothing comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. All right, Steve. Thanks. Uh, can we move on. <laughs> what do you think of Mike and the Mad Dog breaking up? I think it's tragic, really. That's it. Why? You don't even know sports. I don't know sports, and quite frankly, I could give a shit. But you know what? I had to say something. <laughs> I had to say something weird right Steve, now. Steve, say something silly. <laughs> Um, I'm straight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I said silly. I can't believe I've been doing this shit for 10 years and have not blown my brains out. How Ooh. about that? Oh, wow. shit. your head. Right, here's, uh... <laughs> yes, I love Bjork. Wow, wow, where you are. Just carry wow, someone wow, in. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe E Rock should tell the fine folks where they can see these uh, girls naked from the German Olympic mm. team. Not at my house. <laughs> <laughs> Why not at your because house? Because I don't Steve? think we can.
I don't think we can link these anywhere. <laughs> Steve? Why not? Why won't they be new to your oh, house? God, I hate him on the air. <laughs> why do you do this? Why wouldn't they be, though? I, I enjoy that. Right? There it is. Yeah. It, it's almost Some... an art, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I really have to think about it. I really have to think about not saying anything. It really is almost an art. A... The complete lack of improvisational skills. I am <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> oh, I love it. Is it, when you see me coming, best get out of my way? Yes, it is, actually. Oh, okay. What you think it was? I, when you see me coming, uh, I thought it was just get out of my way. Best get out of my way. Why? Were you? All right, An cool. This is why I love Anthony, because people don't see this, that every day that he leaves the studio, he's been walking down the hall going, get out of my way. I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> And it is the catchiest song I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's exactly what I was going for. It certainly uh, panned out for you then because it's stuck in my head constantly at home. You were thinking of it at home? Yes. I, love I it. can't stop. i got to figure out how to get it on you iTunes. You see me come and best get out of my way. I'm going to be singing that one again. Can we get Steve out of the studio at least? All right. <laughs> no. Steve, you wrote a catchy one. Thank you, Jimmy. I was. It was like 10 years ago, too. I'm very happy. Yeah. Where are you? Boo. Boo. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, Steve. Bye. The studio door is swinging back the other way. Bye, Steve. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Steve around? Uh, probably. Jimmy, why do you do this? Because I. Do what did I do to you? Just tell me. Just tell me what did I what did I do to you? you and I'll know. apologize and we'll move on. No, I, 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 I hate him on the. I air. bet Steve is around somewhere. By the way, uh, we can't do that to Brian, obviously. Uh, yeah, of course. He had other things to do. BrianRegan.com for everything he's up to. Here comes uh, Steve, Radio Kryptonite. Yes. Steve, quickly, why did Brian leave? What happened? Uh, he had to tape a uh, uh, TV show. <laughs> <laughs> what a tool. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ping pong. Two Jews walk into a bar. Well, technically, one was Pentecostal. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? I, I don't know. I haven't opened the door yet. Yes. Knock, knock. Could you ring the bell? It's a little easier for me to hear. <laughs> Wipe your feet before you come in. <laughs> a black guy, a Jewish guy, and an Italian are going down in a plane. Were they sitting in first class or coach? <laughs> I'm improvising. <laughs> Steve from Pedro. Why the chicken cross the road? I'm not sure. Perhaps he had something to do. <laughs> Uh, that's great. We love you, Steve. You know that. And a lot the of name stinks. Wheaties. Yeah. Think, Think about it. Wheat. Right. But these are Wheaties. Wheaties. It's fun wheat. Yeah, it's like action figures that are wheat. They're terrible. <laughs> yes, Wheaties. Can we take some of your lines from Red Eye and just replay them on our radio show? That would be a good plug for the the, the TV show. Yes. Thinking. My cereal is weenies. <laughs> <laughs> and it starts. Yeah, of course it does. <laughs> of course it does. I'm sitting on sunshine. <laughs> He's a person I've met. <laughs> Steve, what do you think of that? No, no, no. Bring, no yes, not not I, this early, no, please, I'm doing guys. Steve, I'm doing okay, Steve. good. I'm doing Steve's improv. Steve, what do you think of sunshine? I like brightness. <laughs> okay. That's why I don't talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> and then we were walking down the street, and whenever we would hit a crowd by a crosswalk, we would just go, get out of my way. <laughs> People look like, what are you saying to me? He's singing, get out of my way to me. That damn thing is catchy. Get out of my way. Oh. Whenever anybody's blocking your way, that's all I do now. 
That whole thing started as a goof, but now uh, it's, that's, it's so freaking catchy. It's fantastic. Yeah. Can we get that stuck in people's heads today, please? I can't stop singing it. I want it, because it really is. What? There it is. <laughs> Yeah, it certainly is swinging back the other way. We should use all our powers to make that like a hit song so Steve is forced to travel the country and perform that thing. <laughs> <laughs> make it huge. Yeah, it is, yeah. It is dumb Lane Bryant dresses or whatever the hell he was wearing back then. Maybe on American Idol. <laughs> We should get some music or something. <laughs> what? Mm. Some music. I'm going to move for music. Yeah. Tell you the truth. Yeah. Wow. I'd like to hear some live some live singing, music. Maybe. Singing. Somebody that maybe, maybe has some singing talent in here. Oh, Steve? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah Steve, uh, we gave him a one lousy assignment while we were away. And uh, he was supposed to sing uh, some acoustic foundry music today. Let's get him in. Is it acoustic or are we going to... Uh, Maybe oh. do a karaoke type you can do whatever. version. I bet you Steve can still belt it out. Steve, yep. how was your vacation? It was wonderful. Thank you very much. What'd you do? Uh, I had a staycation, and uh, at the end of it, we went to uh, Ant's house. And uh, ah, yes, everyone yeah. was there. I got lots of rest. I was very glad for it. Yeah, cool. Nice and relaxed. Yes. Yeah, good. You worked on the pipes all week. No. But I, but uh, I, I was, I was, I was warned. Uh, you better not sing in front of them before you sing in front of me. Yeah. The. Uh, oh, yeah. really? You're, 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 yeah. Well, lady friend wants you to sing in front of her. Yeah, my girl wants I me know, to sing for it's her. A gentleman friend. <laughs> yeah, my girl wants me to sing for her. What does she want you to sing? Um, she wants, uh, she wants me to sing one of her, um, one of her favorite country songs, and I just, uh, I said, I, I will, I will, I will, and it's just. Whoa, you know, whoa, we're on to something. Why don't you practice Steve's on the show? Sing country. What's your, what's your what, favorite what, country what, song? What, yeah, uh, it's a Rascal Flat song, and the name of which is escaping me right now because I'm can't think of it. But uh, how's it go? Like, what's the tempo? Do not, does anybody know? Oh, it's very. Get out of my way. <laughs> Is that wait? Is that a big song? No, no, it's not one of their bigger songs. So it's not something that would be. Oh, we got to hear it now. What you don't know the title or somebody out there will get it if you give us some clue. Yeah. Um, trying to think. It's not one of the bigger ones. It was one of like the first ones on one of their first albums. So it's not. It's not anything that's too recent. Um, but yeah, I got the warning that uh, that if I don't if 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 I don't sing in front of her first, then I better not sing. Uh, I better not sing in front of you guys because she's been asking me for nine months. So, uh, so obviously you're going to be singing today for us. But right? it's you know it's for the show, so that falls into a different category. Sure. Otherwise you'll have all day to sing in front of her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be from six to nine, have nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Speaking of, um, so you're not prepared, right? I, <laughs> uh, you know, I know the song. Well, how about? The, the is last it a song called "Assless Chaps"? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> no. Well, how about uh, yes. you practice and you give us a little something, something after the break? Okay, you got to yeah. do something. Mm -hmm. You got to give us something. All right, yeah. I will practice. I will. Uh, I will practice my song, and I will go, and I'll give you something after uh, after the break. Cool. Steve's gonna sing for us. You know, uh, Steve was a uh, Stephen Carr back in a little band called Foundry. Ooh, uh, years back. Mm -hmm. Get some rotten tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Love to flow. Just throw them out of, like old school cabbage. Rotten fruit. Yeah, just things that they would throw in the twenties. Yeah, <laughs> the King Kong show. <laughs> uh, I have a few jokes I'd like to throw you in there. Me both. <laughs> you and me both. Ones that would even get us booted from satellite. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's go to Tim in Boston. Tim. Uh, just wanted to let Steve know that it didn't even sound like he was working on his improv skills either during the vacation. The guy stinks. Why? What, what did he say that was badly improv? Um, when you asked him about his girlfriend, uh, if it was his boyfriend, he said, yes, yeah, my girlfriend. This is it. Oh, it hadn't even been. He didn't, he, he didn't even want to acknowledge. No. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm not going for, I, I won't acknowledge your gay jokes anymore. What a mm. queer. <laughs> 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 hey, um, yeah. Steve was uh, giving me a little earful in the uh, oh, the office. Oh, how did it feel? Uh, Warm? Uh, uh, I figured this is how, do you, how do you have to reciprocate? Uh, I guess his girl, 
Wink, yeah. wink, nudge, nudge. Yes, wink, or is wink. It, did we see this girl at yes. the pool party? Yeah, exactly. yeah. She has so a, she exists. Oh, yeah, of course. Exactly. All right, I'm just asking. Oh, yeah. No, she's she's very real, and she's upset that uh, that I agreed to sing before. Uh, I agreed to sing on air before I agreed to sing to her, and I understand uh, how, and, and she's understandably upset with me right now. Understandably. I don't know. I, I, I understand why? Understandably? Is, but, why? Yeah, why? Because um, she's been asking me for eight months, I think, to sing. Uh, just sing her song for her, and, uh, and tell I her to toughen up. Yeah, <laughs> toughen up, toughen up. And Steve, She's... by the way, doesn't she see that we're helping the cause? Because by you singing for the show, that you'd be more inclined to sing for her because you've done it publicly again. Yeah, I've tried that one, uh, and uh, no, that All doesn't right, work. Right. That doesn't work. So what I have, what here's what I I actually found the lyrics to my song. Okay. I think oh. I can do. What do you mean you found it? He hasn't sung that in a long time. I haven't sung in a long time, dude. It's been ten years. Where'd you find it? Um, in uh, an old Word document that was I found online. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, what I can do is I think I can recite the lyrics. I can recite the lyrics. Oh, no. no? Oh, God. Why not? No, 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 no. no. Oh, I can't no. sing them. No. Um, oh, boy. yes, you can. No, I can. No, I, still understand. You're singing. You have to sing. This, yeah, this, you this have inexcusable. To. Yeah, you have. Inexcusable. There is a. There is a. a wow. Unbelievable amount of um, a certain type of whipped that you are. Yeah, well, um, I yeah. don't want to say it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what yeah. you've decided that you could recite the lyrics, and she'll still be. And I won't get happy. the I won't get the uh, the the lashing that I will. Well, uh, it's worth it. Oh, Lashing's worth boy. it. I think for the radio show. <sighs> I think it's worth it. You have to. It's... Yeah, you have to do anything wrong. You I'm not saying I won't. I just got to do it. Yeah, you knew you us. You belt it out. You knew us years before her. What's her Rascal Flat song? Uh, it's a song called I'm Moving On. Okay, good. You sing oh, that, too. That's what she'll be doing. Why don't we pick that up? Why don't we pick that up for her, <laughs> for Steve, so we can do both of these. There, kill two birds. How about you song. sing to her through the radio show? And right, it's that. a radio. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. And then you could go home and go, I sang to you. Yeah. I perfect. Won. I hope... I, I, it's I perfect, honestly, Steve. I wonder if that would not get my ass kicked. He'll live. Wait, Come on. wait. Can we get her on the phone so you can uh, sing to oh, her? Oh, I want to sing to her on the, the phone. Sure. Yeah, she's at work now. She can't. She can't get that. How is she listening to the show? <laughs> What? How is she listening to the I show? I think she just got there, so she was she heard it in the car, and this has been a prolonged All right, thing. well, just lie to her afterwards. Say, no, I didn't do it. I said no. Yeah. She's not listening. She's not listening. She's at work. What are you going to sing for us today, Steve? Yes. Uh, give me the pendulum. I'll sing that. Okay. Ah. Oh, boy. I can recite the lyrics. He's like the Lone Ranger. He can't wear his mask. <laughs> 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 Steve, do you want me to read some of the answer feedback or not? It's really up to you. I'm sure. No, I don't. Man up, you queer, and sing. Uh, no. <laughs> all right, go ahead, cut right to the chase. That's a little contradictory, but all right. <laughs> all right, so I want uh, Steve to be okay. All right, what are we doing now? Foundry? I got whatever you want. Are you gonna uh, sing along to your own? Yeah, give band? me the yeah, yeah. give me the uh, the Foundry one. All right, here we go, Steve, for the first time this singing Foundry camera. live on our show. Oh, oh there he is. Hi, Sam. With the camera? Somebody left it at home. Cool. Yeah. Pendulum will swing at the center of attention Just another day, another condescension Mock you, shock you, it's gonna lock you down Pendulum will shift with a little bit of pressure Move too slow and the pendulum will catch ya Show you, blow you, it's gonna throw you around you did the crime and not the time. Now you gotta pay for what you done, you better run. I've had all I can take of all your screaming in my ear. My back is gonna break if you push me one more time. Heart's getting heavy, my blood's getting cold. You change me into something that I just can't control. If you see me coming, best get out of my way. The pendulum is swinging back the other way. Wow, you're Johnny Bravo. He's rocking. Yeah, he's Johnny Bravo, though. He's belting it out. It's a 
anybody that doesn't love his girl. Benji's on the team. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. I'll have you call her and explain this. <laughs> Bump you and chump you. He's going to dump you around. Benji's on the break under too much tension. Down the walls of my detention. Wrecking ball and kingdom falling down. You did the crime and not the time. Now you gotta pay for what you've done. You better run. I've had all I can take of all your screaming in my ear. Back is gonna break if you push me one more time. I, 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 my heart's getting heavy. My blood's getting cold. You change me into something that I just can't control. If you see me coming, better get out of my way. The pendulum is swinging back the other way. Rock! Damn. Guitar solo. Rock! There it is. Obligatory guitar solo, by the way. Heart's getting heavy, my blood's getting cold. You change me into something that I just can't control. If you see me coming, best get out of my way. The pendulum is swinging back the other way. My heart's getting heavy, my blood's getting cold. You change me into something that I just can't control. If you see me coming, best get out of my way. The pendulum is swinging back the other way. My heart's getting heavy, my blood's getting cold. You change me into something that I just can't control. And if you see me coming, best get out of my way. The pendulum is swinging back the other way. Wow. Very good. Thank you, sweetie. Steve, really, I didn't think Steve would belt it out like that. Steve, really, uh, the second half of it out. The second half was much better than the first. You got relaxed, I think. Yeah, I calmed yeah. down a little bit. Wow. Yeah, you calmed down a little bit. That's so uh, when is the pendulum going to start swinging and be straight? <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody, somebody decided. Let's go to Steve. Sean and Johnny. Sean, what's up? Hey guys, I'm doing the roast, Amy. Hi, thank you. You got it. Hey, did anybody? Uh, is anybody catching on that uh, Steve's rhyming way with way? <laughs> I didn't notice that. No, it's it's the Vietnam city of way. That's right. <laughs> no, I had some curds and something with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what lazy writing. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we rhymed way with way. <laughs> lazy <That's> songwriter. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Our, the rhyme for us is so obvious. <laughs> <laughs> so and that's how you write a song. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, oh, the, the reviews are coming in. They're really good. Dan on Long Island. Dan, what do you got? Yeah, if you guys uh, think Steve's doing a good job, you guys should be American Idol fucking judges. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. That wasn't even a good place to throw in the F word. I know. You I know. Just, F you, an American Idol judge. Yeah, that didn't. Uh, you threw one away there, man. Yeah. You know, Paula and Randy, man. they do such a good job. Mm. We um, we got some audio. Uh, it's been brought to our attention. It's very exciting uh, in, in the satellite radio world. We start our show kind of talking about some stuff, right? Uh, I guess on Sirius website we we got some fine fine front page coverage. Oh yeah. And on <laughs> XM's uh, website, Critters. Howard's getting some <laughs> some fine front page coverage. Yeah. But what also is up there is audio. Trying to lure new uh, new listeners. Oh, so if you're on XM and yeah, maybe you haven't heard Howard in a while, they got a little sample of what Howard's doing. Uh huh. Then you go to Sirius and you haven't heard us at all or whatever, they got a little sample of what Opie and Anthony are doing, and it's been brought to our attention by more than one person that uh, that our audio sucks compared to Howard's audio. Oh uh, no, really? So uh, I want to. What wanna, do you mean, bad qual sound quality? We're gonna find out oh. now. I, I hear bad sound quality, bad bad material, bad bad, oh. bad, bad, bad yeah, bad clips. Oh yeah, a oh. lot of other things they. You know, could have been used. Why not have good clips? Oh, have us involved so, in picking yeah, right. Jesus Let you, Christ. So, you pick it. So instead of yeah. taking someone else's word for it, we decided to bring this to uh, everyone's attention. And we'll make a decision without 
without getting third-hand information. Uh, we did pick it, I think. Right? Not us, but didn't some of our crew pick it? Better not. Have. Uh, well, that's what we're going to find out. Okay. So here we go. Satellite is the future of radio. Experience the best of Sirius. All right. <laughs> oh no! Wow. So what do you think? Be that, honest. All right. I'll be honest. It's a so, lot of a lot of action in there. Uh, yeah, yeah. You a lot get, of sounds. A lot of energy. Explosions. Yes. I didn't even hear pumped. your names. Yeah. No, 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 we weren't no. in that one. They're two separate one is, ones. That's the one for the XM was oh. Ours on XM, yeah. and now right. ours for all uh, serious. Oh, yeah. no, that was too busy. It was no information. It, was it sounded very... High energy. High energy. It's, it's selling the product, you know. Oh. Let's see uh, what we get for us. There's Opie. Guess what's easy to us doing radio? There's Anthony. Piece of cake. You come in, you yap into a mic. How hard could it be? That's right. It's the Opie and Anthony show from 6 a.m. to noon Eastern. Uh, yes, I heard they're very good. Uh, when they get followed by Ronnie and Fezzy. Bring them to three. He, nothing stops this guy. Apparently he's got the... Only on the virus. Yeah, plow right through. That guy sure was a chatty Kathy doll. I hope he's dead right now. I hope something happened and he died. Wow. I hope he was talking and didn't hear the truck horn. <laughs> That was good. A lot of you. That was cool. It's fucking ridiculous. So the Jimmy show is on. Yeah. I don't mind that one because that was for the Jimmy show. Well, yeah. Now play the Opie and Anthony one. That was... The Jimmy show? There's, apparently. There's, it was... Um, who, who said that... And Don got uh, promoted, huh? Oh, boy. I bet he was behind it. What? <laughs> that is... Not as good. It's nowhere as it's, dude. It's sucks. That's horrendous. Stunk on ice. What? Is, what? This Here's is, this is the first impression Sirius is getting of our Here's show. Here's Anthony. That was a fucking terrible introduction. And then she's telling like a cool show. It's here's Opie. Here's Anthony. And then Jimmy clips. <laughs> it should be the smart, Opie and Anthony. Obviously. It no. should be the Opie and Anthony show, and then playing clips of the show. Right. No matter who's talking, it doesn't See, have to be. Yeah. It, they fucking, weren't good clips. I don't care. No, if Jimmy clips they weren't. Were, it wasn't a good clip. Jimmy said some funny stuff. Those clips weren't it. No. <laughs> Steve, this is an easy one. That stinks. Okay. It stinks. That was the direction we got wow. from D.C. But I from D.C. Oh, to what? Who, who a douche DC? cunt. What'd they say? Uh, remove all you, humor? No, no. Like, remove all humor. Are you passing remove the ball? Who said in D.C.? <laughs> That was the copy I got from Don. It was Don much... Wicklin. Why is Don from writing Don? copy? It's not, it's not Don writing copy, but we tried to make it light because you guys are always complaining about how serious what? a lot of... Light? light? How that about... wasn't light. That how was about... How about horrendous. You... How about you pretty much go with one of our show intros with all the dumb news people <laughs> talking about us being shocking and all that crap. Oh, we can do that. And then, and then a bunch of montage clips of like, oh my god, oh! Screaming and yelling and the pack them puking, and puking or fucking. This is our. This is what they're hearing. No, I wouldn't subscribe to that awful show. I want to fucking yeah. leave it there. We also didn't know what it was going to be used for. So well, that, the other that side did. The other side knew exactly what yes. it was going to. They certainly did. Power stir. Uncensored. Uncensored. Unbelievable. Power stir. Oh my oh, god. god. Holy <laughs> shit. You gotta oh listen god. to this god fucking show! My god, Jesus A fucking Christ! And now us, Ann, please, uh, do us uh, do us the same favor. All right. Let me, uh... Hold on. Do us the same favor, oh, please. God. Oh, Jesus. I'm on the spot here a little bit, but... And Ronnie and Fezzy, that, that's like... Think. Don't... Ronnie and Fezzy. Oh, here we go. That sounds queer. Right. Yeah, that's no one. No one at, at, at Sirius is gonna like. Get well, we thought these were gen like generic sweepers. That here's were us. Air. We had no idea that these were these this were pitch sweepers. This is being shown on their front fucking page. Right. Well, or heard. And um, we have to know these things. Opie uh, and Anthony. Yeah, they're on. Um, they're on too. That's what we do. Yeah. Opie and Anthony. <laughs> How about oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't quite make it. That Opie and Anthony. Light. That, that would good. be light. <laughs> Opie and Anthony. The sweeper doesn't. Uh oh, here it comes. <laughs> How about fucking uh, Opie? <laughs> Anthony. That was the the way the show is introed. 
That makes yeah. you want to listen to the show. Not like, who are these melanin faggots? Right. And there's, the guy that talks too much. There's no reason oh, to, to like even give it a try after hearing that. I have a full oh, erection Opie right and now. Anthony. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. I That's would like to make it known that on a number of occasions, you guys have said that you don't like the serious intros. Okay. Serious meaning not the company yes, we serious. We never said make them what shitty. What? No, <laughs> not shitty, but... We don't want serious. Wait, what, what are you misinterpreting now? <laughs> we didn't like what? Those dramatic whoosh bang intros. You said it. You said it a number of times. Well, that's what. That's how we start every show. I understand that, but you said, "Isn't it silly that we do these, 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 uh, these, um, these whoosh bang serious intros for such a goofy radio show?" That's yeah. our joke. Do you understand the difference between it? Why do you have a hard on? I don't know. Oh, Jimmy. Where Jimmy's was, uh, got was, a little rod going. Whenever Steve defends himself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand, A, why you would get a hard on in the middle of the radio show, and B, why you have to show us. In a proper chubby. I, I like the line, I hope something happened and he died. That was funny. Yeah, but it was out of context. Yeah, yeah see, out of context, <laughs> you don't really get what the fuck is being said. I know it's hard in, in that short period of time yeah. to put together no, some okay. kind of clip that makes sense, but... There's something else going on here. He doesn't understand when we're joking. When when we have the you huge, can't, huge, you can't, you can't. huge huge open and then we're like oh god look at boy the list is gonna be disappointed after hearing that yeah. open that's a joke see not only that but, but, but on you, can't, well, you can't indiscriminately pick pick when it's a joke when it's not no a joke. here it is I mean, here it is no, 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 we, we don't want to we don't do want to preach to the converted <laughs> now what I mean by that is uh, if you did a pew 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 promo uh, <laughs> just for our listeners they would be like you know what the fuck are they doing but these are new people that d right. aren't familiar with the show at all so. You need to catch their attention yep. by make maybe some stupid, you know, okay. uh, goddamn noises and explosions and crap. Yeah. In all and, and, and then, and then once you got their attention, then you need to give them a few clips that oh. they're like, "What the fuck is that?" In wow. All, in all fairness, and yeah. you know, does Derek want to yes, defend yes, himself? Sir. No, you know, Derek was given the same instruction I was. We didn't know. Yeah, that but these Derek were be is done. a Derek, raging alcoholic. And Derek has uh, <laughs> has another angle on this. He's saying that there was no copy from Washington. Oh, there wasn't. Yeah, there was. So you guys winged it. You're like fucking uh, Bill Murray in Stripes. You yeah, just, there was. You, you was went there along. Was there copy? Uh, yes, yeah. Derek. Did your own little boot camp thing. This what? is how. This don't is how bang into. Uh, don't bang into Jimmy's hard on on the way in. By the way. <laughs> yeah. Can't help it. <laughs> I you sit down, Jimmy. <laughs> no, I have to walk my friend. He was looking. Yeah, that's probably why you got a hard on you, I just dummy. Came off into the table with my foot. Oh. <laughs> See, what do you want? Hard hat or hard on? Right. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Can't help it. <laughs> hard hat. <laughs> That douche. Oh, please. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> yes, uh, Derek. Uh, I think the only direction really came from DC was that it was between 30 and 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> oh, my God. I think, Nazis. I think and go. The time spent recording this promo was about 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it was more just come in, turn on the mic, and left. And I was like, okay, I guess I have to fucking put something together. Mm. And that was that. So you just spewed some lines, and then Derek like, worked around Because we thought too. we were airing on this channel to air... You know, like, it, yeah, I don't know. Our, we're mm. blowing it again. We always blow it. First impression, and no one is getting an impression. You don't get a second chance at a first impression. <laughs> um, That's what you I heard do if the it. person has Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> or Alzheimer's. Yeah, Reagan. Right. You get 400, 400 <laughs> yes. shots the first impression. <laughs> who, are, who are you? <laughs> yes. Wow. Nancy, how long, ple pleasure to meet you. How long has that been up? <laughs> I think it just went up today. All right, well, Dog let's shit hair, dude, yeah. dolt. Did it all go on the uh, website the first day? Let's fucking have it of fixed course by we today. Fix it. But by like, today. Get that down. It right. stinks. It does stink. By today. It's like, it's, it, I, I would More think whispering. that's it's a lame, safe show. That's what I hear. Yeah. Mm. Lame right. and safe. More, no. more explosions. No, just I better clips. Yeah. Opie, that, that <laughs> opening... With its fucking high energy and it's but it's, it's a good opening. A lot of screaming show. and yelling, like all hell's breaking loose. Yes, yeah, all hell's breaking loose. That's good. That's what we need. Or just funny lines, like funny fucking, lines, well, something funny about lines. stillborns. Well, sure, we, know, you know or... we have stockpiles of that stuff. <laughs> I'm but we kidding. didn't know where this stuff was going. So <laughs> yeah, why now that we do? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That um, it can be fixed. It'll be fixed. Good thing it can be remedied now. Mm -hmm. Before it's too late. Before people go, holy shit, who are these faggots? Oh my God! <laughs> I had to walk away. Oh Jesus! I had to walk away. How do we explain this? How do we explain this? Um, how about this? A new rule on the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah. Sam has to be in here with his camera at all times. Yeah. And Steve is not allowed to wear a hat. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know, Steve. Do you go home 
and then go, I'm not being goofed on enough, and decide to do things? Well, we, no, you know what? I, I don't do things with the explicit intent of being goofed on. I just really don't care at this point. All right. Please take the hat off. Come on. We, we well, have to goof on your hair. Hold dude. on, hold on. Don't even... Uh, but we got to explain. Uh, Steve comes in today, and he's got a hat on backwards, and it's obvious that... Uh, well, it was obvious that he had a shaved head. Yeah. A out of nowhere, he decided to shave his head down to, like, uh, just skin. So we've been asking him to take the hat off all morning so we could see the shaved head. And to our surprise, it's not a shaved head. It looks... No. When, when he has the hat on backwards, it looks shaved because what's exposed is skin, right? Way above his ears, right? Yeah. yeah. Easily yeah. an inch to two inches above his ears are completely shaved. So we finally decided to take the hat off. And uh, you want to take the hat off again yeah, there, Steve? He, he's <laughs> got... Isn't that great? He's got what amounts to... Here, look this the, way. The George McFly. Well, I'm flicking it back. I'm gonna <laughs> there it is. Uh, Wait, take the headphones stories. off. Stories. And, and look toward Anthony. Science fiction take stories. The, take the headphones off. You visitors. Said, oh, now turn that way. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, doctor, where are we going wow. this time? I was going to go totally bald. You should have. Eh, I might. Hey, George, uh, what are you working on? Uh, websites. <laughs> Science uh, fiction. Porno. Can you explain what you're doing? It's so basically when he takes the hat off, obviously he has a lot of hair still. Mm hmm On top. Yeah, it's gr it's growing it's I've got the long it's growing out on top. And systematically I've been growing it longer on top, but having it trimmed on the sides. Now I just went bald on the sides, completely bald on the sides. Are you going crazy? Maybe. Yeah, Bad. you're joining Devo. Mm. Devo had hair like this? Also, Shemp Howard oh, had that, too. Yeah, Shemp. Man. Yeah, I was doing Demolition Mo Man. I, mean, I was doing Mo Howard in the shower the other day. <laughs> yeah, Mo had it, but he had the bangs. Shemp uh, brushed it back. Let's, uh, let's throw one flew over the cuckoo's nest in there, too. There was a few of those type of haircuts, yes, right? Are, yes, What's his so name? Uh, uh, oh, Billy. Billy, right. Yeah, he's, he's Billy. stuttering and stabbing. Billy Bibbitt. Yeah. Billy Bibbitt. From, yeah, one flew over yeah. the cuckoo's nest. There you go. Brad, Brad Dourif. Dourif. Yeah, he was yep. actually just three. And Mississippi burning. He's been in a lot of oh. stuff. He was in uh, Lord of the Rings. Trying to the conversation. I'm not trying to divert the conversation. I'm just trying. Oh, uh, someone wants you to elaborate how you were doing Mo in the shower. <laughs> 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 I meant to say behaving like one. <laughs> I meant to say combing my hair forward like Mo. Yeah, of course. Literal. Stump brain. I'm sending you these pictures immediately. Okay. It's uh, uh wow. It's, it's actually Forrest Gump. Is very cool. God damn it! That's a good one too. Gump. Forrest Gump. Yeah, Gump. yeah. Got a little Forrest Gump thing going there. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm right. wow well steve has shut down steve. the show with that one i i before we go on please yeah i really want to talk to tank hankerous for a second <laughs> tank hankerous please. where is tank hankerous today where's tank tank <laughs> can't hear tank tank hankerous <laughs> is a dummy <laughs> oh no sense of humor wow here comes tank where's tank hey tank hiya tank what's going on tank <laughs> no what? hi tank hi that doesn't sound like tank. Yeah, there's no tank. There I'm is a tank. At this. No, you gotta <laughs> no. do tank. I know, and you don't say that unless we're talking about life. Hey, yeah. what was that voice? Yeah, do tank for us. Uh, hey, Come everybody, tank. everybody needs Come to hear on. tank today. Hey, it's tank. <laughs> All right, tank. Hi, tank. Who are you voting for in the election? McCain. Why, why uh, are you voting for McCain? We all know why people vote for McCain. Why? I don't really feel comfortable saying it right on the radio. <laughs> wow, Tank's a rebel. So, um, why am I doing this? I don't know who you're talking about. What, what should we breathing? Do? <laughs> <laughs> what should we do about this Maxwell situation, Tank? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Tank Hankerous. <laughs> Tank Hankerous has Down syndrome. <laughs> Tank, what should we do? Talking to the mic, Tank, help us out. We Tank relax. wants to kill himself is pretty much what it is. <laughs> Tank well, Carlesius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh, they should. Boy, would that be a wonderful work off each other? Yeah. <laughs> Get Steven here. <laughs> Steven Tank Hankerous. Tank Hankerous and Steve Stankerous. <laughs> <laughs> 
Here comes Steve to yeah, do a little improv with Tank. All right. We want to talk about politics, yeah. and we would like you and Tank to improv a little bit. Well, do Steve, a little debate, maybe. Wait, Steve, you're an Obama guy, right? Yeah. All right, Obama. All right, Obama and McCain debate between Tank Hankers and Stephen Carr. But it's going to be kind of funny. Yeah. Go ahead, well, Steve. Why don't you start it? So, Tank, who... Uh, who are you voting for? I hear you're uh, leaning yeah, towards that asshole. Listen to the show. <laughs> wow. Fair enough. Point tank. Uh, point tank. Um, actually, I, I was about to say I hear you're uh, a Lakeen guy. Yes. <laughs> Good technique, by the way. After he calls you an asshole, go well, what I was about to say. <laughs> and say it anyway. What I was about to say, you flabby neck faggot, uh, was <laughs> that um, Ooh, I hear you're a McCain guy. Uh, and uh, Why? Debate, not an interview. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it? Whatever the fuck. <laughs> Holy shit! Sam, remember like the other day when I told you that you've mastered the art of antagonism without getting your skull cracked? In? Uh, Do you're the coming bit. dangerously close to crossing that line. Oh, Do the bit. yes. That is how we solve things. I just want to remind Tank that he is in character and he is on the radio. So, yeah, yeah. Tank. continue, Tank. Uh, Tank is not voting for, uh, for, uh, for Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you realize that Obama would signify a great deal of change for this country? For you this? just want gay marriage, homo. <laughs> well, in addition to gay marriage, I think there would be a substantial... queer. <laughs> Do you do you appreciate? You're not arguing that point. What? You're not arguing that point. <laughs> uh, you can think what you want. Case closed. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yes. I've got him just where I want him. Balls on the bridge of my nose. <laughs> oh, Steve. I love you. I th thank you, Sam. Man. You have any comments about uh, the debate <laughs> you just saw? I thought Tank was good. I think we should hear more from Tank. Yeah, yeah. Tank's great. Can we hear more from Tank? Tank. Tank. No, Fine. Steve, you got to be here to uh -huh. answer. Okay. Don't you understand? This is work right now. No, I, this I, is the most I, I important thing that. happening. That's right on the air. Yeah. Yeah. Tank. What are you? Your sweating. palms sweating there, Tank? Yeah, a little bit. Why? <laughs> oh, I might be perspiring. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. bad. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I can't really see his shirt. Yeah, exactly. yeah, he's all wet. You can Tank's all wet under the armpits. Why are you wet under the armpits, Tank? Why are you pitting out, Tank? Yeah. I'm working out. What, spooned a mouth? <laughs> oh! oh, oh Steve! Wow. Steven Carr! Uh, coming from the fat queer, good one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Fat what? Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Vote McCain. I don't know. I, I, you don't I, need I, queers like this in the office. I bet you I'd see you butt fucking a guy in a shower before you, you know ever a lot see about me going that when you big boy. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some gay porn. I think you've been in some gay porn. No, I oh, haven't. Said that with confidence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He shows it in the office <laughs> instead of working. Yeah. <sighs> exactly. <laughs> 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 I wasn't supposed to win this, Steve. I don't give a shit, Eric. <laughs> I've got so much other it's shit not to do. Eric, it's Tank. Tank. Tank, you big sweaty queer who needs to run a few miles every night every fucking morning. Case in point, <laughs> look at you. But I do. How can you? Oh my god. I don't hide the fat. You had surgery and claim you don't eat carbs, but what were you eating earlier? A fucking Friend. pretzel rod? Carbs. <laughs> a fucking pretzel rod. Carbs. Without without the pesky pretzel part. <laughs> That's right. Are you insinuating that I suck dicks at a rod? Everyone's yeah. insinuating you suck dicks. <laughs> I didn't, I'm not a man of many words, but I know what I know. <laughs> really? You're a man of many pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and many necks. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> now you're saying that? Yeah. Well, it's it's been it's been fucking evident. So well, in closing, I'd like you to vote for McCain. God bless America. Your turn, queer. <laughs> vote for Obama. He's got no point.
All right. Get <laughs> oh, Thank you, uh, Tank Hankerus and, and Stephen Carr. Carr. Just amazing. Great debate. I would call that a draw. But yes, was, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I am. All right. <laughs> exactly. Let's. <laughs> Steve, Steve's yes, exactly. <laughs> I, love Steve. I have a question for Steve. Yes, yes Jimmy. I want to hear the. You had uh, Steve asked Tom Jones a oh, question, yeah. and apparently was stammering. Oh no! It was. Um, I actually would have said it on the air, but I didn't want to interrupt because I knew we didn't have a a lot of time with him. So it was taped. So I want to know: Can we hear it? No, we can't because I deleted it why intentionally. You, why would you do that? Because I'm in a fucking asshole. That's why. <laughs> no. Um. Because I'll tell it. I'll tell it right now. No, no. But why would you? No, because the, it would have to be the exchange between yeah, like, you and would, there was no Tom exchange. And, why would like, you there, there, there was a bunch but of. That's oh, just really? it. I heard. I heard. That's just it. The oh really? And then I heard there was some stammering involved. And yeah, I stammer and, anyway though. And no, a little nervous, like yeah. chit chat thing that can't really be described. Uh, if if we I'll heard tell it. the story, no, but, but why would you? No, no, it? it's not about telling the because story. Because when it's, I see somebody very obviously surreptitiously. Uh, going over and cl clicking record, 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 record. I'm like, no, I'm not a fucking idiot. You yeah, didn't maybe if you but, work at fucking well, a uh, the nuclear show. a nuclear facility, but yeah. Yeah. you're working at fucking the Opie and Anthony show. It's a comedy you know. show, and it's a funny. Like, I understand that. I'll tell. I'll tell the story. No, no it's no, not no, about it's not telling the story. About. It's about having the tape of you stammering in front of Tom Jones. Yeah, like, why wouldn't you... Like, that would be the good thing. When there's so much disastrous audio on all of us. Like, disastrous. <laughs> it really true. wasn't... You know, honestly, dude, it wasn't... It was It was sort of a matter-of-fact thing. I, I don't mean, know. Sam came, seemed to think it was yeah, pretty well, good. Yeah, well, because Sam's an instigator, and whatever Sam thinks he can instigate and stir shit up on, he will. But I'll tell you right now, the story... I'll tell the story right yeah, now. but the story is not... No, it's I know, not the story, story. Is, me, is me fumbling in... I know, the, the story is me yeah, it's, fumbling it's in front of Tom Jones. So why it's not the execution of the story teach, at the time. To teach Sam a lesson, why would you hurt the show? No, it's that not, it has been... nothing to do with Sam. Sam didn't tape it. Well, whoever, why, uh, why would you delete that when you knew it was like, I mean, that's out of myself, that'd be funny on the air. Yeah. I don't comprehend that. Like, there's nothing, unless it was something I said that I shouldn't have said, whatever, but like anything. A personal, you know, you I don't know, you know, address. quite frankly, I don't really know if it's, you know, I, it was, it was such a nothing thing, but in, in retrospect, I was sort of like, maybe I shouldn't have brought that up. Maybe it wasn't something I should have said, you know, it's like, I don't know. You know, it was like one of those things like, eh, you know, fuck it. You know, if they want to say it, I'll say it on the air, but no, I'm no, not going to. Why would you delete the audio? I'm saying like. Do you know how much audio I've deleted over the past 10 years that was just like, you know? No, but you did that purposely, would, like... Would have been the best <laughs> stuff ever. <laughs> nah. You yeah. know, please. please. I get called a faggot and uh, incompetent on a, on, on a regular basis, you know, so... No, then is, then you come a, here. Yeah. <laughs> this is, but this is a legitimate question, actually. Yeah, this I understand like, it's, legitimate, it's a legitimate question. question. Look, yes, he recorded it. Yes, I deleted it. Intentionally. Hmm. Absolutely. But why wouldn't you think about it? it would be funny on the radio show? A five-second piece of audio of me getting hit in the face with granny panties and a fucking Tom Jones show? No, no, no. You, if it was nothing, I comprehend you... exactly what you're saying. Okay, um, like you were if, thinking, like I don't want to look bad on the air. No, dude, I look bad on the air every day. Every day, I get yeah, made out. Yeah. But who? But I, I'm serious. I don't know why you would delete that. I can't. Well, if you, you gotta... think it was a crime against nature, then I apologize. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm I'm asking a legit question. It is, and I'm giving you a legitimate answer. You're I not, thought it was though. stupid. I thought it was stupid audio. It didn't sound. It sounded like dumb. If it's you stammering in yeah. front of Tom Jones, then it it's would have been funny. funny. Yeah, it's funny. Mm -hmm. Like me stammering horribly. Should I have deleted the uh, Zach Wilde interview because it was you know? In, honestly, in in retrospect, I never thought that Zach Wilde thing was going to be as fucking funny as it was. Exactly. But, so yeah. why would you do, delete? When you know what we do, honestly, like, because it was such an obvious attempt. If I didn't catch him out of the corner of my eye, going record, 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 that, I would have fucking let it go. I've been I've been caught so, so many was, times barking dumb shit into microphones that I've just let go completely. So as to keep somebody else from having pulled one over on yeah. you. Yeah, that so was that, that was, was more but, important than audio. But the, for the audio show. from the At show the time, yeah. for the show is like you know yeah. that seems to be paramount here. Yeah, I you understand. I, I understand, and I understand, Jim. You know, and if it and, it and if it was a horrible, horrible offense that I've committed, then I apologize. like even if it did suck. Let's say we played it and it sucked. Then we would jump on the person that said this is great audio. Then that we'd have played it and gone like, oh, dude, this is nothing. What are you just trying to get on Steve? You know, you're fucking being an asshole. Like it would have worked if if what you, know you what? said is true. You know, I've been called queer, incompetent, and a number of things every day. Can I get a break once? 
you know? I'm, not, I'm not even not giving you a break. I'm asking right. you. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm, I'm fessing up. I completely deleted it on my own. Is it completely deleted? It's gone. Because yeah. I know how to I, I know how to get rid of things completely. And oh, the Tom Jones liners are in there. Those are safe. Well, that isn't really you know. You know, but um, you know, me talking to Tom Jones is not. Oh. I don't get it, man. No, I, I just don't. thought that would have been well, fun. I know, I know the yeah. pain of being tormented, and I'm going to have to try to turn my character around too. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is one they didn't get. You it's not what? about, I'm, dude, it's not about them getting it. <clears throat> Any, it's about the show. I understand, Jim. It's not about Danny or, or Iraq or whoever it was. Again. It's not about one hey. guy one-upping the other guy. Derek. Or whoever it was. It's not, you, and, and after, and, and after 10 years, I don't get that? I get it. I get it. Why? Considering every chance that is possibly given... I get, you know, you know, fucking humiliated and, you know, <laughs> fucking browbeaten as, you know, you know, as, as do a lot of people. I caught one. Fuck him. No, you don't get this chance. All right, well, it's not fuck them. It's fuck us. No, it's not fuck you. Yes, it's, it is. No, because, it's not, Jim. Dude, it was a five second piece of audio. It is, though. It's like in, in the sense that I have brought in every humiliating, awful piece of audio. I've, I've never asked for a piece of audio to be like I've never asked to be exempt from fucking things, with with the exception of, 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 of this one time. How many fucking times have, have, have well, humiliated pieces of... Well, you just said you've deleted tons of audio over the years. Yeah, but I mean, of, of myself, making a jackass of myself. That's... It, that's yeah, what that's... I'm talking about. No, 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 no. You're not, you're, not, you're not hearing me. Like, me in the studio going, eh, that was dumb, and eh, that was dumb. But if I'm in the studio with Derek, and I'll, like, you know, and I'm stammering into a microphone, he keeps it, and he fucking either gives it to you or he doesn't give it to you. It happens all the time, Steve. Um, oh, you rock. It, it, it what, was not. It was very obvious we were recording. We were not trying to hide it from you. It was. It, yeah, it was also not done in in a malicious way. It was a very honest moment that you were having with him, where you were explaining a story, whether he was interested or not. Steve was really. <laughs> Just a little set off by talking to Tom Jones and sharing this experience. Yeah, that's that's the, all it was. It wasn't to hey, Steve's an asshole. Let's smash him by using this audio. Maybe yeah. hidden under that, but, but if it's gotten to a, point it was a where very honest Steve, moment. Steve makes it sound like whatever story, like what whatever the audio was, be it good or bad, we were somehow going to call him queer and incompetent because <laughs> of the story. It's like it's not about it because you keep bringing it up, and it seems to me like it's you're just, the only one that brings it up half the time. And it was just a goofy piece of audio. It would have got played, and if it got nothing, it got nothing. But sometimes stuff right. just works. Well, this, you know, one, it, this show of all shows, I mean, anybody should know the the weird shit that we decide to pick up and run. Well, we like I'm fucking like, that. That the, the show runs with. It's you know. It's I'm anything. sure it'll it's happen anything again. At all. I'm sure there will be another piece of audio. It's not about the audio. It's not. It's not like oh, you missed the audio. It, it's about like something's going on. Where the first instinct when something ridiculous happens is they're not going to get me. Just to erase it, yeah. That, and like, it let's get rid be. of that instead of, which the theme of the show is supposed to be. Everybody, um, for, every, every man for himself. Nah, everybody not, smash each other in the nuts. Not and, even about that. It's about, we have a fucking audience to entertain. I mean, I know you know this, but I'm saying yeah, that. I'm And of half that. of that shit. That's the entertaining stuff is our disastrous. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's. Funniest what, stuff is when we're fucking up. It, it, what, yeah. And and it's like it's gotten to a point behind the scenes where that's something that like your first instinct isn't like oh that'll be, that, yeah I'm an ass that'll be funny like you know I get why that would be funny like but I hear the, the me and Zach Wild or I'm a blithering idiot. What I, about the dress or the dress? Something about the dress. I, mean, I immediately know that's an awful piece of interview audio. Who's yeah, Zach Wild? Deuce Chill. What's that? Who's Zach Wild? It's oh. um. He's, he's a guitar player. Oh. It's uh. I immediately know like that's what that's. That's good for it. It's awful. And, like, instinctively, like, your first instinct is, fuck them, they're not going to get me. Yeah, I guess we can't go around with that mindset. I mean, I'm not even saying it's totally his fault. Yeah. Whatever no. it is, it's got to... It, it's. Well, yeah, it does have to stop. Why, why is my mindset, fuck them, they're not going to get me this time? It has to be worked out. Whatever it is, it has to be worked out. You're right, absolutely. It's like little... Not that that's ruining the show any more than me babbling about it, but... No, it's how about it's uh, just an, a, do you understand what I'm saying though? Thing. Absolutely. Maybe once a month a Steve Appreciation Day. So no, I don't think <sighs> that needs to be done. Thank you very much. I'm Rich. looking out. I'm trying to be a team player. I appreciate player. it. Rich. Sam is saying yes. <laughs> I Steve like that idea. I listen. No, hey, how come? Why? Why is my? Uh, why? Why has my attitude changed to fuck them? They're not going to get me. I don't mm -hmm. know. Maybe that's not a question for me. I don't really know. 
Hmm. I don't really know. But, you know, trying trying to lead a fucking derelict pack of misfits is not the easiest. Tra- is well, not what the do easiest you think That's Pappy Boyington. Done. What? I don't know. I don't know. Um, how do you, you know, this is not the easiest position to be in. I'll I'm tell not, you right I'm now. not saying it is, but I mean, for us as on air, it's, it's at times easy, at times not easy. I understand and, that. Anything that and affects- I am not one to fucking, I, I am not one to like, you know, every day sit, sit in my, you know, sit in my little cubby and fucking, you know, figure out how I'm going to ruin the goddamn show. I didn't say you were. I know, but I don't want that to be the implication. It's not. Okay. It's really not. It's simply about this. It, this one, like sometimes little things happen that are kind of shed light on the way things are, and this is yeah, yeah. That's one of those things, question. right? This is one of those little things, like where instinctively you ran over. Get rid of that. And it's like, dude, that's what we like. That's anything that would be bad would be great on the air. Yeah, the issue it has nothing now to do with the recording or what was recorded or wasn't recorded. It's now the 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 reason why you would delete something like that instead of just letting them grab it and bring it in here and we'll all goof around and say how... Uh, Maybe uh, I'm just far too of, sensitive. Maybe we, I'm just way too sensitive. Dude, all of our strongest mm. value, all of our strongest asset is what we are on the air. Like, sure. I mean, in any... Like that, that you know what I mean? As, as much as we tease E-Rock and stuff like that, like I, I've always said, and, and I, he's irreplaceable because he's a fucking... Ma- and E-Rock, you know, if you're hearing this, I love you. He's a mess, but he's always <laughs> bringing something. But he's a mess. How do you E-Rock, you know that. But it's like, that's great to listen to. Of and you course. know, Steve, and, and Steve was saying how it was just a nothing piece of audio. Well, I, it would have worked great. I mean, let's say it was a nothing piece of audio, and Eric was like, oh, because you ran in here with the big story. Yeah, Imagine yeah. If, that pe- if, the, if there was just nothing there, nothing and it fell there. on his face, and we just got to smash Eric for 20 minutes. Then Steve minutes. wouldn't have gotten a, a, a <laughs> He's bruise. It would have been, been fucking E-Rock that would have just gotten <laughs> okay. hammered okay. saying, well, all right. you my, brought my, this in <laughs> as something good? My yeah. sensitivity level has been fucking raised so goddamn much over the past couple years that I'm always constantly constantly looking over my shoulder and that's not entirely uh internal paranoia all i'm not right? saying you're paranoid mm. no. but like what yeah, you, and you're right it's got to be fixed and it's got to be addressed it, i i wish i knew i wish i had the fucking magic bullet to fix it but you know Uh-oh. bullets the, yeah, yeah. The, or, or bullets. Uh, well voss like like here's a perfect example if voss is i knew he'd be afraid to act with uh chad palmentary and, and it was like as disastrous as that was for a performer I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm saying uh, this nicely, but like he basically Louis Beans. Yeah, I mean, you know, you humiliated yourself. I'm saying, but that's, hey, hold on a second. I, I, I had to fucking serenade my girlfriend in front of fucking you know on on national I know, radio. Dude, no one is saying. So I mean, you know, to uh, no, yeah, no one's a bigger believer in in Steve audio on the air than than I am. Believe me, I know, I know. I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I think I pulled through that audition. I mean, that read pretty well. Oh, um, terrible. Really. Yeah. But it's, a, it, I'm, it's not. That's what I'm saying. It's not about the audience. No one's saying that you haven't sacrificed your humility. I mean, of course, I'm always saying when the instinct is to jump in and get rid of it. It's yeah, that, that should. There's be something there. going on that's not good. I think you're right. I yeah, think you're absolutely right. I completely agree. The with you. instinct should absolutely be like, all right, they got me on this like, one. You should have said, save that. Make Here sure it comes you got on that. the air. Yeah, it's gonna ah, get on the air. I didn't realize. There you go. Ah, but, but dude, that's great. Ah, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm not cringing at that I one. I know, I know. You should be. It's horrible. I'm not. <laughs> Dude, there's 8,000 of those fucking clips. But yeah, you're right. Maybe I'm entirely too sensitive at this point after being fucking <laughs> bludgeoned. Well, you're not. Yeah. You executive produce. Well, what is your response to it? Like I ruined things. There was one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I, I really, I, I don't give a shit. You're right. That's I'll funny. Play that one. Um. Hmm. Yeah, oh, well, you know, I think we ought to, you know, think a little bit more uh, about those situations before hitting the well, the nuclear right. button that yeah. deletes something that might be gold. Because <laughs> you, you, you want to be liked, and I like you. Like you don't. You, nah, you, you no, know no, what, no, dude? I've gotten. I've I've so gotten past that. I understand your point. Your your your, your point is I want to be liked by everybody, and yeah. the position I'm in, I cannot be. Right. Why? No, it cannot. Because you, you bring this up a lot, and I'm, I find this to be fascinating. You cannot be in a position of authority where you have to administer some kind Steve of... Steve thinks that no, one, no one's allowed to like him or something. Like, he's got some weird... Like, he puts up this huge barrier where you guys... You can't be friends because he's above you or Steve something like that. Steve feels like this. And I'm, I'm, I, Steve feels like he's up against three people. He feels like mm-hmm. he's up against you, Travis, and Sam, and Iraq to a certain degree. Um, and that you guys probably don't respect him or like him. 
Um, I think you feel like you're not respected. Yeah, completely valid and completely valid in an, in 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 a situation where you on a constant basis have to subject yourself to ridicule and there that that barrier that, or that, that works, hold on a second let me finish i'm not done talking there's there's that 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 line between on air and off air gets blurred no it doesn't no it, it doesn't get blurred Steve. it does no it, does, it never it does. does when when have i ever in the office called you gay queer how many times have you went like, everything seriously. that you bring up on the air? Because you, this is another thing that you bring up a lot, where you say you say that the the shit goes down. Uh, you, you you like to say that the staff doesn't know when we're not on the air anymore, and it's completely different. The the kind of behavior that goes on on the air is completely different off the air. But you seem to think that it continues when in fact it doesn't. It doesn't. No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Exact we'll play. Instances. We'll play goofy gags on you. So, like, occasionally, we'll you know pry off every key on your keyboard and rearrange them. <laughs> <laughs> which is but now, which is now somebody's responsibility. Uh, if uh, yeah, if, but it's if, just goofy stuff. I know. Well, if but, she would, yeah. Well, yeah, but I've, the difference I've made somebody here's accountable the for that. By the way, so done. Here's the difference. You look at that with rage. We just like if if somebody did that to my keyboard. If I came in in the morning and my keyboard was all mixed up, I would just start laughing. Hysterically. It's funny. I, I wouldn't know. I don't. Steve doesn't. I don't. Know. I don't. I, don't. I don't. thought he was you, seeing I'll, double from the night before. <laughs> I actually thought about this. Um, whereas this show is comprised of people who, by and large, I think got picked on a lot in high school, and probably in their formative years got picked on a lot, and I'm one of them. Whereas a lot of people had to develop, you know, um, cerebral weaponry. Uh, uh, to combat those things, I was able to smash people's faces into concrete oh. uh, with impunity. Wow. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you can't do that once you hit a certain age. Um, where's, so, where's the point of this? Why the not? The point of that is, uh, I don't have some of those. Some of those. Uh, uh, I'm not as adept, probably. Uh, I'm not as quick-witted as some of the uh, some of the other people are. So, so you'd rather smash somebody with your meat fists? fucking loot. Well, I guess that's where we're different because Wait, you, you know used I, to beat up kid, like picked on you and you used to just fuck them up in school. Absolutely, Kill, just really just. But I used to fucking ram people's faces into fucking out, really? radiators and fucking. Did you hey, stop fucking grr, with you after that? Yeah. Grr, grr. But it's why like, not? It has to be. Get the fuck out now. Oh, that, see, there was some good acting. Oh. It has to be fun, man. This I'm not. Shit on you! I'm, I'm for all this. If, if this isn't fucking fun, like I, if this is if, if this is a fucking unpleasant place to come, then what the fuck are we doing? It shouldn't be. No. Yeah, they, but here's the thing: I can can I play devil's advocate and say why? If Steve, you can Steve's spell point, it. Steve's point is, <laughs> I if he Steve's gets point. abused, he can't come Steve's back. Steve's point and, is, he's not coming back and gay. abusing. Oh, you can sorry. abuse. So you could take abuse. Because you give it out. You have the opportunity to abuse. He doesn't have the opportunity to come on the air and abuse. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, it's a I'm valid like point. What do you mean? The devil's it's lullaby. A valid, it's a valid point. <laughs> <laughs> He's not... He just said it. He's Shut not up. verbally... And let me laugh at my friend's comment. <laughs> <laughs> He's verbally not coming back on the air and getting even with anybody. So all his rage is physical, which he can't do now. You can verbally... I got it. All right. So, so he's explaining. Agreed. He's, he's agreed explaining what Steve was. explained yeah. completely. Yeah. What Steve is saying is that he's frustrated that he can't punch our faces. <laughs> That's yeah. what he's saying. Well, he's, he's saying that is, you know, like if you, Steve, when, when he's been fucked with, I mean, that was how he dealt with stuff. And if he feels like, you know, I, I don't think he's saying that literally, but I mean, no, I'm not sure not that literally, but yeah, I mean, at times. But point is, it's got to be fun. We can't. None of us. We can't have this aggressive atmosphere. It's got to be fucking fun, man. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, Rich. I'm a big fan of Steve's. I, I, so you, am I. But this is the problem. I'm a big fan of all these guys. I mean, they all contribute for real. I mean, it, it's like, but we have to fucking have Around. fun here. Yeah, we really do. And we have to keep in mind that whatever happens, uh, it could be fodder for, for the air. You know? If, 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 I think if you had said something uh, like, you know, the tape is there and it's like, oh, guys, I said something that was kind of stupid. Um, we would be like, was it just talking to Tom Jones? Yeah. Oh, come on. That's going on the air. We'll goof on it. Or if it was, you know, my dress got out, we'd never do that. No, or, or something that. about a relationship or this or that or the Whatever. That shit would never get out. But something as silly as just stammering because you're in, a, like, like it was said, an honest moment in front of Tom Jones where you're getting a little like fucked up about it. That's kind of funny. I've gotten, I've gotten plenty of moments like that where, uh, Oh, what is that? Oh, great. What's this that? is, uh, I, I, this just reminded me of, is from an old NEW bit, uh, where Anthony was trying to do a read for, uh, wiper blades. 
Yeah, I think it had to be in Spanish. But, yeah, but it's a perfect example of yeah. shit that yeah, you know, could, I, yeah, it could have been deleted. And Steve, you love telling me how long you've been in the business. I've only been in this business as long as you brought me into it. I so that. I've already learned to shut my mouth around open microphones. And I understand that if I go, <laughs> if I go and I do, you know, and like let's say Derek pulls me aside, he wants me to read something. I know that anything I say in that room is potential fodder for air. And there's shit that I've said that he's used in in uh, uh, Saturday Night Virus promos. I knew it was there. I was like, oh, I know he's going to use that. He knows how to keep it. his mouth and shut in front of a, a recording. <laughs> and thing. I've done it tons of times. He doesn't know how we to keep his mouth shut in front of a live on air mic. <laughs> That's. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just saying, it's you, any, it's fair game. I think once, once it's been, it's been digitized. It's, it's fair. You game. know what? You know what, dude? In this one specific instance, I turned the mic off because I cut the liners with Tom Jones. I turned the mics off, potted everything down. Then I was in the corner talking to him, and they were potted back up, and recorders pressed again. So it wasn't like I, I it wasn't like I carelessly left anything on. Hmm. So. You know, if if my if, if my attitude needs needs an adjustment, um, well, I just think it's more that uh, the the mindset has to be that material for the show is like is paramount. Tantamount. That's yes. the fucking. You sound to me like a perfect. guy who has given up. Like when you're talking, I'm listening to you. Like you feel like you've given up. No, not even given up. I have. You sound defeated. It's a grueling fucking experience to do this sometimes. Why? It should. It shouldn't be. be. It really shouldn't be. I'm, I'm the not... stressors are different. The stressors are different, absolutely, than they are for you, than they are for Jim, than they are for... And, and, and that is true. I mean, but we got to take a certain hit, too. I mean, we got, you know... Hey, look, dude, I'm... I'm, I'm... I, mean, I haven't taken a day to walk around in your light loafers, but... Thank you. Um, yeah. It's a queer joke. They, I, I nah, but you, you can't... You got to say, like, they, they always say that if you want to understand a man, you should saturate... Saturate. <laughs> oh! <laughs> delete oh! that! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 You should, should why? Sashay a mile in his shoes. <laughs> Sashay. Ah, <laughs> uh, I only wish the Pavarotti was here to photograph that moment. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine if this monumental idiot to my left, <laughs> which is Voss, <laughs> Voss right now thinks I'm talking about Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve. How, how come everybody like everybody has such a good time around here except for you? Like you're always not, the one not having everything is a, a mess. Everything is running around. It's a train wreck. It's 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 sweating. It's putting your hands on your brow and breathing heavily and sweaty. I'm a fucking stressed out guy. What why? can I tell you? Um, why? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, if you ask me, what do I not like about this job? I'd say waking up in the morning. Yeah, yeah well, that is the and worst. That's, and that's part. where it that's yeah. where it ends. Once, once I'm like awake, and on my way in, yeah, then Fine. it gets better. What's the oh, matter, you're Jimmy? Listening to intervention with uh, I, don't, I just don't, I don't intro, understand why intervention. Why by we way. all we said, all get along just fine, except for Steve. He intervention. Just, he just can't intervention. Do it. What happened? No, no, I'm doing this thing at Yale. A, a, a class. What? Yeah, I'm teaching a class at Yale. No, you're not. A, a one time thing about uh, comedy, I, and uh, I, I, I'm like, is it this Wednesday? I think I have it in my book wrong. Yale. I, I hope not. Well, wow. you're not here on Wednesday too. No, no, no. It's a, it's a nighttime thing. I think. Ooh, he's gonna yell at you. <laughs> I hope it's not this week. All right. Well, you know, I think we got to keep that in mind. Do you get paid? Yeah. No. Next time, maybe you know. Just think. walk out of the room smiling and 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 prepare for another. Well, not, you don't have to be so in, enraged that it's happening. Like you know, I know, I know. When I walk in, there are gonna be times where I'm gonna be fucking firmly planted under the bus. Sure. But, I, dude, I, it's happened to everybody. Yeah, you know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not saying I'm exempt from a fucking a, a fucking trouncing. I've been fucking. But I look at it like it's kind of fun. It's you know, it's 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 good for the show. It's you know, it's what it is. We bash the shit out of friends. Bash the shit out of each other. It's what they do. We don't talk nicely to each other. We fucking we're a bunch of douchebags to each other. It makes yeah, uh, no, that's valid. Makes for fun radio, and I think. I think I'm hypersensitive to a lot of shit, and that's that's one of my faults. Absolutely, I think I'm completely hypersensitive mm. to a lot of shit. I also think that there's a lot of stuff that I have to deal with. To uh, see, I just avoided a gay joke because I'm being what being nice guy, Jimmy. You guys. don't have to be nice guy, Jimmy. I can, you know, the gay jokes I've gotten used to at this point, but. You fucking. You said I've avoided a lot of shit. Oh. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say unless it was on you tip of your penis but <laughs> I didn't. Uh, oddly enough <laughs> um, oddly enough <laughs> um, 
it mm. is not an easy position to be caught in between talent and the powers that be that are signing your paychecks every week. Sometimes there are odd positions to get put into and that you get put into and it becomes very stressful. Well, I don't think you'd ever find a, a situation where it, uh, the powers that be would be mad that you didn't delete something. I'm not talking That's about something that. something different. I'm talking about in the overall picture. You want to know why I'm so stressed out? Yes. It's not easy. All right? I'm not, I'm not saying it has to be. I'm, I fucking, I'll, I'll work my ass off. But, you, you know, it's, it's stressful. It's stressful being in a situation where you have to deal with uh, an, a volatile on-air environment and then people... Why is Danny not happy today? Danny, you seem like yeah, you're Danny, what very hot under the collar. No one's oh, on it today. I don't know. Maybe because it's Friday. Yeah, that's probably it. I phoned it in. <laughs> I mean, uh, just uh, it's I'm just me, but I mean, if if uh, Opie from the Opie and Anthony show says, "Hey, let's," uh, you know, it's, he's obviously setting up a bit where we need to block a door. I want to know why I have a fucking gaggle of interns staring like they're fucking morons. Well, I guess they are fucking morons, especially the one that I ha happened to make eye contact with, oh. which was David. I'm David. motioning to him like, "Block the door, you fucking idiot!" And he's staring into space like like. Which is a great thing to have interns doing in the first place. It's like they're just standing around looking at stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then and then we're you know, we're trying to get Patty back on the air after she runs out of here and like no one's doing anything. No one's trying to lead I see, her I see in people or... checking their Blackberries or their maybe their new fucking Samsung phones. And, <laughs> oh, and that, that's I, what you're talking about. I want who, who is he talking about? I want Sam? fucking Patty back in here. That's what I need. I don't need email wait, wait, check in wait, wait. or fucking text messages. Something's... I need Patty back in the fucking studio. I got you, but Sam is picked up on something. Who is he talking about? I think then Steve just got a new Samsung phone. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. Jimmy did too. I don't know. My brought my back yesterday. Yeah, no, Jimmy returned <laughs> it. <laughs> and I was right here. <laughs> what? Uh oh. No, he's not talking about me at all. You got a new Samsung phone? <laughs> no, I got a new, um... Fucking Sam. It's uh, HTC phone, actually. Oh, uh, whatever. But, Dan... <laughs> right, whatever. Dan, you probably thought it was Samsung, though, right? No, I wasn't checking my phone at all. No. I was actually blocking Patty from getting out of the door. Is that true? Oh, Patty, you fucking stink. Was, Ew. was Patty being blocked by Steve? No fault of my own, Anthony. Shut up, Patty, you smell. <laughs> Well, how about how about instead of blocking Patty from from f getting further away from the studio, how about we could work on getting her back into the studio or closer oh, to it? Oh shit! Oh my god! That's good. Good. Yeah, oh, actually, kind shit. of because we're we're screaming like get get Patty, get Patty, get Patty, and here's what I see seriously, and like I'm not contesting that you were blocking her her from leaving, but here's what I see. Uh, was, Danny is uh, looking just, down at his phone and scrolling. Would, it, this is a radio show. We you have camera could, monitors all over the good. place. Good. Well, let's look at them then. That's fine. Let's go no look at them. No need to get excited. Oh, that's all right. Please, let's please, let's look um, at them. Oh, <laughs> um, please, really, please, coming from you, no need to get excited. Um, the one who likes to threaten violence every three seconds that, with people. That's, that's and angry. you're going to tell me to not get excited about running a radio show. That's Ooh. angry, Steve. Um, this is calm, Steve. This is calm, sweating profusely, Steve. Ooh, I'm not sweating. You are too. Anyway, um, you are still sweating, Steve. Yeah, I sweat. Like you're at the beach. I I I call your bluff. Let's take a look at security footage and see what we can find. Uh, you'll see footage of me preventing Patty from leaving. And, I, and you're Patty also, and we're all also going to see me freaking out, saying, "Why the fuck isn't Patty in the studio?" And you scrolling through on your phone. Ooh. Is that what we'd see on the uh, surveillance? Why would I video? fucking freak no. out? No, you wouldn't. No. You, you, okay. I'll hear something you can see. Go ahead. Uh, uh -oh. Danny is walking out now, looking very, at the uh, getting the surveillance video. Dude, I'm just sick of every fucking body not doing nothing. Fucking do something. I got interns standing around doing nothing. I got you checking your BlackBerry when we're trying to get a fucking with Patty back into the studio. It's just like what I in just, the fuck? What the fuck? It's very emotional. Yeah, because I give a fuck about this fucking radio show, Steve. Holy yeah. shit! See, that's okay. the problem, Danny. Yeah. yeah. Sam, comment. What is the emotional thing? It was a good reason. It's good to be emotional about the radio show, probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking Sam. Yeah. I can't get enough of Sam. He is probably the biggest douche I've ever met in my life. You could Sam just... is a fucking cunt. Poe yeah. is back. Poe is the only one that can retrieve the footage from the cameras. He is, yeah. he is out on, on a very, very important security important. detail. This, is, yes. this might have to be a cliffhanger for Monday. Well, what about Patty? Patty, who is uh, holding your back? Uh, so I, I only think somebody was running after me. Oh, so you oh. didn't see anyone holding you back? No, I think they have to take their blackberries. Oh. <laughs> they, they were running after me. Oh, I oh I'm sorry. Patty, who was standing in front of the door telling you to get back in the studio? The other guy, the, the, <laughs> the, the older guy, the one with the Am gray I mean, hair. No. 
<laughs> Scott, the intern. <laughs> she means it. I did see no, him. The main door. There's when one thing I can say about Patty. Bathroom. She's a very honest woman. Yes, oh. she is. When you were running for the bathroom. You were she's there. Scared Thank of God. you. E well, you were. No one's saying you weren't there. I'm not saying Steve wasn't even there. I'm saying that you were there. But instead of fucking convincing her to come back into the studio, I saw you fucking scrolling on your BlackBerry. That's not what needs to, be, to, to get done. If they're screaming to get Patty back in here, put the fucking phone down and say, Patty, you gotta get back in there. I did send her back in here. I don't know what's happening. Oh Sam? Well, to play devil's advocate, Steve, who was the message from on your phone? Uh, I believe it was Michael Madsen and uh, the director of the film that we were talking to. We talked to them before. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the phone with them, so. <laughs> I, I, I don't it's, remember. I had done uh, and, and we were also talking, I was, uh, we also had promotional material being dropped off over here, which is So important. what's more important, promotional material or getting Patty back into the uh, air studio? Considering it's, uh, having to do with a guest that's coming in on Monday. And what could, and, and so, so that can't wait until 11.01. You're very upset. I am upset, Steve, I'm you're I'm absolutely sorry. right, I'm, I'm very upset. I'm very, very upset. It probably could have waited till 11.01. <laughs> um, <laughs> probably, I don't know. Somebody has to get upset. Oh, well, somebody has to. I guess it's you today. Today it's me. It's it's every day it's me, and that's kind of why I'm exploding a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lovely. Whew. Yeah. Try meditation. Look who's talking. Holy fucking shit. You're the one that's fucking sweating profusely out of your mind, threatening violence on Sam yesterday. <laughs> You've done it to me three times. You're telling me to meditate? That's, that's angry, Steve. This is calm, Steve. So calm Steve was today and angry Steve was yesterday. Yeah. That's right. Excellent. It's a character. Steve, Steve has a new character. Calm Steve. Calm Steve. Yes. That's great. This is the same voice. Can, can, you, can you come up with a character called uh, Executive Producer Steve? <laughs> oh! I'd fucking love to see him around. Once. Holy oh, holy shit. Whoa. 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 Sam, too. It, I just, that would be kind of a, I, it'd be a reach. <laughs> he could do it, I think. I think I do that one okay. Holy shit. Wow. I do that one okay. Okay, not great. Uh, uh, thanks, Sam. I How come I'm yelling it. at interns to have them fucking block doors and do shit? Steve was on his Blackberry. We already said that. <laughs> Point counterpoint. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to work very hard. I'm just answering. You're asking me a question, and I'm answering you. Mm -hmm. Okay? You said that you, you do it very well, and I'm asking, well, I think an executive producer would, would be directing his interns to, to, to complete tasks, to not be standing around like fucking retards, actually, and to perhaps do stuff that they need to be doing. I but it always seems like that's never getting done, so I'm throwing this back to you, and what's said, going on? It's said all the time to these interns that they have to pay attention. Well, Why who? Why not Us say that or you? you? Did, did I not say that to you today? A number of times? Yeah, I got yelled at before. Thank you. For what, Ron? Uh, because I cut the corner off David's notebook. I was scolded. It was a leather notebook that his dad gave to him. Oh, that's, yeah, exactly. Well, it's the, it's the important stuff, at least, that we're getting to the bottom of here. Don't you fucking cut the corner off of David's notebook while we're trying to do a fucking radio show here. Well, to We only have fucking listeners across the country in, in, in multiple countries, but you know what? Take your time, Steve, during the fucking show to... I, to... To what? To... To scold our fucking intern about uh, about bullshit that doesn't watch to watch over the staff that I have a number of people. So I think we right, did. I will. I think we did have a notebook segment penciled in for later today. <laughs> it was. It, I don't. I don't think we're going to get to it. It may have to wait till Monday. I was being sarcastic. There was no notebook segment. Oh really? And sorry, why I'm, would we talk I'm about notebooks? I'm being sarcastic. Yeah. I just my my detector's a little off. Wouldn't it make really? Sense? Today yeah. is off a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, today's uh, today okay. off a little bit. Well, how about uh, two days ago when the email went out about the uh, the Guitar Hero thing? The <laughs> worded verbatim on, on the email, which you send out as executive producer, this is how it was titled. It was called Guitar World Rematch. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. They didn't. I don't know what Guitar yeah, World is besides a magazine, and we can't have a rematch until we have a match. Um, mm -hmm. So what it's is a, a Guitar word. World Rematch? It's and then tell me that you're just off today. Um... I don't play video games as much as you do. I actually spend a lot of time working. Yeah, so. for yourself. Oh, Thank wow. you. Shit. I work very hard for this show, actually. Um, and you know what Guitar Hero is? I don't actually. I don't. I have. No, I've. I, I know what it is. I've never played it before. Yes, so. you have, because you've told me you had. You said it was. It was too hard. You I couldn't get it. it and you gave it away to somebody. I played it once in the studio. That was it. Trying to keep track of that. So. What about the rematch thing? Um, well, whatever. Match rematch. It was a typo. You type was it a typo, or did it's you a, just not know what was going on? It's a very small thing to get very emotional about. No, because it's a collection of shit that happens every fucking day. 
It's a collection of... It's a, it's a goddamn collection. Well, I happen to disagree. This is like the time Danny got upset that Steve didn't know that Anthony unplugged the Xbox yesterday. Yeah, I was busy dealing with uh, other things that had to get done during the show. Thanks, Sam, for <laughs> notebooks. reminding everybody. Yes, there was, no, there was yeah. an actual another notebook incident that had to get addressed. What happened? Someone put a sticker on someone's back and you had to fucking yell at him for it? <laughs> yep. What was that about? Well, a lot of shit coming up. Well, we need someone to, like, direct the action when we're doing our big bits. Probably not Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Do other holy, stuff. Holy shit, this fucking kid. Why, what happened there, Sam? Well, he's got to do other stuff. He's got to call Michael Madsen and yell at Ron for cutting notebooks. <laughs> holy fuck. Steve, when, when, when Stumpring called out today, you said you were going to take over for his position. Mm -hmm. And then you delegated that responsibility to Eric. You know why? Uh, no, no, no. It was, David. it was delegated to uh, David, actually. <laughs> Okay, but I remember being in the. See, I remember the morning. Yeah, you, 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 you seem to think that I don't remember the morning where you said first you told us that you were going to do it, and then and then talent comes in and you say, so uh, who do you want to uh, to uh, be in that spot? Yeah. So why did I you why did you assume responsibility for it and then delegate it off to someone else? Because I changed my mind. I'm allowed to do that. Okay. That's my prerogative. Yeah, it's one of the advantages. So you could sit in the back and hang out and have someone else do what you said you were going to take care of. Um, no, I was actually doing work. You see, uh, cool. much I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm sorry you don't think I do anything. Hey, what That's happened to New Lily, by the way? She uh, doesn't want to come in anymore. Oh, was, okay. She was told she wasn't allowed to work or touch any equipment or do anything. No. Uh, yeah. yeah. So then she stopped coming in. Hmm. hmm. All right. You all right, Steve? I'm good. You seem very different. I'm calm. I think you're faking. What? No, I'm good. Smile. <clears throat> Sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it, right? I don't think so. What's going on, Steve? Is that important security detail um, involve me? Yes. Oh, yeah, sure. Thank <laughs> God. What, what's going it's on, It's important Steve? to me on a Friday. Let me ask if you're alright. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm good. What's going I'm on good. in your head? I'm back in my meetings. I'm feeling okay. Did you stop? Um, I got so that when, I, when I fucked up my back, I was I was out of it for a while. But, uh, but yeah, now I'm back. The date didn't change, did it? No, not at all. Good. No relapses. So I'm good. But what's up with the sweating, for real? I have no idea. I relapsed last night. Did you? <laughs> I'm going to relapse again in about an hour. Anthony had fought hard and put together nine hours <laughs> of consecutive sobriety. God bless him. God I got my nine-hour chip. He's like, yeah, can I have a chip? It, it, was, <laughs> nice. called, it, was, it was a fucking wise. He, he pulled it out of the bag that was stuck to the side of his face. <laughs> and passed out in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> People are confused. Uh, they're asking, "Hey, Opie, wait, why is an why is an intern taking over for the executive producer of the CBS?" Show? Holy David, shit! Right? He's one of our best interns. He's he's he's, a, he's gold. They're also he's asking great. if Danny is drunk, though. Oh, I'm no. noticing that because uh, I don't think they've ever heard Danny um, really go off like this. But uh, Danny, you know, cares a lot about the program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's drunk. <laughs> Are you drunk, Danny? No, he's no I wish I was, actually. <laughs> Danny has me, never come into a radio a, show give me drunk. A, give me another and, minute okay, 40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another minute 40. That's when I'm going to start working. Yeah. Are you mad right now? No, actually. Okay. Cool. No. No. Not. Is that sarcasm? No, it's not. I'm actually not pissed off. Why? Usually you lose it. So I know. What's different? I don't know. You know what? I've had to... Um, I'm, tr I'm really working hard on retraining my, my, my brain to not get, to not sweat the small shit. So, Danny getting upset is small shit. No, it isn't, so, Steve. When it comes to this radio show, nothing is small shit. Getting upset is really, you know, inconsequential in my brain. So, I have to get, okay. so I just have to convince myself that Well, it, then you continue doing what you do, and I will continue doing what I do, and then perfect. that's what we'll just do. Oh, shit. What, we'll what just do. Wonderful. Is there a problem there, Sam? Well, because Danny said he was going to produce the show, and Danny said Steve scrolls through his BlackBerry and yells at notebooks or something. So, I mean, if that's what Steve's going to keep doing, that is not the right path. Well, that's just his perception, Sam, you see. Notebooks. Holy shit, I want to kill Sam. Was it a spiral or a marble? It was, I believe, a leather bound. Ooh. Oh, wow. Well, well shit, I think I probably want to yell at him, too. Yeah, yeah like leather yes. expensive. Steve, what? Damn well, no. So you're not on supplements or anything because you're sweating like a pig. 
all week for the most part. And then, you, and then you blame sugar in your coffee. That was morning. that was fucked up. I thought somebody put sugar in my coffee this morning. And but why would anyone put sugar in your coffee? Because sometimes they don't know. They know they know I can't eat sugar. But so you I know just... if there's sugar in your coffee because it tastes sweet. No, they're <laughs> splendid. My coffee tastes sweet. Either way, it tastes sweet. Right, but what if, if it's all the starch that you eat and that converts to sugar? Um, no, doesn't Sam, work. I don't get what Danny was going for there. Starch. He eats a lot of starch, right? And that can convert to sugar. It's like sandwiches and yeah. potatoes and <laughs> things like that. No, that doesn't do it for me. It's like ice cream and like uh, pack ch sugar packets and coffee would do it for me. That, you know, my body can't handle Twizzlers. No, I don't like them. I love Twizzlers. Me too, especially in a, in a movie. Oh, you know one of those special movie theaters they still have up where bunch of gentlemen around the screen with no clothes on. Yes. Other gentlemen are sucking each other off in the, st in the theater, and you're just eating a Twizzlers, minding your beeswax. <laughs> Jesus. And pop. You know how stupid you look bringing in Twizzlers and popcorn to a gay porno movie? <laughs> Everybody's jerking off and doing poppers, and you're just going, shh, shh. Eating your popcorn and your Twizzlers. Oh, with a fucking, with a date, sipping soda. Yeah. <laughs> laughing at the inappropriate parts. Like with the chauffeur fucks the rich man in the mouth. <laughs> you guys laugh and applaud like it's a great Will Ferrell movie. Probably a better script, actually. <laughs> I worry about the supplements you take, Steve. What? No, I'm, I, I, You're got, off the I got off of all of them. Got off of every supplement I was taking. Mm -hmm. They're making me sick. So I uh, had to, I laid off maybe a month or two ago. My chick's a bodybuilder, so she told me to stop taking them all. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. And I actually felt better afterwards. Mm -hmm. All right. She wants my blood type. Yeah. She needs that to do the diet. She's helping me with a diet and some workouts. Your blood stuff. type? Uh... Yeah. It's amazing how you don't know your own fucking blood type. I don't know my blood type. HIV my parents, positive. I, <laughs> that would imply that I had AIDS, Ope. And, uh, you know, look. I probably, could, I, I, I probably could have done that joke a little... Little no, 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 no. It was fine. I mean, and subtly, I, the whole age thing looked like I've let it go. I've worked that out. <laughs> Will handled all right. Yeah, it's handled. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put a bandaid around my aorta. It doesn't spread. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need to know your blood type for uh, some kind Different of a type of body nutrition types? thing? Really? Uh, I guess so. The yeah. blood type has mm. some kind of a uh, yes. reflection on what? Yeah. yeah. Really? Apparently so. I didn't know. That's that. interesting. To look at me, you'd think I should know that. Mm. Being in the shape I'm in. Oh, mom didn't know? No, nah, mom didn't what's e know. What's Erox? May O negative? <laughs> I think he knows, actually. <laughs> yeah. gonna, uh, All right. Doesn't matter. I want to let you guys. I want to let you guys know <laughs> that. I want to let you guys know there's a, a possible kill screen coming up. So <gasps> just want to let you. Guys oh know. shit. I want to pass the word, Sam. That there's a. Why don't you pass the word? That there's a possible. All right. Kill screen coming up here. Patty, there's a possible kill screen coming up in a couple minutes. If, if you're interested. If, if you're interested. interested. Yeah. It's very key. Yeah, if you're interested is the right. key word there. It's, uh, working them. Hey, guys, there could be a possible kill screen coming up in a couple minutes if you're interested. There's not a lot of interest, but I'll be checking it out. Staring at you would check out a kill screen, right? In a heartbeat. Oh, man, I would, too. Here's uh, Steve Martin. He meets Beyonce, uh -huh. and then he farts. Wait, this is part one. Is it? Maybe, maybe she's in this one. Maybe he no. does it again. He met Beyonce and then farted in the music studio. Oh, oh, E Rock. E Rock. We wanted the clips from uh, the new movie. If you, if if E Rock. Oh boy. oh boy. Bare bottom spanking. Not from me. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like I'm spanking with my sh put, put crushed glass on my shoe. E Rock. E Rock. Is this clips from the new movie? I didn't pull these. Who did? Who did? I don't know, but I didn't do the Pink Panther ones. Oh, who, who did? did? This is a mystery. This is a mystery. Wow, were you reading some emails last night, Mr. Pass the Buck? <laughs> <laughs> it's a mystery, yes, just like the Pink Panther. It certainly is a mystery. Who pulls these clips? Let's bring uh, Sam in. Ah, Sam. Sam. I pulled these clips weeks ago when Steve told me to pull clips from the Pink Panther movie. Which movie? The Pink Panther movie. He said the Pink Panther. <laughs> so it was just this, this the part Pink one. Panther, part yeah. one. Yes. You were not told to pull from no. the new movie. 
All right, the buck has now been passed to Steve. Steve, if you would step up to the microphone and please address the crowd. Yeah, the whole bit is we want new clips because we already went over the old clips. Yeah, right. We were told, he was told to pull clips from both movies, actually, and I don't know why that was not followed. Oh, he's Back calling you out, and Sam. And remember, Sam, you're on the radio, so you can't get in trouble. <laughs> both oh. clip, uh, both movies you were supposed to pull clips yeah. from. You were told yeah, by yeah. Steve, both CD? movies. What? Let me see the CD. Let me see the playlist or whatever. Uh -oh. Because, oh no, is there uh, clips from one and two on here? Is it Opie's? No, pull? that's what I thought. He asked me to pull clips from the Pink Panther movie, not movies. Uh. Oh shit! And so I pulled. Oh, I wouldn't have just pulled from part one if you had said part one and two. When I know it, what the bit was. I heard the instructions oh, and I got to them. Steve. Oh damn! All right, you got the instructions, but I didn't. So obviously, no, you got them because I told them to you. Who and gave you the instructions. Jimmy did. <laughs> Sam. Oh. And so I just decided, ah, Steve told me part one and two, but I'll just do part one because the guys won't notice. You better fight back, Sam. You're up for a big raise. You don't want to yeah. look bad in front of the boss's eyes. When in, in my history with this show have I ever been given instructions then specifically not followed them? Oh, snap. Wow. I always follow That's the instructions. That's a good instructions. one. The Pink Answer Pan that! I have an answer. Answer that! The, Answer that! It's got a good record. The Pink Panther incident? Yeah, I was just about to say the Pink Panther incident. Thank you, Jim. Uh, oh, no. Um, the Blue mm. Chip Kid coming in with the instant feedback. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, you did not fall for that. Uh, Sam? No, I was asked to get clips from the Pink Panther movie. You asked me to kiss a guy, I kissed a guy. You Ah, oh. uh, no, more right. than a guy. Hang on. You kiss many guys. Here's Which a, means you go beyond uh, what we ask you. Travis has something? Yeah. Here's an email from November 11th. Yes. Oh, shit. From Steve, yes. titled Wednesday. It's our daily email. Okay. Need to get clips from the first Pink Panther remake, parentheses, Sam. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Steve, comment on that email. Comment. That email came from me. Oh. Oh, yeah. damn. Wow. You okay. just got pwned. So what were you saying, Steve? <laughs> I think I'm owed an apology. You might be, but I'm not going to give one to you. Oh. Um, oh. oh. So uh, the mystery has been solved through an email. Uh, it said the first movie. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Um, I did write that, but as far as I can recall, uh, I did tell him to get the two movies and Sam at the time said why I thought Jim just wanted a tool on the new one so you want the hearsay that you just uh, yeah. spoke uh, put in the same evidence as the email that exactly. is on the record and yes. <laughs> exactly I want my horseshit hearsay put in the same <laughs> the same file as oh, the horseshit email shit. Sam, <laughs> Sam lawyered you damn oh, yeah damn you got lawyered by Sam Sam wins. Yeah. Sam wins. Sam wins. Sam wins. Sam wins. Yes, Sam. Wins. Sam. Steve loses. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll break. Uh, sure, we'll break. All right. We're trying to solve the Pink Panther uh, mystery, though. Solved. Which I think we have solved. Yes, Jim. Yes, definitely solved. solved. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, how about we get part two? No problem. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh Want to send an email? <laughs> wow. Thank God we saved this for this side of the show, man. Yes. We were teasing it on the good side of the show for weeks. See, I told you. All right. <laughs> Enough already. So basically, Steve came in and said, you know, this is important. We got to do this. Yeah. Jeremy P Piven's going to be on GMA. Yeah. And he put E-Rock on it. Yeah. So E-Rock and Just Steve his head. then crowded around the TV. Yeah. And, uh, and they're watching it on the big screen live. Because the source we use to get audio, there's a little delay. So you watch it live, and then you remember the audio and go back and cut it up. Sure. So the first incident was <laughs> while Eric was watching the live screen, Yeah. Steve went back into his office, and then he came out and said, Hey, Eric, could you get this audio? And Eric goes, Yes, Steve, that's why I'm watching it. <laughs> and then Steve goes, Okay, just reminding you. And then Eric <laughs> kicked a chair across the room. <laughs> oh, you got a little feisty. Yeah, it gets heated around here. Yeah, it sure does. And what was the other thing and about then <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> Piven my part coming up. starts talking about how sick he was? <laughs> yeah. And Steve goes over to the TV, and he goes, 
This guy says he's sick. I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> uh oh. Which given and why is that funny, uh, Sam? Because given the fact that he's talking a pot kettle conversation yeah, here. Clear non nasally voice Steve was out with a cold for one day this week. <laughs> Where is Steve? Non nasally voice. I love the non nasally voice. Oh and, no. and maybe that person walked out of the office right as a garbage can was being kicked right at him. Yeah. Steve, Steve, a lot of, a lot I don't of staff like this. very suspicious that you did not have a cold. I don't like when you called it sick yeah. a couple days ago. I don't wow. like. Get I love, to defend I love, yourself. I love how Sam fabricates uh, sentence fragments just to get him, <laughs> just to instigate. Ooh, what but, did I uh, fabricate? That was ex I never fabricated. Said, that. I said never, what? I didn't say Pivens didn't sound sick. You didn't look at the TV and say, I don't believe him for a second. Yeah, you kind of blocked me from watching and <laughs> making keeping notes of, of this interview that I had to cut up because you we stood right in front of it and turned the remote down just so you could hear it because the show was playing behind you. Did you believe he was sick and not believe he ate fish? I was watching the show, but I don't know. Whatever. Um... <laughs> Anyway. He was um, asking you a question. You can't just say whatever. <laughs> you just said I fabricated something. Ah, whatever. <laughs> I have limited space to allocate this stupid but shit. But you didn't... Um, <laughs> <laughs> he asked you a question. He said I didn't make any sense. Steve, what? comment? I don't even know. What? Steve, we're on. <laughs> yeah. um, I thought the Piven audio <laughs> was worth Bless playing, you. so I had Eric cut it out. Right. So. I don't think Anthony's getting a cold. <laughs> He's I don't a liar. <laughs> but then you said I lied when you but said I didn't say that though. You didn't look at the TV and say I don't believe a word that he's saying. No, verbatim. I, no, I didn't say that. You I didn't know. But I, you I'm saying that Sam is telling the truth. He, he heard well, you, you say. You kind of just came in and said Sam fabricated uh, fabricated all the stuff. Yeah, yeah but it, and I didn't now say you're it. and you're saying. He, you didn't say it. And Sam said this to you, and you're saying he's lying when he said it right to you. No, he didn't. Steve, I was in the <laughs> office. Oh, Jesus. You stood oh, in front of Jesus. me while I was watching and taking notes on it so you could listen to him talk about yeah, being I, sick. I, I, I said I believe you. That, uh, I probably said he's like disingenuous or something like that. But I didn't You say, said I don't... verbatim, I do not believe a word of what he's saying. Oh, I know maybe, that maybe because... I did. I don't remember saying it. I as really soon don't. as you said that, I, I am Danny and was like, Steve just said this, LOL. And then okay. Danny lol back. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't have <laughs> made it. back. <laughs> if we were <laughs> LOLing about it. If someone intercepted that conversation, they'd probably go, what are these two fat girls talking about? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's <laughs> like the fucking coffee clutch that exists behind the scenes in this place. It's Ooh. so silly. Oh, Ooh, um, shit, What Sam? coffee clutch? You, oh, Danny, damn. Sam, Aaron. You mean, the, you, mean, you mean the entire support staff, yes. minus you? Yes, exactly. <laughs> this is the trials and tribulations of being the fucking kindergarten teacher of romper room behind the scenes Ooh. here. Oh, my God. Um, you guys we were a chore. Ooh, oh, we were. This. It's we, not, it, I, I don't. I, got, I don't mind. It's just, but that's the reality of it. I have to be the fucking nanny of this fucking. We were talking. laughing at you. We were laughing because you were talking to a television. I talked. Yeah. To, so what? And, and then you turned around like you had just addressed the room. <laughs> <laughs> like oh. I sure showed that Piven. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like you've never talked to a TV and discussed before? Yeah, but when I do it, it's not the the irony isn't so in my face. <laughs> Of me saying you're faking sick when there was suspicion. Oh, you thought I was faking sick the other day. No, I just said suspicion. I did I, not make no. that claim. No, we don't know oh. for sure, but I do okay. not know that. No. You did say you were gonna like battle a cold. <laughs> yes, no. I was doing battle. It was it was me and a, and a saber and uh, flu germs. Wait, did you have a cold this week? Yeah, my did my chick's been been home sick with a cold the entire week. No, not and now your chick. You. Yes. Yeah. Because Monday you were sweating a lot. And then I probably, I probably, I'm sweating right now. Yeah, and it's 17 degrees out. Dude, I sweat it's, all it's the time. Warm <clears> here. I sweat all the time. It's. I still got my uh, my hoodie on and stuff. I'm still a little chilled. It is what it is. I sweat. You sweat um, a lot. Man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I'm not on any supplements. I'm not on anything. All right. Mm. And yeah. you you fought a one day cold. That's yep. what Sam's getting at, right, Sam? He said, "You got going, email. going to stay here and try to get rid of this cold." Right. Yeah. Which I mean, we just <laughs> thought was funny because that was the first sentence. But the, this cold hadn't been set up. Like nobody knew what this cold was because he didn't have a cold on Monday. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> okay. That's, <laughs> that's just I, I, I had one of those oh. twenty-four hour things. That it was, you know, they happen. Oh okay. Yeah. That's all. Get I got, rid of. I got rid of it. 
but Sam, what are you getting at? Like colds usually last more than All right. Well, they're like a what's the average cold? Seven I'd say to seven days? to ten days of lingering. Yeah. Plus, Sam, I'm going to make an effort to breathe on you all week for the rest of the week. <laughs> all right. Well, maybe I'll just catch it at three in the morning and then. <laughs> Be done with it by you know <laughs> noon, <laughs> and then and then I'll be good. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. See what's happening here is they don't believe you called in sick. So I don't give a rat's ass, ass what they believe. Yeah, people are people thinking you were fibbing. Um, this is the face of someone who doesn't give a shit what they think. Ooh, oh, that's oh, great. Oh. Right. Wow. It's not productive. The face of someone who doesn't give a shit. That helps that's the right. show. <laughs> I guess it does, actually. Because if I allow everything that you guys say to stress me out, which I used to, but I can't, I would probably blow my head off clean across the fucking room, but I can't do that. So, so what that help? That what's the, the big help? <laughs> what's the big change where you don't care anymore? Um, Therapy. Therapy. Are you in therapy? Yeah. It does help, right? Yeah, it does. How's it event? Man or woman? Man. I can't open up to a man. Uh-huh. Six like cock. Just Steve can't. Can. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Steve. You got to give it to Danny. I will. I'll give it. That up. was a damn good one. <laughs> I, I didn't, the fact that you delivered it like I, I've never seen a more eager delivery in my life, but it was a good one. I always have to have a woman. Yeah. All right. All right. So we got to the bottom of the one day cold. Thank right. God. Yeah. I was wrong. Huh? I was wrong. Thank you, Sam. Steve had a cold for six hours. I didn't apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I was crying. So, so is the Jeremy Piven audio worth playing? E Rock. It, it's okay. He's just a whiny douchebag. Yeah. Oh, don't talk about Steve like that. Yeah, Jesus. He asked right, you Could you boss. leave the studio for a second? What? Could you leave the studio for a second? So oh. Talk about it? But really? I'll hear it out there. Yeah, why do you want yeah. him to leave the studio? Yeah. Yeah, stay in front of his face. Right there. Stay right in yeah. front of that, the wettest face in the fucking East Coast. Oh, my God. I know, dude. That's bad. Steve, you're dripping on your shirt. I know. I don't know why. Eric, you implying that Steve wouldn't hear when he leaves the studio would mean that he doesn't listen he to the show when he's texting here. to do. Oh, jeez. That was what you were implying. Today, you rock. Yeah, Eric's very upset. No, I, I, yeah. I, very I, emotional. He's very upset. I don't understand yeah. why. Yeah. Well, look, there was a couple of things today, Steve. Um, is this why not you necessarily to leave the your, Not necessarily your fault, but the way you handled it could have been uh, done better. This morning, guys were talking about we should have had the con clip for uh, uh, for Ricardo Montalban's death. I spent the good portion of that morning trying to find a computer that would play the DVD because we brought in Rathacon, and oh. three different computers had problems reading it or recording it. So I go, Steve, what am I supposed to do? We can't pull this. Oh, send me an email and we'll take care of it. How does that get it on the air? <laughs> because I had to go. I pulled the clip off the off fucking YouTube. No, I had you, to find all it. All right, but you pulled the one drop where you yelled "con." Yeah, I understand that. And we, also we referenced um, the the funeral. I understand that, that would have been good to have. And uh, the, the part about putting uh, the I insects can't fix in the, those computers, dude. I, I can't. What would you like me to do? Find one that worked. I don't think any of them fucking work. That's okay, the but sending an email and not getting the audio for that. Uh, well, particular would segment you like me doesn't to help. magically extract the audio from the C- from from the DVD. I can't do it. it you can use a computer. You don't use magic. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Very constructive. <laughs> if we don't have a computer that works, I have to get it documented, and I have to do. I have to send it off to you somebody. Hold hold your thought because uh, uh, Sean in Jersey wants in. Sean, yes, yes. If if Steve's girl's been sick for a while and he got the cold from his girl. How from the same strain is his a 24-hour cold? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and she's been sick for a while. That's a good one. A very resilient immune system. Steve, you just got to... No one gives a shit if people take a day here and there, but you can't use a, the, the cold excuse and then come in the next day without a sniffle. I have... Because then you're playing right into the, these oh, guys' I hands. Well, I play right into everybody's hands every day. It's simply a matter of which way the fucking wind is Most blowing. of us don't know much about medical crap, but we do know a cold <laughs> is a good 7 to 10 days easy. Yeah. Or at least... Two. Almost, almost every single time, two, or at least two. <laughs> or at least two. Uh, back to you, Rocky Rock. Right, so there was that issue, and and the Jeremy Piven audio. Some brain had come in and said, "Hey, they're going to have Jeremy Piven coming up on Good Morning America. Can you watch it and you know see if we can use it?" Yeah, okay. because Mike and I have been on, talking hold... about it up to that point. Okay, but Mike came and approached me about this. <clears throat> so they go through commercials. It comes on. The, I'm watching the interview. I'm taking notes. You show up out of nowhere and go, hey, uh, we should get this audio as I'm standing by the television <laughs> watching and listening to it. And then I go, I- I'm doing that right now, Steve. And you looked at me and then just kind of rolled back into the <laughs> office. 
Then you came back out towards the end of the interview, stood in front of me, got real close to the television, and was watching in awe as he was talking about how he was sick. What's the problem with that? I was doing something! <laughs> what the fuck were you doing? Taking notes for the interview! <laughs> and me standing in front of you prevents that? Your ears shut off when I stand in front you of you? You took the remote, you stood over there, and was adjusting the volume while I was sitting I didn't at touch the desk. The remote. Steve, you did. No, I didn't. The volume went down on the television as you went the closer remote. to it. Seems and crazy. all I'm hearing is so the show just instead it. of the interview. Uh, yeah. He's brilliant. like, I didn't do that. It's I didn't a brilliant do that. strategy just to he deny would, everything. He was turning down the volume so he could win his argument with Jeremy Piven. <laughs> <laughs> Piven and I were engaged in a, in, in, in a heated debate, and I, and I had to get my point across. Okay, but you, you could have waited till I was done taking the notes Mr. and the Pittman interview was Mr. Pittman is a busy over. man, and I had to win the argument. Okay, but there was a show going on, and I needed to cut the but interview But he was off. on a tight schedule. It's on TV, Steve. It was a one-way no, conversation. You can't have a no, two-way conversation real. with a television. It was real. Everybody knows that. No, it was real. Even if you're sick. It was real. Okay. It was just or frustration, not. Steve. It was real. So do we play any of these uh, Jeremy Piven clips? <laughs> if you, he just sounds like I a white I think now we have to kind of play at least one or two. Really? Just so we know what the whole... To yeah. do is about. <laughs> yeah. What are the best ones? I don't know. Let's, uh, we'll start with this. Mercury point? Too much fish? Yeah. Sushi defense here? What yes. is it? Is it true? It, it is true, and I felt the same way. I, I had no reference for it whatsoever. The first week of rehearsal, I started feeling a certain kind of fatigue I had no reference for. Mm. I went to the doctor. He tested everything. He said, there's nothing wrong with you. We're going to get your heavy metals in. They came back. They were six times what the average person has. It's heavy metals. Yeah, he's got some, uh, he just... You know, was wanted out of Broadway. You think? Yes. Should have said he had a cold for a day. <laughs> <laughs> Would have gotten him out of one performance, though. Uh, mercury true. gets you out of uh, a lot. A lot of. I have fun. mercury poisoning. <laughs> you, should, you should buy a blackberry. <laughs> Why is that, Sam? <laughs> Because I really don't understand what you're getting at. What would that be, Sam? I don't know. I know people. I'm not going to mention any names. But <laughs> okay. There yeah. are people who use their BlackBerry to get out of like the responsibilities of their job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, how would know. they do that? That sounds crazy. Well, yeah. they could I scroll through understand. it. They could look for pretend emails and <laughs> stuff like that. Some people. I don't know. Pretend. <laughs> oh my dear sweet Jesus. Mm -hmm. Some people, I don't know. Right. Yeah. More Jeremy Piven. So it's just fatigue, other things? I mean, at one point, well, you were talking about not being able to remember the lines. What other things? So the, at the beginning, that's what it was. And it progressed to the point where that final Sunday, um, I had problems spatially. I was losing my balance and my memory. The lights were too bright. I couldn't get enough oxygen. I ended up kind of passing out uh, <clears throat> in, my, in my place when I got home. Was, I ended up in the hospital for three days. Hmm. Is this a real thing? Let's get Dr. Steve on the phone. Yeah. The mercury Does he thing. know anything I've about, about mercury, mercury poisoning? Thing. He's never been there. you got to be careful. How much sushi do you have to eat Oof. to get this mercury thing? <laughs> Don't worry, I heard it. Was it good? <laughs> no. I didn't know oh, he was talking good. about me and my trip to Bombtown. <laughs> <laughs> Bombtown. Wow. <laughs> Bombtown. <laughs> you guys want Steve to leave now? Because he's not going to leave unless you guys are done beating him up. I wasn't beating up Steve. Just saying. Are you rocking anything else, Dad? No, I was just pointing out the obvious. Well, how come <laughs> <you>? I feel <laughs> like you were a little mean to Steve? Yeah, why so mean to Steve? Just a yeah, frustrating Eric. morning. Mm -hmm. Stuff wasn't working. Uh -huh. People standing in the way of doing what you were supposed to be doing and then tell you you should be doing what you were supposed to be doing. Don't right. call Steve stuff. Oh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. All right. Steve, go mop up. Mop up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What is that about? Come on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You're among friends. You can talk. What are you doing? You're among you know friends. What are you if doing? If for I real. Was, if I was on the supplements, I'd say it, but I'm not. But, you know, so. this is fun little, like, let's make fun of Steve, but that is a real thing going on. I no sweat. one sweats like that. Your yeah. hair is wet. Yeah. Roland used to. That's true. Yeah, you Roland know what? Used Roland, Roland used did used to sweat. Yeah. yeah, but this is a new thing with him. Roland always sweated. Roland always looked like he was in a customs line with something shoved in his ass. <laughs> 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 what are you on? Nothing. Nothing. This is, if I had to guess, a byproduct of that surgery I have. I, it's just, my body just doesn't process. Ago. I know, but it doesn't go away. My it's stomach kicking. is still fine. I've never <laughs> seen you sweat like this, ever. Uh, I, I honestly, Even in the summer, my friend. 
even yeah. in the summer. Oof. I wish I could tell you. I wish I could tell you. But the honest, the God truth is, I'm not on any pills or supplements or anything, and I just all the time. Do you have a cold? Yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Maybe it's a fever. Might be a cold. Yes, I'm very feverish. Thank you, Sam. It's oh wait, it's again. gone. Yeah, <laughs> it's See? ready to drip yeah, again. I know, and it happens all the time, and I don't know why. You look, like, for, you look like Gary Glitter at his sentencing. <laughs> Did he do something wrong? <laughs> Not in my eyes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Speaking, by the way, of technological glitches. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Um, I want to thank uh, Steve and his girlfriend for both, for some reason, sending me messages they meant for each other. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no, they didn't. My last... Text to Steve. Oh, no. I sent him one oh, last no. night. I said, Angel, we should have Greg Gutfeld on, just as a reminder. Yeah. Jimmy always starts his messages with us, by the way, with a sweetie, Angel. Yeah, oh, yeah. Certainly love. Mm -hmm. I love it. And then Steve write, uh, wrote, okay, Puddin, I will give Joshua a call, who's the producer over at Red Eye. Yeah. So this morning I woke up, really nice. Morning, baby. Didn't sleep much at all. Miss you terribly. How was the snow? And then the next one, love you so much, Angel. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and then I really laughed because I got these all together. Who said love you so much, Angel? These are all from Steve. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. And the next one is, and of course, I send you the wrong text, <laughs> effing phone. <laughs> and I wrote back, Haha, no, you didn't. It <laughs> fell into the right hand. <laughs> And so, MJ, I don't know what it is with your phones, but MJ and I talk. She's helped me with my diet. Right. So, um,. Uh, the last thing I texted her, she was like saying she, she's going to help Bob Kelly work out, and she would help me. And I wrote, "Great, thanks, I'd love that." So we, I called her with a peanut butter question. Uh oh. And we, <laughs> yes. And she That's said, "You're going to get punched yes. in the face." <laughs> Ch Chunky Rottweiler, yes. <laughs> Oven mitts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 we, I was in the supermarket, and the call got dropped. So she. Uh, she wrote back, sorry, lost you. Tried calling back. As long as I'm near my phone, I'm always available to help you. And then this morning I get one. Good morning, my love. Snow wasn't as bad as expected. Could have come home last night. I'll be home tonight to rub your back and twirl your hair so you can sleep well. Love you too, baby. <laughs> That I didn't know. <laughs> and I wrote back, I am looking forward to that. <laughs> although my crew although my crew cut will make it difficult. <laughs> but I like the fact that she's gonna twirl his hair. That's the favorite yeah. part. Uh. She means his back hair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dear Lebanese idiots. <laughs> so uh. I don't oh know what's happening God. with these two, but I'm wow. in the middle. These stupid phones, and you know, and believe me, they, they, your text messages are, are, are sectioned off into columns. So the last person I text at night is usually her. Yeah. It just happened to be you last yes. time. So I picked up the phone and started typing my lovey dovey stuff, and ugh. Don't happen with the old iPhone. No, it happens. Yes, it that. most what? certainly does. I've done that before the iPhone because when that you. That got fixed with the upgrade. Oh. I haven't had it happen anymore. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So keep your mouth shut. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> that's that's really funny. Oh, uh, dude. It's, oh, that's oh, really good. What, what a couple of little sweetie pies. I know. Yeah. I miss you too, love. It was oh. snowing. You want to curl your back hair and braid it. <laughs> I oh. miss you, MJ. I want to I just rub your ankles. What? <laughs> What's wrong with these two? They're all nice. Bugs me. I was hoping for some. I wish I would have gotten some savage oh, something messages. Oh, horrid, right? All right. Dear Cuck, uh, <laughs> wash the special belt with the attachments. <laughs> You'll get yours later. Those get sent much later in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> A good one. I love the Steven props. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, we gotta take a break. Oh, uh, hold on, fantastic. hold on. My yeah. girl texted me back. Oh, Ooh. Let's see if she realized her error. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. She wrote it was an intentional one. My head. <laughs> 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 uh, it's funny. We got a pretty good dose. I guess it was the the most we've gotten this year so far. Still not much. People freak out. Uh, as a matter of fact, Steve. I want to talk about this before. Steve is the most passive-aggressive douche. <laughs> uh, because <laughs> I guess Steve wanted to make sure, like, everybody was going to be in. I just want to make sure the snow isn't hampering this, and we'll have a show, God damn it. Hey, Anthony, though, you got to, you got someone under, because I got a text through. Uh-huh, of so, course you did. Someone under the ranks of you, okay? So I'm under your ranks, right? So it's, <laughs> it's Anthony. 
You didn't get a text from Steve, right? No. Okay, so I'm under, and then someone under my ranks, yeah, which is somebody like Travis or uh-huh. Danny, they need to tell you what text I got. Because I tell you what text I got. They have to tell you what text they got. Yeah. And then and, and the higher up text is we'll who, see how like, it, who yeah. gets the better text and actually when they get and the And when text. they got the text, right. You know, in all fairness, wait, is this on? I have no, I don't have headphones. Yes, I can hear okay, you. Okay, thank you. Uh, in all fairness, everybody got sent emails last night to the same effect. You and yeah. uh, Jimmy and everybody got the same email. And then... Uh, I sent. I just saw it was you though, and deleted. I know. I figured as much. That's why I sent you the text, um, yeah. which was basically. You're Steve the spam Carlisi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're on my spam list. You directly. I didn't open my trash uh, folder, so I missed your email. <laughs> Every one of your emails makes this sound. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, they crumble and paper. Oh, hey, it's Steve. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, so it's really a multi pronged attack when I have to get to you and Jimmy. So, um, the uh, so yeah, the tone of my my email yesterday was it's going to snow. Everybody, make sure you get me you like account for an extra couple of minutes getting in. And if you're going to have a problem, please let me know. I guarantee that Travis didn't get a lovely message. No, that that was what Travis got. That was what Travis got. Just the email. Just the email. No text. No text. Who did you text? You and Patrice and. Joe. I, no, Dan, I got Danny, no text. No, I, I, I honestly, I didn't have Joe's info until this morning. Did Danny get a text? No, Danny got an email, just like everybody All else. Right. Well, here's what I got: this concerned email. Okay, yeah. Let me hear your concerned at, at uh, six thirty-seven p.m. yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> six thirty-seven p.m. Yeah. yesterday, you got a text. Patrice, you're going to be able to get in, okay, with a capital O and a K. Tomorrow, you're going to be able to get in, okay, tomorrow with all the snow? Question mark. I'm telling all my guys. Just so you don't think I'm a douche by just teasing you. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling all my guys. This is passive aggressive one on one. Oh, it is. I'm telling all my guys to leave their houses early. Love, Steve. Mm -hmm. So I I imagine Danny must have got, hey, hey, you piece of garbage. (laughs) Drunk piece of crap. (laughs) Get in here. Throw the bottle out of your bed. Get in here early, (laughs) Kunta. And I'm sure he got his his at 3 p.m. (laughs) If only that were accurate. And look no. out! Look at how, how Anthony's moved up the ladder, though, in terms of respect. The time, the time of mine. No, no, the time of mine is very key, also, because now I've been coming in at five thirty. I used to come in at five o'clock, and then I realized it's just silly sure. to come in here and sit in that office for an hour when I could just look at the same websites in a half hour. Why am I bothering? I'll get a half hour extra sleep. Um, so Steve knows this. But he's probably figuring it's snowing. I know Anthony leaves and it gets in at 5.30, but it's going to take him longer. I best see if he's, <laughs> if he's working on leaving early. <laughs> so knowing I usually leave at 5 o'clock in the morning to get in by 5.30, he texts me at 4.52, eight minutes before I usually leave. This is eight minutes before I usually even leave my house. And here is his text. How's your drive in, Ant? <laughs> that means That's I hope you're impressive. in your car already oh. because it's snowing. I know you leave at 5. It's eight minutes to 5, and I'm going to send you a text that says, how's your drive in, which means you best be driving in already. Oh. He knew he couldn't just say, have you left yet? Right, right. right. Couldn't say that. that is Steve's version of, did you leave yet? You better have because it's snowing. <laughs> That's passive-aggressive wow. crap. That's right. Um, and I just wrote back, just leaving now. We'll see. And I translate that in, and that's exactly how I translate it, as you effer. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's how I wanted I'm, to translate I'm it. I'm up. I'm Get up. My back. I'm picking up my keys. I'm leaving the house. D- don't worry about it. Dear I'll Anthony, I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and assume you left because you're a smart guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> oh, that's what I yeah. think the next one. I, I know you're on the road already. There's because no way. Only an idiot <laughs> would leave at the same time they usually do every day. Only a worthless, dumb piece of crap yeah. would still be sitting in this house. On a eight, snowy eight day. Two. Did I get an email? I didn't get a text. No, you got an email. Okay. Remember. You don't get a text. Because you, no, you, you, you get the Kenny you. call. Yeah. yeah. Hi, sweetie. Are you awake? And he, yeah. and he factored that in. That's a. He, he was up he, really yeah. early yesterday, factoring in everything. Oh yeah, yeah. 
making sure everything's uh, good. That's and I looked out my I, window, it's sunny. Yeah, but when, when I texted you, there wasn't a flake on, on the ground I yet. I said, man, it started snowing already. Nothing. No. <laughs> Birds, it was a cricket right on my... It was, <laughs> It was a cricket getting his, his yeah. bed ready. He, he wasn't even ready to start cricketing yet. It was 54 degrees. Yeah, kids were running through sprinklers. <laughs> he was just unbuttoning his jacket like, ah, some cricketing going to happen in a minute. It ain't quite cricket time, but... <laughs> uh, there's still pigeons out. I wish I could calm down, but there's, there's, there's like a hundred thoughts in my head swirling around at yes. 100 miles an I'm hour. I'm gay. Yeah. I'm gay. Among I'm those. gay. <laughs> Bears. Yeah, gay. Men. <laughs> kneeling. <laughs> holes in between the bathroom stalls. <laughs> I walk into that one like uh, backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Not only am I gay and incompetent, but I'm stupid. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Uh, yeah, so I, I when, when I saw that this morning, and then after I write him that uh, passive-aggressive crap right back to him, that I'm just leaving. I, and now I got my keys, my water, I got my mail uh, 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 to give to Kenny and stuff. I'm, I'm going out to the truck, and then, bring my phone rings again. And now I got to, like, pull the phone out of my pocket with all the stuff in my hand to see, okie dokie, be safe. Did you write okie dokie, be safe? Like, I don't I need did. the okay. I am a, such a, a I, I do not like the okay, fine, all right, then. Right, then. <laughs> I don't like any of those texts. I know. I don't need the follow-up, you got my text text. So is there any, let me ask you, is there mm. any reason, Steve, I ask Steve. Sure. Is there any reason why Anthony should get extra attention in terms of getting here on time? Um, only because I will, I, I think it's for my own edification, because I'll, I'll, I'll know that I get edification. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll know that I actually was responsible enough to send edifications what he does with the guy named Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> and I only wrote be safe because that's what they say in the community. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get be it. safe. <laughs> Uh, I do it for my own Is it the way Reed close to your home? Be safe. <laughs> grab, grab those condoms. Be very, very safe. That's, uh, it's, it's, it's a Steve ass covering maneuver. Yeah. Oh, which he doesn't thanks. do a lot. Not at all. <laughs> but, but I mean, I, I don't, I mean figuratively, not literally. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things where he's got to go, hey, look. Like, what kind I of, what, what, if Obi yeah. was supposed to be here today, what, what text would he have? Oh, very good. What text would Obi have gotten? Uh, None! That's no, right. because he gets the Kenny. He gets the Kenny. That's exactly why. He gets the Kenny uh, yeah. call and pick up. That's mm -hmm. why. True. Why don't you get the Kenny? I mean, Ken, I'm way out on Long Island. Kenny Kenny drives to Opie's. But he calls. Kenny calls you, yeah, right? Yeah, He calls me as a fail safe uh, at 5.30 every morning just to make sure I'm up. And I usually yeah. am. Yeah. Well, it, it the failed, first thing I hear. It failed today, didn't it? You got no. here late. I, was actually gonna, I actually left my house earlier today than I normally do. But... Um, it took me 15 minutes to get a cab on Broadway. There was nothing. I saw one cab actually going the opposite direction. I had to hop in. You had no cabs? No, no, I didn't even see one. Yeah, Except enough on the road. It was brutal. There was nothing. Yeah. Nothing out there. Uh, Steve. <laughs> it's it's Thomas Alva Edison. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the show's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> it's his little wax tube uh, recorder. <laughs> little cylinders. <laughs> did you uh, wake up Steve Blatter and tell yeah. him that? Yeah, uh, I sure did, and I've already been working on the other issue. Uh, What's the, the other point? issue? Nah, just your chair thing. Minor, but... I'm taking care of all that stuff. What uh, chair issue? That's that's no big deal. I know. I'm just, that's a request for a, a better chair. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. I know. But yeah, I've, I've already done it. I'm not going to blow everything out of proportion. Going I from know. this to the chair, uh, yeah, Steve, yeah. Steve, keep the chair out of it. Yeah, it's really. almost like, hi, we're in a firefight and running out of ammo, yeah. and uh, I need a new potato yes. peeler. Yes. <laughs> They're not I'm holding... getting the flag stickers for your helmets sent you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're not it's hold... like, it's yeah. like, I know. I know. We're, under, they... we're under mortar attack, <laughs> and uh, we need some air cover. And uh, by the way, uh, I need a sock. Well, we... <laughs> and, and just, to ex <laughs> just to explain, the, these couches in here are, are the worst couches ever to sit on. And this has nothing to do with Sirius. XM bought those right. for us, and they sucked. And we told them they sucked uh, from day one. But there's a really comfortable like lounge chair over there. So I said, Steve... Go get the lounge chair. Yeah. So that's not an issue. No, it's not. It's not. not it's an our issue. chair, and we're going to bring it over. Who cares? Were you in here yeah. last night doing your show? Priorities wrong. 
<laughs> no, Jim. So we, we have a, a bandwidth problem. No one can hear the show. Yes, I put in the thing for shinier keyboards. <laughs> They'll be here shortly. <laughs> what? <laughs> the cup holders you requested will be here in six weeks. <laughs> that I'm, I'm all right on it. So what did Blotter say? <laughs> Hasn't called me back Who? yet. What you? <laughs> you left a message. I'm gonna keep calling him, and I've sent emails because God forbid you don't put Is everything in writing. I hope so. So he didn't answer his phone. No. I sent him an email too. Okay. All right. Oh my God. I keep calling. Oh brother. This is just a more piled on. If you can't get him, People I want some Windex oh. for the studio Blue Heeler writes, uh, nobody uses my cubicle when I go home for the day. Yeah, right? Just imagine that. You got, your, sudden, yeah, you you got your space at work, and then the next day when you go to work, everything's different. There's other uh, people with babies' pictures up on right. your cubicle. Would that infuriate you or what? Your computer's different. Yeah. You had Windows, there's Mac in there now. <laughs> it's just... And the head of security has been contacted to inquire about the video feeds to find out who was in the studio. Ah, fabulous, Fester. Oh my God! Wow, it's just more chair. insanity. He comes in with a chair. Set. What is he just talking nuts. about? <laughs> and I'm working on the chair. I'm working on that other yes major problem. It's a chair that's I'll just sitting at our like, old joint. It was pretty much like if you have time, look to see if our old chairs it's that we used to sit in are laying around. If they are, see if in time they can be brought over. That's exactly what I said. The microphone problem is. Oh, my God, we immediately need this fixed. Yeah, the listeners never complain. We want the guys to have comfy chairs. <laughs> they don't care if we're sitting on four-foot dicks. <laughs> oh, I, I would. Certainly would, too. I hate a short little cock like that. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> yes. The multicolored styrofoam cups are on their way. They're being shipped from R Runconcoma. <laughs> but, Steve, the processing is off. What is processing? Yes, I'm in the process of getting new <laughs> yeah. cups. What did he say yesterday? He came in with some urgent oh, thing. Yeah, he, I forgot he needed already. to let you know that uh, uh, Colin Quinn was aware. Oh, yeah, he goes, <laughs> uh, Colin <laughs> Quinn's finishing up on Howard's show, and he's aware that he's doing your show. And I'm like, or our show, excuse me. And, he's, and I'm like... All right. Why uh, did you have to come in? Colin like it was has an, become aware. <laughs> <laughs> like it was an urgent message. What? What? Do you, and he has his Bluetooth and his pads and not, everything else he's carrying these days. <laughs> Colin Quinn's aware. Aware of what? Self-discovery, I think he means. He now has awareness. It's an existential discussion <laughs> happening. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? He's aware. No, I'm asking, where is he? <laughs> he's aware. Oh, I meant to say he's, he's a bear. Aware. It's like it's like the old question: if a man's in a closet and he yells, and no one hears it but mothballs, and the guy's cocky sucking, <laughs> is he really producing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why do we be? Why do we uh, continue to be nuts. treated like shit? I, I don't, don't know. get it. I go home and I try to figure it out. It's just a complete lack of any. Um, I don't even want to use the word respect because I, I don't give a shit about that part. Yeah, I don't of it. care it's much a, about that it's anymore. It's a different either. thing. It's a. It's kind of. Um, we just get stepped on over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. I guess it's you know. They want it to be more like real work and stuff. They want it to be like, you know, I'll a try job where you come in and you're like, this is your job. Because it was much too much fun to come in and, and entertain people and have a good time. So they got to just cheese it up with some fucking bullshit. I'm not going to spread the, the wildfire, trust me. But when, when this was all going down with the merger and we're coming over here, we were promised a bunch of stuff. None yeah. of those have come true. No, I know. It's and just... I'll just say that much for now. Yeah, it just, I it just want happen. them to know that I'm aware that You're what, aware. what was said to us. Yes, is, Opie's aware. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I just want the person that, that told us all this stuff that uh, should be done with us. None of it is happening. My eye none of is it. twitching. None of it. The corner of my right eye is, is actually clicking and twitching now. I have information on who was here last night. No, the Visine you needed. I'm getting it for your Twitch. <laughs> Boo. Boo. <laughs> that, was, that was the worst two pieces of information ever. Uh, boo. Uh, I, I just laugh because Steve is now wandering down the hall with, like, I think, scrolling. I, I think he's talking to himself for real. Just hold your pull thought because I think he might have an update. 
He just had a fake phone up to his head, and I think he was talking to himself. <laughs> He's actually trying to do like looking for security cam footage and edit out him walking into the were bedroom with talking, a drill. Were you just talking to yourself? I don't know. Was I? <laughs> I'm, I'm not aware. <laughs> you have an update? Uh, yeah. Nobody was authorized to use the studio. Um, um, that's wonderful. Mm-hmm. The only people that are authorized to use the studio are the Opie and Anthony Show and Ron and Fez. Mm-hmm. The Blue Collar Comedy Channel, NASCAR, or the NFL Channel were not in this studio. And even though they were on the grid, were taken out and were not permitted to use the studio. Well, that somebody the turned so why is Anthony's a processing mic different? knob to make it sound like a tin can. Doesn't mean that people weren't in the studio, and that's why I am asking the head of security to find out who was here. Yeah. Who's coming in? All right. and so those guys were booked but didn't actually do the show. Correct. Show. Okay. Maybe a bitch, and then then he went all yeah. right. Moved. Oh, okay. All right. Well, maybe uh, mm-hmm. maybe that's a good thing. Maybe. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, by the way, we we had another update from Sam. Oh, a wow. Steve update from Sam, but I guess Sam gave up because we've been bitching. Oh damn. Because the Steve thing is hilarious. What day? Uh, but this was, I guess, after the first time and before the second <laughs> time he came in the studio. Yeah. Uh, he went to Sam and just goes, what, what, what are they talking about, water? Hey, <laughs> That's when Ant was talking about his pool problems. Oh, oh God. <laughs> yes, I, I'm on it with Steve Bladder about the pool. <laughs> is he losing his mind? I swear to God, I saw you, him walking down the hall. You talk like about was, it like it, it's... Like still it, happening. <laughs> it's still, he was walking it's down the long gone. hall, and it looked like he was talking to someone. Like, oh, okay, he might, it must be on the phone with Bladder. And then I look closer, and I'm like, oh my god, he's taking an imaginary phone call. His hand was up to his ear, but there was nothing in his no hand. phone. No, and he was talking. Yeah, he's. Um, I think he's lost his mind. For real? Yeah, I, I think maybe. I think maybe lost his mind. Holy macaroni! All right, we're going to uh, break. Anyway, Eddie Money. <laughs> Eddie. Uh, we we noticed that he was quite the jokester. Yeah. So Derek and Steve put this together. Eddie Money taught a generation how to rock. And how to love. Now, Long Island's own money man is trying to make you laugh. I like coming back to New York. I like coming back to New York. But I like playing in L.A. because I get to sleep in my own house, you know. I'm actually from Plain Edge, Levittown. Levittown, never down, baby. You suck! It's Eddie Money's one-night stand-up. My probation officer came to the show the other night. I said, you know, I'm looking for some clean urine. My blood type is beef. Can anybody help me out here? <laughs> Come on, you get it. That's right. These are the jokes that Henny Youngman used to wipe his ass with. And that motherfucker's been dead for over a decade. I worked on the cover of the police department, very dangerous, but uh, he was a great guy. He was an undercover typist. <laughs> Eddie Money's invested 30 years in the music business and has dozens of hit songs. Now he's going to torpedo that legacy with a CD full of stale dog shit one-liners. I tell you, my wife doesn't do any drugs at all, but when I first met her, I got a load of weed. I thought I was going to get a great piece of ass. <laughs> <laughs> You'll want to take your cell phone tonight, rip open a vein, and bleed out listening to Eddie Money's crusty old jokes. The Alice is my new drug. <laughs> You've never waited so long for someone to shut the fuck up. I got two tickets to your funeral! <laughs> it's Eddie Money's one night stand up. Not available in stores. Thank God. That's mean spirit. Yeah, Steve, I would have, uh, I like a lot of the work Steve does, but that, in that case, I, I would have liked it without profanity, and I would have liked it promoting the jokes like they were good. Yeah, yeah, promoting yeah. Promoting it like it was a great comedy CD about to be released. Yeah, yeah, that he's going into comedy. I, I agree with Jimmy on this one. You play it, you play laughs behind it. Like he's killing with yeah. the, with those jokes. Like he's terrific. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're just horrid. You want the re- them to redo it or what? Yeah. What, like Eddie was so good on the show, and it's 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 just nasty towards yeah. him. It really is very nasty towards him. Did you wake Steve up? And, and you know, <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Some of those jokes actually worked on the show. Yeah. And it's like, as you know, as bad as they might be. If you what see the hell's it. wrong with Steve? What's Steve's problem with fucking Eddie <laughs> yes. Money? And this fucking asshole. <laughs> yes. right. and he, like, why, why, why is Henny Elman a motherfucker who's been dead for 10 years? <laughs> yeah. Why'd you put well, motherfucker yeah, in there? Yeah, what did Henny do to you? What did he do to your family? What happened? Does he owe, owe your grandpa some money or something? Yeah, where's the anger? <laughs> What did he call Henny Youngman? A motherfucker. Why'd you call Henny Youngman a motherfucker, Steve? 
You know what? I was wrestling with that line. I was toiling over what to what to. You lost the match. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, the uh, you know I was writing it. I'm like, well, the only one liner guy I could I could think of to reference was Henny Youngman. And then the question was, well, do you do you just say that guy or do you say that asshole or, or, he's, that? or just he? He's been read. But I, I would change. I would like to see you do this with a, a really a sweet tone, like like this is the great comedy CD and some laughs behind it, and promote it like it's a damn good CD of some damn fresh jokes. All right. Any tongue in cheek <laughs> in there at all, or no? No tongue in cheek. I don't think. I think the tongue in cheek is the actual material <laughs> yeah. that he says. Okay. Like, all right. I, Redo. I think. I think the tongue in cheek would be the fact that the jokes are bad, and if there's a laugh track behind jokes that are not good. Thank you. <laughs> and less, okay. cur less cursing. Yes, and the, uh, right. thank you, you very you, much. You yeah. angry man, you. The star of our gang just brought me coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Jim, check your email. Hey, Spank. I emailed that to you last night asking too much, you know, asking specifically, was this too much? Oh, I was oh. busy coming. Oh. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> but first, we got, we got some uh, breaking news. Backstage with ONA. Oh. And now, backstage with ONA, here is Primetime Sam Roberts. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts, and Steve C., the developmentally disabled executive producer of The Opie and Anthony Show, showed up to work wearing effeminate capri shorts. We went to Steve to get the scoop. <laughs> Steve, what are you wearing? Shorts, Sam. No, those are capri shorts. Are they really? I thought they were just shorts. No, they go too far past the knees and they're tight. They're effeminate capri shorts. Oh, and they're fringed at the bottom? They're fancy. Do you ever, like, look at yourself in the mirror and think, how can I make the guys make fun of me today? <laughs> um, no. I actually look in the mirror and go, I have no idea if this has any fashion relevancy whatsoever. Then I turn around and I look at my... Oh, my I have to stop this. We never stopped the backstage with ONA bit. We let it play through. Yeah. Steve is always thinking fashion and failing miserably every time. Oh, hell yeah. He doesn't fucking put on capri pants thinking they're just shorts. Is he wearing them today? Yes. Call him in here immediately. I have to see his legs. All right, here he comes. Oh, my God. Hold on. We'll get... L let me get the rest of his backstage with He's ONA. He's wearing Marianne's pants from uh, <laughs> Gilligan's Island. <laughs> That's exactly what they are. He has the skipper's body. <laughs> Before we get him in, let's get the rest of his backstage. But he's he's lying through his teeth. Wouldn't see whatsoever. Then I turn around and I look at my fifteen fiance and I go, "Who fucking cares what they think?" I'm right. I could just wear her clothes. <laughs> no, not quite. She actually bought them for me. So she says they're trendy. I have to believe her. Yes, they're a huge trend in the gay culture right now. Are you making that up? No. Fair enough. As Steve C's mask of heterosexuality slowly slipped away, we went to ONA staff members E Rock, Mars, Travis, and Danny to get their take on Steve's pants. Ew. I just saw these. You just saw why? These awful shorts. They're great shorts. Do you think those are jeans that a straight masculine man would wear? Uh, I don't think most gay people would wear those either. Hey, Mars, did you see what Steve was wearing today? Uh, I, w I noticed, yes. What did you think? Well, at first, I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. I thought it was uh, long shorts until he sat up, and I saw these fuzzy knickers. <laughs> <laughs> knickers. Yeah, I think they call them knickers. <laughs> Travis, did you see Steve's pants today? I tried, Yes, I did see them. What did you think? I thought they were quite gay. <laughs> Danny, did you see what Steve was wearing today? Yeah. Do you think Steve purposely wears things that people think are gay? Just leave the guy alone, man. They're they're sexy. They're fashionable. They're coming back this year. I think they look good. That's weird. I suppose everyone's entitled to their opinions, but if Steve's pants aren't gay, they're certainly heavily bi curious. It seems the only thing Steve does worse than producing a radio show is convincing people he's attracted to women. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts, and this has been Backstage with O and A. Wow. Oh damn. Steve's right outside the door. Damn. Steve. Here comes Steve. Now, I didn't notice these yeah. before. Okay. Steve. Yeah. Steve. You, you were lying. What? You, you're you always thinking about no, fashion. I'm always thinking about vanity. I'm a, like, I don't know if vanity and you fashion. You put those on thinking they were long shorts, and you have Absolutely. no clue what a capri pants is? I don't know what capri pants Come are. On, I really don't. I'm just fixing Come the back Thank you, sweetie. Everyone knows what a capri pants is. I really, I, I know what long shorts are, and I've got a handful of pairs. So you think those are long shorts? Yeah. They're not? No, no, not right. even close. I'll no. fully admit I'm a vain, egocentric prick, but... Let me tell you what I, long shorts are. Uh -huh. Long shorts are shorts that are long, yet the They're leg baggy. doesn't taper. They're very right. baggy and right. long. Okay. Like uh, over the weekend, 
I was wearing long shorts. But so okay, so technically, shorts, if these were long shorts, they should end at the knee. No, no they should no. be big. They are big around. Thinner. They are so much thinner at the end of them than they are at like mid thigh. Okay, okay. they should just go down. If they go down all one side, those. If you watch Gilligan's Island, yeah, Marianne <laughs> is wearing those exact same <laughs> pants. This is not helping. No. <laughs> These are designer, like, long shorts. Steve, I don't, no. think, I don't think there's a guy out there that can pull off the Capri pants. No. Honestly, they are horrendous. They couldn't be gayer if they came with cum splattered on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, did. you don't like them? Would you wear those? No, I wouldn't. Steve, uh, Steve's pants look like something that Sasha Baron Cohen would wear as Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what he would wear. And that's trendy. Right and yeah. very gay. I think Evan's yeah. got the uh, the long shorts on today, which the, the, you know does he? Okay, so they like have to go Abercrombie and Fitch, kind of baggy. They stay big. Yeah, let's say well, okay, so they go just, just below, below the knee. knee. Yes, those are like those are considered like big. sort of long shorts. They got like cargo pockets on them. They don't get all tight around the knee area. Exactly, those are guy pants. Yours are very tight everywhere, like very tight. <laughs> and, and, and and even around the bottom where they're capri'd. Hoffman from Virginia. <laughs> you couldn't find capri. You couldn't find those pants in the men's section, could you? No, I couldn't. But I did find them in the women's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there, there so they are. <laughs> and it's the brand that he's wearing too. So holy women, shit, women See, wear wearing capri girls pants. pants. Then why would they make them in this size though? A lot Fat of girls. women. Why are you sweating so <laughs> profusely? Well, I sweat all the time. Uh, <laughs> You're sweating like crazy. <laughs> I always sweat, though. No. Women are wearing capri pants like crazy right now. Guys, not so much. No. A lot of gay guys are. For real? Yeah, there's a big thing in that with very, but it's a very gay look. Like, it's a very effeminate, like, I work in the fashion industry. I'm the gayest like guy a, you've a ever bottom. seen. It's a bottom look. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Very gay. All right, I'm on the men's. Shorts, all right, and there's nothing that looks like those. The pants. closest right there, thing right is right there, but it that those comes up to, comes up to the, guy's the knees. knees. All right, so yeah. it's about it's about but, two inches below the knee. But in all fairness, no, it's to, not. But in no, all fairness to Steve, they're not the they're knee. not making capri pants that big for women. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're really not. <laughs> they would be fucking huge. Wow. So I don't know if this is funny. I, I have a feeling it might be. It says, uh, and if you are wearing those hold jeans, on, hold on, you're hold wearing two hundred and sixteen dollars shorts. Wow! Jay, uh, my my chick bought them for me. So, oh. Jay from Huntington. Does anyone else picture Steve getting dressed to goodbye horses? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? It's from uh, Silence of uh, the, the Lambs. Oh, oh, oh I'm okay. crying over <laughs> right. you. Oh, right, right. Okay, I, I knew there was a reason why that would be funny. You like these capris? Would you fuck me? <laughs> I Neither I would I. Capris. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck me hard. Steve's shorts are made by Victoria's Secret FFS. The True Religion? Yeah. True Religions. Not many guys can pull off the True reli Religion no, thing. No. Voss wears True Religion yeah, jeans. Exactly. Bobby Kelly wears them too, doesn't he? Yeah, you, the what beacon of masculinity, Bobby Kelly. E Rock's got something. And Voss who has a, a weight problem. <laughs> Fucking purse. <laughs> and Bobby's sexy point look. E Rock's going to the mic. I thought Steve might want to just complete the outfit. <laughs> what is oh, that? A Lane oh, Bryant nice. shirt? Yeah. <laughs> nice uh, animal pattern Lane Bryant shirt from his glory days. I think Steve would, her. would you wear that? I, I I have worn it. Give me the thing. How are you going to put it on? Put Good. Glitter on it. That's right. Prove him wrong, yeah. Steve. Put on this shirt. Oh, please. I'm already. Now tuck your penis between your legs. <laughs> I'm already in the hole. Look at the pockets. They're like little sweet buttons. Mm -hmm. oh, he's got a little, uh, Steve, you don't have to wear everything your girl buys you. Sometimes you got to say, I can't my girl, wear this. Yeah, my girl buys yeah. me stuff. I'm like, what are you, insane? I can't fucking wear yes. this. My you girl brought me rubbers. I won't wear them. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to say, you know, nice thought, but I'm, uh, you know, I'm returning this. Women don't buy things. It's an old hack <laughs> point, but oh boy. <laughs> wow, this is <laughs> That's this a 3X, by the way. That's that a 3X. So, okay. <laughs> fucking hot. Kind of um, everyone. Get your cameras. Everyone oh, noticed your cover. By the way, my girl bought them. <laughs> <laughs> <She did. laughs> 
But that doesn't it's, mean you go I, on and, you know, and wear it to work the next day. The hole in his story is that he's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know what they are, I don't know what they are. But he knew that they were designer jeans and yeah. that they were supposed to be. Oh, I know be now because remember. Sam's been doing this for about a half an hour. So Correct, I and my, by the way, the hole in his story is in the back of these pants. <laughs> <laughs> Danny is exactly right because the second I started making fun of him, he said, "Sam, these are designer jeans. These are trendy jeans. These jeans are worth more than your life." <laughs> That's why I stopped the backstage with Owen because he made it sound like I don't know. I, I, I don't pay attention to fashion. No, he knew. He, he knew, knew very well. He's very proud of his fashion let, sense. Let me say hi to Dan in Philly. Hello, Dan. Hello, Dan. Good morning, boys. Hey. hey uh, check the flap over the zipper. I believe, if my information is correct, that the flap is reversed for women's pants as opposed to men's pants. Um. No, no, no. The, like, look at the front. What do you mean, like? No, you're. It's flapped over the same yeah. way. No, this guy's. Neat. Oh my God, they're tight around your crotch. They are yeah, really Jesus. tight around your crotch, huh? I'm oh, back. Oh, I'm, wow. I'm fully back at the gym after after a two month absence and fucking eating like horribly. Mm. Don't they call them clam diggers or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> are they? I don't know. Clam diggers. You got yeah, two, we you got had two the... clams in the sand, getting <laughs> ready for the picking. And, Steve, and... if those are men's jeans, can you please find them on the website? <laughs> <laughs> I just look for him. Come on, find him. Uh, let's say hi to Bob in New York. Bob? Yeah, how you doing? I was Dude, to know you know what? If the guy wants to dress like that, you know what? Dude, it's really easy to dress however you but want to dress. But girl pants? <laughs> uh, yes, Bob. How you doing? It was a men's pants. What size are they? What size? They're waist size 42 right now. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, sure, I have 12 yeah, but is there a number on the yeah, back? Yeah, is there just like, a number? Like 20. <laughs> <laughs> like those chick sizes. I don't even know what they mean. I wear a, an 8. I think they're men's capri pants, but... I don't know. Still, wearing. guys aren't wearing capri pants. Yeah. There's a huge... This is a pretty hip place, this Sirius XM. Is anyone walking around with capris? No, I'm telling Sam. you, like, capris are a look that is... 100% effeminate. Like, guys who wear capris are trying to pull off a very effeminate gay look. It's not a cool thing for guys to wear capris and try to come off as masculine. Yeah, they, it, it's really not. Mm -hmm. It's, uh... Mm -hmm. But look at my calves. Yeah, you have big calves, but they're, they're not long shorts. They're, they're capris. What the hell is that, E-Rock? <laughs> yeah, E-Rock is obsessed with Steve's breakfast. Yeah. Oh, no. it every day. With everybody else's, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. With the whole concept of this. We get another Nikki sighting, little Nikki. Uh, I must... What is hey, it? Wait a minute. He's coming back. Why yeah. is Nikki coming is back? Like <laughs> yeah. Nick. He made the face. He offered really chicken just... and cheese? <laughs> no. It's, what uh, are you eating for breakfast, Steve? Uh, leftover buffalo wings. Oh, thank God you're not eating like shit anymore. Oh, yeah. Steve, what are you doing? <laughs> you had oh, surgery, man. Steve. Why don't you go have some egg whites? What are you doing? Oh, I had egg whites. Hold on, but Sam just brought up a great yeah. point. Didn't you just a mere 10 minutes ago say that you stopped eating like shit and you hit the gym again? Uh, I did hit the gym. After and... eating like shit for two months? <laughs> I did, I never said, quote? You I, just said it. I did start eating the gym, and I, and, I, and I have been eating like shit, and I continue to eat like shit. Why are you like shit? You know what, dude? You uh, uh, truth, you. I'm an addict, and I don't drink. I don't, oh, do, I don't do drugs. Yeah. I don't smoke. Uh, Why can't but, you be a salad addict? Yeah, I don't know. I because salad sucks at least right now. You're right though. Salad I'm done sucks. With salads too. I fucking hate them. I eat because I'm unhappy. I fucking punch salad. And salads I'm unhappy because I eat. <laughs> Give me a salad so I can punch it. <laughs> I fucking hate salads. He, Steve's right. I'm with him on that. He's soaking wet. <laughs> Why I you, sweat. What the fuck are you on? That you're sweating so much. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely Monster. nothing. We all have hoods. Oh yeah. Well yeah. I, I did have two monsters already. What? I have a. I did two monsters already. Two I have a communique what? from Steve's girl. Ooh. Oh. Okay. The lovely. True. Religion brand jeans dot com. Mm -hmm. Try under men's shorts. I did. That's what we've been trying to <laughs> look at. That exact thing. We're on the website. I, I believe they're men's shorts, but the problem is I don't really see guys wearing the I capris, that's these all. Ones. But if you want to wear the capris, then, yeah, what, what, who am I? Steve, if these are the ones that you're wearing... I dress like shit every Then my legs are too short. You don't pull it off. Uh, right. You don't pull it off. <laughs> you should just be shorter and wear them as long pants. <laughs> <laughs> My they, probably, they probably made him that big as a goof and, and, and put him in the store. Let's see if anyone buys these. The back's different. Yeah, it's, it's, not, not, it's not the same. It's not as big. It's not the cut. <laughs> Fringe is not in, by the way. Fringe is so far from being in right now. Fringe is so 1974. But those have fringes on them. The ones he's looking at right Yeah, those are not. Fringe is not in. You got the fringes, too, on them? Yeah. 
The one yeah. that looks like you took a cheese grater to the to Gene the size.com, the check size. That's what Jeff's saying. Uh, J E E N size.com. Right, Jeff? I like hillbilly uh, jeans you're wearing. Like the hillbillies would wear those barefoot. Sam, drag oh, me yeah. there and they eat possum. Uh, you look like the Hulk in regular pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <we're not. laughs> the Hulk is cool, though. Yes. Are we friends with yeah. Al Q yet? Where are we at with them? Actually, I think Mars made some headway with the host <laughs> because. Ah, you're so <laughs> <headway>. <laughs> okay, but I think, what's next? I, I, th <laughs> I think we have somewhat of a working relationship with them. Can we now. drag Steve over there and, and, and get their opinion? Can we bring one of them in here so they're on our show? So can, we, can we tell we have an opinion ask, on men's pants? That's Larry. He's pretty cool. Oh, you know, you know Larry. Larry. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I met these guys a few oh, weeks ago. Larry. Go shopping? Oh, where? Oh, hey. Go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Can we bring one of those yeah, out? Yeah, we'll um, they might oh. be doing their own show. Oh, my yeah. God. That's, there it is, the Hulk pants. Yeah, that's what Steve looks like. <laughs> He's the Hulk pants. <laughs> The Hulk's too big. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry or when I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, wait, let's say hi to Footer. Footer! Yes, gentlemen, listen to me. You're getting it all wrong. I'm a European traveler. I do European <laughs> traveling on the side. <laughs> Later, boys. Watch it <laughs> I guess they're popular in Europe, Steve. Do you know that? I had no idea let's about that. Let's go to that. Mark. Mark, how are you, buddy? Hey, yesterday I was in Russell, Illinois. I'm a truck driver. Yeah. And I seen this truck driver. He had to weigh 400 pounds. He had 50 style black glasses on. He was maybe 40. And he was wearing khaki capris with flip flops. Hmm. All right. Who's, who's wearing that? Ashton? Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah, but, but Steve's not in Hollywood. But he's Ashton Kutcher. Right. Yeah. Ashton. I would imagine Hollywood guys are wearing them. He Gay like guys, according to Sam. Uh, European guys, according to that other dude. And that's yeah. it. And maybe a couple band guys. Yes, good. The Capris are good. Uh, when you fuck the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn Ace. Salad sucks and so do I. Uh -oh. <laughs> Salad sucks and so do I. <laughs> They're killing you, Steve. I know. Let's go to Stryker. It's my turn. Stryker. Stryker. Good evening. <laughs> Hello. You know, the part that makes us even gayer is that Sam knows way too much about gay clothing style yeah. and the gay lifestyle for somebody who claims to be so straight. Sam, comment. Sam, strikers all over your shit saying you, you know way too much about the gay uh, lifestyle. Define yourself. Well, part of my job is to keep in touch with the cultures that Opie and Anthony might not keep in touch with. That way, this is a well-informed radio show. So the only thing I'm guilty of is doing my job well. Yeah, but you, you've also kissed a bunch of guys. Yeah, but that was also for the oh, show. Oh, God. <laughs> That's the greatest gay no, Dan, Is that the greatest gay shots. picture ever? Come on. There's a fat-ass guy wearing Daisy Dukes up his ass crack. <laughs> Half the bottom of his ass is hanging out. Chad said this is what's next for Steve. <laughs> I said, what? What? <laughs> it's totally normal. I would never wear that. It's so 2002. <laughs> 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 that is a great one. That is, I gotta tweet that shit. Move that screen over here. <laughs> wow. And he's up. a big bear. He's got yeah, like the big lot. beard. Uh, yeah, the one on his face, not one on his arm. I think Pride is at the end of the month. That 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 would be a place where we'd see some Capri uh, some Capri shorts on gentlemen. Oh, the Gay Pride. Uh... Yes. Mm. Which you'll be going to? Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, from interviews? <laughs> I'll probably yeah. wear normal man pants, though. No, I just want to make sure you're going. I got some good audio out of the whole thing. Man. Yes. <laughs> we got Bruce in uh, Pennsylvania wants to defend Steve. Bruce? Hey, guys. I want to defend Steve because, you know, I spent like nine months in Egypt last year. And the Italian sailors that we were stationed with, they wore capris all the time. Uh, they also carried men purse and kissed each other on the fucking lips. <laughs> <laughs> Steve is dressed like an Italian sailor. Yes, he is. <laughs> Ooh, sailor. Oh. All right. Uh, let's say hi to Clutch in Baltimore. Clutch. Hey, I want to know if he looks like little Abner from the cartoon. Oh, uh, yeah. L little Abner. No, it was like a uh, no. comic strip from. Oh, he behaves like little Abner Louis. Punch it out, boy. All right. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> so drag him over to Al Q. I will. Once they're on break, we'll get. Uh, There's right. someone in here, or we can get, get one of the guys here? in here. Yeah, they're. I mean, they're doing their show now, but just come in there and yell yeah. at them <laughs> when they're done. Yeah, once they're done, knock on their door while they're live with well, Steve. 
Because the there's last, some shit yeah. going on at this they place. Don't, they they, they don't like Sam a whole lot. They so. started hating me why, because, why? because Be- I blocked them from going to their live show to ask them who they were. Yeah, they, they don't like Sam a whole lot. Oh. Ever since that yeah, day? They yeah. really don't. They really don't. Twice. They don't like being interrupted. They're doing what? Their show. Their show. Why don't we wait till they're on break? Coitus. Well, it's someone who they like more. Mars. They, they love Mars. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Let's get Mars sure in here. Mars. That's because that's where men are from. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting word. <laughs> I'm getting word from Travis uh, that we heard from Liam, who's the guest booker here, and he's saying that Al Q has already mentioned Steve's Capris on their shows today. No way. <laughs> Whoa. Have they really? For real? That's what I'm hearing. Steve is the gayest. Wow, Steve. They said that it is not hot. Oh, well, I told you they're hot not in fashion. Uh, Mars, get oh, in no. here. Mars. Mars. Mars, you're making friends with the OutQ guys. Yes, Mr. Larry Ooh. Flick. Larry is Flick's all right? He's a friend of mine. Flick. Flick. Right. Yeah. How's he a friend I'm sure of they didn't rhyme that in a school. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, shit. Flick likes dick. <laughs> so, uh, Larry Flick is on the uh, show? Yes, he is. How do you know Larry? Uh, he came through the shop, and uh, someone introduced oh, no. me to him. Uh, what shop? Oh. The engineering shop. There's an oh. engineering shop around this I thought story. it was a gay club. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the shop. shop. <laughs> Going down to the shop. Bunch of men with no shirts yeah. and shorts and wrenches. Oh, the shop. <laughs> so, what, can we get one of those guys in here on the break just to, to talk about Steve's pants? We could try, but the last time I spoke to him, he, they were annoyed with us a little bit. Why? Because we had some thugs in the corridor stopping him from going to his show. That we're thug, trying to get to thug know people that day. Sam. Sam, he Sam weighs 110 pounds. Sam's How much you weigh, Sam, for real? I weigh 135 pounds. He's a Fuck twink. You. No, you don't. All right, 130 pounds. <laughs> You're a twink. He did use that uh, word, twink? thug. Oh. What did you <laughs> Why don't we start with this? Uh, Sam uh, took uh, Steve and his Capri pants into OutQ, the gay <laughs> channel here at Sirius XM. The guys don't really like us. Well, they changed their opinions a little. A little bit? Oh, yeah. Good day. All right. And uh, how did it go? It went well. They uh, were also not approving of Steve's wardrobe choice. Really? Yeah. They thought he looked like a giant asshole. Really? Not in those words. But, oh, but yeah. not in a good way? <laughs> <laughs> We got some highlights. Steve going on OutQ with his Capri pants. And the question that, that began our last hour was, <laughs> if you're a big old butch straight guy, why are you wearing Laura Petri pants? Okay. Why is it suddenly 1962 when you were on the Dick Van Dyke show? <laughs> okay. Up what's up with that? What's, what's your damage, Heather? <laughs> so, he's here. Uh, Say hello. Wait, what the fuck's going on? They just call Steve a heifer. A heifer? Shit, is funny. So, they were talking about Steve... Yeah, they Way did before a, we went. They did a break early this morning, apparently, because they saw Steve walking around near their studio in his awful capri pants, and so they were trying to figure out why somebody like Steve would dress in those pants. And I all guess right. that was their break earlier today. Oh, all right, okay. all right. Now we'll play this audio. And the question that that began our last hour was: If you're a big old butch straight guy, why are you wearing Laura Petri pants? Okay. Why is it suddenly 1962 when you were on the Dick Van Dyke show? What's up okay. With that? What's up with that? What's what's your damage, Heather? <laughs> so, he's here. Uh, Say hello. <laughs> Introduce yourself to the kids at home. <laughs> Fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hi, you guys. walked in. Yeah. You walked in. You walked in. Wearing see. capris. Wearing, Don't be mad. Wearing uh, why capris. Are you okay. I'm hi, wearing yes. Wranglers, and, okay. I'm the, and I'm the gay guy in this, the room. But go is, ahead. For the record, this will be the last day. Hi, I'm Steve. Uh, hi, Steve. I'm the <laughs> executive producer of the Opie and Anthony Show. So that's how the executive producer of the Opie and Anthony Show makes his presence felt for the very first time on OutQ. How he was introduced. Yes. And the gay guy's wearing Wranglers. <laughs> yes. Great. Great, Steve. <laughs> Anyone notice that the gay guy sounds like a Muppet? <laughs> <laughs> Steve, ex- Kermit. Steve explains his pants. When, when so we go to get coffee. We're oh, minor- so when Steve said fucking assholes, yeah. was he commenting on what they were doing when he walked in? <laughs> or just- yes, he meant that as a fucking verb, yeah. not an adjective. <laughs> so we go to get coffee. We're minding our own B.I. business, trying to get back in the room before Christine W. stops singing her song. <laughs> like good old Queen should. Exactly. And there he is in... And they're homemade. Okay. Capri pants. <laughs> you know why they're homemade? Holy shit! Did he make these pants and that's why we can't no. find them on the fucking website? No, he's claiming that they were purchased. He's adamant Wait about the Wait a minute. He had his they chick... Would, uh, they would hold know on a minute. 
These guys are saying they're homemade. Danny's been looking at the True uh, True Religion website all morning. We can't find the fucking pants Steve's wearing. The yeah. website has a similar pair, but it is definitely not the pair nope. he's wearing. It is Different. not the pair he's wearing. Yeah. His fiance called their show and did say that she bought them. So, for what it's worth. Right. So we go to get coffee. We're minding our own B.I. business, trying to get back in the room before Christine W. stops singing her song. <laughs> Like good old Queen should. Exactly. And there he is in, and they're homemade. Okay. Capri pants. <laughs> you know why they're homemade? Because honestly, we're not supposed to have Capri because pants. Because honestly, boys our size, they don't make them for us. They don't make them for but us. But I got these. I These are these are true religion, like, guy shorts. Or are they Lane Bryant? Did you buy them at, like, a <laughs> fat woman's store? <laughs> Uh, no, really. <laughs> no, I think Let's they were, break it down. I think they were actually, to be completely honest, my uh, my fiance bought them online. Your fiance? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> so, yeah. I, mean, I wouldn't have bet me. Oh, damn. <laughs> looks like looks yeah. like some radar went up in yeah, that studio. studio. Yeah, him. <laughs> fiance. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, all right. Holy <laughs> sure shit. thing. He's getting his ass kicked. He thought he was just going to go in there and like the gay right. guys were going to yeah, talk yeah. about his fashion. Oh my god! I smashed to bits. Bought them online. Your fiance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> so, I yeah. mean, I wouldn't have bet Keith to how how long he would mention his female partner. That's all right. <laughs> but clearly, clearly she has her own plan right now because she's letting you walk around like that. But well, that's another story. Because honestly, <laughs> ain't nobody gonna. Do okay. It <laughs> Don't worry about the chick sitting on your nose, Capri's baby. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Maybe they're girls' Capri pants. So that's but what we're thinking. That would too. have to be a big girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're big girls. They I, make plus size now. Red saying we can't find these uh, yeah. Capri pants. I'm telling you, Danny's still looking. We I'm can't not, find them. I'm, I'm looking on eBay, thinking, well, maybe they've been we discontinued. We can't find them. <laughs> maybe they were on sale. But the the, the guys from Alcu were saying that they're homemade. I think they maybe saw they're the true fringe. religion fucking jeans, and and then they were cut up to look like capris. I hope not. But if they were last seasons, they're probably not going to be online. Mm. All right. She brings up a point. I love shopping. <laughs> they continued just killing Steve. Yeah. So at what point, my, I guess the question is, at what point do these become short? Ever? Or if I took a scissor Above and, the knee. Above, above the, the knee. Above the knee. So if literally I took a scissor and cut these things above they the knee. They would become shorts. And then, be you would be, and then you would be the guy wearing shorts at work with Same them. With very, like, very tight shorts. <gasps> well, they're not that tight. Oh. Because honestly... Keith, should I say it? Wait, let me see, say it. No package. Oh! Whoa! 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 the room just got cold. <laughs> oh, no package. Uh, the gay wow. guys say Steve's got a little dick. <laughs> they are fucking tearing him apart. Th did Steve punch it all? Did no. Did he get any lines in? Steve got no lines Nothing. in. Nothing. What the no one. We all know how good he is at uh, improv. Improv is he's, he's the best. Oh the jeez. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, when would these be shorts? I'd like to take the comedy bit and make it informational. <laughs> <laughs> he did the same thing he does in here. He just represented the situation at hand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and they called him Heather, right? I don't know, did they? Yeah, yeah. No, one, heifer, one. heifer. Oh, oh, it sounded like, sound like Heather. heather. They it did sound like Heather. They called him a heifer because he's fat. It did sound like Heather. Steve-O! <laughs> Wait, well, dude. All right, and finally funny. this. That is funny. Steve on out-cue with his capris. So now, you know what You know what those are in, in, in when two gay guys see that? It's like he needs extra padding on his knees for when he goes down on somebody. <laughs> Work! <laughs> Because you know, scrape yeah. knees are not a hot look. So, Wait, do you have a you have a leg tattoo? Yeah, yeah, I do. What's that? It's a uh, orchid. Okay. What, an orchid. Mm hmm. Are you were your florist in another life? <laughs> uh, you know, it's just I I thought they looked pretty. I saw them. They look pretty. Yeah. I, I they pretty. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is big butch man talking about his tattoos. Keith, Keith, pretty. Keith, straight people are zany. Aren't they? Yeah. Go on. Oh my so he got his <laughs> wardrobe he is not allowed on that show anymore. No, he sounds perfect. He sounds like the third he's, mic. <laughs> yeah, he's making us all look bad. He does have third mic on that show. <laughs> wow. Yeah. They did yes. say that uh, they would come on our show. Yeah. All right. Could you have rephrased that? <laughs> a a <rhyme>? <laughs> <laughs> He okay. got killed. Yeah, he got. she got the cum joke. Of course she did. It's the you. It's the you. <laughs> oh, like, nice. 
<laughs> Very wait, good. Wait, what, what, what happened? The cum, Joe. Cum. Francine said it's you, like cum of the you. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah. But yeah, they just they just bash <laughs> these events. <laughs> oh my God. That's uh, all right. Did you really think that Steve was going to get his shots in? <laughs> Not one. one in. I was Not hoping one. he would get one in, Dan. That's what I was saying. He didn't Not get one, one in. No. Not one. Not a, not even a jab. There's no editing editing trickery. Of there's, course not. There's no jabs to be gotten. Not uh, one jab. None. Zero. Donut. Jesus. All right. Uh, yes, I just thought that I would <laughs> put them on with my shoes. <laughs> Thank you. So you get a flower tattooed. Yes, I do. They grow in the earth. Let's go to Lady it's Trucker. The worst fucking improv in history. LT, what's up? Good morning, gentlemen. Hello. Uh, yeah, that second segment you played, the uh, uh, guys are, it was gay talk for uh, uh, Steve's wearing women's uh, pants. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what? What do you mean? I'm punching out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. yeah. You know, we fuck around a you little gotta bit. You got to bring a team next year. Yeah. That would be cool. It, it, I, I kid you not, man. It was so Someone much fun. Someone said your team fun. was all fat guys. We were. Jesus. My friend Malcolm, who's with me, is my size, too. He's probably out there. He is. He's right there. You so play he's like, Malcolm? Malcolm, <laughs> come, Malcolm fucking, not only did he play, dude, best fucking sacrifice I've seen. Yeah. Ever. Oh, really? Like, I was out of position. I got out of position at one point. Dude took a shot, and I went to save it. <laughs> and it piped, piped, and then dropped right back out in front of net. But Whoa. meantime, I was I'm sorry, way the fuck out of position over sure, there. Sure. And I'm struggling. At the same time, I landed wrong on my knee. So that's all this fucking weight landing wrong on the knee. And I quick had to pop back so that it wouldn't pop out and shit. Oh, fuck. All of a sudden, I look over, there's the ball laying, and here comes one of their fucking dudes. The other dudes just, just sweep it right in, and Malcolm, out of nowhere, is like, <laughs> hurls himself at the ground right in front of the fucking net, rolls onto the ball and shit, and everyone's trying to chip it out from under him. Such a huge heart <laughs> nice. sacrifice. All heart, man. Total heart player. Malcolm. But that night, we did the, a Smodcast Live at their That's theater cool. up there. We sold out this 1,100-seat theater and oh, did wow. Smodcast Live. It was so fun. That was fun, People too. love your Smodcast. you got to bring a team them. next year, man. Even well, You don't have to be good because we weren't well, good. I, we wouldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> we well, it's just fun to play, I, man. I could sneak a few of my brothers in. they do all right. Totally. All the ringers. And I guarantee yeah, you we'll, got we'll fans out there that, that would yeah. fucking play in a heartbeat, uh, yeah. man. And they'd be good, too. Sure. It's, it, I had such Malcolm a good time. Malcolm been up all night, too? Yeah. Yeah, no one has slept in this room. Yeah, Malcolm fucking slept the trailer. I need a mic over there, Malcolm. What uh, what do you do? Do you guys just friends, or do you work on the film? Too? I'm I'm kind of the one man entourage. Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Malcolm's my friend. Do your friend and assistant? He's uh, no, not my assistant. Although he has played my assistant from time to time. But yeah, we've been friends since um, we met in '94 at the Toronto Film Festival. Oh, Everyone's okay. always like, "Is that your brother?" I'm like, "No, <laughs> we're just <laughs> both fat in a beard. <laughs> yeah, we don't <laughs> shave. <laughs> a couple of bears. So he is a bear. <laughs> Malcolm's a bear. a bear, flat out. Oh yeah. yeah. Malcolm has fucked. Malcolm had this boyfriend dude who was the prettiest man I ever saw in my life. <laughs> prettiest man ever. <laughs> and it was he. And he all he wanted to do was fuck Malcolm. It was spellbinding. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I use that word twice, but it was. When you looked at this dude, you're like, this dude could get so much pussy. This dude could steal my wife from me, your wife from me. Fucking this. This dude was cover boy handsome. And he, this was the guy he wanted to stick it in, or not stick wow. it in. Hey, sorry, hey, my hey, bad. Hey. Yeah, you're not. Hey, a I'm a fag. I'm not that gay. Yeah, 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 my bad. My bad. I'm sorry. You got lines. So you, uh, he was like, uh, what would they call a guy like that who's into a, a, a bear, a cub? He's a cub. A cub. How and, cute! And he it liked all the, is. he liked the beer, and he liked the big uh, husky frame. He liked frame. the big, yeah. I mean, it's, Dude, tell, a, tell them, tell these cats what you say sometimes to the fucking dudes. They love the chubby guys with the gut. What do I say to him? Yeah, I say, well, suck it. What do you want no, to but, say? No, <laughs> but they're fucking sucking. And don't you like, you told me, he told me, fuck it, I'll do it. He told me that he takes his fucking, he's like trying to explain. He's like, when it comes to fucking sex, man, with a uh, bear, he's going, what's a negative in your world is an asset in mine. So I take my gut and oh, slap rub- it on top of their head and I rub it in their face. <laughs> you rub, yeah, you rub their your, uh, their face on, their, on your gut. They love it. What do you say to really? him? <laughs> what do you say while it's happening? Do you have to call it out? Is that something you acknowledge? Or, like, do, you have to, do you have to prepare them? Like, I'm about to put my gut on your face. They see or, it coming. 
So it it's happens. But is it like one of those things like when you're fucking and you're like, I'm going to come, like you state the obvious. Do you say shit? Like, I'm rubbing my I'm fucking. I'm rubbing my fat. No, you don't. It's, it's yeah. all. You don't? Okay. You've never it's done it. It's rubbing happening. my fat on yeah. you. I would totally. If I was fat. the guy where I could like fucking surrender and I'm like, I accept this and it's who I am and I have such great self-esteem. I would totally be that dude. I would totally be like, do you feel the fucking lard in your eyes? <laughs> Taste the stretch mark goodness. Next, <laughs> next time, dude. I prefer you. I'll do that next time. <laughs> so oh, what happened with the, the cub? Godfather house. What happened with the cub? I, it was it was that kind of he. Um, they dated for like three years, two years. Yeah, and it's funny because like what used to be my biggest fucking problem was my fat. Ended up kind of like he he kind of liked my fat. He didn't like my my brain. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he was using it for was, your gut. Yeah, yeah, literally, he was using them for his cock and his gut and shit. Wow. Malcolm yeah. wanted to be in a relationship, and he was like, "Can't we just fuck?" It's true. Holy dude, shit. if you saw this guy, you would be like, "I hate him." He's Zac Efron. He's just like a pretty dude. So you dumped him. We kind of dumped each other. It was he was yeah. a soccer player too? He was. Upset? So he has athletic body. Athletic. That was totally. I mean, he, he was a good piece of ass. <laughs> oh, why not? He's playing hard guy now, but fuck, we're going to get down the elevator. He's going to be like, I can't believe I referred to the love of my life as a piece of ass. <laughs> i got to call the company. I'm so sorry. If you hear this, I love you. <laughs> How long did you split? Uh, two years ago. Oh, so it's pretty much beyond. It's, it's no, nah, it's, there's been many cubs since. Oh, really? Yeah, All right. You gotta this take motherfucker is my, uh, my connection, my connect in the gay world. He's the dude that always gives me. Um, head, no. All <laughs> the, the terminology, what's going on. He was the dude who yeah. introduced me to the idea of the bear, and I was just like, get out of here. He's like your gay technical advisor. Totally, yeah. totally. So you One don't do all gay friends. references and make an ass out of yourself in film. You have to have it correct. <laughs> totally. And also the gay friend that you could be like, you suck cock, and he's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right, because he did. My friend is uh, my friend's a gay comic. We, I don't know if he's bi, because he fucks chicks, too. So, uh, he uh, was helping me decorate my apartment. And uh, he, most people don't know he's gay. And uh, the way he would talk about other guy, it was fucking great. Like, there was this big designer. He was like, I'll, I'll see if he'll help fix your place up. He, I'm like, is he really expensive? He goes, oh, he'll do me a favor. I'm like, well, do you know him well? He goes, oh, I came in his face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's what you realize, but he meant If it, there were like, no yeah. women, it would just be the unchecked male sexuality, and that's what it would be. You'd be like sitting around. If there were no chicks, it'd be us sitting around, fucking making jokes and shit, and then be like, <laughs> "Hey, Jimmy, <laughs> suck my dick." You know, you'd have no choice, and you'd fucking go for it. I Maybe you wouldn't like it. Time. You might, you know, be like, "I miss pussy," but still, you'd do it, right? I think that's why there's that fine balance. Like, you mm -hmm. know, the chicks are sometimes. <laughs> Because if it was just all guys and that whole attitude, you'd just be fucking all the time. Are you just fucking all the time? Is that pretty uh, much it? He goes in, like, periods. Sometimes he's all celibate, and then sometimes he goes yeah. on a tear. I'm not into fucking. I'm into getting my dick sucked a lot. I'm a real, I'm a, I'm a selfish top. Yes. Li <laughs> listen how fucking, <laughs> I'm a listen how good top. this dude has it, man. They come over. Like, yeah. he, he meets him on, what is it, Bear 411? He like goes on a plug. website. It's a website designed just for fucking getting your dick sucked or sucking the dick of others. One. Really? He hooks up with a date and shit, and they come to. He goes to where they are. They come to him. They come in. He he gets off, and and then he's like, "Okay, go." Ah, uh, no recip, huh? <laughs> no recip. <laughs> no How yeah, about no. we get Stephen here immediately? <laughs> <laughs> we have we have we want you to look at our friend who we know is a bear, but he doesn't think he's a bear. He doesn't really. Wanna, he doesn't want to acknowledge it. He's a bear. Yeah. We were at the, uh... Here, here comes Steve. <laughs> here comes Steve. Yeah, hello, if Malcolm yes. says woof, then he's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> the woof, let's see if he passes the woof test. Yeah, yeah he, here he comes. Definitely he's going to try to walk tough. It's impossible. <laughs> 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 Ask him any question. Talk to him about anything. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Steve's like, great. he's smiling. Out, out this motherfucker already. We've had it with him. Yeah, we're tired of his shenanigans. Hi, Steve. That's Malcolm. He's a total bear. You're a bear. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, is it wolf test or no? I, I, he's a total bear. Yeah. 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 But Steve, at least Malcolm thinks you're a bear. Thank you, Malcolm. I appreciate that. Now it's a, uh, it's 100 percent of the room again. It's official. Yeah. <laughs> again. It's official. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate That's that. A, you're actually wearing very nice jeans today. He had capris. He had on capris last week. on last week. They were long Grand shorts. Capris. No, no, no they, they were capris. They, were, they were long. They shorts. weren't. Kevin, no. Kevin. These are long shorts, long dude. Shorts. Elephant trunks. Kevin wears long if shorts. If they go tight at the bottom, capris. Yeah. those capris. are capris, and they weren't tight. Yes. Yeah. They, they were capri pants, and then he had one. And then you had some uh, jeans with embroidered flowers on them. Uh, it was just, it was uh, affliction jeans with like um with uh, a skull and uh, roses. So it's a cool thing. 
Yeah, it wasn't a cool it's thing. A metal, it's a rock and roll thing. Yeah, it's a rock and roll thing. It wasn't it was ass. Ass. It's a rock and roll thing. Wow. Absolutely. The Caprice yeah, it's was... So rock and roll. <laughs> it was. Are you ever wearing oh those God. Capris again? Look Never. at the pants. Come on, dude. That is rock and roll. That's yeah, like Guns N' Roses and shit. That's oh, okay. not rock and roll. Back in the day. Uh, no, 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 it's not. not. That's, you, that's you cock and mouth. Talk, dude. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> All you know is cock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not. Show the Capri pants to Malcolm, please. Yeah, because to uh, Yeah, we're trying to get there. Right? We really need to. Uh, that's a good tweet. We really oh. do. Uh, we so need to break at this point. We gotta just show him his okay, pants. Yeah, yeah, show yeah, the yeah. pants and we go. We, well, whatever. I think. Oh shit! I'm sorry, hetero. Just looking at that. Can I by. shout Jesus out Christ. Carnegie one more time? Yes, Kevin. Folks, God if you haven't it. bought Carnegie Hall tickets, please go do so. It's gonna be a fun show. We're all There's going. There's only a few tickets left. All, all these cats are going. Yeah. Absolutely. And these cats know funny. Wednesday, an evening I'm with cats. Bomb. I'm so terrified. I'm going to bomb. No, you're going to do well. Mind, Let me get the man. website out. Uh, uh, view is uh, View, A-S-K-E-W dot com for the Kevin Smith tickets. Or CarnegieHall.org. Where's oh, Patrice? Patrice, why does he just come in? in? Oh, that's well, because well, yeah. if he comes in, then we're gonna, we'll yeah. never break. we got to at least get to a break. I'm going to get uh, out here and go get some sleep. All right, let's take a break. Go take a snooze Thanks there, for, uh, for hosting, Kevin. folks. It was, uh, I'm so glad that I was shooting in, nights because it gave me a chance to come in because you know I what? haven't been able to get in. And because of you, now in front of me, Gene Simmons on NPR. We get to You got it? you got to listen to it. It's a fascinating listen. I don't know if we're going to get to it today, but we're going to get to that Listen to it off air, and then I guarantee you'll want to play highlights from it. Kevin, it was a pleasure, man. Yeah. Always a pleasure, it boys. Is. I'll see you guys. Was that, was that some fucking naked men up there? That's bear. Bear 411? That, that's, that's, that's uh, Steve's Capri's, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh come see, on, dude. Those aren't jeans. Malcolm, shorts. Yeah, <laughs> you know, these are jeans shorts. Malcolm, you got to comment on the Capri's. That's not a knife. That's a knife. He says he's straight. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> he says he's straight. <laughs> yes. Straight. Really? Engaged. He identifies yes. as straight. You're not yes. passing. Come on. I'm sorry, dude. I just call like I see you. I should show my chair. Hey, my gator is off the fucking, you know. He's very good gator. <laughs> if you don't know, who would? Yeah, true. Well, I, I'm I, I'm engaged to a lovely woman, and uh, sure. I don't have a, I certainly don't have a, a, oh, a wow. oh, he's stammering. Humana, humana, humana. No, it's, it's really not. I, I really don't know. <laughs> he, doesn't say, he doesn't have a gay bone in his body. Yes. <laughs> let, let it be known, Steve. He soon will. He's, <laughs> you're usually very articulate, Steve. Yeah, you're, you're, you're real. You're a little. I think you're a little. You're a little, you're a little, you're a little Steve, in moments like this, it's just best to be like, I am gay and I love cock. Can I go now? <laughs> <laughs> I try. You know what, Kevin? I've tried that so many times, it doesn't work anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't not work. Not off the show and in your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you like other bears or do you only like cubs? I'm more of a cub guy. So you wouldn't be attracted to this team because he's a bear? Uh, no, not so much. All right, they they repel one another around. like magnets. Jimmy, well, I know we got a break, but maybe Where, we should bring Travis in real fast. Yes, bring Travis. Either Travis is probably too hairy for Travis has too much. Uh, oh, let's Sam. say. Let's just bring say. Sam bring here. Sam in. Sam and Travis. Would you let Steve drink out of your mule? It was late night. Would you? Uh, I, mean, I mean, yeah. Oh, fuck. A mouth is a mouth. <laughs> here comes Sam. Great philosophy. Don't, don't, don't mind the hair. Now, now here's uh, Travis. Uh, Steve, he's a total cub. Yeah, Yeah. he's he's a cub, right? Totally. Yeah, like he's got hairy arms and stuff, and the facial hair. What about the facial? How about Erica? So if he's if he's if he's hairless, is he a twink? Uh, pretty much. I mean, here's a twink. What makes him an otter? Come on, in twink. No, this dude. Yeah, this dude might be a twink. Is he a straight hip? <laughs> I know what you want. Despite his straight hips, do you he, think that he's a twink? He's more twinkish, yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's uh, right. awful hips. He's kissed men, though. Yeah, he's he, kissed he men, no so. With that. I, have, I didn't say I have no problem with that. It just happened before. Yeah, right. more than once, though. And you didn't get, like, yeah, there's a big difference between having no problem with yeah. it and fucking, like, I didn't punch the guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. Three times. How about, what would you, would Three you classify? Three times he's kissed a guy. Eric. Erica. Yeah, troll. <laughs> wow, those are the guys that go to the gay club after it closed and just lick the floor. Jimmy, the 
they're going to kill us if we don't go to break. Yeah, we got to break. It's getting to a point where rock. we Kevin, we don't have a choice. Thank you. Uh, thank you for so having. Thanks for having. Uh, if I could get in and yeah. call in throughout the rest of this, yeah, yeah, we, we, we totally will. Totally will. Whenever you know, we go tonight, uh, so I'll try to come in. Maybe if you're on the phone and yeah. Bruce Willis is right next to you. Good fucking luck to you. Yeah, I know. He's not going to push that. I felt so bad like we were in Far Rockaway and the they were going to knock on the trailer when they're five cops out there rookies you know and they were just like hey, can we take pictures and i was like sure absolutely what do you say no to a cop yeah <laughs> and and uh they were like uh do you think do you think bruce will come over and sign and i was like um it's like what do yeah. i do i was like ah uh, let me see i'll go over and so i go over and knock on his trailer there's a you know they open the door the, the pa knocks there's a special knock open the door and you lean in and i'm like boss and they're here <laughs> huh and i'm like he was sleeping. Oh, shit. I was like, I'm sorry, were you asleep? He goes, I was, Kev. And I was like, oh, man, I'm sorry. And he's going, well, I'm up now. What's up? And I said, there's some, some rookies, man, just got their colors, like, not too long ago. And they're huge John McClane fans. And, you know, if you, I'll tell them to go away, man, because, you know, if you're sleeping and shit, the guy he goes, just tell the police, hold down the fort. I'll be out in a minute. He came out and took pictures with them cool. and shit like that. Wow. It's it really, hard to say no to a cop. It's really hard. You so know what I'm saying? And yeah. also, this was, and one of the dudes was, um, no, I ain't gonna tell that story. But it was very cool. Was, <laughs> no, we need to know. It was no, it wasn't. It was, it was something that it's not mine to Volpe? tell, so I don't want to tell. Officer Volpe, <laughs> <laughs> he was fucking. Yeah, he was polishing his plunger. <laughs> <laughs> but it was kind of cool to see, man. It's like awesome. you know, people like that, dude. But at least you, don't, I like the fact that you don't seem like a fanboy at all. Waking him up, hey Bruce, some guys want some pictures. You want to come out and meet him? <laughs> yeah. I was like, sure, I'd be happy to. All right. I, know, I felt a little bad for doing it, but <laughs> come on, they're cops. We really got to take a break, so. Thanks yeah. for having us, man. I'll we'll see, see you Wednesday. Guys. Carnegie, Carnegie Hall. Right, yeah. Let's Hell sell yeah. this fucker out. What do you say? It's only yeah. a few tickets left. And Under they, 500 yeah. at this point. Let's yeah, sell this yeah, fucker yeah. out for Kevin Smith. It's yeah. a big deal for him. It's Carnegie Hall. Fun. It's, totally it's fun. a blast, man, uh, watching you talk about uh, movies. Just fucking... That, that whole thing you did, I watched the video when you were talking about... Um, uh, the f giant fucking mechanical spider. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Superman <laughs> story. In the Wild West. Mm -hmm. West, that was hysterical, man. It'll be fun. It'll be it's interesting. Great. I can't imagine they're going to let me do it more great than night. once. Right. I think they're just going <laughs> to... After I do it once, you can really... Uh, this no is Carnegie fear. Hall, sir! Yeah. <laughs> so come on out, but you guys got to go. All, All right, man. Cool. Yeah, let's take that well-needed break. Malcolm, thanks, man. Thanks, Thank Malcolm. Thank you, guys. Very you. Cool. cool. See you soon. See you again. All right, let's yeah. go. Steve will get your number. We'll be back in a little bit. All right, man, later. And then Sam pointed out that Steve has cold medicine on his desk, so he's he's planning another sick day in the very near future. He's gearing up for he's another gear sick day by planting. <laughs> he's gearing up for another fake sick day by planting cold medicine around the, the office. Like, yes, I have a cold. Goddamn, Sam points it out. Yeah, he's got cold medicine right on his desk for everyone to see because he's setting up for another fake sick day. Yes, everyone, I'm out. Did you notice the medicine on my desk? Everyone is on to Steve's fake sick days. <laughs> I hope he understands that. Yeah. Maybe we should have told him off air, but we're all on to the fake sick day. Yeah. So Steve's gearing up for another sick day. Yeah. What do you think? He'll go for the long weekend. Ouch, my ass hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the long weekend, I'm thinking. What do you think? Oh, no one gets Friday? No one gets sick in the spring and summer. I do. I mean, you get that rare... My immune system seems to be failing. <laughs> you get that rare summer cold, everyone. Maybe yeah. every other year. Yeah, but... But, man, Steve loves the sick day lately. Oh, my God, this weather changing is <laughs> awful for me. Is it? Did you notice the day quill? <laughs> Iraq. Next, next guy. Yeah. You're funnier women. <laughs> what what do you know on Steve's fake sick days? Um I don't want to really trash the dude, but they seem to be fall Wait, on a front. You said you said I I don't really want to trash the dude. Is that what you just said? No. That means you but, really want to trash but, the dude. They seem to fall on Fridays and Mondays. <laughs> and um, yeah, like in, in the case of the, I'm not saying he's not sick, but in the case of the, the last sick day he took, I got an email like early Sunday afternoon saying that he had, uh, I guess, sent a notice out to you guys to Bladder and Cross that uh, there's a possibility he may not be in tomorrow. He's not feeling good. So I wrote, okay, and then I'll get something in the morning. I'm not coming in today. So he, he, it's like he prepped you, so he's saying, I may not be coming in, and then all of a sudden, Monday comes, I'm not coming in. Oh, if there's if it's, there's an email from from Steve that says, 
there's a 1% possibility I may not be in. He is absolutely not coming in. <laughs> it's textbook sick day crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake sick day crap. It, no, we used to see it a lot at, when we were still over at CBS. Mm -hmm. There'd be uh, what I, there'd be days where all of a sudden it's like he's he's not at what, and some people didn't know he wasn't coming in. Look, we we've all faked a sick day. Of course, I don't understand people that are sick for only one day. I yeah. hate the sniffles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, remember, Cindy Brady got the sniffles once, and uh, her mother uh, was very upset. <laughs> but sometimes you can't tell, because if, if I'm in the same office with him, and you'll turn around, and he's kind of breathing heavy, and he's soaking wet. Well. Like, he's, he's just sweating really heavy, but he's been sitting in the same chair for an hour. That's... So you're like, how is he doing this? But he's been I that have way the forever. swine flu. <laughs> <laughs> he's sweating. And he has cold medicine on his desk? And four open cans of Monster Energy drink. Oh, oh that's shit. smart. Oh, my God. And uh, a large coffee, a cocaine, <laughs> and uh, some and, barbiturates. And some crystal and, meth. Amphetamines and yeah. crystal meth. And... Right. All right. Mm -hmm. So Steve will be sick tomorrow or Friday? Uh, probably Friday. Friday. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I may be sick Friday. <laughs> Or Monday, perhaps both days. And then Thursday of next week, so when we're off on Friday. Very rare <laughs> possibility, though, so don't worry. I'm sick. I'm not coming. <laughs> I point zero zero eight percent chance. Eight percent chance of sickness. <laughs> oh, my God, it hit me. <laughs> classic. All right. Fucking <laughs> classic, man. And now, backstage with ONA, here is Primetime Sam Roberts. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts, and it was brought up on the Opie and Anthony show that executive producer Steve C. is faking sick and taking days off like there's no tomorrow. We went to Steve himself to get to the bottom of things. Steve, the guys say that you take too many sick days. What, what, what's going on? I know you think I'm faking it, but believe me, it would be a lot easier just to call out than to fucking orchestrate an elaborate scheme. Why is your immune system so weak? AIDS. Do you think you're taking more sick days than anybody else? Not at all. No more sick days than anyone else? Apparently, Opie and Anthony's opinion of the days Steve takes off are skewed. We found the Opie and Anthony interns and asked all of them who takes the most sick days. Who do you think takes the most sick days out of the ONA staff? Uh, so far, definitely Steve. I think Steve. Uh, that would be Steve Carlisi. Probably Steve. I'd say Steve. Um, it, Steve? Uh, I would say probably Steve Carlisi. A room full of idiot interns can't be wrong. Why is Steve faking sick every day? Has the pressure finally gotten to him? Luckily for us, Steve being absent from the show has literally no effect on how it sounds. Feel better, Steve. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts, and this has been Backstage with ONA. But the workhorses are here once again today. Jesus. And then they give us crap about stuff we can't even Ugh. mention on the air. When we, when we finally tell you what, what, what is going on, you guys are going to be stupefied. Holy shit. Yellow flag. I know. <laughs> we need know? a yellow we need a triple um, thing. But the king. Like a triangle. Yeah. Red, green, but then a yellow. <laughs> yellow flag is the corner. Everybody. Because I'm the greatest thing ever. Sam's got to come back in here. We were done with him, but he just gave us some uh, some knowledge. A little more fun Sam, tidbits. we got to talk about this on the air. Okay. What the hell has been going on for the last three hours down the hall? Well, we all remember... On the show, when Anthony said to go with this green flag and red flag, you needed a yellow flag, right? Everybody remembers that, right? Yep. Here, here's what I actually said. Uh, I, we have a paddle. On one side is green. On the other side is red. It's a bad it's green, a, by the way, say on the paddle. Two, yeah. yeah, well, it's kind of faded. Now it's like a brownish olive thing. Yeah. But uh, I think we know. Green, red. But it's it's just flat, like a paddle. He <laughs> rock is thinking. coming down the hall, which means he wants in. Oh, he wants He's in. Smiling. He's smiling away. <laughs> I love E Rock. I was he thinking, gets a lot hold on. He gets yeah. a lot of abuse, but I love this part of E Rock. Oh yeah. This is great. He can't wait to get involved. Get in, sorry. See now I was thinking a <laughs> three sided paddle. Yeah. Which which is, you know, you, you open up uh this and then you add in another yellow panel. Thus, making a triangle, right. and then fasten 
the handle to the triangle. That way I could turn one handle yellow, green, red. Now, when you said on that what's being said, it was of the utmost importance needed to get done ASAP, correct? No, actually, <laughs> I forgot about it seconds after I said it. Oh. Never expected the yellow. Okay. I think if I just say, oh, yellow flag, it was, uh, yeah. I think that's good. And this is radio. It was an oh, a- right. It was an afterthought. So, it really was an afterthought. Like, ah, that would be kind of funny if we had yeah. a yellow side, too. But whatever. That's Though stupid. I do hold In the end, that's stupid. The paddle. Right. It is indeed radio. So right, right, right. right. I could say yellow. So what happens, Sam? Unfortunately, one member of our staff uh, heard you say yellow flag and then shut down everything else. <laughs> uh, E-Rock is nodding. Steve, Everything has been shut down. Steve is back to work today. Oh, really? Yeah, Steve is. Well, Steve is uh, here in the building today. <laughs> All right. And, uh, oh, so we were off by that sick day by one day because we were convinced he was setting up for the sick day on Friday, but then he yes. tricked everybody and took the personal day on Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, no sick day. He took a sick day. Sick day on Monday. <laughs> yes. We were joking that he was setting up for the sick day for Friday. With all the what? medication. But oh. he ended up taking the sick day yesterday. Sick day yesterday, yes. And God damn it, I didn't even know. We noticed and also, slowly there was like, I don't think Jimmy was here for this. We noted slowly uh, that uh, on his desk and things, certain cold medications were showing up. He was literally like setting up for a spot, sick day. So it's yeah, like, yes. all right, he's kind of gearing up. So like if he calls him... People would go, he called in, they'd be going, yeah, but I did see the medicine on the desk. I <laughs> saw the medicine there. Oh, it's textbook shit. It was uh, calling in sick in the first degree. So, he, he, so he, so Steve, come in, please. He should be here to defend himself. Him. So basically, Steve, first, uh, about two hours ago, said, all right, Sam, what do you think of this for a yellow flag? A yellow handkerchief tied to a Super Bowl. What, did he no. mean for the march on Sunday? <laughs> Wait, Iraq is is chomping at the bit, and he he doesn't have any food in his mouth. So <laughs> right, let the horse at the mic then. <laughs> and I said, at them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing, of course, Iraq. And I said, "What do you? Why? No, what?" And he said, "You know, like when you throw in the yellow flag." Oh, and I said, here, here, here. "I just we're talking about the flag," mm-hmm. and I said, "No, no, not like a yellow flag, like in sports." Like on his paddle, you right. know, we do that thing that says green, yellow. Yeah. Oh, he said. And then I noticed during the break, he came in and looked at your paddle. Yes. To figure out what it was. Yeah. The then, rock. No, finish, and then I'll tell you what else happened. Oh, okay. Oh no. <laughs> and, and now there is a yellow paddle. A, a yellow which is paddle, completely separate now, which right. which kind of an intern you know. has been assembling. A yellow paddle. For yeah. how long? I don't know, but I believe there ha- was a trip made to get yellow construction paper. <laughs> Two oh. trips, I'm being told. There's the yellow, wow, the, there's the yellow paddle outside the studio. So That's I a mean, big paddle. Oh, tell, bring it in. <laughs> Standing outside with it. Bring so here's the, the final paddle. product, the, yes. the yellow paddle that will never be used. Uh, yellow paddle. <laughs> Sorry. Oh so guys, I mean, if, okay. you guys, if you guys reach a point where uh, you might have to stop soon, but are okay, you're pretty... You got to slow down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. there's the yellow you don't paddle. Necessarily have to stop. Which is be aware that yeah. it might be dangerous bulky. to yeah. just like keep a, your speed up. A That's ruler good. was actually obviously purchased. Yes, yes, oh, I see the new a new ruler, a regular your been... standard school mm-hmm. uh, twelve mm-hmm. inch mm-hmm. ruler mm-hmm. was so purchased. Money went into this as well. E Rock, what do you got to add to this? Well, do, hold on, did somebody say that I want one that I want a yellow paddle that's visible from Google Earth? No. Why so large? Giant like. It's, We're going to find out all that. E-Rock, what do you got? bigger than... Well, to back up a little bit on this, this was one of those uh, times to take advantage to the fact that Steve wasn't listening to the show. So, oh, Steve. So when they... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No. So uh, when you made this, this this slight mention, I knew he wasn't paying attention. I go, Steve, did you hear that? And he said, what? I said, they're asking you in the back, do they need a yellow flag. <laughs> Right, and he goes, oh, and, he, and so I explained to him. I said, you know, the red and green one, they need something, you know, a yellow flag, maybe like one of the ones that they use at soccer and football that they throw into the middle of the console so they know to calm down. So he started developing the ball and the sheet and the rubber band thing, and then this wasn't working. I guess this is where Sam got involved. Said, Absolutely, that would be a terrible idea. And then there was um, there was plans, uh, different trips for construction paper, for staples, <laughs> for a ruler. How this was all going to lay out. This has been going on for almost three hours. Jesus. Has this paddle been going on for three hours? Come on now. Be honest. Noah? 
Well, the entire process. Well, yeah, there's a microphone there. Yeah. Uh, the whole process was about three hours. Mic's not on. Three hours to get a dumb yellow paddle that for, we're never going to use? For this! <laughs> See, I'm just the opposite. I'm thinking only three hours. <laughs> wow, you work fast. <laughs> like, Why three I hours? Because you had to go nothing. out and and get the uh, the materials. Yeah, it this was all. Fan. It was from nothing. Was, yeah. we had none of this. Oh, it was from nothing. Right. Wow. Well, 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 most this. most things are <laughs> from nothing. Created from wow. nothing. It's, like, it's, it's just like watching how it's made. It's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, that's all that is is a ruler, a piece of yellow construction paper. And some staples. Right. There are one, two, three, four, five, six staples. Dude, a, a kid in kindergarten could have made this in paper. ten minutes. Slightly better. Earl could have made this quicker, and we know about Earl. Yeah. Earl. Wait, what do you... <laughs> I don't understand three hours. Hey. Which is why we got an EP, you know what I'm saying? Ding, ding, what do you got there, ding, Steve, on ding. this uh, paddle uh, thing? Yes, on the paddle. And how the long do we really spend on um, this? You know what? I should really step back, because whatever Sam says is... Completely unfabricated, 100% accurate. So you might. The guy in the head is Erock. It's sarcasm, I think. No, and and Eric is completely accurate as well. So you know what? Really? Yeah. Oh my God. Everything there is 100% veracity behind everything those two say. So hey, Sean William Scott, man. And now we go with Sean. I saw you. Oh, Uh, I saw you. The uh, the cellar two days ago. ago. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't see you. Cool, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. What's up, Sean? How are you, buddy? Good to see you guys, man. Good to see you. I'm so sorry. I totally interrupted you. That's right. No. Sorry, oh, I saw you. Oh, like trust me. It, it was filler because we knew you, you were downstairs. Just, oh, yeah. <laughs> so we were beating up doing? the staff a little bit. We're doing good. Good. good Kevin Smith. I remember when I said Bruno <laughs> was going to lead me to something else and I couldn't remember? Yes. <laughs> Hopefully not a new lifestyle. No. <laughs> but speaking of that, uh, our own Steve got married <laughs> in a tattoo shop oh over the weekend. <laughs> Wait. And he's not here today. <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> what? I knew he was and, getting married. I forgot. And I think, and and I love his girl, but I think she got body painted with, uh, that's what I'm fucking doing, motherfucker. I'm doing the tat thing, whatever. But uh, uh, I guess she got body painted with the Foundry logo. Where's Sam? Because he was <laughs> yeah, all over this. Yes, I want everything to have the logo. But I guess they got... Did they get married in the tattoo shop? What do we know about Steve's marriage? This would be his, what, second or third? Second, I believe? Second, jeez. Right, yeah, I'm know. not sure. I'm not sure to tell I you. I think it's the second. I, I think it's the second. I would too. assume. Second. Sam, what do you know? One of his marriages on... was declared uh, not valid. <laughs> <laughs> in the 38 states. states. Yeah. <laughs> we love each other. We want to adopt Matthew and I. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what do you know about Steve getting married in a tattoo parlor? Give us all the details. Well, I try to stay up on the social networking sites. Yeah, Thank just you. to too. keep up with what my friends and coworkers yeah. are doing. Certainly. And so I was looking at uh, Steve and his wife's Facebooks and Twitters all weekend because they were just consistently getting updated with new pictures. And apparently, like, uh, they got married in this. They said they were super secret and intimate. But then if you look at the pictures of their quote-unquote altar, there are pictures on the wall of Tattoo Flash. Like, the you know, at a tattoo parlor, they uh-huh. have pictures of tattoos you could get. Right. They're on the wall. And then the next picture is them getting their tattoos, wedding See, bands. So you're you're assuming, based on that, that the whole ceremony was conducted in the tattoo place. Yes, I mean, they're literally the walls oh, okay. are, yeah, are yeah. covered with... Wait a minute, because, yeah, that lady that, looks like she's like uh, the Dawn uh, Kumia of their... Yes, the of um, their, Justice uh, of the Peace. Yeah, the, what, yeah. Like, it's not just decoration. There's pictures all over of possible tattoos. Oh, that's a tattoo parlor. Yes. Oh, yeah. They got married in a tattoo parlor. <laughs> yes, because Steve wanted to save on transportation costs. And Steve is wearing sunglasses on his head. Of course. As well. is uh, Mrs. Steve. Well, they want to make it very casual. Ah. You know what's weird about Steve? I was invited. Yeah. Oh, well, wait. <laughs> I was invited. How to... much do we have? Wait, we only have but a few hours one. left. I was invited to their top secret wedding what? that was supposed to happen, I think, July 4th weekend. But I wasn't invited to this uh, version of the top secret wedding. Right. This was the top <laughs> secret <laughs> secret one. <laughs> what? So did, was there a wedding on July 4th? Or did that get canceled? I, I said I couldn't go because I, I had a trip planned. Made yeah, so I, guess, I guess I was in. I insulted him. Sorry that I had something planned on July 4th <laughs> that he can't invite me the, the following week. 
We didn't well, get a limo. We have motorcycle <laughs> gangs driving us to the reception. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you know about the big wedding with Steve? And then I guess uh, they wanted to make it very private and top secret, but I mean, yeah. there's pictures all over the place. Yeah, they posted all the pictures on all the like Steve posted on his Twitter right away. So I mean, this is, none of this stuff is secret. Like uh, his wife, then uh, body painted, I guess herself for their reception. Oh, and so there were like <laughs> she body painted. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the tattoo sounds, unfortunately, right uh, in front of me. She but. body painted flames all over her torso and then wore a bikini top and on her back did a, a foundry type logo. It is a foundry logo, the big um, cog. Even, even brands his, his own wife. But yes. Jesus Christ. But then she put it's her. Bad enough, you branded every fucking Opie and Anthony video. But then now she, you're branding your wife. <laughs> she, but she put her website name. On top of the foundry logo, oh. as if to say, how these... did she get my husband's gay dot com? <laughs> no, that's, not <laughs> that's not her website. <laughs> <laughs> and then I guess they went to their reception someplace where, uh, I guess the only guests I know that were there, based on the Facebook pictures, were Lainey from Penthouse who comes in. Yeah, right. And that madam. Remember the madam who came in here, that blonde woman? Yeah. Yeah, she was there. She was the one who hooked A-Rod up, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They were the two guests at the reception. So they were the guests at the reception, oh, probably I, the witnesses. I, I didn't get invited to. I remember her on our, our show. She gave us nothing, and then the next day <laughs> decided to, you know, spill the beans on everybody. Well, yeah, your executive producer had her. Yeah, great, thanks. Yeah. Thanks uh -huh. for that wonderful <laughs> fucking milk toast interview you gave us. Yes. So... Steve Carlisi is officially a married woman. <laughs> <laughs> yet, yet again. And what they wanted to make an honest woman out of me. <laughs> uh, Christy in Virginia, honey and picnic baskets were the two choices at the reception. <laughs> <laughs> that is the, um, I'm looking at be. what could be the altar. Is skulls and... Um, That's a tattoo parlor. Tattoos and uh, the Grim Reaper is at the bottom. Obviously some tattoo parlor just put like a little altar as a gimmick. Yeah, and she said, "This is perfect. This is my dream." <laughs> is it uh -oh. her first marriage? Second. I think it's her second. Her first second. Okay, I was gonna yeah, say that's that. why they, oh, went, that's oh. why they went with the casual. All oh, right, that you makes know. a little more sense. If it was her first, he should be shot. <laughs> well, casual is casual, but this is a tattoo. Parlor. I hope it ends. <laughs> I hope it ends like the Gotti marriage. Somewhere in Brazil, they're on vacation. Her purse strap breaks. <laughs> Oh, I thought you meant his purse strap. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> true. His pocketbook. <laughs> she gives him a good choking. Unbelievable. Well, good for Steve. Yep. Godspeed. I good like luck. his wife very much. Good luck to you. Yeah, she's been very nice to all she's of us. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. He'll be all back right. tomorrow. Well, now he, uh, he, <laughs> I, I guess he's taking every Monday off for, for the rest of the year or something. Yeah, I got he, that email. He's got, what the fuck's going on with our show and this place? He's got a lot of sick days stored up, so he told me... He told me on Friday, he didn't want to tell me about the wedding, but I found out he was getting married this weekend on Friday. Yeah. And he said that was his excuse. He said, I'm getting married this weekend, so this coming Monday and every Monday for the foreseeable future, I'll be taking off. <laughs> I'm taking my honeymoon every other Monday. <laughs> Who said life was all about following the rules? Carlisi, Carlisi. I'm a man of leisure. This summer. Greg Hughes, it's Mr. Carlisi. You're an asshole. Find out what happens when one executive producer discovers he has 50 sick days and decides to use them all. Ah, the Prius. If you have the means, I highly recommend you pick one up. Starring Steve Carlisi. I want to eat in that restaurant. I'm going to make a fake reservation with my new stomach. And Steve Carlisi as Steve Carlisi. You don't you know me? I'm Abe Froman, the internet king of Jersey. Look, the founder logos on everything let's shake it up baby now twist and shout coming every monday a family member has days off and you give them crap you're an asshole steve carlisi's day off life goes by pretty fast if you don't take vacation time you'll miss out on it this is what happens when i get anxious i have to get rid of the nervousness no no <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Walter Cronkite is oh. rolling over in his grave, Jimmy. Come on, Sam. Yes. Come on, just stop Put your man up.
And oh, and the uh, special guest that was told it was a, a surprise also twittered it. That's good. You think Steve would go? Could, you know, we want to do this as a surprise, and you could do all that after your interview. It smells bad over here, Opie. Okay. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. Was, could someone ask Steve why it made a Google alert for real? Does he take phone calls on his days off? No, he's the, he's off. No, he's he doesn't off. even take calls. No, the executive no, producer doesn't take calls. In, in about the last half hour of the show, I'll get a, a bunch of emails asking for today's prep sheet. Like that means anything for him. Really? Yeah. Steve places the post-show call. Now it's to E-Rock. It used to be to Danny or Travis, but he realized they weren't giving him good information. <laughs> then he used to call me and realize I had stopped giving him good information. <laughs> and, of course, E-Rock, the, you know. So now he calls E-Rock to find out yeah, great. what audio was played on the show so he can write the email. Great. You know. Well, I, I tell him we played everything, even though we didn't, <laughs> so that he just keeps removing everything off the list. <laughs> I said, I would, he would call Sam, because like, he would never call me for anything like that, so he would call Sam, and I would try to feed fake stories. He'd be like, oh, so what's, new? so what's new for tomorrow? And I would just try to make up stuff to see if it would make it to the prep sheet the next day. This sucks. Now everyone knows Chubby Checker's coming in for your birthday. That guy was good. <laughs> Come on, baby! Oh, oh, oh God. God. <laughs> It's horrible. Oh, I'll God. tell you something. That was one of the most surreal moments that I'll ever remember from this radio show. Yeah, was that watching was really. Chubby Checker and Sabra Cadabra. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That was good. Was that Steve's not answering. Why? He's probably sleeping. It's his day off. Let me get this right. He's a man of leisure. <laughs> Let me get this right. The executive producer for the show now yeah. has Mondays off for how long? Indefinitely. Indefinitely. He said for the foreseeable future. And the bosses have no problem with this. They said they legally can't do anything about it. I mean, I'm sure that, you know, Baba Bowie probably takes days off whenever he feels like yeah, it. Probably once a week. Of course. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Why? I mean, you know, why, why wouldn't he? And also he decided. A four-day work week for this motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. And well, he also four... decided, you know, he didn't feel like doing the Open Anthony website anymore. Show up week. Yeah, yeah it's rough guy, to call it a work I, I just week. love having him around. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is, be... this company <laughs> is bizarre. <laughs> it's bizarre. It's bizarro. Everything, bizarro. It's, it's, everything's it's backwards. Perverse of how it's supposed to be. How do you allow the executive producer for one of your hottest shows to just take Mondays off? He's the boss. He works hard. Sometimes he needs to rest the brain so he can come back on Tuesday and deliver like he always does. But rest how the does brain. He... Is the brain resting when he's here? <laughs> it's at home on his pillow? It's in a constant That's rest period. I'm a man <laughs> of leisure. <laughs> what do you mean for the foreseeable future? How many... Like literally, yeah, literally, possibly does, for a year. Does Anthony and I have this many days that we never took? No. That's well, all. Steve, what do you mean, no. Steve would check, but he's off today. <laughs> so he can't, uh, <laughs> he's not going to get to that today. Yeah, can we just indefinitely take Mondays off? Steve would have to contact. Have we collected HR. enough day off, days <laughs> off like our, these guys? What about our days? Exactly. Do like, we have sick, sicky days? Well, then what day is Steve going to take off? Yeah. Wait, Steve, is, I thought this Monday thing was for a few Mondays. Like, no, 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 no. For the foreseeable future, possibly for a year, 52 weeks. <laughs> for real. <laughs> oh, yes. He, he rock for real? Yes. 52? He gets a so, paid So our executive days. producer is now working four days a week. <laughs> well, before... On, on top, on top of deciding out of nowhere, he doesn't okay. feel like doing the Opie and Anthony website anymore. Before you... Steve Carlisi. How is he helping off. our fucking show? Carlisi, before you get upset... Carlisi, Carlisi, Carlisi. Before you get upset, he explained it to me in very justifiable terms. A couple weeks ago, he said him and his fiance are we're getting married. He said we're getting married this weekend. So this Monday and every Monday for the foreseeable future, I'm taking off. Where's Steve Bladder for real? Not it, it, yet. He's here usually, no? I it's his Steve. day off. As soon, <laughs> soon as Steve is here, have him come into the studio. We won't put him on the air. He's not an air guy, but we got to talk. This is ridiculous. I thought it was a few Mondays. No, every Monday. Does that bother you, Ant? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm stunned. <laughs> is that Rachel Ray? Ah, the Prius. Mm. I, I pick one up. If you have the means, <laughs> I highly recommend you pick one up. Steve Carlisi's day off. <laughs> Holy shit. Yes. Boom, oh, boom. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm a man of leisure. Dude, and, he wonder, <laughs> and he wonders why none of his guys respect him. He's the guy that's supposed to be setting the example, and now he has decided he doesn't need to work Mondays for a show that's really important to this company, for, for a show that works their balls off as much as we fucking fool around and, and joke about it. We work our asses off. He told that's E-Rock. That's so fucking insulting to every fucking person here. He told E- Greg Hughes, it's Mr. Conley. You're an asshole. How does this work for a company? <laughs> See, he's day off. Why is yeah. I love See, that. Day swing off. better, swing better, <laughs> swing better, <laughs> swing better. <laughs> Let's shake it up, baby, now. <laughs> Twist and shout. Yes. So the gay parade floats. Yeah. <laughs> I want to eat that restaurant. I'm going to make a fake reservation with my new <laughs> stomach. <laughs> Shay Louis. <laughs> <laughs> the internet king of New Jersey. Yes. Abe you don't Froman. you know me? I'm Abe Froman. The yeah. internet king of Jersey. Look at the foundry logos on everything. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. He's lost me too, man. Uh, Steve has lost me. He told E Rock to start taking Fridays off. Oh, he did? <laughs> yes, yeah. that was his advice to E Rock. For the last few weeks, it's My been. My advice to you is to start drinking Wait. heavily. His advice is to have the whole staff taking <laughs> yeah, days off, yes. making our lives miserable because, I mean, as much as we beat these guys up, they make <laughs> our jobs so much easier. So much easier, and a few of them are underpaid. So now Steve has decided he gets Mondays off, and he's now suggesting E-Rock take Fridays off. Yes. Well, that yeah. puts us in a real shitty fucking uh, position, yeah, Steve. Certainly Thanks does. for uh, caring about uh, the guys that brought you up in this fucking business. God, I'm really fucking pissed as much I as we're making our, as, our, our... I'm astounded. As, as, as much as you're making the jokes, and, that, and you should, because, you know, we got to keep the comedy going. I'm astounded. It's fucking bullshit, the, is what it is. The problem is, is that... When we what found do you mean out, he told you, you he suggested that, you take that's Fridays off. That's what I'm getting to. Is it well, because you're wearing an old Pittsburgh Pirates jersey? Throwback jersey. When uh, we found out that we had all these days, Steve was the first to hand in his schedule, saying that, "Oh, I'm taking every Monday off." And then he's just been going around to the staff. Make sure you take your days off. Make sure you take your days off. He tells us Friday. At what point has he thought that it might really hurt uh, us three? Well, why are you guys all taking days off? We haven't yet. He's the only one no, who no, has. But I mean, what's the, why was he? Why would he be saying just take days off? Because we have a certain amount of days uh, How built up. How do you guys up? have so many fucking days? Because I guess XM because, never marked it. You know what? <sighs> We get some nice vacation now because we've been, you know, doing this for a long time. And the the beauty of that whole thing was you guys got all those days off too. You, usually that doesn't happen, you know. Yeah. So well, I don't understand how on top of that you guys have even more days off. Well, that was the problem at first when we first got here. It used to be very informal. Don't take it, you know. Try not to take too many sick days, and you can have off when the show's off. Huh. When we got here, they go, "Well, you guys can't take off when the show's off because you have less vacation time." So at that point, we all talked to HR and said exactly how many sick days and uh, vacation days have we accumulated over the three, four years we've all been here. And, like, Steve has 70 days. Or right, listen. Steve uh, gets Mondays off. That. Iraq gets Fridays off. I, I'm, okay. gra- I'm grabbing Wednesdays. Oh, I get yeah. Wednesday. Middle of the week, Mid-week. nice. Turns I it want, into two short fucking, like, work weeks. I want Tuesdays from 8.15 to 8.25. You got to <laughs> do the math. <laughs> Only it. Tuesdays. And what day you want off? Well, Sunday! I thought, oh. Yes. <laughs> how does but this help our show? Janine it's, had a good one here, uh, I guess because he's taking days off. And that's how you executive reduce. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very funny. Uh, I want <laughs> Thursdays. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. A family member has days off, <laughs> and you give them crap? You're an asshole! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got that down. I fucking love that. <laughs> and, and, oh, and God. What's Do you have a po- kids for daddy? <laughs> <laughs> daddy. What's, management's, what's management's position in this whole thing? They are... They can't really do anything about it. They're obviously, when you look at them, they are extremely frustrated that this is... 
the way it's worked out and but that should people they demand are, that like Steve takes a week off at a time so then that's like you get one week you know what I mean yeah Instead but of every Monday really fucks up the rhythm of what we're trying to do here it really does legally they can't say you have to do this with your days so while a rational human being would say oh well since my job is to make the show sound better um, maybe I won't take every Monday off Steve, all he sees is days, so he goes, oh, days for me, days for me. Like, some of us on the staff all said, oh, well, this means that we can now take vacation when the show takes vacation. And here and there, we could take a day off. We could at least just sit on them and feel comfortable knowing that if we have an off day. Dude, has to understand how this fucks us up. When he's gone on Monday, we then realize how shitty he is when he's here. So we need him to actually take... Uh, all the time yes. off. If he could have because five now, days off a week, yes, the show would run so much we better. we see, like, Monday, like, today is great <laughs> that he's not here. But now we know that he's coming in the rest of the week, and it fucks us up. Sucks. Yes. Just so you know how productive his workspace is, uh, we have a garbage can in his seat, and it's getting <laughs> yeah, more it's work usually, done. It's usually there <laughs> yes. every day of the week. You could actually prove that the garbage can is getting more work done than Steve. I think it's taking phone awesome. calls. Taking phone calls. Is it scrolling? My God. <laughs> You haven't asked it a question yet. <laughs> you have to ask it. Yes. I mean, no. Oh. Intern Evan told me that one time <laughs> Steve sent him out uh, to get a padlock and told him he had to find whatever, the nicest one. Intern Evan was out for an hour and a half trying to find a padlock for Steve, and he gets back, and he gives Steve this padlock that he spent an hour and a half of showtime looking for, and Steve says, Holy great. Shit. Now I'll be able to lock my stuff up in the gym when I get there after the show. Oh, good. That's <laughs> oh, he was oh he's also using our interns. Is that real? Intern Evan told me that. Yeah, he 100% told me that. Life real. goes by pretty fast. <laughs> if you don't take vacation time, you'll miss out on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Rooney, oh. I'll be there for my check. On Friday. Unbelievable, <laughs> dude! You know what? <laughs> he, yeah, if you have all those days, it's good to know you have them. Then every yeah. once in a while, you're like, you know what? I'm gonna take a day off. But to to actually make it every Monday, the foreseeable future, <laughs> and say the foreseeable future is it's, it's that's ridiculous. Like I think if somebody Mon- <laughs> every Monday here on in, <laughs> this is what he said. <laughs> I think if somebody told most of us you have 70 days off, we'd probably all be like, that's awesome. And realize we'll probably never actually use 70 days. 70. Steve immediately grabbed his calendar and marked 70 days that he used. 70 used. Mondays. Dude. That, that's a, <laughs> before, the, Mondays. before the next uh, brilliance of uh, comedy, I just got to say, it's, it's, he's, he's, it's a big fuck you to me, Aunt Jimmy, Danny, Is it? Rock, Mind your Sam, P's and Q's, Travis. Buster, and remember who you're dealing with. <laughs> Steve C. <laughs> He's just doing this to everybody. He really is. Hey, he's just taking his days. It's the company days. He's going to take them. Oh, fucking. <laughs> they can't take it away hey, Sam. Yeah. And, if, and it, he wonders why none of these guys respect him. It's, you know, you don't have, just look in the mirror, Steve. And then you you can answer your own question. I don't like I to. I don't understand. <laughs> these guys don't listen to me. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> because they're. Hey. hey, I tell you, I get no respect. <laughs> My dad is Vinnie Boombats. <laughs> He's barely breaking even on his web page, and this is like free money. He, I mean, he told me. Yeah, barely guess. breaking even. He said free money? Yeah, I mean, it, this is money. It's like it's costing him money if yeah, he doesn't I'll tell you free days. money. Holy mother of fuck. Mm. You know? Gonna go stare at a Monet. <laughs> <laughs> it's Steve Carlisi's <laughs> day off. Making me so gay. (laughs) (laughs) God damn, man. (laughs) Yes. He just hopes you guys don't see him while he's in the parade. (laughs) John Shane. He'll steal a taxi (laughs) from us. Yeah. Anthony will look over and say, Is that Steve? Steve? What? Yes. 
<laughs> Look, I'm on the float with Scandinavian women or without you. Without you. There's Steve in his vest. Uh, yes, it's my vest. But he's a fan of that pattern anyway. Though. Yes, That's that leopard print. <laughs> God damn, how do you get away with it? Uh, um, how do you get away with it? God bless you. Stay in age. funny because I'm like, I'm out of my mind. It's ridiculous. I don't get it. You know how God pissed, bless you for the You know how comedy. pissed he'd be if, if it turns out now that they go to him and go, you can't do this. He will be every Monday. He will just be crankier than he always is. You I know? will tell you something. I believe Steve C. will try to sue the company if they tell him he can't take Mondays off. That's something I think. I believe that he will try to sue the company. You can speak with my attorney. <laughs> He's becoming a hindrance is what he is. Yes. He is becoming, a hindrance. Becoming? Well, I'm trying to be nice about it. He has been for a while. All right. He has. And this is – it's it's ridiculous. I mean these guys not only are here every fucking day. I get emails and phone calls from these guys. I'm still at work. I'm like, what? I, I already took a three-hour nap and I went on a yeah. bike ride. And this guy is, you know, jumping at the opportunity to work less. Well, he does give us the assignments before he leaves for the day. So, oh, I mean, we at least know what at least, at least that's yeah. good. Yeah. Sam, you yeah. laugh in his face at this point, I hope. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh, I know yes. Danny has for a long time, and I hope you're at that level, too. I mean, you, you're not going nowhere. Trust Danny's me. been vindicated. Danny's going nowhere. Danny has been vindicated for every doubt. E Rock, you can continue maybe kissing he was Steve's wrong. Ass. No problem. We need one. <laughs> I'll protect you. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Do you kiss his ass? No. Right. A little bit. A little no, smooch? I can work with him. I don't kiss his ass. A little though. bit. You do laugh at him now, though? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm cordial enough. I'm not at the Danny level where uh, <laughs> I just spit in his face, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, where's, of, course. Yes, of course. Where's Travis, besides being a sarcastic douche? Right here. How, oh, how, do, do, I, you han- how do you handle Steve at this point? Uh... Very sarcastically. Yeah, Travis is in the Danny camp. Steve doesn't really talk to Travis either. Yeah, that's good. Like every uh, every Monday, he'll ask me to send him the prep sheet that I (laughs) make in the morning, and somehow every Monday I forget to do it until the afternoon. (laughs) Yes, because I don't see why he needs it if he's sitting at home. And not answering his phone. Travis told me this morning. He goes, "See, that's what pisses me off the most." And we'll go back to the jokes. Is the fact? All right, so. He's in a position where he knows he's got the company by the balls and he's taking every Monday off, but he's not even willing to answer his fucking phone on Mondays to do a quick little, hey, Steve, where's this? What's going on with this type of thing? So you'd think the give Steve the recap of what happened on the show today is only when he's off. But every day after the show, he asks one of us, do we, he goes to the prep sheet and says, do we play this? Do we play this? Do we play this? E-Rock told me that he was sitting in studio one time when Danny was sick. Yeah. In studio with you guys, and he comes out of the studio after the show and says, "Hey, E Rock, what audio did we play today?" And E Rock goes, time. "You were not answering phones. You were not checking email. You were yeah, sitting in what? studio with them." Oh my god! <laughs> and what kind of assignments he gives you guys? Try calling him. See if you can get him on the phone, uh, Travis. Well, we've called him about fifty times. Oh, okay. Uh, with him not answering, and he knows the- we're calling. What a fucking dick! It's his day off. <clears throat> yeah, but he he, also- he sleeping <laughs> in. <laughs> No, he's checking out a ball game. He's not even <laughs> supposed to be here today. <laughs> he never bothered telling. Remember we were talking about yesterday? Wrong movie, dickhead. What movie did Travis reference? Clerks. Oh, Nobody oh. was talking about Clerks. I was talking fool. about Clerks. He went to work in Clerks. Saying well. I'm not even supposed to be here <laughs> means, yeah, he went to work. <laughs> so you all fucking do that to work, you stink. If Steve had come in on oh. Sunday, it would be like Clerks. <laughs> right. If he worked six days, he works four days, though. It's more Furthest like this Ferris Bueller. situation from Clerks ever. <laughs> It's not at all like Clark. He finally got a little courage to pot it up and say it on the air, and he crashed and burned on his first first sortie. Well, you know, we were talking yesterday. Yeah, I figured you'd fucking throw one out there, huh? Wow. Oh, wow. (laughs) We should just put a fucking mute on that microphone. There's no need for it. Why don't you take today off? Uh (laughs) I can't. Steve already did. Yes. I want to hear about the assignments that Steve Uh. gives these guys every day. No, the only... Here's the problem. (laughs) The only thing Steve ever tells us to do is something that somebody else obviously told him to tell us to do, (laughs) except he's a terrible communicator. And what happens is very useful information gets filtered out 
<laughs> before it hits us. Steve is the useful information <laughs> filter. And so we have to try to figure out who told Steve to tell us to do that and then go to them and get the assignment again. Right. Like, for instance, if Rob Cross were to say, hey, Steve, have the guys do this, it's usually something that needs to get done in a legitimate request. But Steve asks Eric, me, or whoever to do it, and Eric and me look at him like, what are you talking about? Like, we can't even comp- – it doesn't make sense what he's asking us to do. So then we go to Rob Cross and say, hey, did you want us to do this? And Rob will- – no. Here is it. Then he here throws is in what- those details that yes. left out and it all makes sense. Yes. Ah, I got gotcha. you. Which wow. is why the show runs smoothly on Mondays. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's no question about it. We've been asked by other serious employees, well, who is Steve's fill-in? When when he's gone, like who is the guy in charge? The garbage pail. Yeah, who's, who's the guy in charge Tuesday through Friday? I mean, what, it's the same. It runs the same. It runs the same. Whether it runs it's here exactly or not, right? the same. Yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> and then he gives us a big fuck you. That's great, Steve. Thanks for everything we did for you over the years. Fuck you. Let's go to the uh, break with the fu line and. Uh, Steve, there's a big controversy here. Mm -hmm. You're saying one thing, and the entire staff is saying another thing. And I mean the entire staff. Oh, I know. Uh, The original email you uh, you sent, I assumed it was just a few Mondays. But then it it took on a life of of its own, and and, uh, everyone is saying it was for the foreseeable future. Including Steve Blatter, by the way, who's uh, your boss. Right. And I Even Blatter is saying that you said foreseeable future. I said, I spoke to Steve last night, and I'm going to speak to him again today, and we're going to work this whole thing out. Um, when I found out how much time me and some of the other guys had off, uh, I said, well, there's uh, there's some days off that we have, and we can't, we're, there's, and we're obviously not going to be able to get to use all of them, but we can use some of them. So you you and, do realize it worked the other way, too, right? All those years of, uh, of taking four or five, six weeks off, that was like something that probably shouldn't have happened yeah but, i know and this is but me and we Ant didn't... certainly weren't going to be the ones going hey you guys shouldn't have as much fucking vacation time as us oh absolutely absolutely and and so with it works that said, in your favor the other way too is what i I'm understand saying. that i understand that and i said well there's no way that we're going to be able to use some of uh all of it so but we can certainly use some of it now i got married uh the other week and i said it well in advance of this to my bosses that i wanted to take some mondays off in lieu of taking a honeymoon because the show came first. Um, and nobody voiced an objection to it. Now, uh, and I also and told no one, you. No, because it seemed like it was a, a few Mondays. Right. And, I, and, liter- and, and that few Mondays was July and a few in August. That was a few. And it adds up to about six, I think. That's a little yeah. more than a few. Uh, four in July, two in August is six. That's okay. six days. That's that's that. Is that is that that's, lot? So that's that's a little five over, per month. That's, that's a little over a week. <laughs> that, that's borderline more than a few. Okay. To be honest with you, I'm right. starting to lean into the holy shit category. All right. Well, nobody. <laughs> lean into the holy shit. Nobody. Holy shit! I wish I could do that uh, category. God. Nobody. Imagine it. We could get the next six Mondays off. Oh, Are you kidding God me? Damn. Cherished. I can't downplay that. Cherished. I, I'm. I'm. Run, I got this funny joke I do. I'm running for office. And I say no more Mondays. <laughs> It's great, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, you you have, so you, if you send out an email, I didn't know the Boom Town Rat song was about Steve Carlisi. <laughs> do you have a copy of the email? Because I'll just clear it up. Thank sure you. do. Okay. There you go. Sure do. Absolutely. Monday, Monday. Yes, can't go. work that day. <laughs> just another manic Monday. I prefer Sunday. <laughs> Absolutely. Just another sleep in Monday. <laughs> That's my cum day. I'm sorry, Steve. You went in striking distance, so I probably uh, And I, of course, stipulated that if anybody else was out, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be doing that. Which I absolutely did. When Travis was out, I completely well, stayed in. Well, what about the other part of the equation where you don't even answer your phone on a Monday? Nobody. Everybody's got my help. My my home phone. Everybody's got. Everyone it. called you yesterday. Nobody called my house phone. Didn't ring once. Travis. We called both numbers yesterday. About yeah, you called 50 my times. cell phones. You called my cell phones. They were in the other room. I didn't have them with me. Nobody called my house phone. Well, everybody's has got your it. House phone. Everybody's do do got it. Who doesn't have Who doesn't have their cell phone near them though? Come on. I didn't yesterday. I was the entire morning. No. What time did you get up yesterday? About seven. And you didn't hear your cell phone ring no. once. Come on, Steve. 
No, I didn't. If I'm more than a foot away from my cell phone, I have a panic attack. Um, do you pass these over? Sure, absolutely. Um, oh, Sam's running down the hall. What is this? Now, anyway. Transcripts? Well, no, that's... He, who, who is this sent to? This that was sent to my bosses, Stephen Oh, Rob. to Stephen Rob. Okay. And this was sent this morning? No. no I'm kidding. Um, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> well, that's not true. <laughs> no, wait a that's minute. not true. It, one, two, three, four, five, six. That would make seven. Now we're up to seven Mondays, not six. Yeah, but one of these I didn't take, so. Oh. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Thank wait, you for wait. giving us that day. Uh, uh, okay. Well, this is uh, uh, June twenty uh, sixth. Sure. This was sent out mm -hmm. at um, three fifty three a.m. And then it says that uh, you're taking time off, and so for the foreseeable future. And then it has a bunch of dates. Yeah, but listen, but and then it goes clearly. and so forth and so on. There's the word foreseeable that you told me last night. You didn't say it's right in your email. But yeah, but look, and, but, and, right. wait, wait, wait. And what is and so forth and so on? Doesn't that mean that you continue right. with was, the Mondays? That what is what and so forth and so on? There's mean? a lot of guilt in your email. This is because the key to this whole thing valuable yesterday. Valuable evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the car. The key to what we were discussing yesterday, a few Mondays, and I said I had a problem with the word foreseeable, and the foreseeable is right in the email you sent to your own bosses, right. and then Ann also points out and so forth and so on, which means, which means it's going to continue. It's that's a dot 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 for the dates. We have we have six twenty nine, seven six, seven thirteen, seven twenty, seven twenty seven, eight three, eight ten. 817 through 824 vacation days and then 831 and so forth and so on which would lead me to believe you mean 9 whatever 6 right uh, and, then, and then 9 whatever my just so on and so forth right. my intention for saying that was only up to uh, only through August. It was not going to be. Go but what beyond is that. then so, so forth and so on? on? I will. My defense in this is that I'm crazy. All right, and that I don't. You can't plead insanity on this show. Everyone's crazy everyone, on this show. Everyone is misrepresenting what you're saying, but in your own email, you plead insanity on no, this I'm not, show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not pleading insanity. I'm not pleading insanity. <laughs> I'm you not said my it. only defense is that I'm crazy. I'm fucking you said nuts. And so forth and so but on. And your answer is I'm crazy. You said yes. you didn't use the word foreseeable, which is right in your Holy original shit. email, and so forth and so on. This is very obvious that you want to take pretty much every Monday off that you possibly can. For the first. That's the only way you, you could read this. Yeah, but that's that not. Listen, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant, and that's not what I was going you, to do. You said these guys are 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 basically liars and miscommunicating, and and it's getting back to us, and they're working me and Ann and all this crap. How how are they working us when it's in your own email? That was not my intention the to end, do that. The end, so forth and so on is the the. Uh, smoking well, gun. Right all right, there. fair enough. Yeah. But that means you, know you want your Mondays yeah. no. off continuing into September. No, it's not. It's really not. Then you explain what and so forth and so on means. For real. Yeah. Honestly, that was the first email I sent out and I really didn't get and I didn't get a response from anybody, but I was only going to do through uh through the uh, vacation do you, days. Do you, do you, maybe it was, maybe you sent that's us that's a different email. Do you have the one that you sent to oh, and I myself? Sure do. I, I actually don't remember that, getting it. But, not, that, but that's not what it says. But when no, you, no, yeah, so forth and so on means, means you are going to continue the thought that you put on paper. See, there's a pattern here. It's every Monday. That's the pattern. And then dot, 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 the and so forth and so on means the pattern will continue. How about this? Subject, Monday's off foreseeable future and so forth and so on yeah. everything else doesn't mean shit that, that really yeah that, that really pretty much just spells it out i i don't um reading reading and this is basically saying the same thing that you want a lot of Mondays off. No, it doesn't. It says it really doesn't. <laughs> I'll, I'll read it just so people know if it's cool. Uh, if there's nothing, I won't say her name. Not that you can. Yeah. Read, read her. Uh, oh, just so what? you're in the loop. Oh, no, no, I'm reading it. Oh. I'm getting married on Saturday. I'm keeping it on the DL um, until my my girl and I actually do it. 
but since she's out of town half the week all the time, I want to use some of my 75 days off, and then in, pre in quote, parentheses, Steve puts, yes, that's really how much I have stored up, to spend a day with her, and taking off Mondays would allow me to do that. Obviously, on days we're short-staffed, I won't be out. Bladder and Cross are already okay with it, but it dawned on me that I hadn't told you guys yet. Again, I'm keeping it quiet until we do it, but I want you to know that's my plan, as long as you have no objection. Some of the guys, namely me, Eric, and Derek, have a lot of uh, an obscene amount of paid time off that were built up with XM that we have to use by next June. Why don't you acknowledge Danny and Travis in, the, in this email? Because they're they have the time off. Everybody's got it. Everybody's got it, and I've and everybody's got their list of how much they have. But the amount of time that the uh, that those three of us have is so much, so far and gone beyond what everybody else has because we've been on the books longer. Okay. Um. And I've seen amount of paid time off that built up with XM that we have to use by June. We probably won't be able to use anywhere near all of it, but we can use some. You say 51 days in the one email, 75 in this one. Am I incorrect or no? No, you're not. 51 mm. sick days I have. This one says yeah. One is days. one is one is sick days plus days off. One oh, okay. is because uh, we got okay. we got two different emails from the HR department. Okay. I anyway. will say, in, th in this one, you do say that you're just checking to make sure it's okay, yeah. as long as you have no objection. It, it is kind of tough, though, and so forth and so on. It, it does, in, in a way, it's like, yeah, that does kind of in implicate that you want to do a and lot. This one you know. says taking Mondays off would allow me to do that. It doesn't state how many or how few you are, are thinking about taking off. Right. Uh, the one thing, though, where it says, obviously, on days we're short-staffed, I won't be out. Now, that leads me to believe on days that uh, you're not short-staffed, you will be out. See, it's that, like, obviously, in that amount of time, again, I'm only talking about the, in these two months. No. No, though, and so forth and so on covers the... Right. So forth and so every, on. All right. Am I, your whole argument. Yeah, that, I understand that. That but, covers that 51 Mondays, right, but absolutely. Or 75, absolutely. depending on what it is. So forth and so on, I basically, never until your, your day is the pattern. Out. That's, like, that's like whenever you go like, okay, let's count um, even numbers. Two, four, six, eight, Who 10, do we 12. appreciate, Steve? <laughs> Sorry. Hooray. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and so on and so forth. It, it doesn't end. It just keeps right. going until you, you know. Until you run out of the 51 and sick so days forth, that, that you list. And so on. It's not and so forth until, and so forth and so on. At no point did I ever articulate to any of my bosses or you guys that I was planning on taking a year's worth of Mondays. Really? I well, did not. I'm not you saying talk a year. To I'm I did. Saying the, I spoke to him. You I, think I, we're confused. He was like, look, there's nothing I can do about it. No, there's nothing he can do about it. But he voiced, he finally yesterday voiced his uh, disapproval with but you made it sound like we all are crazy, and the fact is, you 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 you, fled I, you fucked up this whole thing from the beginning with I never your email. Up anything, I foreseeable never... future, and so forth and so on. That doesn't I say, rest my case. That doesn't say a year. Get me a judge on the phone. Get me a jury. We would win so easily. I understand on this that, one. but 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 jumping to the conclusion that I was going to take a year off—that's not true. I never articulated that. All right, I, that ever. I'll say and that, and I'll go the, back to foreseeable future and so forth and so on. And I got fifty-one sick days. That that means pretty much every Monday. That doesn't mean anything. For the next I year. never articulated it. Absolutely not. I didn't. I didn't. How are we supposed? To... I'm not. Sure. I'll, I'll ask you this because I, I don't want to put words. How around and around and around? Sure. Of how, course. Which, which, how is... could you interpret? How could somebody interpret? Like when you listed the Mondays, if you had listed just the Mondays through August, how about then you go that's August? But how could somebody have interpreted and so forth Steve, and so on? Read your own email and explain. I I did and I have no, several times out, over. out loud on the show. Because I can't I just sit here. Anthony, and can I have a copy of Steve's first email, please? It's going to be almost yes, impossible for you, for people okay. to to okay, believe. I understand that. Listen, and I know I'm going to get my your own nuts words smashed. Kill you. So read, read your email. Subject: Mondays off. Heads up. Go from there just and, ex a, okay. and, and explain what you mean after every sentence. Just a heads up for the next bunch of Mondays, excluding those days when Travis is on a paternity leave or the days we need people to cover. I'm going to take some of the 51 sick days I have. So for the foreseeable future. And you know, you're you're right. You're right. That. Should not have been in there, but it's my own fault for using that terminology. Uh, and then I list uh, the 29th, you know, every Monday through there, some of which I did not take off. All right. 
and then I put in so forth and so on. Again, should not have put it in there because it jumped. It leads one to jump to an unreasonable conclusion. Unreasonable. I was in a hole. <laughs> no, oh my God, and, and <laughs> that's this is where really, it's a reasonable this is where the conclusion. Sucks. It's a reasonable conclusion Absolutely. to think, and so forth and so on means this will continue Absolutely. with the pattern that I have stated here. Uh, it, it just it it will continue. Again. That's what, and so forth and so on is. Continuing. Absolutely no <laughs> objection forward. between the 29th or the 26th of June and when I sent you guys, mm -hmm. the one I sent you, which was July 7th, was an objection stated to anything that I wrote. Let me, at Steve, all. let me ask you a question. Now, Travis, were you here during Travis's maternity leave? Yes. Paternity leave, was, Absolutely. Um, how many, what See, days was that? I don't remember. Steve, I'm not going to, I could read this. I, I certainly wouldn't blow up your spot by reading emails you don't want me to read, but I'll, I, I could read this. You write, there's a lot of deliberate miscommunication going on. How is it deliberate miscommunication when, when we read your email one way and you, you're, you're swearing it wasn't meant to be that way? So, so <laughs> these guys are guilty of deliberate miscommunication? Are you kidding me? Some of it, you some, some you of make it is... very gray here and make it very easy for people to miscommunicate, not, I'm not to see it a completely different way. Some of the stuff that, that that is said about me in regards to this is absolutely not true. Like what? I never said I was going to take a year's worth. That was said. Oh, I don't know who said, said it. That I never said that. For I never said I was going to take a year. We said, which is in your email, that you're going to take every Monday off for the foreseeable future. And then I heard... That could be more than a year, to be honest with yeah, you. Who knows said, what that really means? We never said a year either. Oh, oh, Steve, you list foreseeable future means way more than a few Mondays. You I'm sorry. eight days here. Mm -hmm. Now, you said unless Travis is on leave. So you, you had said that you wanted to take about six days. Mm -hmm. Now, which... Travis, what days were you out? And was Steve... Because Steve might have been out... Uh, might have been here. No, he was here. I was only out for, for one straight week. Was that the sixth... Yeah. And the, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let me, here's, this is where I'm, this is the only thing that I want to question. At the bottom it says and so forth and so on, but then Steve says so that's about eight days right there. Obviously, I'll let the rest of my guys know. If if it was intended to be forever, why put eight days right there? Like was and so forth and so on, meaning that this pattern will continue. Like if Travis is out for two or three days until I take my six or seven days. No, like, that meant you know what? Uh, in if I'm if I have to try to remember what I was thinking, I was gonna put those right there and then play it by ear for the rest of the time, you know. And that's fair, that's fair. But you know what? I can't. Because you do say foreseeable future. You do say. But my only thing is you say. I think it's then going back and saying so. That's about eight days right there right. that he listed. Okay. But then, and so forth and so on, he didn't include that in the, so that's about and eight days right there. And he said he's got 51 it to doesn't begin really, with, so. It doesn't okay. really then, vindicate that, him for the, and so forth and so on. That leads you to believe there's another 43 coming. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> it really does. And, and you said, uh, you let, hmm. you, meaning me, man, this pissed me off big time, you let those guys instigate an entire line of bullshit. No, your own email instigated everything that is happening to you, Steve. I didn't let nobody do shit. No, you have a guy. Okay. You have a bunch of guys in here that's like this uh, Lord of the Flies mentality, dude. When and you write an email like this, there's no instigation going on. But this makes people go, "Holy shit!" The guy that is our boss is is taking pretty much every Monday off. My boss, for my bosses were the only ones who saw this email. My bosses were the only ones who saw this email, What's so the, nobody was privy to this. You know, so what were they privy? Yeah, but you what put were they on, privy to? The calendars during yes. our staff meetings where, you know, it's upcoming bookings and shit that's going on. And then every Monday, just down the line, it says Steve off, Steve off, Steve off, yeah, Steve off, that Steve was, off. And that was about and it came up four. At a, it came up in a meeting. And I remember somebody saying, Steve, you taking every Monday off? And you were like, yeah. I was like, for how long? And you said, for the foreseeable future. For the foreseeable future could mean. So don't say I. Uh, so then know. how. So then if, if that's what's said from you, how is anybody on this staff twisting words? No one's lying. We're not. No letting, one's. No one's. We're not letting guys instigate an entire line of bullshit, and then and you bought into it. Oh, I did, huh? Nice. When he's saying foreseeable future, your email says foreseeable future. The the boss, Steve Blatter, I guess he he bought into the line of bullshit too, because he's like, yeah, that's what I that's what I read this to be. No, every and fucking I, Monday. I told him last night. I said I never said a full year. I never said it. Never articulated. I don't think anybody so, said a full year. Yeah, it's, it, it was said on the air yesterday. Believe me, I listened to that. It right. was said on the air, and and I didn't. I, I never said All right, it. So there's a difference between us saying a full year and you saying a few Mondays. It's obviously somewhere way in between. Well, whatever it, whatever it means, it's not. You know, obviously I can't do it. 
Obviously, I can't do it. You can do whatever you want. No, I, apparently if I you, can't. Apparently, you I can't. Got the days. You got the days. No, I, I apparently I can't because it's, it's uh, just hard to run a show when the executive producer has decided to work a four day work week like Howard Stern. Holy shit! We would all love that fucking deal. Trust no, me. but you know what? Nobody voiced an objection to anything I said. All you had to do was say I'm not cool with it. The first email we were cool with because it sounded like a few Mondays. This this one it makes foreseeable future and so forth and so on. That's all I'll keep saying over and over again. And I, I, was also and I would win in front of a judge every time. We weren't on that one, though. So right, that's but what that, I mean. Yeah. But that yeah. just became part of what 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 is what was uh, known to be after you the know what? truth. Yeah. Sam, where's Sam? Because you know you, you know you you think Danny's always picking on you. Sam, what do you know about this? Well, he said the words foreseeable future to me to my face i said how many money he said i'm getting married this weekend i'm not telling anybody until it's done i'm going after that i'm going to be taking every monday off for the foreseeable future the year thing came up yesterday when we said how many sick days does he have your email says 51 sick days that's about a year you said foreseeable future every monday so 51 weeks well then i'll clarify a year nobody said you are definitely taking every monday for a year off but that is a strong possibility when you have 51 days, That's a, a one safe, day a week. That's a safe assumption. It was a little vague. But it's an assumption nonetheless. And what I what I meant by foreseeable future was It's a more accurate assumption than what you're saying. Well, it doesn't it, it, it's it's a moot point at this at this level because I can't do it. I can't do it. All right? Initially nobody had a problem. Now everyone's got a problem. Last week nobody had a problem with it. Now it's a problem. I might, I don't personally I don't think it's, it's I'm only saying that I can understand why because i know sometimes the staff gives you a hard time and and but i can't understand why somebody would interpret that as thinking you many years worth of money it's like when you read that it's kind of hard to not interpret that all way. right nobody except my bosses saw that initial email but mm -hmm. it doesn't right. even matter at this point because you said it to enough people that right. foreseeable future danny heard it sam heard it steve blatter heard it and i think it was more like and Nobody. that's when, yeah, we started having a problem with your original email and what happened yesterday. But like because said, the like, a few Mondays just, tur just turned into a foreseeable future. And I even asked Steve Blatter, I'm like, what's going on with Steve? I thought it was a few Mondays. He's like, well, no, it's it's pretty much every Monday, and there's nothing we can do about it. And what does no. E-Rock have to say about this? Hopefully very little. E-Rock, did you hear foreseeable future, <laughs> or did you hear a few Mondays because I just got married? Actually, I didn't even hear both. I was told... Either you um, Either. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, <laughs> I, I was told that um, w when we were finding out about all these days, he's like, you got to take them off, you got to take them off. What are you doing? Oh, I'm taking Mondays off. And For how long? Well, I can take them off as long as I want. I have the days, is what I was told. Okay. All right. But, That's more uh, than a few, by the way. I got an email from uh, from Steve on June 28th saying that I will be out on Mondays except for when Travis is out. So it's pretty much stating that he was taking. Yeah, it's open ended. It's open ended. Yeah, it is open ended. It's open ended it until say a year. It, I I wouldn't you know imagine it would be a year or something, but it is open ended. My intentions was to, were to make it very very brief. I was not intending to make it a make it a year, and it got absolutely blown out of proportion due to the email. Had to be the email. When I read that, all I can think is, I'm surprised all right. they never got back to you and said, what the fuck? I, yeah, you know, well, you know what? Nobody you, you did. So Nobody so did. Yeah. Nobody said boo to me about it at the all. the bosses can't. They legally can't tell you no. not to take the days. That's they why can say, I'd rather you didn't. They could say, could you work something else out? Which is, what, which is what my boss said to me last night. Let's work something else out. And, you know, and, and, and that, got... was, that was after, after I got my, my, uh, my nuts smashed in yesterday. So, fine. So and I'm gonna well that we got because we weren't privy to the first one with this so forth and so on. The one that we got is a little more even even more vague than and the so forth and so on one. Has not the no one get so I hence, yeah, hence yeah, my yeah. response no flag. Hence uh, my response, which is right here. No problem, Steve. Happy for you guys. Yeah, yeah, because it but sounds then, like I'm just going to take a couple of Mondays off here and there. And then when you hear you're going to take a few Mondays <clears> off, of course the staff's going to start talking, and then we start hearing the rumblings. Well, a few Mondays, he's saying foreseeable future. He's saying every Monday. He's saying he's got uh, over 50 fucking sick days he's got to use up, so he's going to take Mondays Well, you heard off. rumblings. You didn't hear from me. 
You heard rumblings. Everyone heard it. Steve. Well, that's everyone. That's not me. Nobody asked me. My home phone didn't everyone. ring yesterday. No, I, I've never had your home. Nobody phone Nobody has number. your home phone. Number. I've never, never had, had your home telephone number. And ever. it doesn't matter. You're on your fucking uh, cell phone literally the entire time you're here. I, I, I'm not buying that. You're, you're away from your cell phone for more than an hour, please. We tried calling you all day yesterday. Yeah, I know, and I saw it. You got to, by the way, back. get your point on the radio because yeah, it was getting pretty ugly for you. So we're like, you know what? Let's get Steve's point. So we called you all fucking day. Well, I didn't see it until afterwards. That's, I didn't. But you, but you texted Liam yeah. at nine thirty. You texted Liam on your phone at yeah, 9.30. yeah, because Liam said I was getting my nuts smashed. But then how could you have right, not uh, seen the missed calls if you had your phone at nine thirty? Yeah, you said you didn't Liam. see the calls, Travis. You just yeah. told Travis. I don't, Steve. What but, the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? Steve. You're talking in circles. I'm not talking in Travis, circles. Travis, what did he, what did he say about the you calling? He said he never saw us call. All right. If we called your cell phones 50 times and then you texted Liam back while we were still you, you on didn't the see air. all the missed calls? Yeah, and I, also you had to have clicked also okay knowing on you're being smashed. Calls. And then we're, we're still on the air for another hour, hour and 50. We actually kind of went late yesterday. We, we went to about 1040, 1045. So <clears throat> you had every opportunity to defend yourself yesterday on the show. Well, calling up just to get my nuts kicked wasn't a priority. No, 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 no. Steve, I also tried calling you, too, because Liam was trying to get in touch with you for 15 minutes. He didn't know you were off yesterday, and he was handling Ace and some other stuff going on. So he finally called the office looking for you, and I said, oh, Steve's not in today. Whole talent oh. department has my home number. Whole talent he department. He couldn't get in touch with you. Then after I spoke to Liam, I started calling you from the office, and it just went right to your voicemail. So I dealt with Liam for the rest of the stuff that day. But whole he had no idea, and you booked that whole thing. Whole talent department has Some, my home. A bunch number. of people scream and say bullshit. He said it on the radio last week. He said it on the radio. Who said what? What? That you were taking a lot of Mondays off. Well, when did I say that? I don't know, but it came in a few times. Well, so. I'm not going to listen to hearsay from the audience. Well, it's something they've been known to lie no, through their teeth. All I'm saying is it's something to look into. If more than a few are saying it, so there really is a, a overwhelming amount of evidence anyway, just in the documentation. Mm -hmm. I like keeping this illegal. <laughs> It just, you know, I don't know, the so forth and so on that kind of got me. That's all. Well, listen. It just seems like a... Nobody voiced an objection. Absolutely. Nobody. Nobody. I'm just doing a little um, Road Warrior. Nobody. And you're right. In you're terms on... of in terms of continuity now, I will not be doing... I'm not going to do it anymore. <clears throat> I'm not going to do it anymore. I got... Uh, I got a wife at home who, who cried because my uh, because she heard, she heard me getting the shit kicked out of me yesterday. So that was a fun evening for me. And... um you know, she watching the wedding video. <laughs> yeah, no video. Um, <laughs> yeah, <it's funny. laughs> but so you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. They can just sit there and and I won't use them. I won't use them. Nah, we'd never say not use them. No, you know what? Yeah, because you, know what? you would take a, take a, a week uh, during vacation or something see, like that, or, or see, something. That's where you're insane, Steve. That's to be fine. real, you're, it's Why? not an all or nothing. Because thing. we're not saying it's an all or nothing. But yeah. that's certainly what we're it saying, sounds like. No, be, oh. no. We just need we, we need talk? an executive he producer he here. That's um, uh, on on a steady Mondays. One hundred percent of the week instead of eighty percent. It can't be week. like like Mondays for the foreseeable future or no like with no end in sight for us. We can't go. Okay, we just have to <clears throat> not have an executive producer for Mondays for some vague amount of time. Well, if nothing but, else, but if you came up and said, "Hey guys." I'm going to fucking uh, you know Bahamas for a, a, a week, right? A uh, week and a half, whatever. Um, we're not gonna go. No, we can't do it without you. We need you know. No, that's fine. That is a, a beginning and an end to it. And you you go. You have the time. You have fun. You you take it. I, honestly, I never thought you'd allow. I honestly never thought you'd allow that. It was, the, vague, it was that. the vagary of this uh, long, kind of extended, open ended. Monday off thing. What, do you do understand uh, taking every Monday yeah. off hurts a lot more than just taking a week out of nowhere, a week and a half out of nowhere? Yeah, I honestly vacation. never thought you'd agree. Uh, you know, I never thought you'd agree. Vacation? To, who would say no to a honeymoon? Nobody ever likes your yeah, yeah. your girl. Nobody would. Nobody would have said no to a, a week for you and her. Nobody. Her to go no. We probably would have tried to I, talk I her saw. out of it, but nobody would have said don't go away for a honeymoon. Of course, I never thought anybody would go That's for it. Wait. It's way worse to take every Monday off for the foreseeable future. Well, I wasn't going to take it for the for for an eternity, and I wasn't going to take it for a year, and I wasn't going to do any of that. How many how many Mondays are you going to take off, even though it says foreseeable future and so forth and so on? I was going to stop. As you listed the, eight, the last Monday, with. the last Monday I was going to take off after uh, consideration was going to be the uh, the one before vacation, and that was it. So, 
you shouldn't have wrote and so forth and so on. Yeah, it does make it which, it makes it does make it kind of difficult which because makes you so guilty and you yeah. you're saying we're misrepresenting what you're saying. It implies a pattern. It it does make it hard. It does it does imply a pattern. Well, fair you enough, that. but you know what? Again, my bosses were the only one who saw that. And I'm and and, and I'm Steve, allowed. Stop with that shit because when, but when no, you I, say something to Steve Blatter in an email that says foreseeable future, a lot of Mondays listed and so forth and so on, you don't think Steve Blatter is then going to talk to me and Anthony? That's where it all. Yes, he did. Yesterday or or before that? A while ago. And 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 your response. And then to it that all was? came out yesterday. And then we try to get you on the phone to get your side of the Why story. Why does nobody pipe up before then? Nobody. Why does nobody? Everybody pipe was piping up. Yeah, yesterday. And, that, and then it came out <laughs> yesterday. Yes, because huh? yesterday was a Monday. So it was. It was on everyone. If everyone's... you'd rather I didn't do it, you should have said so. But nobody said anything. So we're wrong. Because everyone in, everyone I, in I this room is earlier wrong. why no one said anything. Because the bosses got one email, we got another. The boss's email throws up a red flag because it's oh, and so forth and so on. That isn't as vague as the email to us. Which said some Mondays, and, and like Opie said, his response was no problem, Steve. Happy for you guys. This doesn't throw up any open-ended Monday red but flag. But if they talked to you months ago, this one if, does. If, first but, of all, you're exaggerating that your email is June 26. So sometime right. between June 26, uh, uh, Steve Blatter came to us and was like, "Well, this we got a weird situation here, and it was developing, and it all came to a head yesterday because it was another Monday that you weren't here." And Opie does respond. Um, it's almost like what, what my, my thing was when what Opie's response is, uh, "Hey, no problem, man." Like meaning he he thought you were going to take a few Mondays and was was kind of cool with it. As you know, you understand if he had re sure. resp responded to the uh, which part the of list of email, the list of dates, and then said no problem, but that wasn't the one he responded to. He responded to the other one. So I, you know what I mean? Where he probably thought you were just going to take a All few right, Mondays. So and, is... and, and and if you wrote me and Ant this one, then you wrote to Steve Blatter and Robert. Cross, we would have absolutely had a major problem with this and would have said, well, Steve, what the fuck are you doing? These are two completely different emails. Right. The emails They're are completely different. Were they written on the same day? But, but, and then wait, when we but, get the, uh, and when you write this one to the bosses, and th then it, it, it's on our radar, like, what the hell is Steve doing? I thought it was a few Mondays. Now I'm hearing it's more. And then we're trying to get to the bottom of it. And then it all came to a head yesterday. So and yesterday was the only, was, was the first time that either of my bosses uh, addressed it with you guys? No. Leading up to yesterday. Okay. Why, why, didn't, why didn't you just forward this to, to open? I mean, uh, I really, I, mean, I said myself to be polite, but really for open air, why didn't you forward this one that you had sent to uh, Bladder and Cross on June 26th? Oversight, to be perfectly honest with and you. By I the way, didn't... and like Sam said, technically, they, they can't argue the fact that you have all these days and you want to take Mondays off. They can't. Yep. It's illegal. They can't say. I, I understand what the fuck that. I understand that. So it's so it's my own. So it's my. So you can do whatever the fuck you mm, want. Yes, I know, and I'm not going to take every Monday. And I never said I was going to take every Monday. Ever articulated it? Well, you can. We don't mind. <laughs> yeah, Actually, you know, the, 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 you know, for <laughs> after all this, like, no, it's cool, go ahead. Yeah, exactly. Now, the, the 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 it it's actually it's actually endearing to the, the that that the shit hits the fan when I'm not here, considering how useless everybody says I am. What Derry? What shit is hitting the fan that you're not here? What shit hit the fan? We had a great show yesterday. Don't want to insult no, I bet, no, that, guys no, that, or me. What shit, hit the, fan? what shit hit the fan? No, the fact that I got fucking beat to beat down yesterday. When I wasn't here. No, because we noticed no, no. that you weren't you're, here no, the day you weren't here. You're now now there's, you now there's about diversion. To, yeah, now, you now you're diverting. No, no, I'm talking about diverting. shit hitting the fan for real. No, I'm talking about the fucking beatdown I got yesterday. Why the you know why why the fuck isn't he here? What shit what, hit what the shit fan? Hit that you, the fan? you were talking about the show, and yeah, now you're deflecting. No, I'm not deflecting. You said oh, it's I'm endearing that the shit hit the fan while you weren't here. Were, yes. Yes. Yeah. Exactly so what does that mean? No, that I wasn't here. That I wasn't here. What does that mean? It means it means that he feels almost like a compliment that. He wasn't here, and things came apart at the seams. No, that's, no, you, that's not what I said. That's oh, not what I said. Way, I was just Anthony's to, way more logical than me, trust me. I was just me. trying to I'm a interpret head. it the way I heard Yeah, that, that, that's, that, that's how everyone heard it. So uh, how did the yeah. shit hit the fan? Because that's an, a direct insult to us. If I nobody think, cared. I think we had a great show yesterday. No, I, I, I heard it, okay. and it was very good. But the fact that there was a fucking meltdown makes me, uh, makes me think that there was a major issue. So, all right. So I'm not here causes major issue. No, I, I, have, no, I, no, no. I don't even know what he's saying anymore. <laughs> it's not that you're not here. I don't even know what he's saying. Issue. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean by that? I mean that you guys lambasted me for a good 30 minutes. 
on the air yesterday for not being here. And you had an opportunity to call the show yesterday, and certainly if you no, that's not what or, I'm or, I think what or Steve is saying today, is like we are doing. The reason that you guys were so mad that he wasn't here was because obviously us guys could not handle the the the, the hugeness of the show and everything that it entails. So the fact that you guys got so mad at him was a testament to you know how you yeah, know how important how he is to be here. That, right. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's I, I think that's what you're saying, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, well, that's not what happened at all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's going on with you, Steve? Are you all right? Sure. Steve's like, I'm, be like being, I'm being a dick. I'm Buzz Aldrin. Oh, I'm doing great. Are you? No, I, I, you know what? I love the fact that, um, you know, that the uh, regular, you know, Ball smashing happens. That's uh, that. But yes, I got to say yesterday. Cause, you know, I try. I try. I, sometimes I, I go after you. Sometimes I go to bat for you. But this was a tough one to criticize the guys on. Even though I know sometimes they fuck with you. But but that is a tough one. And if you told Danny that and you told Sam that, it is kind of tough to not interpret it as that. You know what? You know what? He, here's here's the hard thing. I went to bat, especially with this days off thing, for the entire staff. I went to bat for the entire staff. The entire staff has has a situation like this. Some more, some less. Yeah, than I appreciate that you told Iraq e to take Fridays no. off because you're taking Mondays off. I so was, now listen. we're gonna, you know, that makes it even worse to try to put a, a quality he show can, on the air for everybody. No, he can. He he's entitled to. He doesn't. And I, and I never implied to take every Friday off. No, I really didn't. That's not what they're saying, Steve. The problem that I had was <laughs> that I had, you've been saying you have these days, you have these days, and I didn't really want to take them except. When I had to, and I do have to take one this Friday. Why? Because I do. But <laughs> the point being that Friday is our busiest day for, for most of the staff. So I can't take a Friday off, even if I wanted he to. He spells it F R Y day. <laughs> Make up so much just eats fried food. That's right. Every day is Friday. He's, <laughs> he sits in his adult diapers in his living room with fucking on, on a big thing of plastic like Lethal Weapon Two, and eats fries until he goes into a salt coma. <laughs> Well, uh, honey, I'm itchy. Right. He just starts scratching his body. Gets itchy. <laughs> Hives. <laughs> yeah, he's got like fucking duck sauce. He hasn't even fucking used scooper. He just pours it onto his legs <laughs> and wipes the fry. And right leg is barbecue, left leg is sweet and sour, penis Holy and balls, shit. duck sauce. <laughs> God damn it! Right. Like rock lost a few pounds. Actually. I, I was actually going to say that. <laughs> I, I turned around. As you're making all the fat jokes, I'm like, wait a minute. I think you lost right. a few. No, it's the haircut. Oh, the yo-yo yo <laughs> is back on the, the upswing or downswing or whatever you want to call it. The pelican neck isn't as big. You're right. Yeah. Did you lose the weight? I'm trying. What are you doing? Exercising. Cool. Oh, wow. Good boy. How often? Um, no, it's an exercise in stupidity, <laughs> but it's, it's exercising yes. nonetheless. What, what, are you, what are you doing for exercise? Uh, the elliptical. Okay, I do that too. Big deal. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. back to Steve. <laughs> yeah. So, no, the, the problem we have with the More Friday... More coughing. Jesus, where do you fucking work out in the tuberculosis ward? <laughs> Why are you Those push-ups over cough? Petri dishes. Eight, eight ago. <laughs> You've had a cough since winter. It's what enough. the fuck, really? We're, we're yeah. heading into late summer at this point. Jesus, it comes and goes. You like fucking? It's like uh, it's like Brando at the end of The Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> Hyman <and> Sloth. <laughs> Puts a pork rind in his mouth, chases the kid around. <laughs> Hell no, I don't know. I have a butt. <laughs> Sorry, all right, back to you. Right. Uh, anyway, so, so what? Well, I'm sorry. No point being that with the Fridays. Can't do Fridays off. Uh, it would be easier for for like Sam and myself to do a Monday or a Tuesday where our workload's a little lighter. But that's not available because Steve took Mondays, and I really don't feel comfortable taking a second, uh, taking a Monday off and having a second staff member, you know, down while the show's going on. So I don't, I can't do Mondays if Steve's taking everything. I wasn't taking everything, and I never said I was taking everything. That's not how you made it seem. You had it on the schedule. You told no, us I had it for on three the emails, days and you told schedule. us in the office too that you were taking Mondays off, that you were scheduling Mondays for yourself. So everyone else here isn't really going to take a Monday off because we're already down somebody. Yeah, if like for for the next for the next few, that's fine. You know, that's not how it seemed. Well, that's not how it seemed. It's not what I meant. It's that's not what I. But was you didn't saying. correct it either. We're like, how? Steve, you realize you, you kept going problems, on with these right? Mondays. You do cause your own problems. Yeah, I'm 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 a little bit nuts, nuts in that department. No, but. you really do cause your own problems. What, what's going on with you though, man? You seem like you're you're holding on to like you, you, I'm looking at your here's, face and you seem like you're you're not bothered by this thing, but there's something like, really going on with you. I, I believe you believe that 
what you're saying, but the problem is how you portray this to other people makes it sound like it's completely opposite. I, you do um, cause your own problems because you don't communicate properly. Let me address Jimmy's problem. In a problem. communication... Uh, uh, I know I that, um, I, I, I know that uh, people like to think that I'm, you know, or at least portray on the air that I'm useless, I don't do shit, I don't work, I don't do whatever the fuck, but I actually Ooh. do a lot of stuff. All right, it comes out a lot on the air. Uh, staff and hosts alike, whether it's joking or just ball breaking, I've gone to bat for the staff numerous times, numerous times. Some, uh, some have been well documented. Some I'll never mention. But the fact that there is a fucking you know Lord of the Flies beat down every uh, every so often makes me think that well, what the fuck am I being going out of my way to be nice to people? All right, for? let me ask you, why do you think that is? Um, I think that the environment that's fostered by you guys, no disrespect, is absolutely that. Is absolutely a every man for himself, Lord mm -hmm. of the Flies, when he's down, keep kicking him. Absolutely. So, that's, so that that's, that goes throughout the staff, right? Every yeah. man for himself. So like that's why I'll uh, I'll bust Sam's balls and throw his face under a bus. That's why I fucking, I'll, I'll punch uh, Travis in the balls every day, right? It's it's Because it just happens. It's like Lord of the Flies, right? Everybody's out for themselves. So yeah. that's how it is, right? Mm -hmm. I think oh, okay. on, on the air... Obviously, something like that is fostered. I mean, we sure. do beat the shit out of each other um, on the air. Uh, you know. And but then, it, but then, you know yeah. what? Honestly, there's absolutely no, uh, there's no off switch off the air. It seems, and that is that's what bugs. Well, me. that's a whole different animal. I think. I don't think I'm just defending, you know, myself here. Uh, the fact that when do when we're fostering an atmosphere such as that, we do it on the air. Yeah, I've never told anybody to treat anybody disrespectfully or anything off the air um as a matter of fact i you know i've said not to do that in in many circumstances so for you to say that you know we're kind of guilty for fostering that atmosphere is a bit yeah, unfair i think you know I, I, think everyone knows, I think everyone knows it's very different off air i, yeah, I, I think you know that we don't it's not the same thing off air. when you and i talk off no, air, when you, no, totally when you, no when you and i talk off air it's very respectful and it's very funny you know it's very difficult to control to, and and to and, and for by and large the staff is is pretty cool but sometimes there's just you know this relentless you know ball busting that I'm what? just like well you know what, what what am I what am I doing when is it though I mean I, I I know I can speak for myself because it bugs me to hear you say stuff like that like you know off the air it's like relentless ball busting when was the last time I busted your balls off the air dude I honestly you and I years. Dan Dan and I haven't really it spoken much years. in the past I don't even I don't even know how many months so it kind of bugs me because I know you know. Travis is in my office. Sam's in my office. So unless it's Eric, like I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know where but it's you're coming the one from. that's like, saying it. But I, but I, I honestly don't know because it'll happen when I'm out of the room. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll see and there's, you know, there's shit messed up on my desk. There's fucking people screwing with, you know, things on my desk, and I'm just like, you know, what, what the fucking kindergarten stuff am I, am I dealing with here? I'm just, the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah, but why? You know. I got shit to do. Yeah, I understand that. Find somebody to else do. to fuck with. We do. My point. You, you, but on the air, though, it bothers me. You said that. I mean, it's only because like we do it. We attack, <laughs> we attack Eric constantly. He's well, constantly. according. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't even want to. I just got to read this. Dave C from New York City, Lord of the Flies, and you said Eric. There's no question who's making. It. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> sorry, you're <laughs> We, Sorry, we, that's right. funny. I'm trying to get a couple laughs. In but here. we attack uh, uh, Eric relentlessly. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, I know. Look at Kenny. Eric Kenny has way more yeah. abuse than Steve. We and call you... Kenny the big dope. I mean, Kenny's a fucking a very competent ex. -co like, you know what I mean? It's it's like it's a different. Sure, I know. Animal. Off you my, I I think the point I'm trying to make is that the there is there it's difficult for some people to make that separation. And I'm not talking about the talent. I'm not talking about you, Jim, or Ant, or Ope. I'm talking about there's a disconnect between. Uh, some of the younger guys, and and the fact that they can't talk that way off stat, off, off, off air. But like off the air, E Rock gets it way worse than you. Have you ever come back and found your lunch smashed in the garbage can? <laughs> oh, E Rock is the one. Who, yeah. <laughs> e Rock is the one. Nobody who fucks with you off uh, the air. I don't. I have no idea because it's never been done when I'm in the room. I honestly couldn't tell you. So then, how do you know it's being done? Because it gets done. How do I? I, I show up in the morning and my, like like every key on the fucking keyboard in my office is right. completely replaced. One time in six months. No. How about <laughs> how about six times in six months? <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see. Funny. Even if let's let's go ahead and just pretend that that's the truth for a second. It is. That would be once a month. <laughs> It shouldn't be any time of the month. For the foreseeable future. It shouldn't be any time of the month. will be fucked up. <laughs> the point is, is, is that it's not every month, and maybe it was one time. 
Maybe. It's one example out of several. And he's going to run around with a rifle yelling, QWERTY! QWERTY! <laughs> <laughs> Keyboard joke. <laughs> of course it is. It's just a keyboard joke. All I'm saying is that if you if you want to fling about accusations and stuff, just at least have something to back it up because I know that I don't, you know, off the air, we, we don't have a lot to do with each other. Uh, you know, Travis, we all have our own responsibilities post-show. So, you know, if you're going to go on and say how, you know, there's relentless ball-busting post-show and some people, they don't, know, they don't know how to talk to me. Well, when does it happen? Because I'm not, I don't witness no, it. I'm not, I'm, I, 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 I have nothing to say about it. For, for the most part, when I'm in the office, you know, with Sam and, and, uh, and, uh, Butcher and Travis, who I share that office with, does not. It's, it's never happening. So when is it happening? It's just I like, don't. If you're gonna say it, if you're gonna say it, back it up because it just you, you know it just looks like you're just saying stuff, and we're all shaking our heads, going, "What the hell is he talking about? What the hell is he talking?" I I have no idea who's doing it, so I don't know who who to, who to point a finger at. I it's really don't. Paranoia. And we all fuck with everyone. Am I supposed to like walk around here with a stick up my ass because Danny talks about fingering my baby for twenty minutes every day? Dude, I honestly it's don't not, know. How, it's I, not a joke though. Terrible. Yeah, but you know, Travis. But like, that's, that's I, a, but like I don't like we're just we work yeah, for the Steve. Opie and Anthony show. Know, like talk yeah, about it's fingering Steve, old yeah. double knuckle Ross. Everyone does get it. Infant yeah. newborn child, and yeah. Danny just will not stop talking about how he's gonna finger his daughter. Well, you know what? Daughter. Danny's a good boy. Oh, Uncle Paul. <laughs> I told him that's how you that's how you loosen someone up. Do you think these guys have it out for Steve? What did you ask somebody yeah. here? Do you think these guys have it out for Steve? Why, are you asking me? Yes. Yes, I do. Why? Sometimes. Why is that? I have no idea. Why would the whole staff gang up on you? Uh, I don't know. Because that's what you're getting at. I don't know. I really don't know. I wish I could figure it out. I brainwashed them all. <laughs> no, I don't think I, I honestly couldn't tell you. I honestly couldn't you know, tell even, you. Even away from the show, though, Travis Travis was at a party the other day, and uh, he had his, his newborn little infant there, and he came up to me, and I said, so how's the proud papa feeling? And he goes, good, good. And I said, when's he showing up? <laughs> <laughs> You're not the real and dad. And poor Travis is just like, I'm the father. Sure, Travis weighs eight. That baby weighs half of what you do. <laughs> it's a 10-pound baby. Like nothing uh, like I told no. that the only way his uh, wife black. got pregnant was because they had to scissor. <laughs> uh, the, and Coke Logic writes... Uh, the wrestling by, accident. <laughs> Coke Logic writes, by the way, the keyboard gag was fucking genius. So. <laughs> you got to love the keyboard gag. <laughs> Steve doesn't feel part of the club. I, that well, the, yeah, but Sam. Steve, if Steve were part of the club... He would think he was getting fucked with. E Rock's part of the club because we throw his meals in the garbage. Travis is part of the club because Danny says he has sex with his infant daughter. <laughs> like, how can we include you without you thinking everyone's still against you? You walk you, funny you, and you have Steve, silly hair and yes, you have Steve flex. Was, Steve was in part of the club and then he made it abundantly clear he didn't want to be part of that club anymore. Yes. He made it abundantly clear. Because like you have the too motto, many things you can't to leave. Do. Exactly. Or Nambla. <laughs> <laughs> And then when we don't fuck with you, you say nobody's talking to you or you're not part of the club. No, that's not, I've never said that. I never said that at all. I'm quite, I'm quite content being not fucked with. I'm quite content being left to my own devices and doing my fucking job. Absolutely. So then, so then don't think that everyone's out to get you and that we're conspiring against you and that we're feeding these guys ma uh, misinformation. It's just not happening, dude. I think everything that's happening is is of your own doing. You're the I didn't I didn't spread a big rumor around Syria saying, "Hey, don't you, hey, I hear Steve's taking off every month." Like, no, you were Steve, legitimately that, taking off every Monday. And a I have news for you. Danny's making. The you know, the the wording in your emails, the words at staff meetings that we have with I mean, these are the words that we're using. So if I say, "Yeah, I think Steve's taking off like every Monday for the f foreseeable future." I have news for you. 6 to 8 weeks is the foreseeable future. So no one's spreading bullshit. No one's trying to conspire okay, against you. Okay, six to eight weeks is okay. That okay, is the wait, foreseeable future. Six weeks. Six <sighs> weeks. Foreseeable future. And that's how six I intended weeks. it. However, now that there's a problem with it, sure. No. Yeah. Now and but six weeks, foreseeable future. That's exactly what that's really what I was referring to. Okay, and then, so that, no one's saying anything more than that. Absolutely. Yeah, yesterday somebody said it was a year. No, Steve, you're not listening. What was said was that you how much time does he have? And he said he has a year's worth. Steve taking a year? And a year's when he has a year's worth is two completely different things. So I no one ever said, said that. that. No said, one ever said, said that you were taking a you year's guys worth. You did of say it. We said you, he could be taking a year. Yeah. Yes, he could be. Why would we say no? He couldn't be. Like, would we really say no? He said foreseeable future, which means six weeks. <laughs> yeah, and it, you know that's not what that means. Foreseeable doesn't mean six weeks. It means it's open ended, and he has fifty one days. Right. And there's 52 it's a weeks statement in a year. intended to elicit. 20, even twenty straight Mondays would be a major problem. Of yeah. course, and I was never going to do and, it for twenty then, straight and Mondays. And then we went, wait, he could possibly be doing it for a year. No, 
Never. Well, whatever. There's a major, major difference between what you're saying and what you wrote. You feel very isolated from everybody here. Absolutely. Everybody here. Everybody. And why is that? Like, what is it? I have no idea. You know what, dude? I have no idea what the fuck I did. You seem very sad to me, and and very. And I'm not saying. Look, there are times where I, I understand that. Look, you, you, you. Like, I'm listening to your your argument here. I understand why people thought that email said what it did because it was worded terribly. Uh, it was very badly worded, and I see why people would think that you meant every. I really would, but it's like you just strike me as being very sad and feeling very disconnected from everybody. Everybody here, it's like you, it's like you walk into a war zone every time you come to work. Absolutely, but why? I wish I could tell you. I wish I could tell you. I just get, I get, I, 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 I really get a feeling that I'm being like fucking pushed. I've been having that feeling for I don't even know how many months. Like I've been fuck. I'm just be like, I'm, I'm really being like. You know, sort of distanced, so I can just say "fuck y'all." I'm, you know, out. I'm out. So, and 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 that's really how I feel. That's absolutely how I feel. And if I'm completely unjustified and crazy and out of my mind, then so be it. But like it was just said, like if we mess with you, there's a problem, and if we don't mess with you, then it's like, why am I being isolated? No. So like, there was a point where you would fuck with us just as bad as we would fuck with you I, and everyone else. You would walk into my phone booth and pour salt on my head because yes, I made slug. fun of you. So, <laughs> yeah, that's going and, back. And, and, and all of a sudden, that stopped. And Is that why you're losing your hair? Who, me? <laughs> no. Is Travis losing his hair? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everywhere yeah, except yeah. his back. Oh, what a fucking creep. <laughs> what, he's got a hairy back? It's just disgusting. I, I hope it falls out. I hope your hair falls out in two weeks. <laughs> oh shit! Do you have a hairy back? No, I absolutely uh, don't. I hope your fucking hair falls out like Michael Jackson after a Pepsi commercial. <laughs> Big dumb scar. That's <laughs> uh, great. Get some follicles. Yes, but the cheaper oh, version area. where they fucking they they staple them into your head. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Mary. Uh, so now what? How does this cute bit, bit uh, end? Well, it's <laughs> cute bit. it's been going on. We all feel this uncomfortable tension, and it's like it, it's it sucks to feel that way. And there's stuff that the people don't know that went on that, that you know we know that went on. You know what I mean? It's like between different people, mm -hmm. which uh, I, I think sometimes the staff does rise your heart. I think sometimes you handle things very badly. I mean, there's there's certain things that I've even told you like, eh, I think that was handled terribly. You know? Yeah, and you've been very honest, and I've really curbed that behavior in uh, in, in lieu of some of that. I absolutely have. I think you cause your own problems, Steve. I'm some, in therapy. There's some weird thing that happens with you and, and communicating stuff. Because I, I believe what you're saying today, but man, it wasn't perceived that way, you know, in the last couple of weeks or, or whatever it would be. And we all do selfish or self-centered shit at work. All of us do it. It's a, this is, it's a big outlet for our shitty personalities. <clears throat> and it's very easy to point it out in all of us. But it's, it's almost like when, when, when you get called out on it, um, it kind of, it's like you get very defensive. At times you just got to go, you know what? I was being selfish or I was being fucked up the way I handled that or I was kind of putting my interest, it, it, whatever, you know what I mean? It's like there are times hey, where I'm, it's okay to, to admit that. will absolutely admit that I am narcissistic, vain, selfish, and, and fucking crazy in, in, in more than one respect. She and you I, fit in perfectly. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I would think so, but, you know, but for some reason, and, I, and maybe it's, and, and maybe it's my own fucking neurosis. That that I feel like I'm being fucking ostracized. It could be. It could be. Or maybe just nobody talks about it. And and uh, you know, there's just sort of like, all right, we're done with him. The, the, well, there were things even that I tried to talk to you about, which were not as much connected to me as to other other guys. Yeah, there are <coughs> unspoken things and the are. unspoken stuff and, and yeah. things that were talked about and that kind of, you know, I, I thought like, eh, why did he do that? Like, why did Steve handle it like that? Like, you know, I wasn't even privy to all that was going on, but I was like, why did Steve do that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I couldn't find a reason. That made sense to me why certain things were handled that way. Like I thought, like ah, he should have handled that one differently. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not attacking you, dude. I'm just I know you're not. I, I I don't hear an attack in that. I just, you know, maybe, uh, you know, the communication around here, you know, could improve, or maybe it's maybe it's not going to be improved. It, I don't know. It's hard. I don't know. It's hard to like when when the staff rides you hard. I see it. But I also see when you do something that I think is is, is like, ah, eh, that's, and believe me, I'm not saying I'm above it or over above it, but when you do something that's really fucked up or, or self-centered, it's like you got to be able to be called out on that and go, God damn it, that was fucked up. I put myself before the show and I shouldn't have done that. Like, you know what I mean? Because then it's a lot easier to, to yell at Danny or Sam or anybody who, who fucks with you where it goes beyond where it's comfortable, where it should happen. You know what I mean? Like if those guys are riding you beyond what is appropriate for the show, they should get yelled at for it. But it's like in the same token, when you're doing something that's putting yourself before the show, you got to kind of own up to it.
at time when it, when it happens. Sure, and I, you know what? And I have no problem owning up to my own fucking cr uh, stupid behavior. I really don't. I have no problem doing that. Hmm. It's part of being honorable. You have to be. You have to own up to your own shitful behavior if that's hmm. what you're guilty of. Us. <laughs> oh, but you know, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Didn't you gotta hear that for. There, there are things that went on which maybe are better for off air. I don't know. I mean, again, not, for the audience out there, nothing that's you know, you know, you know, no sexual assault, but just things that went on. Fortunately, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, that'd be much more fun to yes. talk about. We all wow. spit in our hands and Jack. <laughs> But I just, I couldn't for the life of me see why it was handled that way. Like, why did it get to that point? I, eh, with, the, you know, yeah. with the guys, I mean, I just. I don't, I don't, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to get into it. Yeah. I, I wrote, I wrote an email once and, and it, that was my whole viewpoint on the situation. And, uh, I still adhere to those, um, thoughts, ideas, and, and everything. Um, behind it, I, I, you know, this is unfortunately stuff that'll have to come out in a book someday. Uh, but <laughs> no, mine, which I'm working on now. <laughs> I tease, of course. <laughs> it's just you know behind the scenes shit is all it is. But um, there has been some, I guess, resentment things like that, which has made for a, a tough working environment between some of the people uh, here. So it's uh, you know, and and it's what it is. It's not even. It's 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 beyond it's water under the bridge, but the, you know it's done its damage, so that's kind of where it is right now. I have a fine working relationship with people here, and I want to keep it that way. That's how I you know it's how I roll, as I like to put it. That's what I say now. It's how I roll. <laughs> it's very genuine. I like when you say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very genuine. Oy. Well, we gotta take a break. Travis has the clip from yesterday in regard to a year's worth of Mondays. Wow. Leave it to Travis. He's got the fucking glove that doesn't fit. What do you got? Uh, a Monday's off started the June 12th, and then he's asking what about the fictitious guest issue email. I have no idea. Remember, I asked you like I sent you a text. I'm like, why wasn't the staff told about? Yeah, and they were. No, Absolutely. I don't. I do not have an email. Dude, I, I sent it to no, everybody. Do you have a copy of what you I sent out? Absolutely do. I just, no, print, no. just print, print a copy of it, and we'll keep the day. But it would vindicate you if you had one. I do. Absolutely. Okay. I didn't. I didn't go into specifics. Why? Because I was told that I wasn't going okay. into specifics. But I did specifically say. <clears throat> Don't right. say specific I twice. Mean, in I, I don't. Yeah. I mean, there's three. Eric, yeah, I didn't get an email. Eric and me were told about it because we had to do a thing. We were told about it in advance, but there was no email. All I was told was someone would not be coming in. Yeah. So everyone's saying they didn't get an email. There's I've no got email. it. I've got it. Oh, I we got to take I a break it. anyway. Could you so, have it printed out? Sure. We'll just finish it up on the next break real quick. We'll just give it a quick synopsis. Is that cool, everybody, if you just print it out and we finish it up? For baby. For baby, right? I got to piss. <clears throat> so what are we doing? I don't know. I thought we were going to take a break. We're going to take a break and stare around uncomfortably at each other. And Have we been going an hour and 36 minutes? No, that's silly. The clock is wrong. <laughs> All of them. Not if, yes. I turn, not if I turn a camera on. You're a dunce. <laughs> I really am a fucking <laughs> cunt hat. See, if, you, if you turn a camera on, then see the show continues, and then you can't <laughs> be go. uncomfortable <laughs> when you go to break. <laughs> see? That works. Nice. Are we playing the, that other clip? I got confused. I, I, I tapped out a while ago. You can play it if you want. What, what clip do you have, Travis? It, it's play it. regarding... Uh, we said it yesterday. Just play it. Okay. A year's worth of Mondays. Okay, let's hear. Okay. Wait, mm. Steve, is, I thought this Monday thing was for a few Mondays. Like, no, 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 no. For the foreseeable future, possibly for a year, 52 weeks. Possibly. Right. For real. <laughs> oh, Yes. He rock for real. Yeah. Fifty two. He gets a so, paid. So our executive days. producer is now working four days a week. Well, that's somebody else speculating. You know, that's that's, spec not, that's speculative. Yeah, that's, 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 that's completely speculative. Yeah, I'll give it. Well, that. the word that's, possibly was used in there, Steve. Yeah, but yeah. it's also possibly he could he could yeah. uh, use fifty and possibly, 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 yeah. possibly but possibly it could mean you know eight weeks. Yeah, when you have eighty. Days yeah, that yeah. are that are potential sick days, but whatever, I never said that. I mean, no one said that, and neither did Sam. He just said potentially because yeah. because that's because it was so open ended that for all anybody knew, it might as well have been. When you someone if I say, dude, I, I'm gonna take every Friday off for the foreseeable future, and I have a hundred sick days, wouldn't you just assume that I'm just gonna be taking every Friday off until Possibly. I run out? 
The first thing I would the 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 first thing I would say is thing to assume. No, the first thing I would say is, if you mean every day for the next year, no. Does Kenny want in? (laughs) (laughs) Oh oh no! There's no sense to beat a dead horse. I think every reasonable man can conclude who's right and who's wrong here. All right, Steve talks about being honorable. What what would hurt to just admit maybe you made a mistake? I think I, I I did in my wording of the original email make a mistake, make a mistake by not being by not being more uh, more clear as to my intentions. The original email and every time you spoke about it after that. What I say in staff meetings is pretty much to get people off my back. So what, would it be reasonable? <laughs> <laughs> With, See, with we, regard you do to it this. to yourself. You do it to yourself. I'm sorry. Wow. All right. So then, you do it. And then he's saying, what, "What do you have to say?" And then he'll that? say, "Then he'll say that you know the staff is miscommunicating, uh, you know, on his behalf." Like, dude, what are you talking about, man? No one's saying anything besides what you're saying. And then he, and then obviously you sent an email out in some regards saying that blaming the staff. For, for, you know, mixing your words up, which completely was not the case. And I have a big problem with that. Kenny, you're, you're an interrogative... You know, Kenny's pretty much an expert at interrogation. Anyone who's had a, a fucking a lunch with him knows that. Um, what do you, what's your take on it? No, no, Steve just said that um, his intentions were miscommunicated. Is that, is that something what you just said? Yes. All right. So, so what precisely was miscommunicated? Uh, I should have been more clear with regard to how many of those, uh, to to how many of those Mondays I was going to use. All right. So would it be fair to say that your intention was to take off every Monday, as long as you could? No. That wouldn't be fair to say. No. That was not my intention, and and the fact that I didn't outline it more specifically, yeah, that's my fault. (laughs) <laughs> what are we, there's a serious conversation going on here and all me and jimmy are doing is looking at at club soda kenny's dick rubbing on the mic how the mic stand <laughs> is rubbing against his stupid <laughs> peeny his little wee wee and jimmy just took a picture look at this there's a real conversation <laughs> going on and why are you rubbing your cock on there's the a, mic there's stand. an ex-detective rubbing his fucking he's dry humping the mic stand <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> That's why Kenny's leaning in so much. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. Kenny. No, that's okay. Oh, very it, funny, Kenny. The, the only thing in conclusion. In conclusion, in summation. Is, is is Steve agreed to every point you guys made. Right. But then in the next breath tried to get some wiggle room. Yeah, yeah. A little wiggle room. Right. All right. I, all right. That, that comes from a professional. You know, he's been in the uh, uh, So in he the was looking for rooms. excuses of convenience. That's all that was. Excuses of convenience. Correct. I like that. All right. Thank you, Kenny. All right. I can see that. I don't know where we go from here with this. Whatever. We just kind of yeah. go. Yeah, the email was a little. I'll, I'll, I'll go in summation now. The email that went to the boss boss was a lot more specific, even though it was vague, than the one we got. That's why we didn't turn around and say, holy shit, Steve, you can't take every fucking Monday off. Because if we got the one the bosses got, we'd looked at that and said, holy shit, Steve's taking every fucking Monday off for who knows how long. It's open-ended. Uh, that's why we didn't complain or say, holy shit, we don't have an EP for you know, for a Monday from now until we don't even know when. So that that's what I saw. And if you're saying that you know you aired uh, when you when you wrote that email, all right, I'll buy that. Happens. That's all. That was my summation. That's what I took away from the whole thing. What you fucking savages do behind the scenes is none of my goddamn <laughs> it's business funny, though. or my concern. I grab my backpack and I run much. out of here and I leave. I leave that whooshing white smoke that cartoon characters leave when they yeah. leave a room quickly. <laughs> it's true, it's fucking it's amazing. But it's fucking ten thirty one, he's goose stepping down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> then you're right. Yeah, I would just you know if, if accusations are made, then I just would like you know just a little bit of backup. Like you can't, I can't just run around saying whatever I want. And I would just like it to be the same for everybody. So if there's accusations of of just nonstop ball busting behind the scenes, then at least have a few examples because it doesn't I mean, as far as as I know and from what I do and from what I observe, I don't see it. 
I don't see it. Because you I can s- tell you, you, I used to see it two years ago. Yeah, but you and I don't, I don't occupy the same the same real estate anymore. You okay, just but don't. and then eighty percent of the guys are in my office too. So when does it happen? I, who's doing it? I don't know when it happens, and I don't know who's doing it because it happens when I'm not around. I, I you know, so it happens on Mondays. Oh, 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 but that's it. So if if you're gonna E-Rock, hit, there's no use eating a dead whore. <laughs> I'm just saying, if there's if there's gonna be accusations that it's like lost. we pick on you two, you know, every day nonstop, well then just back it up. That's all. That's what you said on yeah, the air. You do talk very vague at times, Steve. You got to back up your stuff. Cause my fucking brain is like a sieve. Well, write it down. Perfect. Man. That would help you out. <sighs> you do talk vague, and I think you do cause your own issues. I think I do. Maybe too. not every time, but no, I don't every time. But yeah, sometimes but, I'm. But I think you do cause a lot of your own. We all shit. have our foibles. Hey, that's my word. I know. Oh. I used it. That's why I used Jimmy's voice when I did it. <laughs> that was it was Ted. Jimmy's voice. I used Ted's voice while I stole your line. To really confuse. Yeah, everybody. yeah. To really fuck everybody up there. I was being vague. People are saying. <laughs> people are saying everything from radio gold to enough already. So why don't we? <laughs> and somewhere in between. I can yes. Never figure out you fuckers. I vote for shit. <laughs> <laughs> you vote for shit. All right. Uh, All right. Yeah. I think I this was very healthy, right? It's always healthy to, to get things out. Yeah, yeah we'll just like clear that. up that email thing after the break, and then that'll be that. Oh. It's like picking a scab. It's very healthy. See, it's not healthy because Danny wants to continue. Oh. There, no, Dan, there, what, there was no email. What, right? what, what Danny is saying is no email. Is uh, Sam saying no email? Travis Steve is saying no email. Steve is very adamant that he sent out an email. Of course, will be on the fence like he is with everything. Exactly, <laughs> breaking I, it. Trying absolutely, to trying to balance his fatness like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> <laughs> Humpty Dummy. Um, sorry, fucking Iraq. Can you make? Wait. What? Can, can you have an opinion on something, wait. Iraq? Jesus Christ. Exactly. Besides what bacon tastes like. <laughs> we all know your opinion on that. It's Y with a U and a bunch of M's. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guy. He just, by the way, is indestructible. He's, he, uh, he really he, is. He panics because he just wants to. He just wants to agree with every single person in this room. I know. Steve, just yeah. Danny's At point times, about Steve. the email is. Oh, he rocks in here as we kill yes. him. Yes, <laughs> he's been getting crushed and he's just sitting in his in the I, seat. I couldn't see him behind Steve. <laughs> nah. Uh, he's what? He's tearing oh, up yeah. at the trans yeah. fat story <laughs> on, on <TV>. Channel Five. <laughs> Iraq, can you make a decision? Did you get an email or not? Did, oh, everyone else is saying they did not get an email. No. No email? No. Yeah, and you absolutely sent it. I, I remember writing it. Of the handful of things I fucking remember in my life, I remember writing that. about right. hitting send? All right, that's a good... Uh, <laughs> all right, we'll that's... go to break with this. That's good. We'll uh, read the email next, Steve. Is your wife still crying? Is she all right? No, I no upsetting no uh, uh, yeah. loved ones. I have no idea. She's probably she's pissed off. I know that. No upsetting loved ones on the program. Is she pissed because you misrepresented it to her, too? <laughs> oh, my God. He told me he had every Monday. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. I would love to get her side, but, I, you know, we don't go there. It's fine. That was a joke, Steve. Jesus, Jesus Christ. No, look, I, I love my wife. I don't like seeing her upset. Yeah, I understand that. I, I could appreciate that. Yeah, that's where it gets like, you know. All right. We'll take a break and we'll read that email. Please don't have it dated July 21st. It'll be embarrassing for everybody. <laughs> or July 22nd, because that hasn't happened yet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or the 19th, because it was my birthday. Oh, how great would I it will be agree. if the email is dated July 21st? Jim, Jim was, not, was not included on the email because it concluded birthday details. Okay, that's fine. Wait. It's a letter from Doc! What? When He's was, in the old west. When was this email sent? <laughs> Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. And me and Aunt got it too. Yep. Oh, interesting. When did you find out this info? Let me see what's going on. Saturday. Here. Sure. Saturday. Sorry. We're gonna go with. Sa- Look. Uh, check Saturday or Sunday. Saturday. Right. I don't remember. All right. Where it's Sunday? I could search with my um mm-hmm, mm-hmm, my email. Mm-hmm. Is you the mean- title of the email Monday guests plus Jim's birthday guests? Yes. Okay, it, then you want me to read it? Oh, oh shit. shit. Just oh, say, shit. That doesn't sound like something uh, I know, I know, yeah, yeah. You know what? Travis. I'll tell you this much. If it was going to back up Steve, I don't think Travis would have said, okay, you want me to read it. <laughs> He'd have hit delete. Yeah, okay. Uh, blank has been canceled. 
So now the only guest for Monday is Jay Okerson, who will need a plug sheet. However, we have some surprises for Jim's birthday. And then it lists all of the surprises for Jim's birthday. And then the email is over. Okay. So it doesn't say why he was canceled. Yeah, it doesn't why say we anything that I don't, we needed I, to know. I wasn't, oh. I wasn't, I was told not to make that information public. I Oak knew, I think Ant knew, and that's it. I wasn't told, I was told not to, uh, to, uh, uh. But you um, said that you emailed the staff about it. That, and so that we would all know the details. No, I said I you you Jim yeah. asked me why I didn't email that the guy was canceled. Oh, so no, I'm no, all right, no. Spider. No, the problem there, Steve, is that I tell you what the problem is. My my issue was that there were certain certain info the staff had to have for replay and all that stuff, um, because of concerns that were had, and there's no way they could have known that because we came in Monday and I'm like, well, was this handled at the end of last week, or as soon as it was made known? And, um, like, how is the staff knowing not to, to have certain things on the air if they aren't told? Like, according to that, they would have had stuff on the like, air all weekend. Hypothetically, let's say Travis. I have production something. that I could have played. Yeah, exactly. So that yeah, could have yeah, that could have been bad. a problem. And this email that yeah, says but nobody person has been canceled. That doesn't. Yeah, I was told that he was anybody. canceled, and I was told not to give out the reason that he was. But you didn't say in it. Don't replay certain mm -hmm. aspects. None of. N I wasn't told not to replay certain aspects. I wasn't told that. Wait, if, if, if but you knew there was an issue that could erupt into some legal cloud if the person if, was on, or or replayed or replayed. Or replayed. And this is not the company being paranoid. This is one of those situations where it's like, yeah, I get, definitely got where they were coming from. No, if we've been bitten by the same German Shepherd a few times, we're going to be a little leery of German Shepherds. Yeah. And we have been bitten a few times. So oh, we went in dick first with peanut butter <laughs> while he was growling. <laughs> Idiots. The way I read it when I got it was don't have this guy, don't. Shit, I don't even know what that's, I have to just, say. Just, just, just say yeah, that. Like, don't, have know, this guy. don't have him. Don't have, have this person on. Don't have this person on as a guest. That's how I interpreted it. Okay, but canceled. considering he was a guest, right? And there was audio, and that audio was where the problem came from. Right. Then the staff should be told this is off limits, and I, I would, I would assume that you were told that that uh, some of the the audio was verboten as no. far as being played. I was told this guy was not. You weren't Damn given it. a reason why. You weren't given a reason why this guy wasn't going to be on our show. Absolutely, but I was told that was not conveyed publicly. That was not made widely but, known. But I understand, like right. now, but but there's a difference between explaining to the staff why he's not going to be on the show and telling the staff, look, because of certain things that came up, do not play this audio. You know, why would you tell them I not to play the audio? I wasn't told not. I was. I wasn't told but to eradicate it, the stuff. But that's something I think an executive producer should should put two and two together. If the boss tells you there is a problem that could erupt into something, based on a guest and his appearance and his appearance, uh, shouldn't you know? Look, we got to wipe this out. Like there have been times I've turned around and gone, "Holy shit! Do not play that." There was a time I think Butcher played something. Or it's not, uh, oh yeah, uh, and there, there's just been times people have played things where I'm like, oh my god, are they, are they crazy? Right. We just got fucking bitched out about this, and right. they knew. Right. They knew, and you know that's kind of the situation we had. I think you could easily deduce that uh, uh, if a guest was uh, a problem, if there was going to be a problem based on what he had said in a previous uh, appearance, that that previous appearance shouldn't be. Plate. And when was that email sent to to Travis? That was on Saturday. Okay. Which which is fine, but like it, <clears throat> Saturday, God what for, time? I'm not uh, nitpicking. I'm curious. Saturday, twelve fifteen p.m. There you go. Okay. It's the fact. I think it's more the fact that like, you know, like Monday morning, it's just like, hey, should we play this? And I'm just like, yeah, why not? And it's just like, well, because of this. And I'm like, I don't even know that. So I didn't like, know either. Yeah, yeah, that was a big surprise. So it's just like it just like. Uh, maybe if the details, you know, aren't for everybody, that's fine. But I don't think there's a problem in saying, "Hey, let's just be all let's all be cautious because this happened." Wait, can there's I can I ask yeah. can I ask too why you didn't? Uh, I, here's what I want to know because I, I was in communication with Steve Blatter and you know and, and Eatman and stuff like that on Friday about this became an issue sometime on Friday. Um, I don't know when, but I have a, a, an email a text between Blatter and I at like 7:50 p.m. 
which was, I think, Chicago time. So how come we get, you should have sent this out Friday night because of, of possible replays on Friday night or Saturday morning. I didn't know that's what they wanted The weekend done. stuff was already taken care of. Oh, well, was it? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that's what they wanted done. I thought they wanted, they wanted the guest pulled. That's what I got from all the correspondents. They wanted the guest pulled. Were you given the reason why? Yes. So, like, knowing that, that's what I mean. They wanted the guest pulled, and but they told you why. So based on why, it should have been known to not replay certain audio. It just should have been known. That's something like like two and two. It's six. It's not. Oh shit! Because what, what happened? Math. What happens is if if uh, if the company says, "Look, they've gotten this notice, and we still replay stuff." That we could have just as easily yanked. I mean, that's a major fuck. I mean, that's a oh, really boy. fucking big problem because oh, that's like boy. saying we're ignoring. Meh, meh, meh. Yeah. What no, the I company that, said I and what the outside party said. Like yeah. that's a big problem, man. I understand that, but that was never communicated to me. And if I was supposed to assume that, then, then I didn't. I think as EP, you have to on that one. I mean, that's a, that's a big one, dude. Yeah, it's just something like like you know, you look at something and you kind of think, hey, now here's where I got to go in and tell my guys, you know. I got this issue that came up, and here's how we have to handle it. And there's the you know, and and there's been situations like that before, where someone mm. said, "Get the audio out, get it out now," and that's absolutely what has happened. Uh, yeah, but was this was enough. don't book the guest. This was don't book the guest, and it was canceled. And you know, within within minutes of getting that, I was on the phone with the yeah. But I mean, department. just but but I've been through. We're going in circles. Yeah, I understand. Just based on why what happened? the guest was supposed to not come on, you know. Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't put you wouldn't make that leap because you're the guy that has to make that decision to let these guys know. Yeah, yeah. I understand that, and and if it was articulated that way, I would have. But I think they want you to not be like just a filter. Yeah, yeah, you have to you have to know, like okay, like if it. you're told by the bosses, you have to be the guy that knows to then tell the rest of the guys. All right, here's the information I got. Now here's what we have to do. You can't just be the middleman. You'll be the guy in the uh, office space. So what exactly do you would you say it is you do here? You know, you can't be the middleman guy. There's there's information that you get. Now you have to take that information and kind of figure shit out and then disperse it amongst the staff. Uh, that's part of you know. And make sure I, the, the show's the well and make sure the show's well protected as you do that. Yeah, yeah absolutely, without a doubt, man. We were we were we were a little vulnerable. Yeah, that was. Well, we were a we bit had vulnerable. Our, we had our soft bellies. Hell uh, yeah, we did. Laying, laying open uh, for a little although, while. Although it wasn't and terrible because a lot, of, you know. It, I we said a little, a little, a little vulnerable. Yeah. A yeah, little. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like you know crisis, but it's it should have been taken. Who care. edited it? Uh, <laughs> which did anybody replay it? Edited, edited it? it. Yes, it was edited and replayed. Okay. Uh, Dave Steve from New York City wants. Uh, uh, I just like to remind Jimmy his vacation time of Tuesdays between eight and eight fifteen is coming up. Oh, that is what you uh, grabbed. Yes, yeah, you got tips on that so one. Bon voyage. That's right. I've got a trip planned. You got your vacation starting yes, in, in two minutes. I That's certainly from, do. I'm going down to Del minutes. Frisco's and I'm going to make time with the waitress and then come back up by eight fifteen. <laughs> I like to make time with the Del Frisco's wait staff. <laughs> <laughs> I like to get to know them. Uh, is it safe to say that sometimes communication gets garbled between you and the staff? Sometimes. Okay, so how is it that we have communication problems? Uh, the communication gets break down, gets broken down because between if the staff it starts, and me. But I'm, but I'm saying if if like if the problem is you're not communicating to us the, you know, even any issue at all. How is it then that we have a problem communicating? Like that's just what I want to differentiate because I, I get told a lot of times that uh, communi our communication skills need work. But meanwhile, it seems like the only times where communication skills need work is when the staff and you are communicating. That's not like, true. Like interstaff right. communication no. seems to be just fine. So I'm just wondering where that comes from. I have no comment because I can't. Uh... Okay. Why? You feel free. Just to no, I just I. There have been plenty of times where I've where I, I where where I articulate just fine what needs to get done and what what has to get and done and, this, and they just don't do it. What's that, Travis? I heard that, drinking problem. I heard daddy. drinking problem. <laughs> yeah. I said I said I it's like saying God, it's like saying the staff has a drinking problem because Danny drinks. <laughs> that's not oh, you know it's like not that's such a great example there, Travis. Exactly. <laughs> sure it is. It's saying that yeah, Danny you're does saying have that, a drinking problem. See, you're you're <laughs> saying that the staff has a communication issue because 
you have a communication issue. Oh, boy. Like, Maybe it's fine. best you just do stay quiet in there. Silent partner? <laughs> oh, no, you really make yeah. things very crystal yeah, clear. Yeah. Oh, my God. You fucking water muddier. Dummy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Your baby throws up and is smarter than you. Just drools. And it can't hold its head up, and it's still smarter than you right now. He uses a terrible example. <laughs> oh, my God. Its examples stink. It's really awful. Just We're kinda. going off yesterday on one movie. He throws another one in there out of left field. I was you know, just stink. trying to diversify. You stink. I hope, like, I just, I hope I he's doing arts and crafts. I think. Now he's oh, holding... He's board. doing arts and crafts. He's holding one of those uh, post-it... Uh, 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 a fault little... Uh, what are they called? It's kind of post-it notes. But he kind of made an accordion out of you it. You look like yeah, the Silence like... of the Lambs guy. You look like James Gum. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You look like after... Hannibal Lecter hung the cop up. <laughs> yeah. When, when you hold, Opie's holding his arms open with a whole thing of post-it notes, and you look like... All right, good, look good cool reference, though, right? Jim. All right, it's like a kid who's uh, sitting in class. Cut it up. Uh, yeah, well... Hmm, 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 hmm. I think Steve could communicate better to the staff, to be honest with you. Yes. Oh. If, all, if the whole staff is saying, like... I don't think they're ganging up on you. I think Enough. they get frustrated because of the communication. I'm so fucking tired of the naked cat. We Why? get it. He, uh, no, I don't even want to hear this. He's going to be running for uh, yeah, the mayor's for office. For mayor. Good. On naked mayor. cowboy for mayor. Right. On, a, on a goof ticket, and the news is picking up on it. I'm going to be the best hey, mayor. She was on. Hey, there she hey, is. Hey, we had her on yesterday. I got a picture with her. Brooke something. Yeah. Wow. She's into me. With her Debbie Gibson hat. <laughs> Can he suggest that we make Steve apologize? What? Well, no. Uh, Kenny wrote it. Wow. In fucking in psychopath yeah. non-script <laughs> handwriting. All right. Every fucking you know everything Kenny writes looks like a hostage note. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should just walk around with cut out pieces of magazine. <laughs> really and are paste. awful. <laughs> yes. I'm, the, I'm 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 the uh, shark skin suit killer. <laughs> <laughs> Why should Steve apologize, Ken? Now that we're past eight o'clock without a break. Yeah. Oh my God. Kenny? No, you're always good getting apologies out of people. <sighs> Jesus, Steve. I mean, Kenny. I, I don't know, know what I'm saying anymore. Exactly. I, even like, like for instance, this this last instance, you know, he doesn't want to take responsibility for it. Wow. Yeah, you might have caused your own problem here, Steve. That's true. For real. And I'm a self-destructive individual. It's not that you're self-destructive. It, it's that when when you when you fuck it's up or whatever, it's kind of hard for you to go, "Wow, that was a tremendous blunder." Like, You'll say it like as a very casual admission, but specifically to go, "Wow, I really should have done that because that that was a big one." I really do believe you weren't going to take every Monday off in the next year, but you didn't really communicate that whatsoever to anyone until today, That's right. which caused the issue that is. But why, my, you know what? Well over an hour now. Why didn't anybody ask? Why didn't anybody we, we see? Did. It came to a head yesterday. It's, well, you know. Well, don't forget, no one got that email. First of all, I, I, yeah. yeah. And Danny said, "You're taking every Monday off, Steve." And you said, "Yes, I have the days." How when did I say that? In the staff meeting, oh, which so, is obviously right. you say things in the staff meeting just to get people off your back. Right? That I yeah, we that, heard today. Yeah. <laughs> It didn't help your that, case, by the way. <laughs> it, it definitely didn't. Well, because the staff meeting is 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 one percent information, ninety percent, but ninety nine percent, ninety one percent. But see, yeah. all the ball busting and stuff is one thing on the that's air. Not true the at all. That's, the that's staff not meeting true. is where it, you should be serious and 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 not just say stuff to get everyone off your back. That's what you should be saying on the air. There's approximately four percent ball busting in staff meetings. Yeah, and what was the other percent of non ball busting? Uh, work and discussion. Now, what's the number? 96. Good Do we go 96? 96? Or is there a gray area where it's 92 and then, like, you know, 4% oh, is like, like yeah. unknown, like oh, some yeah, yeah. give or take a couple minus. percentage points. Yeah, yeah. You take. need a plus or minus. 1% yeah. is E Rock drinking free sodas. Ah, E Rock. Piggy <laughs> <laughs> boy <laughs> likes soda. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's ask Elliot Ness shoes. What do you think? <laughs> <Say, laughs> that's, that's one of that's, that's I think Ken, that really I'm, I'm surprised that Kenny's kind of uh, frustrated with Steve. Kenny seems to be Kenny's a facts guy, though. Kenny's an organized mm -hmm. facts guy. Mm -hmm. Kenny, and I mean F-A-C-T-S, not fact. Kenny is a factual guy who lives and dies on facts. And if you've ever traveled right. with him, you know Ken that's all he does. Can you have a problem with, facts. with what Steve's saying here today? No, I, I, I like Steve, but, you know, he's just caught between a rock and a hard place now. And Kenny also loves cliches. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. He's, he's a cliche, cliche kid. King. He really is. He loves cliches. <laughs> caught between a rock and my head. <laughs> that's right. There's there a rock and a no pee. horn for him. <laughs> <laughs> to admit his indiscretions, that's all I'm saying. Because it's evident by his babbling for the last hour and his body language. 
the body, the body language? language? What's the body language? Right? Hold wow, on. What's, detective. what's the body language? Oh, he's been biting his lip. Can he's he... been fumbling with his Fu Manchu. <laughs> he's been tapping his foot. He's been shuffling in his chair. And these are things that are you, these tells? You're, you're, you're told, you know, mean to look for something. Yeah. Yes. All right. They're tells. Yeah. What do they? What do they say? He, he's nervous and uncomfortable with what's going on. I'm nervous and uncomfortable in the studio, period. You do this for a living, then you're in the wrong profession. <laughs> no. It's been 11 years. Yeah. 11 years. Oh, Actually, no, I'm not in here full time, Kenny. Oh, he got oh, you. But you're, you're, oh, he got you. You're a voice guy. In the radio, I'm in a the voice studio. Guy. Look, in behind in a room with with a microphone and no windows, I'm great because I feel comfortable. But in a room where I'm put on the spot with three guys with razor sharp wits, where I'm going to get eviscerated if I say the wrong thing, no, I'm not comfortable. All right, so then what would be the harm to just admit it and get it over with? Admit what? What? What specifically would you like me to admit, Kenny? Well, just tell the truth. I did truth tell the will truth. Set you free. <laughs> I did tell the truth. <laughs> Another one. Oh my That's God. Right. I didn't lie at any point in this conversation. What about the staff meeting? No, two seconds I, I, we're ago. not saying you're lying, but but there there is deception going on. Yeah, Steve, that was a little rough. I mean, you what? want people. It's hard to defend you when you say uh, stuff like I just say stuff at at, at staff meetings yeah, you, to get them off my he's back. A, That's a rough that gorilla. One. You can't say that that you that you tell us things just to get us off your back and then say, oh, the staff is lying and and misconstrued like, my, like, like, my information. Misconstrued by saying that ninety percent of the staff meeting is ball busting you. Is a complete fabrication. Yes, it's complete. That is, that is fabrication. Not even close. No, no, no. no. Again, four percent. So, would it be seventy percent? So and then no, no, no. I would no, say closer to sixty percent. Closer to No, it's not sixty percent. So, so you're saying I'm, closer to sixty. It's it's approximately four, four. and then one, and then ninety-five. <laughs> What's the one again? One percent is Iraq drinking free sodas. <laughs> so you know, if you're gonna, right, like right, I said, does he is he aware that you guys all look at him every time he goes for another free soda? Yes, I love, <laughs> that. I I love that visual more than anything oh, right now. Is he, every, is he, every, he, he can't diet? help himself, so he has to come into the room all slumped over. He's got one of each pocket, <laughs> <laughs> old piggy pockets. What, is Iraq <laughs> drinking fat free soda like low like diet? Yes. Yes. drink diet Pepsi. Good. That's your kiss. Please, Cheetos. Oh, man. Does Eric know there's free ice cream in the green? Room. Oh, Eric's the one that alerted oh, us to I didn't know that. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. What are we going to tell us? Well, we could sum it up by uh, Rat Spit here from Pal Talk. He just writes, Steve created this problem, so on and so forth. So, <laughs> <laughs> so on. That's, that's so true. Forth. I didn't mean it when I wrote ad infinitum. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please, please break? I have to pee really bad. You sure? Or are you just saying that? I swear to God, I'm going to piss my pants. Now we don't know what to believe. Yeah, we don't. I, we got to watch your piss his pants then. Everyone yeah, pull out. No, it. we he don't. Said it. No, we don't, Sam. I just said that to get you off my bladder. <laughs> I did. Speaking of bladder, where is he? Uh, DC? Yeah, he's so, in DC today. All right. What's he doing? I don't know. He's the head looking at now. potential victims. <laughs> yeah. You out. You. Gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Steve Bladder, he has, he has to put on his fucking his hooded robe and pick up his sickle. <laughs> or is it a, a, a Reaper's scythe? What do they carry? I call it a, a cottage blade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it a Sith? Is it a Sith? I don't know. <laughs> that was me trying to be smart. I don't know. I honestly don't know either. All I know is the bladder's down there lopping off heads. Yeah. He's got a bunch of empty bowling bags that he's going to fill with heads like fucking Edmund Kemper. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have Steve walk out awkwardly? Definitely. Yeah. Because you got a leak. We're going to just continue. All right. That's fine. Thank you. Steve Bladder walks in. There's a Mr. Nah, Death we'll... here. Well, I'll go home and get your fucking shine box. <laughs> well, we didn't get anything accomplished, and that was over an hour. So. I'm breaking your balls, and you're right away you're getting fucking fresh. He was getting fucking fresh. He's Not just killing a little fucking manners. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well... <laughs> Should we break now? Yeah, I got yeah, pissed too. I apologize. We're in your vacation time, Jimmy. I don't, dude, it's not about me. It's about the. I, I don't mind giving a vacation time. I'll just Aww. take it. Are you I'll willing take to next give hour. up today's vacation <laughs> take time? Take it next hour. No, I can switch to nine fifteen to nine uh, twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. I'll take that extra seven minutes. The staff tends to be randier down at Del Frisco's. <laughs> Del Frisco's. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking circus Sorry, around here. It really, it really is. is. I love it. What am I in a circus over here? <laughs> 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 really? All right. We all noticed when we got in this morning that um, Steve, lovely Steve, yes, is wearing a um, a uh, denim. 
vest that's kind of frayed. Is that yeah. the proper word? It's frayed like, on the edges? Yeah, it's got the frayed fringe. Yeah. And um, I don't think that look was ever in style. No. I know a lot of styles are coming back, but I don't know if that are one they? ever was in style. Are they? Really? I don't even think uh, Dice would wear that. <laughs> it's the only person that could get away with it. And um, the guys all noticed that Steve looks ridiculous. And Danny has found a picture of that exact vest on a... Oh, shit. <laughs> and a, on a black... A giant... Has to be gay gentleman. Gay bodybuilding uh, black gentleman. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So Sam went backstage to try to get to the bottom of Steve's... Uh, oh, his vest. Denim oh, vest. Okay. And now, backstage with ONA, here is Primetime Sam Roberts. Time Sam Roberts, Opie and Anthony executive producer and gay fashion icon Steve C made another splash recently showing up to work in a homoerotic denim biker vest with cut off sleeves. We talked to Sirius XM's best dressed employee Steve C about the uncomfortable choice. Steve. Yes sir. In the past you've made some questionable fashion choices that have been pointed out to you. Some. What are you wearing today? It is a denim sleeveless vest, I guess, or yeah, shirt. I would say vest. Okay. Well, shirt. It, it is a shirt at one. It was a shirt at one point. Now it's a vest. Well, I don't think it was. These fringes look man-made. Yeah, I they are. They are. I purchased it with no sleeves. <laughs> now, what made you decide to wear a denim vest to work today? Well, it was clean, and but you could have just worn a shirt. You chose to accessorize with a vest. I did. Now, is it your intention to look more like a motorcycle man in that jacket or in that vest? No. Is it your in is it your intention to look more attractive to the gay porn community in that vest? No. Um, but is it an added benefit of the vest? It could. It, I don't know if it's a fringe benefit, so to speak. As no pun intended. Yeah, puns suck. Uh, so does that vest. Yeah, I know. With so much to like about it, we polled the Opie and Anthony show staff to find out what their favorite part of the Steve C. vest was. What's your favorite part of Steve's vest? I don't know if he purposely did that to the sleeves, no, but it's very fitting. The fringes, you mean? Yes, the fringes. Mars, what's your favorite part about Steve's vest? I'd say the cool patch is over his heart there, the Laconia patch. You like that Laconia like patch? That yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, you sound like you're not being sarcastic. No, 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 I actually like uh, patches like that and that one over his heart. It's pretty cool. Hey, Travis, what's your favorite part about Steve's vest? The color, sky blue. <laughs> you can't go wrong. The lightest shade of denim without being white? Yeah, you don't want denim too dark. <laughs> no. You always want it light. Whether it's the fringes, the color, or the giant eagle on the back, one thing's for sure, Steve C. looks like a horse's ass. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts, and this has been... Backstage with ONA. During the break, um, Steve walked in with the vest. Yes. And Sam was still in here because we did a little segment with Sam. And Sam goes, ooh, watch out, tough guy in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Tough guy. <laughs> hey, tough guy. I don't know. What do you want? Well, what, what do you want to do with the vest? Mean, it just looks horrendous. Yeah, what are you going to do? It's just another part of Steve's wardrobe right. that over the years has shocked and amazed us. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, yeah, let me get a look at it. I, I didn't really get a look at it. E-Rock, what do you think of Steve's vest? Okay. Look at what you're wearing. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> this is my new UFC hoodie. It's a little, it's a little loud. What's wrong, Danny? <laughs> you, you know what? You had Steve in a corner, and you finally had him. I, Steve, would, Steve was the fucking fashion victim today. Right, yeah. right. I, dude, I, I had a you bullseye had, on me. You had him so bad, and you're walking in. Describe this UFC vest. It there. looks like Spider-Man. It's, well, it's, no, well, it's no, just it doesn't. It does. What it is, is it is bright, bright, bright fucking red. Right. It has a print all over the whole thing of a uh, chain link fence. Like the cage. Like the cage. And then UFC written all over the all place. All over it. Yeah. It is loud. It's hip-hop-ish. It's also new. 
They just sent it to us yesterday. <laughs> oh. And by us. You, no, there was, yeah, there's a big box, there was of, a big box stuff. of stuff for everybody. And that's the one you, you watch the out. UFC? Yes, I started not too long ago. Who uh, who fought at uh, UFC 102? Nice. Yeah. Randy Kotor, but he lost. I didn't get to see the whole oh. fight because I uh, my you flight got it. in around 9. So I didn't get to see everything. I just, uh, What's wrong? Yeah, it just looked as... What, you well, want that? The really good ones were taken by just... Mars, so... Oh, really? Just... Yeah, Mars got some good ones. I just don't understand, like, the... There are some people that probably shouldn't be wearing like UFC gear. <laughs> Put it that way. Oh, I... <laughs> I'm just saying. You, I gotcha. You, people tend to look a little ridiculous when they start wearing <laughs> UFC stuff. Like here it is. Here it is. Danny is wearing an eraser head yeah. shirt. Danny is a horror movie buff. Mm -hmm. It completely fits Danny to wear that. I am a maniac, lunatic gun nut. Mm -hmm. So I tend to dress like an army man like a young a Fidel Castro. Right. Uh, I, nobody really thinks twice about it because I really am a psychopath. We're used to the new look. Yes. Um, Steve, even wearing that wacky, goofy uh, vest, uh, comes off as a gay gentleman. Of course. And uh, the vest just reinforces that. Right. You, try something UFC new. The UFC thing... You really like that UFC hoodie? No, the one I really liked, Mars took from me. So this was the only other one. Yeah, but Mars is a guy who should be wearing UFC. Right, right. right. So he, who gives a shit? It. No, I'm just saying it's, it's, it, it's not very fitting. <laughs> you don't Bobby. Bobby Kelly has entered the studio. We're we're talking about uh, Steve's yeah uh, denim Steve's vest, gay vest, and then uh, E Rock comes in to bash it. And look but what E Rock. <laughs> Fucking fucking idiot. You look, God damn it. You look like a fucking who mascot looks, for the UFC. Who looks worse? Really is just Steve who or, looks worse? Or, Steve fucking. Come on. He's wearing a dungaree. Get dung, off me. Dungaree. Uh, dungarees. Looks like Christy McNichols and fucking. <laughs> Christy McNichols. Fucking. I mean, fucking, where did you get off of me? What's on the back of that? Let me see. Oh, no, the bottom. Come. Okay. What is that? Uh, it's, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a two-year-old Laconia uh, rip sleeve shirt. Ah. Yeah, but why is, the, why is it shredded so puffy and dude, big? I, I got it for $5 in, in Northeast Pennsylvania. You could buy a thong for two. Do Would you wear it? Yeah, go ahead, Dan. All of Steve's I noticed too. fashion faux pas are never his fault. Right. It's yes. just like, oh, he just five bucks on my stumbles. shit. How, yeah, he just how stumbles is that across evading this. responsibility? That's complete. That, that's not an evasion of responsibility. I said I bought it. I never accidentally wore a horror movie <laughs> no, t-shirt to work. I no. never said, well, it was two dollars at the Salvation Army. Yeah, I got I it for five it bucks. I, but be proud of it. If you're wearing it, just be like, yeah, yeah man. Man. it's awesome. I fucking dig I, it. I do. I believe me. I, I bought this. <laughs> but I bought this for five dollars this weekend when I was in Plymouth, Pennsylvania. You said you bought it two years ago. No, I said it's a two-year old. Oh. I got it for five dollars when I was at Kilbasi Fest this weekend. Kilbasi <laughs> Fest. <laughs> you should never no be way. going to Kilbasi. Yeah. You went to Kilbasi Fest. Kilbasi Fest is an annual event. Did you have your hiney hole cut out of your pants? No, not that kind of kielbasa. Oh. Uh, it's actual real kielbasa that the that the Polish folk in Plymouth, uh, Pennsylvania. It's a street fair. They line up and they all uh, have traditional Polish cuisine. You look like a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> so Steve, Steve uh, on vacation, went to a sausage fest. Uh, yes, you went uh, to a sausage uh, party. Uh, <laughs> uh, he, he went alone too. Did you? Uh, no, no, and alone. he traveled to one. I mean, they do those festivals every weekend around here. You can find one of those. <laughs> Go to Greenpoint. Yeah, know. exactly. <laughs> yes, uh, Iraq. He also told us in the office that he has the official uh, Kielbasi Fest T-shirt that he'll be debuting tomorrow. It's yeah. big and orange. Big and really, orange. really. You know what the problem is? Is that you have too much fuck. You have too much dungaree on. Like, dungaree. It's just too. Like it's too much. Denim, denim it's you got to grow a fucking jumpsuit. It's too much. You have. You have a shirt and it's a different color. It's light, light denim <laughs> on top, gross. and down here is Wait, didn't like a darker denim. denim. And didn't you see that same look on uh, what's his name, uh, the American Idol guy that came out of the closet? Uh, yeah. uh, Lambert. Adam Lambert. Yeah, Adam, Adam Lambert. Yeah. There's Adam a picture Lambert of Adam Lambert that. wearing something very similar to what you're wearing today. It's a lot of less clothing. Yeah, and he's out of the closet <laughs> as well. <laughs> and you're right. wearing your culottes again, are you? No, know? these are different. These are just different. 
These are uh, capris. No, these aren't the capris. They're not the quite capris. the capris. They're not quite the capris. They're a little bit higher than the capris. <laughs> Barely. Those are. Um, no, uh, these aren't capris. They're, they're capris. almost capris. He walked in with capris. I'd love to defend him, but because I I like Steve a lot, but it, and his hair is fucking weird too. What are you What are you doing this with the hair? What he does naturally. It's he's just he's growing curly. his hair. I'm growing my hair out, and it curls naturally. But it's like one of the Golden Girls. It's like <laughs> it's, it's, it's like <laughs> it's fucking. I'll be on. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've been trying the nioxin for a while to see if I can get rid of this fucking bald. Uh, it doesn't work. On top. It doesn't it's not work. It doesn't work. It just makes you pee works. yellow. It makes you come yellow too. I swear to God. Why you tried all that shit? Yeah, I tried all that shit and I fuck it. I blew a load and yellow nuggets came out. Ew. Yeah. And then I woke up to an email from our dumb uh, agent, <laughs> and he is dumb. He completely. I'm fucking losing my mind with him too. I've, I've, I'm 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 on a war path today. Is it a video of him playing his cornet? <laughs> uh, he really is the worst. I wish he was playing, but it was accidentally a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Totally. <laughs> <laughs> By note three, his brains all over the stupid garage wall. That shitty instrument, the French horn. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> the French <laughs> horn. Stupid French horn. I'll give you a Greek horn, you motherfucker. <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a fucking semi rig. Man, <laughs> <laughs> plow into him. He Guns. he uh, wrote me and said that. Uh, that the company has rejected our idea of doing a uh, pay per view with our old videos. And, uh, you know, uh, our agent wants us to sit down with you-know-who. And I'm like, no, I'm not sitting down with that guy. That's your job. You sit down with him. What's, what was the Why would they reject uh, making money on the old material? I have no fucking idea. What? Uh, Jeez, after all I don't know why they would reject the pay-per-view. It's crazy because it once again gets the, the, the name out for the company, gets our brand name out there. And, yeah, it brings in money. I don't even know why they rejected it. After all the fucking hassle we went through to get uh, to buy our material back from some guy who fucking held it hostage, that still works for us, executive producer. And that's why I don't talk Jesus. to you anymore, Steve. And, and uh, all that, and now we can't fucking use it. To uh, uh, we we bought it back. We bought our own shit back. Yeah. And we can't use. It. I, you know, I'm disgusted with just about everybody at this point. I am disgusted. Me? No, oh, but it, that's coming very quickly. I hope not. Uh, it's I'm coming already, very quickly. If, if the Carolines gig sucks, I will be disgusted with you. By Monday, <laughs> Anthony will hate me. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mediocrity sure. personified. You are a genius. <laughs> Shut it. Yeah, we had to buy our own fucking videos back from uh, one of our guys, and that's why I don't talk to you anymore, Steve. What? It's completely ridiculous. Uh, and, we'll, and now we'll have, we can't use it uh, to do me, the pay-per-view? Trust me, we'll have a professional relationship, but, you know, the days of a uh, little chit-chat is long gone. That was a, a shit move on your part. And fucking uh, this company not, you know, going with the pay-per-view, I don't understand that. So, Bob, you sit down and talk to those guys. You know, it's good exposure, trust me. But no when, spin zone. But when you call yourself uh, the no spin zone. It's not good exposure if he doesn't mention the names. Well, no, those Jesse. No, the Opie and Anthony show was prominently displayed. Oh, right? the logo is there on the. Uh, well, it was part of all the other messy shit that was goes on. Was there another logo on there? Was it on there? No. Where's the cog? Where's the flaming cog? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a flaming cog is. It's that gear. Yeah, it's... Fucking... Where's the flaming cock? Oops, cog. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Oh, I'm my disgusting. God. There it is. I'm disgusted. That's a cog, Jimmy. Where have you been? Oh, the Look at the cog. That's the flaming cog. You know, his logo that was all over <laughs> our videos. What Danny just put up, I, I, I know that too. It's terrible. Yes. Not no. that, but what you wrote. It's oh. my cog. You know, because he decided that he needed to brand himself uh, ahead of the Opie and Anthony show. And he wonders why I don't talk to him anymore. Done. Done! <laughs> Ooh. Let's go to Winston Churchill. Uh, what? Well, well, Winnie? Well, actually, it's Charlie, and he has something that Winston oh. Churchill said. Say. Uh, Charlie. Good morning, boys. Hello, Charlie. Say it like Winston Churchill, please. I can't do a Winston Churchill. Come on! Like I'm sorry, Ant. Try it! I stink. I'm sorry, I stink. Ant, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you might like it. Winston Churchill said, A nation trying to tax itself into prosperity... He's like a man standing in a bucket trying to pick himself up by the handle. Pretty Ooh. interesting. And that's what but we're that's doing. That's impossible. You can't do that. 
Exactly. It's impossible. A great line. It is a great line. That fucking Winston Churchill had some great lines. I wonder if he had a writer. He didn't have no Back writer. Then he just like he would just walk up and say things. Well, this is our finest hour. It's like, wow, it is. That's fantastic. But some schmuck wrote all that shit. They've always had I don't writers. know. I think I, I think, think they Winnie, always had writers. I think Winnie came up with some quotes of his own. Why are you calling him Winnie? He, that's what you call him, Winnie. That's what they called him back then, Winnie. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what? He's standing in a bucket. What are you? It's like, what are you spackle? <laughs> Let's say hi to Steve down the hall. Steve. <laughs> Steve, down the hall. Steve down the hall. What's up? Yes. Yes. Someone going to fatty shit fat. Oh. Wow. Oh, Thanks for calling, <laughs> Chip. Uh, boo. <laughs> Chip from <a> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's see what Amy uh, Yes, a nation trying to tax itself into prosperity is like drinking cum out of a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> How is that? Because taxing yourself is delicious. Never has one person done so little for so many. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Say hi to Stryker. I may not agree with what you say, but I'll have another piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it fucking is. Uh, speak softly, but carry a big burger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hey, I'm trying to get the instant feedback working. Does it work? Four score and one giant logo ago. <laughs> the bucket stops here. <laughs> Striker! There is nothing to fear but hard work. <laughs> I'll laugh at that one. Uh, Striker, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, morning, boys. A uh, Colorado imposed a seventy dollar uh, road and bridge tax in the form of a fee, and then it came out uh, this past year. And then now it's come out that there's still two hundred and fifty three million dollars short on our road and bridge repair budget. So now they're contemplating: should we make this fee slash tax any higher? And of course, our governor is saying that. Right after he announced it, oh, I'm not going to run for re-election, so now I can get done all of the things I want to do. I can't. Uh, I, I wasn't listening. All I can think of is more, <laughs> more Steve lines. <laughs> My only regret is I have but one burger to eat for <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> I may not agree with what you say, but I'll die it for your right to say it. <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah, Stryker was talking about the whole tax thing. Uh, we we're just getting taxed up the ass. Yeah, I mean, come on. I, I don't thought, know when it's going to stop. If you talk to these cabbies in New York City, Revolution. they're pushing them right out of a job. These guys are like, I can't make money driving a cab anymore. It used to be a nice little fucking, not even a nice little life, because these guys have yeah. to work 12 hours on, 12 hours off, or they lose their fucking spot. But most of these guys you talk to, they're like, I, I can't, I, I'm not making money anymore freaking driving a cab. Yeah. Because they've surcharged and this charge and that charge and then raised how much they have to pay for the cab for the day and all this shit that they're just not bringing any money home anymore. Mm -hmm. They priced them right out of the business. So I don't know who the fuck they're going to get to drive these cabs in the next year or two, because it's all going yeah, down. They'll all be, they'll they'll be somebody. Who? Oh. Who? They'll find people. <laughs> who? Ask not what your <laughs> producer can do for you, because it's nothing. <laughs> wow, you just came up on that, I think. <laughs> Let's go to Cody in Indiana. Cody! Give me liberty or give me surgery. <laughs> <laughs> A diet which will live in infamy. <laughs> 
Liberty for me, sure. <laughs> give me liberty or give me cum. <laughs> Even if you give me liberty, I'd like some cum. I'll take cum or both, but not just liberty. <laughs> liberty is nice, but not without cum, it's not. <laughs> Without, let them eat cock. Steve <laughs> 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 Let them eat cock. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got Steve insane. on the phone with uh, something. Steve. Holy shit. Yes. A cock in the hands is worth two in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are just sayings. Yeah, no, we're going with we're the going big political quotes. Fucking, yeah. Political quotes, my friend. <laughs> I shall not seek, nor shall I accept. Another term is your producer. <laughs> 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 God damn Steve from Bayshore. Let's go to Steve on the line. A lot of Steve's uh, checking in. Steve from the moon. Yes, Steve from the moon. Who wants to know step for men? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> one small step for man, one giant cock in my behind. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Steve uh, calling in. Steve C., yes, sir. Uh, one is by land and the number two value meter. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I, I, I kind of like that one. Yeah. <laughs> As Travis screens the calls, let's say hi to Pete in Jersey. Actually, it's not Travis, I know. Make that mistake hey, what's going time. on? Sorry, Travis. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Hey, buddy. What's up, Pete? Uh, I, Jimmy mentioned something before about smoking cigarettes, and he said that you should, uh, the insurance companies should charge you more money, and my insurance does. I pay like an extra $1,000 a year for smoking cigarettes. So well, I actually just meant, I'm sorry, but I meant the packs only, not the insurance company. But yeah, I know, the insurance company does have higher premiums, you're right. Yep. Okay, yeah, I worked in November, I had to fill that out. All right, that's it, thanks, guys. But why would you admit you're a smoker? I think if they catch you lying, the insurance doesn't have to cover you at all. Let's say, look, fuck, I, yeah, my, I happen to have a cigarette this weekend. Mm. I would not admit They'll that. They'll get it. I think you have it. to, yeah. They'll get you, man. Oh, they will. Let's say hi to Steve. Steve. Four score and seven cocks ago. <laughs> <laughs> we got Steve C. on the line. Steve C. <laughs> Four courses and seven side dishes ago. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Todd. Todd, what's up? The Bukaki starts in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Dennis. Dennis. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this closet wall. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, give me your balls. <laughs> A lot of Steve C's checking in. Steve C. Give me liberty or give me Mondays off. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, we got Steve C checking in. Steve. <laughs> Steve. Yes. You're on the... Yes. Yes. I know Eric Nagel, sir, and you're no Eric Nagel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> That's a good quote, but I can't think of anything for it. Which one? <laughs> a house divided. It's... Against itself cannot stand. <laughs> a stomach divided against itself will not stay small. <laughs> uh, all right. A man divided against his own sexuality cannot stand. However, he can kneel and grab his toes. <laughs> Steve C. Check it in. Steve. Oh. Steve. Yes. Jeff? No, everyone is Steve fucking C for this bit. Go, yes, Steve. How hard oh, is this? Shit. I'm so sorry. I forgot my name. I'm so excited. It's all right, guys. Oh, uh, yeah, Steve C. Don't fire until you see the lights of your eyes and your cock is down my throat. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Come on. There you go. Let's go to uh, Steve C. Steve C. Matt. Cheeseburger. 
good. <laughs> you guys want to talk to Steve C. today? Yes. Is uh, he on? Yeah. yeah, let's say hi to Steve C. Steve! Hello? Yeah. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Hey, you won't have Steve Carlisi to push around anymore. <laughs> to err is human, to be incompetent is divine. <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh, here's shit. a good one. Steve C, check it out. Steve C. Hello. Hi, Steve. Yes, I could not have sex with that woman. <laughs> I could not. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Can't find enough good quotes. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, Steve C's checking in. He's got oh, Okay. Hi, Steve C. What's up? Hello, Steve. Yes. I had a dream of a cock that tastes like a cheeseburger. <laughs> See, he had a dream, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 let's go to Steve C. Steve C. Hello? Hello, Steve C. Yes, C. Steve. I, I want to sp probably spell potato. Okay. C-O-C-K. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's not even a quote. It's a, yeah. a misstep. The wheels are falling off. Steve C, <laughs> yeah. help us out here. And that's how you executively produce a glory hole. <laughs> yes. Oof. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm not going to hire American boys to do what Asian boys should be doing. <laughs> 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 we might have to expand the bit with Steve C on line one. Steve C. Yes, is this me? Am I on the radio? Yes, Steve C. Down goes French fries. Down goes French fries. <laughs> no, how about down goes me? Down goes me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What if by land, two if by sexual? Afternoon. That was a good one. That's very good. The British are coming in. It's delicious. <laughs> and it's delicious. <laughs> oh, is he catching a fucking... <laughs> oh, getting pummeled. He's catching some fucking right hooks today. Let's say hi to Steve C. Steve C. I'm ready for my cum shot, Mr. DeVille. <laughs> <laughs> now, Let's go to Steve C. on line 7. Steve Hi, C. Steve C. Mr. Gorbachev, come down my throat. <laughs> Jesus, someone knows that. That was just blatant. Yeah. Let's go to Steve C. Steve C. <laughs> Steve C., how are you, sir? Yes, read my lips. I'm a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Steve C. Steve C. Yes, a house divided against itself to be glued back together with a little cub. <laughs> <laughs> Steve C. Steve C. Hello. hello? Yes. yes. Hi, Steve. It being I'm homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to uh, Steve C on line four. Steve, what do you got? Glory, glory, hallelujah. <laughs> 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 uh, it's just fucking wrong. <laughs> Let's go to Steve C. Steve. One giant step for man, and two large oven mitts for my canine. <laughs> <laughs> oven mitts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Let's say hi to Steve C. Steve? Yes, yes. I am not now, nor have I ever been a person who could turn down a cock. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just silly fun. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't do much with the Andy Rooney thing. And the uh, nice. the Sounds song fun. is awful. Ha! We have no bananas. Oh, yeah. We <laughs> have no bananas today. They don't play the We Have No Bananas yes, song. Yes, I, stop it. It's, yes, it's, they, they do. do. Ha! We have, have no, no bananas. bananas. 
It's horrendous. Enough about the bananas. Why do they do Why? that? Because I think the copyright on Harry Chapin's great song, 30,000 Pounds of Bananas, there was a big battle in court. Really? That's a great song. Yeah. Is it? It actually is, yeah. Hey, we have no bananas! Harry Chapin had a song about bananas? It was a true story about a guy going into Scranton, Pennsylvania, a truck driver whose truck flipped or whatever, and he was killed and he was hauling bananas. Really? <laughs> it's, a, it's a good song. To Patrice's house? Thirty thousand pounds. I love him. Of bananas. Does he tell a story? Is it, is it a story song? He was a great storyteller. Yeah. Is there anything uh, worse than a story song? I love Every them. One of his songs. I is hate story, story songs. songs. No, so I, I love picked them. her up in my taxi. Yeah. And I you either read a story or sing a song. You, you know, like Johnny Cash. She said, "How are you, Harry?" I said, "How, I said, How, are, you, How are you, Sue?" Sue? She Stop. said, I've converted like Sammy Davis, and now I'm a one-eyed Jew. <laughs> <laughs> a boo. <laughs> what is this, the banana song? 30. Oh, it's a good one. How long is this song? 11 minutes, 14 seconds, oh. not <laughs> counting the banana so we fueled up at the depot. He put in diesel. It cost $1 a gallon. <laughs> yeah. And then he put his dick through a hole in the restroom <laughs> stall. He said, how are you, Harry? I said, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I said, he said, how are you, Harry? And I gave him a face full of goo. Yeah. I said, how are you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> He said, how are you, Harry? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 30,000 pounds of stomach contents. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Maybe we should just squeeze, uh, a squeeze, squeeze, oh, God. Man, squeeze man. Steve and get all that cum out of him, like, oh, like toothpaste. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Yay. Fine, my friend. Oh, What's fine. going on? What is he doing? This is, He's talking know. about the truck driver driving to Scranton, PA, and his brakes give out on a fucking hill. This is Kerman Rose. It's great. So you're crazy. Story songs. And I mean, love them. And through the newspaper and fucking, you know. Yeah, I'm Harry Chapin. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is what he does. All right. Flight diverted after Jewish right fright. A Jew teen prayers were answered with mass hysteria. Cares. He's one of the greatest songwriters ever, Harry Chapin. No, he's what? not. He absolutely is. <laughs> I hate Harry Chapin. It's no. kind of catchy. He rules. This is catchy? This yes. song is catchy. Stinks. No, it's kind of catchy. Stinks. It's great. And to answer your You're question, crazy. yes, I like Johnny Cash. And yeah, he did tell a story. <laughs> but at least he, he, he kept it in sing Johnny song Cash's Cash's story. Sing song? Kicked ass yeah, there was, there was singing involved. Fucking prison blues and... Uh, boy named Sue. Boy named Sue. Well, he didn't write that. Manny's friend. That? One piece at a time. No shit. Yeah. Didn't cost me a dime. How about the uh, one where he went to all those places? Yeah, I've been everywhere. To... <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Sasquatch, <laughs> one has broke. <laughs> oh, Kipsy. I've been to every rest stop on the yes. turnpike. <laughs> I've sucked dick in Jersey, Connecticut, Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've licked penises in Tulsa, Tallahassee, Florida, Dallas. Be careful, there's going to be a Facebook posting soon. I sucked one dick at a time, oh and it didn't cost me a oh dime. Boy. Here comes the Facebook posting. Uh-oh, what's the matter? Oh, someone sticks up for Steve and literally Facebook posts oh. about what we say. Cool. Oh. Be careful, there'll be a Facebook posting. Cool. Sweep into the Do you know the that. words? The steepest grave. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you guys want to hear Lynch's uh, taxi song? That's pretty good. Oh, yes. That is a good one. 90 miles an hour. Oh, this is me driving to work. <laughs> Since God make it a dream. It's the shit. How you know many times you have to listen to a song to remember it like that? How ironic, too, this song, huh? But what happened to Harry Chapin? Yeah. He, he, he had he's singing own... a song about a truck driver who flips with bananas in the back. He had his own At least he's not... Yes. Yeah. Brains Fucking, all over uh, the Long Island Express. One, one melon. <laughs> a better place to be. <laughs> you seven pounds of brains. <laughs> You don't like fucking A Better Place to Be about the, the old night watchman who picks up no! a chick? He's phenomenal. He's the best songwriter ever. God. Chapin Harry, was the best songwriter ever? One of them, yeah. He really was. I didn't know you uh, were into Harry Chapin as Dude, much. Because he wrote about average, regular people. He, he was fucking Are you a Cats in the Cradle guy? 
You have to be good. Silver spoon. I'm not going to argue. Little boy blue in the man man on the moon. moon. (laughs) When you're coming home, son, no, Dad, you're a dick. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. And the little boy blew the producer (laughs) through the wall. (laughs) Look at at the blonde uh, Jets cheerleader in front there. Holy Nice. I think we all better. Oh uh, no, no, we got Steve. Steve's got a good question. Steve. Yes. Oh. Hello, <laughs> Steve. Yes. Who? Why am I with a partridge? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I used to sing that theme song when I would see another man's penis. Come on, get happy. <laughs> Come on, get happy. A whole lot of loving is what will be given. <laughs> will make you happy. I'm a producer for Danny Bonaducci. <laughs> yes. for, yes. First, first day on his on the job, uh, he was he was asked, you know, it's not important who you used to work for. <laughs> yeah, on the ask that fear of mentioning oh, the other show names. I know. How weird is that? Do you think? Susan Day would be a cam girl. <laughs> <laughs> you think she'll wear the Foundry yeah, Music yes. t-shirt. Maybe we could get Shirley Jones to insert a Foundry logo into her anus. <laughs> yes. With some kind of industrial music in the background. <laughs> yes, everybody. <laughs> yes, here's singing Foundry. Together. With Danny Bonaducci. <laughs> I, could, oh. I I weigh as much as five of us. Yes. Grooving. Yes, uh, that reminds me of what I called my anus. It's it's a Reuben cum cave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. Come> <laughs> that was either going to get a zero or an 11. That's hilarious. <laughs> when we're eating. Uh, that's great. Poor oh, Steve. Getting a communique. Hold on a second. <laughs> I think I fucked you. I put on a foundry logo. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get surgery. <laughs> and <hear us> singing. <laughs> Put on my lame Brian dress. You can hear me singing when we're scrolling. <laughs> scroll, 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 scrolling and scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And it really came together when mom sang along. Oh, how about that? Meet Meet everybody. And hear us singing. Nothing better than being together when the pendulum swings the other way. When we're singing. Yeah, you're still on there. When When we're singing. Yeah. Uh, I got I got a uh, communicate from Roland. Oh, we can announce the A-lister that's coming in next week, and we'll do that after the break. Yes. Oh, oh. oh Steve's still here. Steve. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I called up uh, Steve uh, last night. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, 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 not that one. Oh. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I got a great phone, Steve story. His phone would be fucking. His phone would be ringing off the hook with fucking NBC and Fo- Fox FX people calling. All right, all right. Oh please, <laughs> no! Was... I'll get right into it. Why? I was driving in, just pissed off at the fact that all our shit is still on his site. Take our videos and photos off of Foundry Music. There, that's an official fucking <laughs> statement I'm making. Steve Carlisi, remove our shit from your website. I thought. Well, he... Let's keep it friendly before, like, fucking, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, people we all have to pay get involved. Just take it off. Make it your porn site or whatever the fuck Danny Bonaduce <laughs> site you want to make it. But get our shit off. I don't want he, it there. I thought he got the call that to do that. He did. So what's twenty going times? On? So what's yeah, going on now? Things don't get pursued. Well, I think he called me, but I, I didn't really listen to his voicemail yet. Uh, he called about four days ago. Just do it. Like I don't have. We, to, we're I don't at have the, some personal problem with Steve. You know, whatever. But this is like a professional thing, and he should understand. 
that our shit no longer is a fucking, uh, you know, uh, bringing in people to his website. I don't want that. I agree. I'm with yeah, you. Completely. Fuck that. Get rid of it. Completely. It. There, it'll get back to him. Everything else does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Nothing. All the shit we we're talking about. I'm sure that'll get back to him. With fucking guests and things. That's all. Well, we went to the Louis C.K. premiere. Season two looks like it's going to be hilarious. Great. I've seen the first of four course. episodes. And yeah, I, I, Roland sent them to me, but I, I, was I really like it. Louis is insane. He, he he's has, a genius, but he's he, mentally he's insane. He has an episode with Joan Rivers that's really Oh, you got Joan to do it? Oh, that's great. Discussing comedy in general. It was really fascinating. Um, but anyway, we go to that thing, and uh, I'm talking to the FX guy. He's like, he's like, he's the guy. The marketing guy for FX. He's he's one of the big shots. He goes, hey, uh, does Steve still work for you? And I go, no, man. You know, he left the I don't know about eight months ago or something. You know. He goes, oh, really? I go, yeah. Why? He goes, well, I I I, I send all the FX stuff to Steve, and he called me oh. and said that he was moving and. To just you know, send all um, the FX stuff to his house. Yes, keep sending it. Here's the new address <laughs> for my, our Steve. new offices are located <laughs> oh, at. Steve. Steve, don't get mad at me, man. Don't fucking kill the messenger. Yes, the FX guy basically told me that Steve said, "Yeah, I'm just moving, so t so send all your promotional stuff and everything from FX to this." And address, Roland said, also, "Which is which is his house." And Roland was standing right next to me and goes, "That explains everything." And then Roland Roland said also NBC and HBO. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I don't either, but Roland's, Roland was saying. I know about the FX thing. he knows that. Yeah, from we heard it from the guy from F so FX. I'm not so. sure if Steve is misrepresenting and saying he still works for us and, you know, was getting the stuff sent to his house. I don't know. Or just not saying that he doesn't, maybe. Right. Danny, I have quite the amount of contacts. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so that's where the FX, because my Louis stuff hadn't showed up, no one's had, and I roll and dropped it off while I was gone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I guess that's where it went. Yeah. Ah, we can do. Ah, what are you going to do? Ah, what are you going to do? Well, there's something called cease and desist. <laughs> yes, there is.